I can see the fucking frilly thing on your neck. Stop teasing, please. Okay, okay, listen. If we do the Archon Quest today, why is there a calculator? If we do the Archon Quest today, I will put the maid outfit on. I promise. I just don't know if we're doing it. Are you guys actually ready? Okay, are you guys- just be honest with me. I'm asking an honest question. Are you guys honestly willing to endure an eight hour stream with me of the mate of the Archon Quest today at 12 a.m. till like 8 a.m.? Yes, okay. Well then. I can't! I can't! I can't stand up! I can't stand up! Okay, well, I've been having it all this whole time. I just can't stand up. Okay, chill, 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 chill. I just- listen, listen, let me hide. This... Okay, wait. Chill, chill, chill. Okay, listen, listen, listen. This isn't even my code. I y yoinked a random code that was in the house, but it's fine. Dude, this fucking stuck! Wait, I actually can't take it off. Okay, I got it. Alright. Well, <laughs> all right. Welcome, welcome to the Archon Quest stream. Uh, I told you I'm not a scammer. Keep in mind, some people forget because we didn't actually upload this video yet. This was a dare that we lost. It was a wheel that we were spinning for an abyss randomizer. I lost. We got the maid outfit one. It's not like I'm doing this for fun. It's not like oh oh he likes to to dress up in a maid outfit for his chat. No, okay. Fuck you guys. You don't even deserve this. I just had to do it. So I'm doing it. My legs are, I'm not gonna show my legs. My legs are fucking cold. I'm freezing. It's fucking Canada. There's two chairs behind me, but it is what it is. I promise and I deliver. I, I'm a, like a delivery man. I promise something, I deliver something. So if we're gonna do the, if we're gonna do the Archon Quest, we might as well do it right. Welcome to the stream. Please don't watch this uh, stream or clips or you're not allowed to clip for this whole. Okay, you're not allowed to clip for this whole stream and you're not allowed to watch the VOD and any pre proceedings that the VOD makes are going to be PayPal to me directly. But also, if you watch the VOD, you will be found. I am uh, working with the government in game, hypothetically, to find anyone that watches it. I like how half of the chat was like. You scammed us, you scam! Another half is like, he's wearing it under, I see it! views just for taking off the jacket. Fix my monitor. If this is gonna be a long stream, I might as well get comfy. I might as well get comfy. Get your fucking popcorn, chat! Make your fucking stromboli! Get your fucking water! Fix your posture! I see you looking like a fucking banana! Fix your, fix your fucking posture! It's gonna be a long stream! Okay, also... A few qu uh, important disclaimers. First of all, we're playing in English because I don't want to have to read everything. I want to be able to listen. Second of all, should we have in-game music on? Because I feel like I like the game music, but, and this is a big but. This is like Shenha, Cave, although Cave's size isn't that big, but the form is kind of nice. Um, kind of like, who, who else? It doesn't matter, but it is a big but. And the point is, I don't know, like the music in-game is nice, but it pauses sometimes, like during cutscenes or like, it'll be like really quiet at times. So I don't know if you guys actually want that. In-game? Okay, we'll turn the in-game on on. Uh, this made up of scuffed. That's why it's like, yeah, it's like fucked. Sorry. It's really scuffed. Rega, thanks for five dollars. Uh, five gifted. Sheesh. Zanus, thanks for the ten. Jeez. Hi, Dea. <laughs> okay, I gotta calm down. I actually can't do any clippable material in this. If I do anything that can be clipped while wearing this, uh, my reputation is fucked. I bought an external yes, SSD around. just to have enough well, space for the screenshot What thing? Uh, I'm not reading that, sorry. Suji, there's a thousand bits! What brings you here? I just finished a commission in the desert for a usual client of mine. Nothing too interesting. Just escorting a shipment of goods. I'm on my way to report back. Don't worry, today's stream is not being clipped. I already said no one clipped the stream. No one what edit this stream. Anyway. Just back off. Like, just do your own thing. But just don't worry. Huh? You serious? Bye, you Fang. Saw that coming. Five months. Mm, you are thanks for all the great all. streams, Mr. Maid. So it for too long in one place. Okay, the fucking bits are louder than the in-game. I have to turn in-game up. In Came in here, Dale. She's whispering. Uh, I'm starting to feel sad just thinking about it. Hey, 
How about I gather a few mercs to escort you two? What do you say? Thanks, but no need. <laughs> Sounds good. All oh, also, another important disclaimer of today's stream. Of we are going to ways. skip Paimon dialogue. No, I do too. not give sure a flying fuck anything. what Paimon has to say. I'm sorry. So, if you're a Paimon lover, good for you. I didn't ask. We might, like, read some of it. But, like, I, I, if it's an eight-hour stream and 30 minutes of it is Paimon, I might as well save half an hour. I see. Paimon dialogue isn't bad in Fontaine. Dude, Paimon is literally just... Oh, what the means is and then everything in case you didn't read if we're gonna pay attention we don't need paimon's fucking recap as if we were 12. though now that i think about it sumeru wouldn't be what it is today without you seems true oh so what you're saying is we helped change sumeru watch okay well yeah we should say bye to nahida okay what say bye to nahida wait we don't say bye to nahida no you're kidding right this is a prank Anyways, we have to get to Fontaine. But luckily for me, I can just fucking teleport there. Okay, so this is my team for the Archon Quest. Initially, initially, we had these four because Scara, you know, cool movement plus fun character. Yalan goes really fast. Kokomi, Kokomi Nation, and she heals us. And then Shao, because I love Shao. But, um... I was, you know, I came to the, I asked people in chat, you guys were like, dude, you don't have to run that much in this quest. And if that's true, then we have Scara for whatever movement we need. And then we don't need Yalan. In which case, we might as well uh, bring Mr. Hytham along just because it's Al Hytham. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is our team. We have double Anemo for the, the, the resonance and then just a healer and then a Hytham. Wife, husband, and boyfriend on one team. True, actually. And then our fucking, our stubborn child. Our stubborn teenager. Ah! Ah! Put Lumine in the team for immersion? Uh, no. Hey girl, are you because you sure made it. This must be Fontaine's porch. Wow. Everything looks so advanced in Fontaine. I'm on So I heard just seeing the sights as a tourist is nice, but Maybe it would be better if we found something to do. What do you think? Also, okay. More disclaimers before we begin. More disclaimers before we begin. Cause madam you find. Good idea. Nahida gave us loads of useful information. So, I haven't watched anyone play this. I managed to mostly avoid spoilers. The only spoiler that I got was by Hoyoverse themselves when they fucking showed like Arlequino being like, oh, look at my children and stuff. So that's the only thing that I've really seen. Uh, like, it, the only thing is like, you know, uh, you know, I, there's probably two fucking losers that are in the Fatui, but that's all. That's literally all. That's literally all that I've seen. Uh, other than that, I think we're chilling. Uh, I don't actually know what happens. I saw the picture of like, I saw the picture of, 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 of Farina, but outside of that, yeah. It's a pity that it never happened. Still, his story is quite the tearjerker. Not at all. Excuse me. Can I help you too? Corey to... donated one dollar. I couldn't dollar. help but notice he's he standing here listening. What? Uh, hi. <laughs> We're travelers new to Fontaine, and we had something we wanted to ask, but you seem to be really busy talking about some kind of play, so we didn't want to interrupt. Okay. Uh, play? Balls. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, you guys are saying don't skip, but I really care about what Itzien has to say. No one talks about Itzien. The only thing that can compete with balls is made by zero X. Wow, a real trial. But the way you were talking about it and the words you used just now made it sound like some kind of story. Okay. Well, good tales are often based on true stories. <gasps> like thrilling tale. In what you see, reality may also be someone deliberately putting on an act while harboring ulterior motives. Whether something is true or not simply isn't that important. Okay. The main thing is whether the story being acted out. He's already bored. No, I'm not. I'm not bored. Oh, I'm not bored. Looks like you're not from Columns around here. You probably don't know that the Fontaine Court of Justice is called the Opera Epicles, or more commonly known as just the Opera House. What the fuck is an Epicles? But 
That's too France for me. I'm sorry. I've never used that word in my life. Epicles. Oh, well, that's a thousand bits. No nice. I'm literally Other visitors to Fontaine have wondered the same thing. You could oh say God. that we just don't Lord want to waste the moving stories well. behind those bark, bark, cases. Bark, and as for your words about <laughs> whether the, the cases are treated with due reverence, we have the absolutely <laughs> just and honorable Chief Justice Nuviet. Okay, Nuviet. As well as the oratory. I don't know why they pronounced his name like that. Well, actually, I didn't hear how she pronounced it. Created by the Archon. Between the machine and the Chief Justice, false charges and injustice are a thing of the past now. Oratrice mécanique d'analyse cardinale. What a shit name. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's a fucking terrible name. Is it some kind of machine too? Wait. I almost forgot to ask you a question. Um, do you know what we should do if we want to meet the Hydro Archon? Oh, that's easy. Just go to the Opera House. Lady Farina practically lives there. You could definitely say it's her biggest passion. Okay, also... Before we meet Farina, and before I even have a take on her, because I actually don't know, I will say that no matter what, no matter what her personality is, you guys are going to simp for her because of what we saw in the trailer. That's all I'm going to say. So I like, if I don't like her, I'm, I will be afraid to say anything. But I haven't met her yet, so I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Hopefully she's cool. <laughs> I think what they mean is that they wish to speak with the Archon personally. In that case, I'm afraid it's going to be a tad more difficult. You'll have to make an appointment well in advance. You can make an appointment with the fucking Archon? Or not she has any time slots. Huh. Is she like a so dentist? Is the Archon super busy taking care of official stuff? No, no. Lady Farina seldom takes an interest with the nation's affairs. The reason it's difficult to make an appointment is simply because she's incredibly popular. That's right. After all, she is okay. the icon. Okay. All right. Though the fame's going to get to her head. From time to time, people... huh. First time Paimon's ever heard of an archon being described that way before. Meanwhile, Venti's just running around drinking yeah. wine. Paimon gets now. The Hydro Archon is kind of like a Serena big celebrity here, right? Zion Liang? <laughs> Probably. No, honestly, yeah, like, I I'm willing to, I don't even know Farina, like, that. no leaks. Probably but if Farina's if not good with Chang Ling, I'd be surprised. Even if Farina's kid is like, hey, just play Hydro. Chang Ling's probably still good. Hang on. This is still Fontaine's Archon you're talking about. You should show some more respect. You can fucking play yes, Chang Ling with Nilu, right. man. I guess I should at least try to be a little more respectful in front of visitors. Otherwise, I might get arrested <gasps> and find myself face to face with Monsieur Neuvelet. Wait, you just need you need to get arrested. Wait, if you get arrested, so Neuvelet. But nobody's going to be arrested for saying something. Yo, yo, how do I commit a crime? Kill these guys. Thank you. At least we now know that we can find the hydro. Is he a cop? Wait, is Neuvelet like a? Surely he's not a cop. But Surely he's like a judge or something. I mean, Risley had fucking handcuffs. Judge? Yeah, but he had it. Oh, I guess he said face to face with Neviet. Risley arrests you, brings you to Neviet, and then Neviet's like, time for the dick of justice. Huh. Oh, it's Lynette. What's the matter? <gasps> She's going to jump into the water, is she? Push her into the water. All right, get pranked, Lynette. You're on TikTok. Prelude of blancheur and noirceur. Sorry, I said that very Quebecois. Wait, what the fuck? Uh, we just noticed that you seem to be worried about something. About many things, actually. Okay, weird POV, but all good. But there's nothing I can do but just keep my troubles to myself. Okay. I was just reminiscing about a place my brother and I would play when we were kids. It was just atop that hill over there. <gasps> you have a brother? Uh, you're pointing at the sea. <laughs> Wait, are you saying that you and your brother lived in the water? No people call the waters around Fontaine a sea. It's actually just an inland lake that's filled with fresh water. 
Okay. No, I can still see that hill clearly. Imagine you see Fremina just drowning now, with his fucking helmet on. <laughs> he <would skip laughs> and jump, tossing sand in the wind. This, but now, the this water is that. gradually swallowing our memories. It won't be long before it swallows us. Uh, He's a professional diver? Yeah, but... Okay, but you, you've watched the trailer, you know what I mean. Uh, I don't believe oh, it's Lenny! Pleasure of meeting. Hey, Lenny! Are you Lynette's hey, Lenny. new friends? Hey, Lenny. Oh, and you are? I am Lenny of the Thanks Knights of Favon. after my sister. She often comes here to reminisce about our childhood, that's all. There's no need for any concern. Oh, allow me to introduce myself. All right. I'm Lenny, and this is my sister, Lynette. If I had to guess, I'd say you must be travelers from abroad. Nice to meet you. But how do you know our name? How does he know our name is Traveler? This guy's good. He's actually a magician. This guy's good. This guy is Houdini. Uh, even though we didn't really get what she was saying. Hmm, I see. It's unusual for Lynette to be so willing to talk with anyone. In fact, she seldom speaks at all. I'm usually the only one she ever talks to. Really? Then you two are it's like a magician duo where one never talks and the other one never stops talking. The pen and teller of Genshin Impact. Uh, okay. <laughs> so that's how you think it is? I also think my brother can be too talkative at times. Oh. <laughs> Seems you were right, Paimon. We are quite similar. <gasps> can we have Linny instead of Paimon? Okay. I'll trade you. I'll trade you. So Lynette, what please take her. Please. When she said that the water is engulfing your memories and that it won't be long before it engulfs you too. Okay. Oh, that. It's from a prophecy that's been circulating in Fontaine for some time now. Well, I suppose prophecy isn't exactly the right word. Okay. Because that implies a certain amount of uncertainty. There's no doubt about what's happening in Fontaine now. Let me check something really fast. Uh, okay, sorry. What's Let happening in Fontaine? Begin. Hmm. Why every time we visit a, a fucking... Okay, I have a... Why every time we visit a city, it's like in shambles and there's something that happens? Oh, please save my nation! Let's put that question on Why can't we just visit? Like, we go to Natlan and they're like, yeah, everything's cool. I'm like, oh, cool. Let me just pass by. Uh, did all the introductions earlier not count? Hello, traveler. Hi, Lenny. This guy has Riz. Look, look how he like went directly at me. He's looking in my eyes. He said, "Hello, Kokomi fan." Hi, Lenny. I know. I said I'd never give you my prize. Yo, 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 yo. Today with the maid outfit. Was he looking at us? And hello, Paimon. Hey, when did Paimon get a handshake? Oh. You're not poking fun at Paimon. <laughs> Please don't take offense. Just consider it a sort of etiquette we have here in Fontaine when making new friends. You should remember it. It might prove useful. Oh, no. Is that foreshadowing? Why do you say it like that? Well, Paimon's just happy to have a local friend now. By the way, we I don't know if I'd call Linny a local friend, but, you know. Would you be able to show us the way? Huh. So you're going to see Lady Farina? No problem at all. In fact, I was planning to go to the opera house later myself. I'll gladly take you once I finish things here. Please okay. follow me. Do I have to move? Okay, Pog. Surely this quest will be done in no time if we're already moving. Why is he walking so... Bro. Bro. said you were going to see lady for also for the record chat well, okay for the record Farina i just have to say this to this quest took the jeff like 10 hours and 10 to 11 hours fang it took her 10 hours and she told she said watch chat it's gonna take him 11 so for me we're gonna do this in like eight okay i know we wasted like half an hour already but we're gonna do this in like eight and then i get to laugh at both of them true true and real true maybe even six maybe hey, hey, maybe even three we won't even skip dialogue, we'll just, like, unless the- 
Anything. So she's the high Anything. But uh, how did she know we were looking for her? My dear people, rich and poor, those with cup in hand and those with nothing at all, raise your glasses in celebration. If you don't have one, then just raise your hand in lieu. Stop clapping, she said raise your... These guys are fucking dumbasses. No wonder their Archon hates them. Two unfamiliar travelers have arrived in our nation. Come, let us make a toast in honor of this traveler and her companion. Wait, she does a toast for us just walking in? Okay. We're off to a good start. Is she talking about us? Nobody here seems to be holding a glass. It's true. I've long heard of the okay, she's, she's actually delusional. Left in your wake as you visited other nations. But oh shit, there's rumors of us. I like her hair. No, I like her hat. I, have come to I like her blouse. Personally. I like her glove. Fear is for insignificant cowards. I am a god. And I will never entertain the notion of such meaningless wariness. You can be rest assured. I see clearly your sincerity. Dude, her eyes are water droplets. <gasps> Chad, do you think she's gonna be hydro? <laughs> I can't say. No, her eyes are hydro. Dude, she's like, she's like, oh, they're different colors, each of them. <gasps> Usia and Nimona! Or Numa, whatever it's called. Dude, Zhongli's like, doesn't want to tell anyone he's a god, and then Farina's like, course, I am a god! The audience with me is the most <laughs> sensible thing to do. It will allow you to truly behold my power and witness my authority. Intelligent people always gather under the <laughs> correct banner. I, Fosalor, hereby welcome Fosalor. you to the nation of Hydro and acknowledge the value and significance of your trip. Now, you may rejoice in this. Okay, I just have a question. No disrespect to Farina at all, but who asked for you to... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No dis... Thank you, Farina. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The Hydro Archon's entrance was... Uh... Thank you. No, no, thank you. Thank you. I feel welcome. I feel welcome. Can we talk to the person that was like on the the girl that we saw that's like over there in front of us? Whatever her name is. Can we? I see. As outlanders, you inevitably lack even some of the most basic understanding. Don't forget. The chatting. Why is she talking paragraphs? I suppose it's only natural for you to be awestruck by my abilities. You had best stop. Dude, the, her dialogue starts on like in like small font at the top. And etiquette necessary to communicate with a god. Who is this guy? All it takes is a flick of my finger for me to know everything about you. <laughs> She's literally <laughs> official. <laughs> oh? Oh? What's with these looks? Perhaps the welcoming ceremony still isn't enough? Hmm, what else should I say then? Uh, wow, I didn't expect to see Lady Farina here. What a surprise! Wait, does this mean they're the legendary blonde traveler? <laughs> How did I not notice before? Hey, what's all the commotion? Oh, is that Lady Farina? Is there some kind of drama going on? Drama? Of course. That's the blonde traveler. Is she like a Twitch streamer? The one all those stories are about. Does she cover drama? Farina came here to personally see her. Oh, I've got to see this. I knew Lady Farina would never disappoint. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but don't get too excited now. <laughs> She's actually a streamer. You think she's in chat? Do you think Farina's in chat? Rowdy. And despite the noise, I've come to tolerate all their ruckus. Yep. You may consider this my reward to all of you. I have determined that there will be an epic duel between myself and this traveler from another land. 
just as you were hoping to see. Okay. Now she wants to fight? Are we getting a little ahead of ourselves? Bring it on. Yeah, she's not fighting. Can we talk to Chlorine instead? Hmm? <laughs> Are you not afraid? Might I remind you that this is a duel against the divine? What oh no, I'm trying to do, traveler. Provoking a god in front of her people? <clears throat> Stand down, Clorand. I admire her bravery. The you have the scouting. courage to draw their sword against a god. She is obviously a true uh, Bro, we fought right in. <laughs> yeah, she's buffing, but <laughs> I mean, you know, let her let her impress her spectators. She's just being a little goofy. And a mere duel will not slake their thirst for excitement. Oh, yeah, she's right. Just a duel wouldn't be all that interesting. True. True lect lect <laughs> lecture. Colonels are always <laughs> The guy's name is fucking lecture. Their honor. You see. Then as the god of justice, I shall face this traveler in another kind of duel. A duel in court. Oh, all right. Now that'll be worth seeing. Right. This is Fontaine after all. Such a grand Shut the fuck up, it's him. I'm sorry. Dude, she's literally a Twitch streamer. How exactly do you plan to have a duel in court? You mean you're going to put us on trial? We haven't committed any crimes. <laughs> oh, we have reason to put you on trial. It's obvious, isn't it? Obvious? According to Fontaine Law, no one is permitted to release any flying objects within Fontaine city limits during the first three days of each well, month. What is it? Fuck, it's, a, no, it's September 4th. Oh, well, it's past midnight. I don't know if that counts. It's September 4th now. Was it not before? <sighs> so that's Fuck. That's what they've done wrong. Mm, that's our Lady Farina. No one knows the laws of Fontaine like she does. You call that obvious? What kind of law is that? Wait, flying object? <gasps> you mean timing? Precisely. Now, if you two have no objections, then in the name Wait, of no the way she arrested us for Paimon. Dude, that's kind of fucked. We didn't even know the laws. We just got here. My apologies, Lady Farina. I don't mean to spoil the fun. But if you would allow me to interject... I don't think that Paimon here meets the definition of a flying up. Thanks, Lenny. You tell her, Lenny. Finally, w Riz. Not crazy. How could anyone call Paimon a flying object? Ah, great Since magician, you are, Lenny. You must be pro in these my things. beloved citizen. My loyal punks. Uh, I actually wrote an essay about how but ignorance how isn't exactly a, a legal defense, but it should be because not okay, not it should be, but like example, let's say they just pass a law, like they passed a law in Montreal where like homeless people can sleep on benches. So then the homeless people didn't know. So then a bunch of homeless people just got arrested because they just passed the law and then they arrested a bunch of them. So like I actually got an A plus in this because it's like why the fuck would, is that a thing if no one's gonna warn? What they're, they're fucking homeless? Do they have a book telling them the laws? No, how would they know? So it's fucked up if you just pass a law and you're like fuck you, you should know this. Anyways. So what she's doing is kind of weird because like we just got here. How the fuck would I know the but then also you could be like, oh well I didn't know and then you rob a I get it, but whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> As a magician who just rained on your parade, I naturally should shoulder the responsibility of saving the show. So, with such an audience gathered here, allow me to perform a trick for everyone. Oh, a trick! Yay, good job, Lily! We're Pyro! Pyro Traveler! Oh. Never mind. Ta -da. She has a leash. <laughs> hey, Thanks, Lenny. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? There. As you can all clearly see, Paimon should be classified as, well, something like a balloon. This rope has been in the traveler's hand all along. It was. Huh? The fuck? You call that magic? You've got Shut the fuck up, Rena! <laughs> I thought it was. Okay, I like good. his hand again. I thought I didn't like him. I like his hand again. Huh. I 
I'm not sure what to think. Oh, she's pissed. She's pissed. How dare you talk back to a god? I am a god. Okay, she enjoyed it. Never mind. Just she enjoyed the it. Sort of unexpected twist that I enjoy. With you here, today's performance can finally be called complete. Dude, she just likes content. She just wants to be entertained. I respect that. All this as a In which case, consider the matter of your trial. Result. I respect that. The god of justice will not bring charges against an innocent person. But when there are valid grounds. I will not only judge travelers from abroad, but even the gods of other lands. <laughs> what? I look forward to seeing your upcoming performance at the Opera House, Mr. Linny and Miss Lynette. That's enough for now. Toodaloo! Did you just toodaloo us? I like her outfit. It's pretty cute. Wait, why does she think she's a Hydra Archon, though? I thought that was Kokomi. I mean, just look at Kokomi. It has to be her. And just like that, she's gone. Well, that's the most unpredictable Archon Paimon's ever seen. You never even had a chance to ask her anything. But that's a problem for future Paimon. That's Don't mention it. Thanks for being with us, Lenny. I to remember that there was such a law, so I did a little preparation. Just in case. I didn't think it would Why don't we just bring fucking uh why don't we bring Yenfei so, with us? She could learn all the Fontaine laws. Do you see what kind of god Lady Farina is? She can be a bit confusing at times, but she is still amenable to reason. Amenable like Amino? Oh no, it's Animo. I'm gonna Fuck wrong one! That was a spoiler! You guys weren't supposed to hear I added the Toyota Corolla. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to hear this yet. I added Toyota Corolla while I was talking to Zaj. And... Doesn't matter. Anyway, I might have no idea you were a magician, Lenny. Spoilers, my bad. Sounded like you'll be performing at the Opera House, right? <laughs> I just know a few simple I like tricks Lenny. I used to make a living. Lynette is my assistant. And Lynette. It will actually be my first time performing on the most prestigious stage in Fontaine. Cool. The Opera House. I Isn't just the woke up. What the fuck is happening here? When there are no public trials being held, the opera okay, house cool, has cool, a variety cool, of cool, other cool, performances. Cool, 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 cool. To the people of Fontaine, the line between a trial and a performance can be a little blurred. Dude, it's literally they're like streaming. Oh my god, they stream content. It's either drama where it's like a trial, or they stream like performances. Dude, Farina's just a streamer. And I'm telling you. I would watch. I would watch. I would be remiss to forego this opportunity gifted by fate. My, my brother's always excited to make new friends. Oh, sure. Wait, her eyes kind of look like the abyss. Wait, let me wait, 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 let me look at them again. In that case, why don't we go together? I'll show you the way. I just have something to take care of first. Oh, Dude, it literally looks like Spiral Abyss. Like not like the portal, but like the like the All right, whatever. Perhaps you can help me distribute them to the people here. Uh, this looks sus, but okay. What are they going to use it for? About that. Hmm. You hmm. asked me before about the prophecy, right? Let me start by telling he you. He gives a bag to everyone. Tips. Everyone in Fontaine has a bag. Then Arlequino appears, turns the bags into bigger bags, kidnaps all of them, steals all of Fontaine. True. I'm not sure exactly when it began, but a prophecy has been circulating around Fontaine. It says that Farina? every person in Fontaine is. Why is there a tear? Sin. Isn't that on his face? No matter how the nation of justice holds trial after trial, this sin cannot be absolved. Until one day, the water levels in Fontaine will rise, and the sinful people will slowly be drowned. Okay. In the end, the people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only the Hydro Archon will remain, weeping on her throne. Only then will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away. Wait, what? That sounds pretty gloomy. Why are people in Fontaine born with sin? What is that supposed to mean? There are lots of guesses, 
Some say that the ancestors of Fontaine stole the power. So Farina is like sad and depressed, but she she covers it up Others by being funny and goofy. Fontaine never heeded the first Hydro Archon's warnings and offended Celestia. I understand you. Fontaine evidence. <laughs> There hasn't been concrete evidence for any of these claims, so they can only be regarded as conjecture. If even the people in oh, the <laughs> know what sin they committed, wouldn't it be better just to ignore the prophecy completely? That's exactly what the people did at first. But in the last few years, the water hey, just freeze it. Hire fucking Kaya. Get a cryo dude. Yo, bring some cryo people over. Yo, Chong Yun, what's up, man? Many places have already been completely submerged and now lie beneath the sea. Many people carry on with their lives as before and shrug it off as a natural phenomenon. But my family and I think that the Wait, so is Fontaine just fighting global warming? <laughs> which would end up sentencing them to death. We hope that at least the people who reside near the world nah, brother, can that's... before it's too late. <laughs> okay, so we've started distributing magic pockets to them. As a magical item, these magic pockets have astonishing capacity. I'm sure they will come in handy when people are moving their belongings. Okay. Surely it's nothing else. It's like preparing for a rainy day. But this is more than a bit of rain. I don't, I don't trust these bags, Perhaps but outside of that, okay, cool. Could ever contend with such a catastrophe. <laughs> but who knows? We're just do the people not believe that the water's rising? Surely now, they do. If you'd like to help, then please give these magic pockets to anyone nearby. Okay, Be sure. sure. We'll help you, Lenny. Like water... Okay, that, I didn't even have time to read that. Distribute magic pockets to nearby residents. Is that Etienne? Yo, what's up, Etienne? My main man, so Etienne. You're the blonde traveler that everyone's been talking What's up, about. man? How you been? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I can't Seems you really thought of everything. I guess it's okay. better to prepare cool. for the worst and hope for the best. Fuck, I closed my Google Thanks. tabs. Oh, please, also thank the magician on my behalf. When All right, I will. I'll thank Winnie for you. Uh, who else? What? Oh, oh, Gero. What's this? Uh, so you also believe in the prophecy? What? No, no, I believe in the prophecy. But I oh, also God. believe. Oh God! Oh no! Story. Oh no! The story says that people once lived in. Nah, the ocean. brother, the water isn't there rising. Was time wore on. People desired to live on land and developed blood vessels encapsulating the sea within their bodies okay thus could people set foot on land okay so if you ask me when the water rises and takes us oh this guy off, just this is fucking kyogre he just wants the water to take us this guy just wants us to drown <laughs> <laughs> fucking team aqua <laughs> all right <sighs> all right i'll take I guess I just feel that that was my favorite Pokemon game. So I, I mean, I'm down for this storyline. mean death. Maybe he just likes Kokomi. He's a Kokomi fan. Oh my God, Scar is broken. Huh? Wow, she's gonna be the opposite. I don't want that thing. The way I see it, if the prophecy's true, oh never mind. It's still gonna be a long time before the water can cover everything. Life is all about living in the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I called it. Trouble. They're not denying the water oh, rising, but they're like, yeah, it's in the next generation. Who cares? Fuck it. You should still take it. You never know when it'll come in handy. Oh, all right, fine. Thanks. It's just that if I start moving, that means I've already given up on the life I have now. I'd really rather not. Okay. Uh, Lenny, your plan did not work, my man. How do I tell Lenny nicely? Where is he? Oh, you already handed out all of the magic pockets? Hm. Oh, that you already handed so, out all of the... What did people have to say? Magic pockets? Yes, but that will change once disaster strikes. 
I know they'll change their minds. So, so we set up a fake disaster. We ask a water dude to raise the tides to fuck with them. They all think it's a tsunami. It's real. They pack their shit. We're like, ha, we pranked you, but we don't tell them we pranked them. And then they believe us. It's made by a workshop in the court of Fontaine. Since we're out and about, True. I was thinking about bringing him some more materials. So, you want to collect materials? Just tell us what the materials look like and we'll help. Many hands make... Oh, that would be much appreciated. We'll need some Romaritime flowers. Romaritime. I remember seeing them near the waterfront on the... East side of the harbor, okay? It's like harbor for my favorite game, Valorant. <laughs> Good thing we brought Kokomi. Kokomi Nation. Yo, what is Scar? What was he auto targeting? Why was he looking that way? The fuck? Swan Fury. We can talk to either. I'll talk to Lynette. Oh, it doesn't matter. He made quick work of that. I can tell you're an experienced traveler. True. I've also finished collecting. We had to go fucking explore a whole ass mountain for fucking like cocoa goat milk it. for Chi Chi, and it wasn't no what she wanted. I'm in power saving we had to fucking here. explore all of Tavad for Shangling to make a dish. There's nothing. Performance at the Opera House. <sighs> Fine. Though the performance is still a long way off. Now that we're finished here, we should get ready to head back to the Court of Fontaine. So, we're going to the Court of Fontaine before we head to the Opera House? Cool. Court of Fontaine. Oh, he just dipped. He just ignored Paimon. <laughs> Alright, based. Wait, shh. <laughs> Have you noticed that person over there? Cabalinator the young donated girl. one dollar. Oh? Nice Lynette huh? cosplay. What's wrong with her? Paimon didn't notice anything. She's a Fatui! <laughs> She's oh, never mind. A thief. Close enough. Magicians and thieves practice. How do you know, Marley? Well, he's telling us. Never mind. Attention and distracted audience is one that won't discover what you're really doing. Okay. Watch her movements carefully. I'm watching. <gasps> oh, he's right. Shh. Keep your voice down. We need to think of a way to catch her, but it seems she's very alert. All right. Five gifted betting that we're gonna catch her and then she's gonna have a sad backstory. I'm sorry, my child is he needs bread to eat. Watch. Watch. And then we're gonna feel bad for her. Watch. Watch. Alright, let Dude, if you have a family to feed, just steal from a fucking store. Don't steal from a person. True. Okay, I'm not advo in game. I'm not advocating for theft. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Should I just TV? I feel like it's up. No, but don't steal from a random civilian. That's different. Like, anyways. This is the spot where Linny wanted us to wait. Future lawyer? Okay, listen, I could probably make a defense. Your honor, my client was starving. He needed food versus uh, your honor, my client like stole from an innocent person. No, in game, don't do that. Just, I'm just saying. Also, if you can't afford bread, you're not going to hire a lawyer. I mean, I guess you'd have an attorney, like, given to you. But then those people... Uh, it is what it is. Get ready to stop her! Oh, no. Did she notice us? She started running the other direction. What okay. should we do? Should we chase her? Our job is to block this path. You wait, but there's no sign of the thief. Nothing's happened for a while now. I'm wonders if Lenny caught the thief. Let's go find Lenny. Wait, where the f Lenny? Are you slacking? What the fuck is Lenny doing? Do we have to go back down? Let's go back down. Uh, let's go this way. Wait. What? Lenny's up here. <laughs> Dude, how was I supposed to know Lenny was back there? <laughs> Uh, can I go through here? Yeah, I can. Cool. Then I'm ah, sure that's all she I was supposed to know. You should check to make sure you're not missing anything. Why is there a made off it? Or we lost the bet. 
basically. TLDR, we lost a bet. All right. Auto. No, that was all. Oh, I can't thank you enough. Anyway, I should be going now. Oh, were you returning with the thief had stolen? That's right. Pity I wasn't able to catch her. She distracted me by dropping the thing she stole on the ground. By the time I looked back, she was already sus. gone. I saw the general direction she went, but Linny twisted his ankle, and I needed to make sure he was okay. What? Just check on him after! Did you get hurt, Linny? I'll be all right. It's what a shitty a story. I don't know why you would lie about something like that. So maybe he's telling the truth, but that's a sus story. Oh, yeah. Linny twisted his ankle and then I had to stop and see if his ankle was twisted. Sus. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Sorry, Lynette. <sighs> I have to admit that the thief was even more skilled than I had anticipated. But at least we were able to get the stolen items back. So it wasn't a complete failure. It's been an hour and he's 10 minutes in? Okay, shut the fuck up. Surely we're like halfway done the first act. Surely we're like halfway done the first act. No, 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 dude, dude, dude. I'm not interrupting dialogue. I want to hear what they have to say. Don't say we're 10 minutes in. Also, we started the Archon Quest around 30 to 40 minutes into the stream. Let's, let's say 30, okay? So there is a little bit of time for leeway. Okay. What's happening here? This thing to go into the city? What an ingenious way to get around! This okay. is an aqua bus. It allows people to travel between several key locations around Fontaine. Okay. It's pretty convenient, but the ride can become a little dull after a while. Okay. The scenery is always the same. That's why it's better to travel with friends. Nope. I mean, it's a bus. That's what you expect. Even when I'm riding with you. Damn. Uh, no, that's not what I meant. It's just that, uh, well, you don't really talk that much. Damn. God, Besides, that boring. It doesn't really feel like a real trip when it's just the two of us. It's the same as being at home. <laughs> Damn. L brother. Whatever. Guess that's what it's like to be an older brother. <laughs> it's about time for us to leave. Let's get on board. Okay. Oh. That looks like Yenfei. Oh, it's true. Yeah, Charlotte. <laughs> I was like, Yenfei? <laughs> okay. What's up, Charlotte? Is she on the tr fucking bus with us? Oh, she is. She's on the Fortnite battle bus. Huh? What? Traveler. Time balloon. Shit. I like the bird on her thing. Wait, what? you all riding the aqua bus in the story of my life this is big news. wait the background is moving as we're swimming what if i never go past the dialogue will we get to the next location or is it just gonna keep looping like because okay we just passed the pillar what's gonna what's gonna pass next oh wait i'm not i don't have auto anything about you paying us a visit it is auto it's quite the coincidence all right whatever but as travelers we're always on the move it's not surprising that nobody knew we were coming okay uh, no need for Wait, when did we? Okay, I know we met Charlotte in like an event, but wasn't that time gated? If you didn't do the event, when was the last time we met Charlotte? Because in the dialogue, she was like, oh, nice to see you again. Oh, dialogue changes if you didn't do it? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Makes sense. I wouldn't be much of a reporter if I didn't know who they were. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Charlotte, a reporter for the Steambird. Hello, Charlotte. Nice to meet you. From the Steambird, huh? We've often relied on your paper to promote our performances. It's an honor to meet you. <sighs> now that everyone knows each other, Fontaine suddenly doesn't feel like such an unfamiliar place. So, what have you been up to lately, Chef? Not too much. When there isn't any breaking news, I mainly cover the trials at the Opera House. Okay. You could still manage to keep readers' attention as long as you tell things from a clever enough angle, even if it's the same old topic. Dumb. They're just recycling content. Reporting on how a scammer once deceived vulnerable girls into relationships, or how a financial criminal was once so poor that they ate a single piece of bread for five days. Damn. But that's not really the kind of news you're after. Oh, you're right. 
seems you know me pretty well. What I'm really after is exclusive, sensational news pieces that could shake the country. These smaller stories are a waste of my talents. Okay. I just remembered. I've been following a case lately. Well, a series of cases, actually. You mean the serial disappearances of young women? Okay, 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 okay. No spoilers in chat or you will be banned. No fake spoilers either right. for this whole thing. But I feel like whenever it's like two people and like a detective and we're like talking, I feel like the case she's on is about them. I again, no spoilers. I don't want to know if I'm right or wrong, but I feel like Charlotte's probably like looking for them or some shit. Probably. Or like Arlequino, who's like, we'll see. Because mysterious disappearances of people. I don't know if she said, I don't know what she said, but disappearances. All I'm saying. We'll see. I bet all the other reporters will shed tears of envy. I've already gathered all kinds of materials. I just can't wait for the truth to be revealed. So what is the serial yeah, literally. of young women case? You mean the culprit hasn't been found? Okay, serial disappearances. That is That's a manka. Right. The first missing girl case happened almost 20 years ago. What the fuck? And ever since, after a period of time, another... This has been happening for 20 years and you didn't catch? How bad of a detective is this nation? You have the fucking god of justice, dude, bro. 20 years? But the scariest part is that to this day... Bro, we caught the Tory in like a week. Well, we didn't catch him, but... We, we beat Scar's fucking mech in like two days. Suspects have been arrested over the years in connection with this case, but shortly after each arrest, another They don't have Hazo, <laughs> true. <laughs> uh, it must be more than one criminal. Yes, it's possible. But either way, I believe that every case has some precise truth behind it, waiting to be exposed. Yes, I agree. And at the very least, the family of those missing girls deserves some sort of explanation. That is a weird response to that, Linny. I just imagined for a second what I would do. Well, I would be more concerned about the missing girls, but you know, I, uh, families are cool too, I guess. Back, and then find a way to track down the culprit. Please don't imagine that. Imagine thing. going up to someone and being like, "Yo, did you hear this person's missing?" You're like, "Yeah, we should talk to. We should. Their family deserves an explanation." It's like, ah, I mean, yeah, but you know, it's been 20 years. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. I guess it has been a long time, but I'm just saying. That is a weird response. Hey, we're almost there. Look. Has been 20 years. Yeah, Linny also looks like 10, so there's no way he he committed a crime 20 years ago. Dude, the trailer showing Arlequino pushing them fucked with me. Now I'm thinking it's all them or Arlequino. This whole story quest is fucked by the trailer. This is why I hate trailers. I watched like a like, like fucking 10 years ago, I watched a Fast and Furious movie where there was a trailer and in the trailer they showed like a plane. And then the movie looked like it was going to end, but I hadn't seen the plane yet. So like, okay, there's no way it's ending. And then surely enough, it was a fake ending and then a fucking plane came. And then the whole thing was spoiled from a trailer. Okay, I'll shut up. <laughs> well, I really enjoyed chatting with you. Chatting. Life should be full of pleasant I like I like How do I even say her name? I mean, in French it's Charlotte, but I don't think that's how you I like her. She's talking to she's cool. Yeah, us as well. The right way. She's she, you know, she kind of gives four star vibes, but outside of that, pretty cool. I have an interview to get to. I should get going before I'm late. Charlotte. Okay. Hi, man. Hope we can chat again. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Be sure to stop by and see me at the Steambird when you have time. What a tough job. Always running around and interviewing everyone. If you don't mind, how about we stop by my home first? Besides, I still have all the materials we collected. Sure. We wouldn't mind at oh, all. We're going to his house? This city is so what the? Huge. I might want to know where to start anyway. Already? What the hell? For like 20 minutes bro this is not your house oh were we supposed to do this before getting to fontaine oh fontaine looks sick whoa i've never seen this yo Fo i'm sorry 
I, I've already explored. Well, I, I've already been the Fontaine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ooh, plus four books. Okay. Act one done, right? Surely. Surely this is act two. You know what? What's up, Lovi? We'll talk to it. We'll talk to someone. Like Clockwork Toys. Okay. Well, that was useless. Go to where Linny is. Uh, probably better to TP, but we'll just walk. The wind rises. Search for it. Fuck. Okay. This is our current abode. Ah, Fremenay, <gasps> your home. Fremenay. Where did everyone else? Watch. Go? I'm gonna predict his voice. I, I haven't even heard him speak yet. I haven't even. Like oh, I guess we did. Fuck. From the trailer. Ah, uh, we heard him. Never mind. I was gonna. Ah, uh, okay. Never mind. I already know. He's gonna be like. I'll, I'll guess his voice line. He'll be like. I don't know where they went. Watch. Oh, they all just went out a moment ago. Hey, close enough. Close enough. See. Close enough. Everyone is getting busier now that father will be returning. Wait, who the fuck soon? is father? I suppose Sus? can't be helped. Who the fuck is father? Allow me to introduce you to my little brother. Who the fuck is Fremont. father? He is a phenomenal diver. Uh, hello. Nice to meet you. Paimon is Paimon, and this is the traveler. <laughs> uh, Linny. Could you come here for a moment? Uh oh. Uh oh. Hmm? Uh oh. What is it, Fremine? Do you have something to tell me? Hmm. Okay, I see. Is everything all right? Oh, it's nothing. We were just discussing a little housework. Oh, uh, before I forget, oh, the fuck. and I collected more Arlequino's materials gonna to make find us. magic pockets. I mean, that's a good were thing. That's a win, honestly. Yes, I went diving and gathered lots of materials. What is this guy? Okay, this is probably a spoiler you. question, so don't that's answer. But this guy doesn't have a mark on his face. Quick with the underwater work. Unless it's hidden All with right, his like fucking I'll emo hair, but the I did not see a mark. It's raining. Oh, I saw, I saw that. <laughs> the fucking guy running in the rain. Hmm. Looks like rain. Wait, one sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. Oh, you're right. But wasn't it wait, 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 wait. Just a moment ago? Hmm. Fontaine's weather sure is weird. The Indos donated $2. dollars Wait, you know we have to watch something really fast. X went. Are you his cousin? Oh, no, so Jeff showed me this clip. <laughs> okay, well, it was just that. Anyways, I want to go back to. He had an emote. Wait, where is it? Rain Seven TV. I probably won't find it by just searching. Yeah, I'm not gonna find it. Whatever. <laughs> I'm afraid that's just how it is here. It often rains on days where there are trials. Oh, it's called Run. The Opera House, but don't worry, it'll clear up soon enough. <sighs> Still not gonna find it. There's a legend about the rain that I tend to believe. It said that a dragon of water once resided in Fontaine. Okay, 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 okay. No but spoilers. The dragon went. But I Every know who the dragon of water is because I've seen fan art. But only because of fan art. Rain. Only because of fan art. It's nothing like I haven't looked at anything. It's nothing sus. I've just seen fan art. That is it. I don't know if it's true, if it's canon, if it's sus, if it's if it's. I just I've seen fan art of a dragon of water. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I, I'm sorry. Not official? Okay, then it. Uh, I didn't say anything. Not official. Maybe people just, you know, did art. It is what it is. I'm not gonna lie about what I've seen. I'm not gonna pretend. I should yell toward the sky at the top of my lungs. Hydro Dragon. Hydro Dragon. Don't cry. <laughs> it's dead hung. <laughs> if it's an elemental dragon, then having the power to make it rain wouldn't be very unusual. Hmm. Let Paimon try something. Hydro Dragon! Hydro Dragon! Don't cry! Hmm? 
that worked. Doesn't seem to oh, no, be any use. It's still it raining. I can tell. Yeah, you know, you, sometimes you can't tell if it's raining outside when you're looking you through know, like a a, a, a mirror, a glass, like a window, and then so you look at like the puddles of water to see if there's like drops. That was me right now. Look, that was me. Play along. <laughs> Sorry. It might be because we've never met the Hydro Dragon. Dude, but even Linny's laugh has Riz. He's like, <laughs> After some time, the rain stops. Hmm. It rained for longer than I suspected. Was there something you needed to do, Linny? Wait, why is that sus? Yeah, some preparations for the show at the Opera House. Why is everything this guy I says to sus? I a way to catch the last Aquabus of the day. On the day of the performance, just ride the Aquabus to the island of Araneus. I'll have Lynette meet you at the fountain in front of the Opera House. Sounds good, Linny! Oh, uh, are you leaving now? What is it, Fremenay? I'm in a hurry. Yo, oh, be nicer to him! I get it. You I guess they're brothers, but... Delivering the materials for the magic pockets is that... Perhaps we could trouble the traveler to help us take these materials to the Beaumont workshop and deliver them no, to I'm the... No, I'm good, Norris. He got it. You got it. You got it, Fremenay. You got it. And the boss there tends to be pretty talkative. Fremene has always been a little... Uh, you'll get over it. No worries, man. You got it. You got this, bro. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to deliver it. Sorry for the inconvenience. Okay. I'm quite useless when it comes to such tasks. Saj. I'll think of a way to make it up to you. Oh, no, no, he seems wholesome. This will be a walk in the park for us. Thanks again, you two. Okay, well... Where is Beaumont Workshop? It's over there. Um, up right here. Am I the only one who doesn't like Fremen A? Yes, and you should be shamed. Okay, we've already met her. Blacksmith. Oh, hello there. New customers? Looking to buy, or do you need something made? Or oh no, we're just here to- Ah, these must be for magic pockets! No, no need. They've already prepaid several batches worth, but they okay. insisted on paying the full amount. Okay. Wow. So, yeah, Lenny's fucking rich. Mm, I can't say for sure, but who knows? Maybe there's good He's being a magician to money launder money. from his crime this money! What you used to make Why use your hands when a machine can do the work? It would be a waste not to use Dumb. a leader. But where does a big machine like that get its power from? Damn, I never uh, thought well, I'd see Jung Cook in a made outfit. It's a outfits. little complicated. Okay. I'm not sure I can, but basically, everything we usually use here is... In the Manidium. Manidium. It's a type of energy that's produced from trials. Okay, I can't. Huh? Zero. Everyone does tri the, the trials. They do it on solar powered treadmills and it makes energy, not solar powered, but like well, the energy, I'm not like the. I'm completely sure of all the details myself, but basically, when a trial is in session, the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinale harvests people's belief in justice the what? and converts it into energy to be used all around Fontaine. So that's what its other function is? Hmm. I might heard that the Oratrice was created by. But Paimon still doesn't get it. How could something unreliable like people's beliefs be turned into a stable power source for these machines? The gods rely on belief to obtain power. It's like Robin Hood. Yeah. No, what is that? The, 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 the fucking the fairy, tooth fairy. What's machine. what's that show? Yeah, Tinker Bell. What is that show called? I don't movie. I don't know. Yeah. Not Robin Hood. Fucking <laughs> uh, Tinkerbell. What is Tinkerbell from? Before. Peter Pan. Like True. It's like Peter Pan. I didn't mean to say Robin Hood. He's he steals from rich for the poor. It isn't produced by the power of the Archon, but it is unstable. Speaking of Robin Hood, do you know what else is taking from rich and giving to the the less rich? Prime subscriptions. You're taking money from Prime, Jeff Bezos, and giving it to streamers of your choice. I'm not saying you have to give it to me. Don't worry. But I'm just saying it's a free subscription. That's all I'm saying. And if you don't spend it, the money's going to Amazon. I'm just saying. I thought I'd find you hard at work, but here you are. Who the fuck is true end? Since you're already talking. Lol W sure true end. Words with me. You again? Didn't I already promise you that I'd have the Morio to confer of Cabrier by next? Oh, I thought month? I said carry bear. Why are you hounding me now? I got a fucking yeah, I got a flashback. You know that you won't go running off by the end of this month. <clears throat> I want 50% today. Wait, no. 70%. What's this guy's mustache? 
This isn't so great for the workshop. We've already finished our job and delivered the materials. Maybe now is a good time to leave? Watch, we're gonna try to leave, and then they're gonna like start be like confrontational and then we're gonna kill them. Hey, hold on. Try to go around trying to collect payments. Why don't you settle your own debts first? If Confrary of Cabriere wants Mr. To Worldwide from Northland Bank, that's fine. But I'm afraid you still owe the bank a hefty Kaka. sum more. So why don't we work things out between us first before you get back to your little conversation here? Ah, uh, you're from Northland Bank. Child's we everywhere. Said we'll pay everything we owe next month. Why are you hounding me now? Uh, Traveler, Paimon. I didn't think I'd yes, you did. You here in Fontaine. Yes, the fuck you did. What are the chances? You just missed us. I to see you too. What are you doing here in Fontaine? It... <laughs> Long story short, I've already been in Fontaine for some time now, and honestly, things have been pretty boring. But, but now we're here. That fate brought our paths okay. together today. All right. Not only will I have some good friends here now, but ones who always seem to find trouble. Okay. Either way, this guy also has Riz. It seems things. I mean, he he originally had Riz. He's like. Now. Like, Linny's, like, new. Sure Child been having Riz. It's been, like, years. Besides, our trip here has gone pretty well so far. Right, Traveler? Yes. Mm, uh, hey, you, Northland Bank boy. Aren't you forgetting something? Don't interrupt. It's not often I run Oh, he said shut the fuck up! Why don't you wait for me over there for a while? Okay. Uh, you kidding? Aren't you the one looking for us? You really expect us to sit and twiddle our thumbs while you catch up with your friends? Yes. Listen to me, boy. If you want more, <laughs> yeah, that was an aggressive boy. Shit sounded like a yo. That was. Hey, I just said not like to a slur. Why do you say it like that? Oh, by the way, traveler, the last time I took Tonya and Tuzer ice fishing. Tuzer what did Tuzer say? Hey, Don't interrupt Tuzer. All right, boys. Alright, they're dead. Well, at least I called that they were gonna die. What did Tuzer say? At least let me finish one sentence. Fine. Though the bank told me not to get rough with our clients, you're the ones who started it. This is an act of self defense. <laughs> you two will have to be my witnesses, okay? Uh huh, okay. I'm sure this won't take long. Riptide! Riptide! You can run, but you can't. Yeah. Right, let's see what this child looks like. C3, okay. Uh, 9, 11, 8 uh, talents, okay. Uh, well, 9 is, is plus 1, so it's, it's kind of 8, 8, 8, but you know what I mean. Okay, 4 and a bless on child. Uh, interesting. Let's look at the ratio. Nine, oh, a 1 to 1 ratio. That is pretty good. We have 2,500 attack here. Uh, 135 energy recharge. Um, 28% hydro damage bonus, which is a weird number. 27,000 HP. Interesting. There is no Hydro Damage bonus uh, on the Goblet. Hmm. What's your deal, Brad? How are you so strong if you True. just established No, he had 90 crit rate. Northland Bank! Wait, don't tell me you're... Oh, and now you dogs. notice. It's a little late, don't you think? Just make sure you understand that you don't mess with Northland Bank. Got it? Um. Whoa! Uh, huh? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now's my chance! Uh-oh. Hey, Mr. Socks. Bro, physical child can still be you. Yeah, today. that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> Fucking slapped him. <laughs> huh. What is Vision stop working? <gasps> so he's gonna use his delusion. We get Electro Child. We're gonna get playable Elect Child too. True. I'm not sure. It's as if that'd be I sick. I would pull. control of my hydro powers when I needed them. And then he's gonna be. Me <laughs> why is this? Why are the people running like this? He's gonna we're gonna electro child and then he's gonna be the best for a, as a driver for an overload shangling team It's gonna be called inter hmm, What's okay? Wait, it has to be a variation of international inter it doesn't matter if I want to stay over national. No, that's not good on my vision anyway Besides I always have my delusion in case I need it So what are you doing in Fontaine child? I don't see 
idiots work for Northland Bank? Well, I guess it's because I've been in a bad mood lately. Huh? What kind of reason is that? <laughs> I don't know, but recently... There seems to be some sort of restless power stirring inside of me. Delusional. Okay, yeah, that's why, actually the team name. But every now and then I feel like I'm in a terrible mood. Hmm. Maybe you losing control of your vision just now is connected with that power you're feeling inside. Hmm. That is a possibility. So about this power. I can't remember if I ever mentioned it before, but when I was 14... Bro, you've... I, I have heard this story a hundred times. I went to the abyss as a child. I had to fight. My Sorry. It was during that time I learned nearly all of my abilities. The one who took me under her wing and taught me was named Skirk. Dude, I literally asked the Jeff like a few days ago who Skirk was because we were playing Scribble. We were playing Scribble Genshin Character Edition. And he was like, oh, do you not read the lore? And then he told me. So I was like, okay. She was always quiet and very mysterious. Nobody knew where she came from or what she had been. No, I know. And she was always very strict when teaching me combat techniques. One time, I asked her why she was willing to take me on as an apprentice. From what I could make of her answer, it was... Because I had awakened it, and traces of it remained on me. She said Sus? all my combat training would be it? useful in the future. But what is it? What did she never explained that. But my guess is a that dream. It's to a dream I saw when I had just found that is suspicious. That in my dream, I was in the deepest depths of the sea, and the boundless seabed was all around me. But in front of me appeared a whale that was so massive, I felt like I couldn't breathe. A, whale? a big whale. <gasps> oh, that sounds familiar. When we fought against you before, True. you summoned a huge whale that's. <laughs> That's just an abstract form of a whale that I create using my elemental powers. It takes that shape because the scene I dreamt of the whale has always been nice stuck in my dude. mind. That's you? I'm no, not a whale. If anything, I'm like a cute little seal or a dolphin. True. It's very possible that the power inside you is connected to your power incident to your incident in the abyss. So why don't you just go ask your master? You make it sound so easy. Ever since the incident I experienced there, I've never stopped searching for Master Skirk and that unknown abyss. But it's been years now, and I've still found nothing. Skirk will come out and we'll get more abyss. She'll be the last the boss in the abyss when we get floor 15. True. We'll get floor 20, actually. Like a new abyss wave story. in patch 7.0. Yeah, I'm out of leads at this point, but there's nothing more I can do. It seems that strange encounters in this world tend to be elusive like that. Oh, Seems the time really flies when I'm talking with you. I just remembered I have somewhere else I need to be. So what? More work for the Northland Bay? No, <laughs> old friends to catch up on. No, it's more true, true, point. I called it. Lately, I've been sparring with some of Fontaine's official champion duelists oh. whenever I'm feeling bored. Okay. Official champion duelists? You mean it's their job? Yep. In Fontaine, before a criminal goes to court. They're given one chance Wait, to that's fucking sick. by requesting a duel. You can fucking request trial by combat. Duelist. The champion duelists are all powerful fighters selected from among the nation's among us? best. Sorry. And the duel itself is a that. no holds barred fight with no specified stopping point. So engaging in such a duel is regarded as a symbol of defending your honor. If a criminal manages to win the duel, they'll be acquitted. But if they lose, they'll have no choice but to stand trial. And the worst case scenario is that you're simply killed in the duel. Though it's rumored that Fontaine has a death penalty. So really, oh, I didn't mean to skip that. I wanted to click so to duel are those who have suffered a grave injustice in being accused, or those who greatly value their honor. Otherwise, why gamble with your life? Wait, if Fontaine, if you can just wait, if you can just duel your way, if you can just okay, okay. First of all, this proves that Farina just cares about content. Second of all, if you can duel your way to anything, why don't you just fucking dude just become buff? Just like, and then commit crime. And then you just can fight your way out of it. Apparently, it's exceedingly rare for anyone to actually oh, win. Oh, never mind. Fontaine probably enacted Are you going to win against Clorindy? That the nation I don't know, just... The honor of its citizens. Besides, just win. None of the champion duelists are to be trifled with. Which is exactly why I was itching to face them as soon as I got to Fontaine. Apparently, the one I'm meeting today, Clorind is the strongest of the champion duelists. How does child know Clorin? asking her for some time before she finds me today. Well, that's child for you. Hmm. Paimon feels like we heard the 
that name somewhere before. Loran. Oh, before I forget, I want you to have this. Oh? What the? Huh? Your vision? You're seriously just giving it away? I'm just worried that it could become uncontrollable again. I'd be pretty upset if it got in the way of my duel. So, I think I'll be better off without- Dude, let us pull for Electro Child! Besides, I just need you to hold on to it for a short while. I'll come retrieve it when I have some time later. Hyman knows what you're up to. You just want an excuse to come talk to us again, don't you? <laughs> Whatever gave you that idea? I'll be in touch later. <laughs> that sneaky guy. <sighs> well, seems we don't. Huh. Wow. Who could have seen that coming? The reporter who was barely around for most of the story was the murderer all along. Imagine, imagine you swap with the child now after doing this quest and you just can't use the uh, abilities. You just can't use your skill or your burst. I saw that twist coming. The murder mystery novels here are amazing. The whodunits here in Fontaine are a lot different than the light novels you see from Yai Publishing House. Both have their merits, but my mom thinks this style of novels are more, well, novel. Wow, thanks, Paimon. To reach the moment when the mystery is uncovered, especially oh. in the one Paimon was just reading. You should buy a copy and read it, too. No, maybe I will, Paimon. I'm good. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, hey. Yeah, let's go. Let me send that the Opera House is on air in the end. So let's go right back. Wait, if you're doing this quest and you don't have this place, do you have to fucking Aqua Bus all the way there? Um. No wonder it took people 10 years. I'm already here. Now this is fancy. Looks pretty cool. I, I will admit, I will admit, I will admit, I will admit. No wonder Linny and Lynette were looking forward to You can swim there? Dude, stop swimming everywhere! They are the same people that swam to Inazuma! Stop it! Please bless us with a bright and healthy child. We pray. I don't know why you always feel the need to ask so much. I'll be happy as long as our child is healthy and lives a peaceful life. <laughs> I guess in Fontaine it makes sense. If there are, kid, then there's no doubt they'll turn out smart. Shut the fuck up, Jolio. Maybe this is one of the customs in Fontaine. Vache. Vache. Wait, whoa, whoa. <laughs> What? Vache. Vache. No, I didn't say anything. Are you hearing? Welcome to the Fountain of Lucene. The fuck is Vache? Fontaine converges here. It's customary for newlyweds to come here. Ah! Oh, Lynette, you scared Paimon. Mm, Lenny asked me to wait here for you. Remember? By the way, Lynette, I hear, I seem to hear a faint voice. What do you mean? There are a lot of people here right now. No, no, it was coming from, the, it was coming from the fountain. Hey, you're not trying to. No, no, it was, it was a voice coming from the. I might be able Finally, to tell you, you something so that could help explain the balls. voice you heard. Okay, please tell me. In fact, you might not be imagining things at all. I suspect that what you heard is a result of your hypersensitivity to the hydro element. What? Others in my family have had similar experiences. It's because of her sensitivity to the hydro element? But what would hearing a voice have to do with elemental power? When do you cry, Paimon? <laughs> what? What does that have to do <laughs> with the fuck with that? Just answer me. When do you cry? All the time. Uh, when Paimon's really sad? Oh, and yeah. when Paimon's super happy. Yeah, all the time. Then you should understand that tears contain your most intense emotions. Like I just mentioned, the Fountain of Lucene is where all the flowing water in Fontaine converges. Even the tears that fall to the ground will eventually gather here. So maybe what you heard was the intense emotion coming Wait, what? from someone's tears. So what did the voice say? It says Vashi. Huh. Vashi. Hearing their emotions. Paimon wonders what happened to them. 
Rather than worrying about them, we should worry about my brother first. Don't let that calm look of his fool you. He tends to get pretty nervous just before a performance. So chatting with Linny might help him relax a little before Okay, we'll talk to Linny. Right. Have to pee, but I don't want to get up in a maid outfit. And I don't even know how to pee in this outfit. So give me like, okay, you guys can look at like, I'll let Linny do some magic tricks for you guys. Uh, I will be fast ah, we'll be and I will be trap. furious. Uh, baby. Dude, peeing with a maid outfit is so hard. Have you guys done this before? Shit is not easy. How do you even like just sit? People sit. Try look at what I found that, that came with a maid outfit. I just didn't want to wear it because I'm also wearing a headset. Look, there's a little tiara thing. I don't know what this is called, uh, but I'm not going to wear it. I just wanted to show you guys. Okay, that's all. So how have you been? <laughs> Do you guys enjoy your time alone with Lenny? <laughs> Zyox, shut the fuck up, man. You're so cringe. I can't even watch you anymore, dude. Can you please learn when to shut the fuck up? I'm sorry. Uh, I will. Ah, Traveler in Paimon. Good to see you. I knew you two would come. Come. Are you kidding? We want to miss it for the world! <laughs> I can tell, judging by how early you've arrived. But you're actually right. You're dressed as a maid because you're Linny's assistant? No, we are dressed as a maid because we might meet Neviet today. Which means now is the perfect chance for us to take you to the best seats in the house. Or Clarind, or Risley. Three chances. The house has assigned seating, so you always have to make reservations. Or Arlecchino, four I chances. I've already reserved your seats, and here are your tickets. Ooh, front row seats! Thanks. Don't mention it. There's no need to keep thanking me. Hey, Lenny, could you come over here and take a <laughs> look at this? This guy's such an NPC voice. Oh, hey, right Lenny, can you come over here? With the stage props over there. That's Cowl. That's cow yeah, we'll just go to our seats. Go ahead, hey, Lenny. <laughs> can I sit here? Ooh, I can. Nice. This place is cool. I haven't been here before. What? How have you not been here? Fontaine's been out for two weeks and you... Sorry. This place is pretty cool, though. I like it. Fucking theater. There's the law. Oh, you can sit here, too. Wait, this is kind of sick. Should record a fucking intro here. Oh, these should be our seats. Oh god. I feel like we're That's not Ayato. Uh... That has to be him. Hey, traveler. Maybe we should strike up a conversation with the person next to us. Excuse me. I did not realize you felt awkward. I, I don't feel awkward. I actually, I was just nervous. I would like to get to, to chat with you if that is what you would like. That is what I would like. Oh. Hey, my name's Ziox. Uh, so what's up? I so I come here. Uh, I'm new here. Uh, I'm like a traveler. We're like exploring, right? We're looking for our lost brother, but. Now that I found you, are, I no longer feel lost. Mr. Linny I like his drip. Like my friend, I would be more okay. than happy to reciprocate. Um. Okay. First, let's dri okay drip right. Al uh, I almost called him Alhytham. Whatever. Hydra Alhytham. Uh. Okay. His chin is a little too pointy. I don't know why, but I like his overall face. I like his hair. I like the weird, the blue in it. Okay. Uh. His shoulder pads very cool. His like uh 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 the 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 what is it called the 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 the, the like bib whatever this is called. I like it. I like the suit. I like the outfit. So far, so good. I like the hydro droplet. Oh, so you're not why is it, why is this fucking Jean Quasi? I like his gloves. I like him. Wood. Ah, uh, Paimon nearly forgot to make her introduction. Nice to meet you. Paimon is Paimon, and this is the traveler. We 
just arrived Bro, we have a name. Call me Lumine. Hey, my name is Kakomi Fan. What's it up? It is an honor to meet you too. I have heard of your deeds across I like his land. voice. I like his voice in every language. I remember. We listen to all of them. And as required by proper etiquette, I will also introduce myself. Hello, I, I know. You're Neviet. I, 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 hey, I know! Trust oh, Monsieur Nervillet. What an That's not how you say it, Lenny. Here to see my show. He actually taught me. I was on call with Neviet uh, yesterday. Mr. He taught me how to say it. We were FaceTiming. In fact, an honor for me to see you yeah, he told me. In person. Wait. Hmm? I saw you all chatting just now, but it seems you still don't know who Monsieur Nervillet is. Wait, that's not an edited. It was like never let is justice. That seat is always reserved for Wait, Udix? It wouldn't be too much to say. What the fuck is Udix? Symbol of justice and oh my god, he skipped the lore. Udix is the arch. Sorry, Fontaine's chief justice. Uh, seat is reserved for him. It wouldn't be. Okay, cool. Ooh, uh, Judge in Latin. Oh, I see. You're a law student? Latin's fucking antiquated, dude. Even in law, it sounds... Unless it's like a legal term where you have to say it, it sounds like fucking... Uh, what is the word? It sounds condescending to like... Because you're... Dude, you're representing normal people when you're a lawyer. You're not going to be like just saying Latin words and no one understands except the lawyers who are stroking their own fucking cocks in front of each other being like, Oh, I know so much Latin. Oh, quid pro quo. No offense taken. Being chief justice is merely what I do for Sorry. work. Nearly every person has their usual reserved seat, so I'm not so special, really. And by the way, I should probably let you know, even though I would prefer not to. There's someone sitting up there in the VIP seat. Of course, it's Farina. Of course, she's. Dude, what is she doing? I believe she is trying to give you. Why is she posing? So Wait, where's my phone? Fuck, I left my phone in the bathroom! Flustered. It's fine, I don't need it. Oh my god, what is she doing? <laughs> Read? I'm sorry, I got distracted, I'm sorry. I'll listen. Huh? Oh, it's Farina, the Hydro Archon. <laughs> she sure has a smug and satisfied look on her face. Guess she has no idea that you saw right through her act. Very good. That is for the best. Dude, he's such a Chad. Look at him. More attention. Look at his eyes. Enjoy the show. Huh? So is this what things are like between the Chief Justice and the Hydro Archon? All right. Please wait just a moment longer. I've pretty much finished my preparations, and the performance will start as soon as the audience has made their way to their seats. Yay! The show is finally about Sorry, I was chatting. I'm focused. <laughs> Shut up, Paimon. Let's watch the show. Pause up! Ooh, they're dimming the lights. The show must be starting. Hmm. hmm. Uh, sorry, Paimon will try to stay quiet. <laughs> Did imagine watching a movie with Paimon? Shit, I would fucking. Welcome, one and all, to the Opera Epicles. I am the star of today's show. Yay, Lenny! Lenny. And over here is my sister Lynette, Woo! who will be working as my wonderful assistant. I love you. Sorry. Warm welcome. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I know she may seem to be a little sleepy right now, but that's just a sign that she's nervous. Whatever. Now, some of you may be thinking, two vision holders who can freely manipulate elemental powers performing magic is not true magic at all. So we will let go of our visions. So, I would like to take a moment to assure you that elemental powers will have nothing to do with what you will witness. Uh, on the five out of ten today. starts so far. You could have put your visions in like a bag or something to make it seem more believable, more like performative. All good. Oh, Both never and mind. Never. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Hey, he gave them to someone that's even better. Even better. Ten out of ten. Oh, good point. That's what makes okay. the show real magic. All right, well, watch. No, he's a better showman than me. I'm sorry. Let the show begin. Lynette will now exit the stage to make some preparations. I know you might miss her, but don't worry. She'll be coming right back on stage okay. momentarily. Perhaps in an unexpected way. I'm sure she'll be <laughs> it is showtime. Light soon enough. <laughs> okay. Oh, and before I forget, there's one more thing I should say. We have a you special never guest. Know what can happen in the blink of an eye. That sounds like spoilers. Like, 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 that sounds like we're going to hear that at the end of the a quest. Magician's greatest skill. Okay. 
is making things disappear or appear. The possibilities are endless. <sighs> Boom, cat. I'll pick a card. I'm picking top hat. But this isn't what you came for. My card is top hat. These little tricks, you've seen them all before. So it's time for something truly extraordinary. Don't you think? This one's a little tricky. A bird! Oh, Houdini. It's literally Houdini. You see this water tank. I shall make my sister vanish completely, right before your very eyes. <sighs> Prestige reference? Did Prestige was such a good movie? It's actually quite simple. She'll just turn into air bubbles and float right out of the top. Monka? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. I told them to check all the props carefully. No, nah, he's debating us. He's debating us. With this is planned. On, even air can't escape. An amateur magician would be getting very nervous right around now. <laughs> Luckily, it's me on stage. So let me show you Dribated. what a true virtuoso can do. Oh, not yet. Oh, well, Lynette's dead. Rip. Rip. Rip, Bozo. Uh -huh. Lynette, are you still there? Don't go too far. We don't want to use up all our magic. Hi. I'm back. Uh -huh. <gasps> She's back! Lynette's back! Damn, she's actually amused. Good show. Good show. I was entertained. What a show! You could see easily through his tricks. And that would mean that his skills are still lacking. So true, Naviet. Uh, actually, I can't see you through your clothing. Show happening on stage, rather than getting caught up in trying to see that which has been intentionally. Hidden. True. Fuck the people that are like, ah, I know how you did your magic trick. Fuck those people. True, Naviet. Well said. Uh, guess you're right. I couldn't believe her eyes when Lynette reappeared. Um, Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I'm glad you enjoyed that performance. But our magical journey has only just begun. I've prepared even more astonishing surprises for everyone here. Okay. The magic of transformation and disappearance can go far beyond what you've just seen. I'm sure many of you are thinking that escaping the water tank was impressive. Sorry, I was enough. chatting. I'm focusing. But Lynette is still my assistant okay. after all. In which case, I have ample time to make all necessary preparations. What if Lily just shoots someone? So and then we think it's magic, next, so he gets away with it. I will require the participation of one lucky audience member. Please, if In my game. assistants could bring out the magical boxes now. There are two boxes, and only two boxes. One is here, and one is there in the aisle among the audience. Among the... I guess it wasn't Among Us. Okay, I'm I'll sure stop. Many of our clever audience members have already guessed our next magic trick. <laughs> a swap. Okay. Our lucky audience member and I will each enter a okay. magic box. Yep. After one minute, we will each emerge from the opposite. Sounds box. simple enough. Okay. Now, please, everyone pay very close attention to the box you see here. Don't give okay. me any chance to make a move. Pay attention. Wow. How's he going to do this? 
Hey, do you think this is all magic tricks, or does Lenny have a the lucky audience member will be generated by this random number? It's gonna be us. Is that gonna be us or no villain? Entirely at random. New villain. I don't know who will be chosen to participate. Now then, let's begin. Ah, oh, let me see. Oh, row seven, seat three. Congratulations! Oh, okay, some random dude. You now have the chance Wait, is that the thief? No, no, she was wearing red. I thought she just changed fits, but. Please come forward. My assistant will take you beside the magic box. I'm sorry, it might be a little cramped inside, but no need to feel nervous. That system looks sus. carefully sauce. arranged everything for you to be as comfortable as possible. You don't need to do anything, but no matter what strange things may happen, don't come out of the box. Okay, if sounds simple enough. If the magic is interrupted, who knows where you might end up. You might even find yourself in the Fortress of Meripede. Okay. Oh. <laughs> All right. Before I enter the magic box, there is one more thing I need to ask the audience to do. Could you all give me a countdown? We count, lights like go this. off, everyone panics, 60, our Lakino appears. 59, 58. Just keep counting down. You can go a little faster or slower if you like. 57, 56, 55, 54, 53, 54, 52, 51. 50, 49, 48, 47, 46, 45, 44, 43, 42, 41, 40, 39, 38, 37, 36. Considering your eyes, you still can't be trusted. Let's practice together. Come on, repeat after me. He is restarting the count. 59, 58, 57, 59, 58. 57, right, 50, perfect. Keep it going. 57, right, 56, 55, 54, 53, 51, 50. I am counting in my head. <laughs> I think things are exciting them. here as it is. Merely a okay. Of my All right, I'll hide them. Okay, sure, dude. Do All right. Worry about me. Just enjoy the show. All right, okay. So serious that Paimon thought you might be feeling uncomfortable or something. 40, 39, 38! Mr. Huh? Linny, are you all right in there? Is everything ready? Who the fuck is yes, Garrick? I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm just double checking the direction of the magic. Oh no, something went wrong! We'll Watch. Faster if we get sent to the wrong places. For example, midair right above. Nah, the Linny would never fuck up. Even though he's saying that, Linny doesn't seem nervous. It's either. a part of the show. Bang. Ah, what was that noise? Did you hear it too? Not sure. Anyway, it doesn't seem uh oh. Oh shit, why do we hear a bang? Mr. Linny. I can still hear you moving in there. I seem to have accidentally knocked over a decoration. I'm trying to fix it, but it's pitch black in here. I can't tell left from right. Never uh -oh. mind the decorations. There's no time for that. The show is what's important. No, that's unacceptable. I want my show to be perfect. Don't worry, we still have 20 seconds. Okay. Hear them counting? 19! 18! Uh, it seems things aren't quite going as planned. I apologize. Everybody. He's either debating us? It feels like you're all starting to count faster, but that's all right. I know it can be tiring to do such a long countdown. 10 seconds and change is still plenty of time. Almost there now. Eight. Whew. Swapping two people is harder work than you might think. This is too long of a cutscene to just be Even a meme, a though, so I feel like something's gonna like happen. Because it's been like fucking 20 right minutes. First time. <laughs> hey, wait. Is this the best? Oh, no. One? I can't tell. They both look the same. Inside. Okay, something's happening. Huh? No, that's not it. I'll try again. Seven. Hey, slow down. Six. Honestly. Well, Farina's entertained. Five. What was that? Frida's kind of cute. Like a, like a people happy cute. <gasps> he did it! Oh my god, it's Lenny! Oh my god! Oh my god, 
it's showtime! <laughs> That's part of the show! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Minus one NPC. Huh? Is this part of the show? Mr. Lenny, you're going to use magic to fix the stage now, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. What happened? Oh, no. Maybe this isn't part of the show. The girl was still in that box, right? This performance is over. Medical staff with me. Guards, secure the scene and detain all the performers. Seal the exits. No one is allowed in or out at this time. Okay. <laughs> I'm actually... Can yes, you seal me up too? Right. I'm sorry. I, if this I know was I wasn't... just an accident, then we must investigate the cause. But if this was all part of some scheme, then... Then those accountable will not escape the judgment <laughs> Why did Farina have to say that? <laughs> no need to be so true, Farina. We'll get to the bottom of this soon enough. Okay. The guards, okay. Unfortunately, the person who is in the magic box has been pronounced dead. His name was Cowell, one of the assistants no, in the magic troop. Apparently, the fireworks on stage ignited the ropes that were suspending the water tank. Sad. Then caused the tank to fall onto the stage. What did Cowell do, man? We are still not sure why Lenny we killed found Cowell. Cowell in the box rather than the guest from the audience. And after an initial search of the area, the guards have confirmed that the girl is nowhere to be found. Minus it two. It appears that this incident was not merely some mishap with the performance. And there are many indications that it is connected with the case of the serial disappearances. Of huh, it's almost as if I could tell. The, the serial disappearances case? <gasps> That's the case that Charlotte mentioned before. <laughs> I know. I know the truth. I okay, can see yeah. through the whole thing. Really, using such a shallow and obvious mystery as his finale. Did he really underestimate us that much? She figured it out. Good job, Farina. I say that our powerful magician, Mr. Linny, is now the prime suspect for the serial disappearance. Wait, is case. sus short for suspect? Oh, no, it's probably suspicious. Never mind. Huh? Why me? This whole thing was an accident. No. <laughs> This all occurred during your magic show, did it not? The missing girl disappeared after being chosen, did she not? True! The deceased is one of your assistants. True! Three for three, Farina. Think about it. That whole speech about paid. magicians making things disappear was nothing more than a provocation, a bald-faced challenge. Sure. Four for four, I guess. Save discussion for a later time, please. Lady Farina, may I assume that your comments just now constitute an accusation Ooh. against Mr. Linney and his associates, and that you are pressing charges? Huh? I just think that... Oh, she's just being goofy. Well, I think it might be a little... <laughs> she's so fucking... I can't. <laughs> but with Lady so Farina stupid, said, dude. This now makes perfect sense. Looks like she's gonna personally deliver justice. She's just goofing around. She's just being goofy. Murder carried out under the cover of a magic show. Lady Farina said it all. <laughs> uh, I mean, of course, my dear people. But what excites me even more than the obvious truth before our eyes is the opponent I'll be. The facing. gaslight archon. That's right. I mean, you, traveler. You'll support Lenny, won't you? After all, he Why do I have to do in this? As a child, I was taught to pick my battles. If, if there's something happening over there, it's not my problem. Don't fucking put me in this. I don't know Lenny like that. We met like an hour ago. <laughs> then there's no problem at all. You know, the Traveler and I already had a duel the first time we met. 
and I won. But with Linny's help, our little duel ended in a draw. <laughs> but draws really are the most boring possible True. outcome. So no more draws. Between the two of us, there must be a clear winner and loser. And what better place to hold such a riveting showdown and decide the true victor than here on the grand Bro, we literally stages. fought Raiden. Why are you trying to fight us? Huh. It wasn't a draw. She obviously lost last time. I understand. Charges have now been pressed. We killed and fucking Skara's mech with a dull blade. Well, traveler, seems Lady Farina has set you in her sights. But putting her dramatic rhetoric aside for a moment, I would like to ask you. Ask me anything. My, I'm you all yours. Act as Mr. Linny's attorney and defend no. him. No, no. Why is there a no option? Why the fuck would I defend Linny? Look, I like Linny. No, no. I feel typing Zox is my lawyer aware. <laughs> the RO look at my lawyer. We're going to jail. Skull, okay. Skull, well, skull, sure. Skull. I guess. Fuck it. I'll be a lawyer. The trial will be held a day from now in the Opera House. Okay, go. Both sides may investigate the scene to build their cases and search for the truth. Wait, this literally is Danganronpa. Alright, well, it's okay. I've been playing. I'm ready. Linny and his troop are all potential suspects and shall remain within the Opera House. The audience may begin to leave in an orderly fashion once they have been cleared by the guards. A day isn't that long. Let's see what kind of case this big shot outlander can build. Yo, yo, why are you call me a big shot? I didn't say anything. You involved me in the I was just watching the show, eating my popcorn, and now I'm in the middle of this. Stuck in the middle. I Everyone is uh, dismissed and the audience begins to leave, along with Farina and Neviet. Okay. Okay, I... I'll, if if I'm Lumine here, I'm like Linny. What the fuck is wrong with you? Why am I in the middle of this? Were you frightened? What do you mean were you frightened? You killed two people. Who wouldn't be scared after witnessing an accident like that? Yeah, I'm a little shaken up myself. How could this happen? No, he didn't. Well, someone did. I know you already claimed that you would defend me, but now it's just us talking. Tell me, do you think I could possibly be the murderer? Okay. In all honesty, you probably didn't kill me. But I know you're connected to Arlequino because I watched the trailer. And you have the fucking little psychopath Hisoka teardrop on your fucking face. So I don't know if I can trust you. No disrespect. I like you, but I'm just saying, be honest with me. What happened over there? Just talk to me and we can figure this out together. Here. Thank you so much for trusting me. I'm sure everyone sees me as the biggest suspect at this point. But... If you ask me, the whole thing is mysteries layered upon mysteries, such that all that's left is confusion. I don't know whether what happened there on the stage was purely an accident or not, and I don't know why poor Cal was in the box. Yeah, who the fuck put Cal in the box? How that girl chosen from the audience could suddenly disappear. Someone yoinked the girl, the kidnapped, because they're like doing a if kidnapping thing. I don't know why, but whoever it is, probably a fucking Fatui, or like, you know, who knows, kidnapped her, and then fucking like chucked Cowl in there. Poor Cowl, now Cowl's dead. Wait, everyone with a mask dies. It's like the fucking Inazuma mask, aware. Now there's the fuck, we saw another dude with a mask. I was going to compare him to her, but I forgot her name, so I didn't. And then he died too. Wait, Shao. Oh no. Oh no. Shao, no, lose the mask, no, lose the mask, Shao. That's precisely why we need to investigate. As this book says, <clears throat> the impossible could not have happened. Whatever happened must have been that which is possible. What the fuck? I'm a bottom when we were reading at the bookshop in the city earlier. Pretty cool, huh? Don't worry, Paimon used her own savings to buy them. Okay, it's actually, it's actually not bad. She actually looks better I now. I think they look cute on you, Paimon. True, Lynette. You have good taste, Lynette. <laughs> <laughs> That's the right attitude. Feeling depressed isn't going to help me now. Bro, I need to get back okay, to no way, okay, okay, I get it, like, oh, let's not grieve, you know, there's no point in just being sad all the time, I get it, but your assistant died, like, Two minutes ago. You can... This does not feel sincere. It's been like two minutes. But with the guards watching our every move, it's going Literally, to be... Literally, you didn't have time... Ah, uh, okay. ...to prove our own innocence. 
Good thing you agreed to be our attorneys. <laughs> this guy's like, man, that sucks. Thanks for that. Anyways, no time to be sad. Yes, thank you so much. I won't let you down, Lynette. Yeah, just leave it to us. Oh, uh, since we're going to start investigating, Paimon has a question first. Where did Lynette go during the performance? Oh, well... I'm afraid that would involve some of our essential trade secrets as magicians. Bro, I'm your lawyer. Just tell me. We literally have a legally binding contract. I can't tell anyone. I suppose Just fucking right. tell me. Oh, he's going to tell us. The truth behind our tricks is going to be important evidence that will be weighted during the trial. True. <sighs> Tis truly a pity. As a magician, our magic show is a work of art. We've poured countless hours and spared no effort in perfecting it. But if revealing our secrets will help you uncover the truth behind what happened, then it will be well worth it. We should go somewhere else if we're going to discuss Dude, I thought this was like a, a lighting thing in game, but and in the meantime, I've noticed that because my monitor is on like Valorant color settings, it makes all my characters look like they have red skin in cutscenes, which is really weird. Like, it looks like they're like all sunburnt. But like, because when I put Genshin on my second monitor, it looks normal. But, no. Oh. Going. Ah, uh, I see. You must be the traveler that Lady Farina okay. mentioned. Huh? Come with me and you'll see. The deceased is one of Linny's assistants. I guess I should listen. I'll listen. Even though he hadn't joined the troop long, he was hard working. And can I unique chat because it kind of dies of cringe? Yeah, you can. I trust you, mods. Do whatever you got to do. Setting up and inspecting the props, as well as assisting with the show and keeping the crowd engaged. As you probably saw when you were in the audience, the water tank suddenly fell and smashed the box. Wait a second. Howled inside it. Just a question regarding safety uh, regulations and etiquette um, to my client, Lenny. Why don't you just put the water box? Because you're not going to use it anymore. Why don't you just put the water box like over there and then the magic box here? So then even if it falls, it doesn't. Why are you putting it under the like? Is there a reason why it's above, like, I... all good. This is the real mystery. We've what the fuck? We've already searched the scene and we're unable to find any traces of the girl. What is that? However, if you look carefully, the box was positioned directly under the water tank. The ropes holding the tank were then burned by the pyrotechnics on stage, causing them to snap. All these factors lining up so perfectly makes it hard to see this as a mere accident. If anything, the more logical explanation is that the whole incident was intentionally planned. Intentionally and planned. The most likely person to have access to all these areas. But he doesn't have a motive. Unless. Are you both good friends of his? We just met him. Well, you can't say we're good friends. So in just a short time, he was not only able to win your trust, but he yeah, this guy's making a lot of good points right now. Attorneys. I know there's no such thing as magic. The real trick of a magician is holding the audience in the palm of their hand. You know, this guy's I've making some good points. a lot of cases. And I can tell you that people are the least reliable kind of evidence. Sorry, I tend to be pretty straightforward. Anyway, you may investigate the scene of the crime yourselves if you're curious. Who knows, maybe you'll be able to come up with some new evidence. This guy looks like Komemos? Wait, does he? Wait, let me look at him. Case record, okay. Perception skill, okay. okay. I should probably read these. Uh, this is one of Linny's assistants named Cowell. It uh, doesn't matter. Wait, where was he? Oh, I want to look at him. Wait, does he actually look like Kamemos? Let me look at him. Go ahead. Okay, no he doesn't. Around. In the end, we're both after the truth. He doesn't. He doesn't. Chill. He doesn't. He doesn't. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, examine the magic box. The broken magic box. Was Wait, we need some detective music. One sec, chat. All right. The broken magic box was left on the scene after the guards completed their investigation. It's loud? No, it's fine. Okay. Uh, let me press E. Whoa! Hmm. So come on the white lines. This is where the magic box was struck. If Cowell wasn't inside the box, he might have dodged it. What's up, 
Quentin? Is that Tarantino's name? The investigation team has some new findings. Turns out there's an issue with the random number selector after all. See, told you. What if the machine like some big guy suffer? Do you think a murderer would have still made his move then? Number selector. You're trying to help them? <laughs> That'll be a tall okay, it's a little loud. It's louder than the fucking game. <laughs> I'm sorry. Lenny used the machine to pick a random member of the audience during his performance, right? A lucky girl that later disappeared. Well, we thought there might be a serious problem with the machine, so we had it taken away for further inspection. It turns out the seat number it picked wasn't random at all. The machine picks that same number every time. Thanks here. Sure Hello, thing. You know that you have to make a reservation in advance to get a seat, regardless of whether it's a trial or some performance. In other words, Linny knew who would be sitting where from the very beginning. You know that is pretty damning evidence. But what if Linny just didn't know? Oh, never mind. Linny reserved our seats for us. Hmm. Interesting. I was saying it'd be tough to make a case. So he knew where everyone would be, is what you're saying? Even. Hmm. It was someone tampered with it. Okay. Okay. You know, that is a pretty, that is some pretty damning evidence. Let me look uh, over here. So this is the rope that broke and caused the water tank to fall. Meow right now. Hmm. 100 gifted. The rope looks pretty durable. How can it be burned through so quickly by fireworks? Hmm? Why are you suddenly so serious, Traveler? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, look, this bit is made from different material. Most of it was burned away, but there's still a little bit of it left. It seems to be flammable. So if a rope meant to hold something was made with that kind of material Just in it, man. then I'm not this is the yeah, just check the Monokuma file, true. It'll tell us how he died. Special the Rose is the water tank is something burned the fire is being allowed to see the visitor the location of the rose is not made of the material. Oh, so not all of the rope, just where it snapped. Well, maybe all of the rope, but it says the location. Hmm, that is interesting. Okay. Let's talk to this guy. What up, Maurice? Hello there. What are you investigating? Okay, I'm gonna pause the music. Oh. This location has also been cordoned off because the Magic Troop members are currently considered prime suspects. The investigation team is still collecting evidence. Okay. The seats were all booked in advance, so we were able to deduce... The hey, can you tell us who the woman is? Checking. Sure. It's not like this is confidential. In Her name is Halsey. Halsey. She's a painter from Fontaine who's made a bit of a name for herself. Okay. Apparently, she wasn't a regular at the Opera House. But she'd been feeling some pressure with her work lately, which made her decide to come see the magic, wow, troop. The magic troop members all claim not to know her. We have looked into her social connections. It seems that she has no personal grievances or conflicts of interest with the suspects. Yep. Simply put, she wasn't related to the magic troop at all, which matches the features of the previous serial disappearances. Hmm. Were the victims of previous cases also chosen at random? That's how it seems to us, in any case. Apart from the fact that they were all young women of a... <sighs> Young women of around the same age range. So formal. If you do happen to see the missing girl, please be sure to contact us. It is of utmost importance that we get to the bottom of these disappearances. How's this missing person? She's a famous painter and she came to watch the show in order to take a break from her work. Damn. Okay, well that is uh okay, that's a clue. What up, Esseldor? I see that you're investigating the area. Well, it just so happens that I'm interested too. Okay, no one cares. New and interesting <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're I'm not sure gonna to help in the case. Me, right? Five gifted says this guy does not actually help. I have too many thoughts yet. <laughs> then why don't I tell you my hypothesis first? The thud? Oh, you mean the sound that happened during the countdown? Yes, exactly. It wasn't terribly loud, but I suspect that most people heard it. Okay, there was a thud. Everyone was awaiting the results of Linny's trick with bated breath, so no one paid it much mind. I paid much mind. Hmm, that 
makes sense. I'm of the opinion that it may have been the sound of Linny's accomplice. Lynette, perhaps. Jumping atop the water tank, or something like that. And when the pyrotechnics went off, she cut the rope, sending the water tank crashing down. But wasn't the noise we heard too loud for that? Perhaps the balance wasn't right, leading to a particularly rough landing. Yeah, when I jump on something, it does a... True. Oh, that's true. Hmm. Fucking idiot, bro. That does remind Paimon, though. The only what thing this guy said was, down? yeah, remember the bang sound. I mean, true, but his whole guess was dog shit. If I had abilities, I would use them on him. What's what weapon am I using? Wait, does it keep my weapon? Oh, it does. Uh, what should we equip her with? Dull blade is too lore accurate. We need something funny. There you go. Pog. Magic box. Looks like an ordinary box, but Linny moved instantly from the stage. How did he do it? What if there's a trap door? No, but it was like two seconds. He wouldn't have time. What if there's two Linnies? He has a twin brother! The Prestige! Sorry. If I spoiled a 20-year-old movie for you guys, I'm sorry. I know uh, Yeah, no, no leaks, no leaks. We'll see. That'd actually be Pog, though. What up, Molly? Should I talk to these people? E. Yes, I should. Hey, Molly. When he's still talking to the guards, it seems he'll have a lot of explaining to do. I think someone will be assigned to monitor us later, but that's all right. I was going to watch that. There's a lot more to it. Don't worry. It's still worth. I'm sorry. Okay, it is 20 years old, though. But uh, yeah, it is. Bro is 10%, 15% done after two hours. Shut the fuck up, okay? We are literally about to be done. We're speed running. Wait, where the fuck is this clue? Oh, it's, I think it's over here, right? Yeah. Posture check? Um, my posture's not bad right now. Hey, you. Is it? Yes, both of you. Over here. What the fuck? I've been keeping an eye on you for a while now. Hey, Navia. Huh? You mean us? That's right. If I'm not mistaken, I'm all... also among those who wish to cut down the thorns and pursue the truth. No. And by the looks of it, you're not from Fontaine. Well, you're right on the more about that one, but who are you? Why is she with the Secret Service? Oh my! <laughs> Have you never heard of the Spina di Rosula? No. From mediating disputes and providing protection to solving conundrums, you name it, Spina di Rosula does it. And I, Navia, have the honor of being its renowned president. Okay, I mean, she's cool. So those who play by our rules call me boss. Hey, boss. I'm Silver, her attendant. Pleased to meet you. Uh, no one asked. And I'm Melus. The Moiselle's various daily needs and affairs I like this guy. are under my purview. Huh? Boss? <clears throat> well, I am the second generation president. My apologies, I didn't mean to skip. Demoiselle. Should you prefer, boss, I will endeavor to... No, no need. You don't have to call me boss. Just Navia is fine. Okay, Navia. Okay, if you say so. Not that we're members of Spina di Rasula anyway. <laughs> All merely trifling details. Never mind. Now, back to the situation at hand. That's right. I've always kept an eye on the serial disappearance cases. My interest stems from a matter back from my father's time. Judging from the look of things, I find Linny an unlikely mastermind. We what does everyone like silver? So too. That's why we're looking for clues now. But... How did you come to that conclusion? Intuition, naturally. My unparalleled intuition. Wow. Farina sure was quick to point the finger at Linny without any decisive evidence whatsoever. Yeah, she's just silly like that. Don't worry about her. She's just pretty goofy. Yeah, that's, that's not uncommon for her. If you remember, the justice had to interrupt her and ask if she was pressing charges just to keep her from getting carried away. Anyway, a trial begins the moment someone levels charges. And, of course, there was no way Farina was going to back down in that situation. Sounds more like you just don't trust the Hydro Archon. Well, what's your opinion? 
I must admit that she can be interesting at times. But liking her doesn't mean that I'll yeah, she's just goofy. agree with her. All right, I've answered your question. Now, it's time you answer mine. Wait a minute, did that answer count? Well, I say it does. But don't worry, you won't hear any pointless questions from me. In your opinion, do you think it's right to treat a trial like it's an opera? Um... Well... So there is more Jigeka than entire Knights be? of Favonius and my lip combined. Dude, she's just a live streamer. You know the people that like, they'll have like a... like. A, <laughs> you know the people that will like stream their like relationship problems for views? It's literally Farina. She just does that for trials. They're like, oh, there's drama in my life. Let me stream it. And then they turn the live stream on and they're like, wow, my girlfriend, I cheated on her. And then they talk about it because they're fucking weird. And then that's like a whole thing. And then they make videos on it. That's Farina. But I'm, I like Farina. She's just a live streamer. I told you they'd be different. Most astute of you, demoiselle. I too think that the traveler's response was most excellent. No matter how wonderful the script or how fervent the audience's expectations may be, the trials that go on stage here must be based in fact. Then if that can be done, boss, then... All right, that's quite enough, Malouse. Anyway, I like your answer. You pass with flying colors. Now, I feel like Farina... Preparations, following which our joint investigation shall commence. I feel like Farina's a very... ...shall be my assistant. Wait! Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, well, I can be the assistant. Sure. Or your companion, if you like. I'm really not fussy. that fussy. Oh, never mind. That's more like it. Far be it from me to brag, but I believe that Demoiselle's intuition will be instrumental in uncup. You wish to save a friend <laughs> from false accusations, and we wish to unravel the disappearances. Hmm. You have a point. You have a point. Huh. You're quite... I wonder yeah, what's up, Silver? You got on your mind. Okay, the, the shades are growing on me. I have nothing to add. Okay. Oh, alrighty then. Thanks, man. We'll be making some preparations first. Uh, just be sure to let us know if they start revealing Lenny's tricks. She has the same hair as Branya. Thanks. Okay. So Navi's just fucking chilling here. That's pretty cool. I like her hat. I actually like her hat a lot. I feel like Farina, so far, very interesting character. Which makes her, make me like her, which make, fuck. Which makes me like her as a character, but I feel like if she was like real, she'd be annoying as fuck. Does that make sense? Like, if that was really how courts were decided, I'd be like, dude, what the fuck is this garbage? But because it's a game, I'm like, okay, that's pretty funny. If you wish to leave, you must register your identity with us So like, I like her in Genshin, but if she was like real, I'd be like, ah, this is kinda, <laughs> yeah, I don't know how I feel about her. Not to spoil, but Silver is Xiangling of Fontaintru au par excelle yes. After the Chief Justice gave the order, everyone coming in or out must undergo a strict inspection. So, the missing girl couldn't have left from here. At least, not from that point on. She's like, I'll hide them. You'd be able to stand her IRL? No, I'll hide them like. He's pretty like. Like, he's kind of like socially doesn't give a fuck, but he's like. I feel like he's like smart. Like I feel like he has like good qualities. I'm not saying Frina doesn't. I'm saying she like she would she would make her whole nation's court system do like just like a theater show for fun because she's silly and goofy, which I like as a Genshin player. I'm like, hey, this is cool. But if that was like my real Archon in real life and that's how my courts were, I'd be like, eh. I doubt there was much opportunity then either. Be so sure, hmm? Well, because I was in charge of security near the entrance at that time, I couldn't see Linny's performance from here, which was quite a shame. Just my but still, I could not abandon my post, and I stayed put no matter how loud the applause was. If someone had so much as even approached the door, I would have noticed it. Let alone if they had tried to Okay, so leave. no one could have left or maybe entered? Is that what that means? It's safe to say the or maybe enter. I don't know if she talked about entered, but no one could have left. No one left. Well, it didn't mention if someone entered, but it says no one left. Okay. Alright, let's go talk to Linny. Hmm. 
Wait, is he? No, he's up. Wait, is he down? No. Wait, we know how magic is made. When Lynette ults, she's like, magic starto. And then she magics all over it. She's like, magic, and then magics. I'd pull a rose out of my hat as a gift for you if I could. You may spare the pleasantries. I'm just doing my job. Nice. You've arrived. Uh, who's this? Me? <laughs> I'm Spina de Rosula's guardian angel. If you've got a problem, I've got the firepower. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little carried away there. Okay. Hey, Navia. Call me Navia. I'm a partner of theirs, and we'll be helping invest. Yeah, we're home. friends. We're close like that. I'm, I'm friends with her. No big deal. Me and Navia, like, we go way back. It's no big deal. Oh, new helpers? I would be most grateful. Well, let's just say we're tagging along. It's not every day you get to see the secrets behind magic performed on such a large scale. I like her eyes. It's like a star. Okay. I appreciate your kind interest. Dude, Come her eyes. Me. Okay. We'll I don't know if I'm stage. brain rotted from Genshin, but Lynette's eyes literally look like the spiral abyss. Like when you click on like the floor nine and it shows like the, the purple circle. It literally, I can't stop seeing that. Yes. Oh, but before oh, I didn't mean to skip that. Whatever. You should have a look first. Notice anything strange here? Look, it's literally fucking spiral of this. I'm not trying to be dramatic. Remembering the details of a trick will help you understand the methods used to perform it more easily. Huh. Weren't there balloons and other decorations here? Where did that is true. Go? Where are the balloons? Ah, good eye. That said, you're still far from discovering the answer. Hmm, back of the door is not the same. The back? You mean the inside of the door? <laughs> Very good indeed. I thought you might not be able to catch that, given that the back of this door was patterned. Whoa, whoa, why is it Those like... patterns are now gone, replaced oh, the by flashback, a smooth maybe? wooden board. So, if you put two and two together, what do you get? There's another box inside of the box. <laughs> exactly. All right, let's go. I'll... <laughs> four. Yes, two and two together is four. Oh, so there was Wait, I literally called that there's a trap door under, but that still doesn't explain how he would TP within two, like two seconds, because there's no way he would run all there. Therefore, he has another twin brother. True. <laughs> I knew you'd figure out most of it as soon as you saw this place. I literally called it, but there's no way he does all this. Oh, he used the waypoint. Fuck, he has a portable waypoint. Of course. See this the box with the lucky audience member in it. Mm, but the loading screen. The other side using the How trailer. fast is his PC? Because what if he got stuck on the geo symbol? Ensuring that the box is in the right direction. I see. So that's the purpose of the box inside mm. another box. Yep. Precisely. The inner box would descend after the audience member was put inside and be moved along the trolley. All while the outer box would remain on stage as if nothing had ever changed. So that's how you did it! Once the box was lowered, the trolley would store some energy through this device here, with which it would complete the rest of the steps. The audience member would only be able to feel some slight movements in the dark, and by the time she walked out, she would already be back on stage. Okay, what about you? Right. You were talking that whole time. Ah, yes. A phonograph operated by Lynette was used to achieve that effect. Wait, you literally stepped out of the box, though. My assistant and I had already scripted our conversation beforehand. When the countdown began, I had already gone to the opposite box via a tunnel using that ladder. And what about Lynette? Where was she? I was in the mezzanine space in the back of the box. Oh. That's how we were able to coordinate Lenny's lines with the assistant. And by the I way, love Layla. I was the one who walked out of the box at the end. I mean, we are twins. All it takes is a change of clothes and no one can tell who's who. <laughs> Bro, you have a mark. All good. Also, she has cat ears, but I guess you can wear a hat over it. True. Okay, fair enough, I guess. And that's my favorite part of this trick. Only Lynette and I can perform it. Wait, so they literally just... 
Lynette would briefly walk out of the box and then go back in, jumping into the tunnel and escaping before the box. Okay, whoever designed this quest literally watched The Prestige. I'm not even fucking kidding. Go watch the movie and tell me. And the trick uh, I mean, I, I like the movie, so it's not like a bad thing, but. Word here being wood. But as you saw, Cal was in the box, not our audience member. She, on the other hand, mysteriously vanished. We really don't know how that happened. If not for that interlude, this would have been an astonishing trick. I probably never would have figured out how you pulled it off. And yet, to think that someone was able to use this magic trick to commit a crime. Could we have a look around? I think we can come up with some more leads. This is the scene of the crime. So Linny and Lynette are not permitted to stay here. I'll escort them back up. Yes, of course. No need to be so strict now. I won't disappear into thin air, you know. Suspicious. Thanks, everyone. We're counting on you. By using a box out of the box, the idea was for the box containing the audience member to be transported across via a tunnel underneath, and Linny would use this tunnel to go to the other side. Meanwhile, having her change her outfit, Lynette and her sister would cha take charge of onstage interactions. Sorry. I still don't have my phone. I mean, I don't need it, but... Uh, let's examine the clothing. Oh, Yo, these are the clothes question. that the lady Do chosen like from the audience is wearing, right? Her clothes are here. But she's nowhere to be found. Wait, what? Right. And do you really need to do that if you're kidnapping them? Ugh, this is so confusing. Hana doesn't want to be a detective anymore. The fuck? They're just yoinked their clothes? Sus. What's this? Looks like a hook tied to It's Roadhog from Overwatch. He, he has the fisherman skin on, Ice Fisherman, which you could buy during uh winter, and then it could Perhaps it was a prop for a different trick. But why would it have been left here? Whatever it is, let's make Let's make the limit work. That could be Paimon, I think. Vase. The floor is wet. Please be careful not to slip. Speaking of which, why would there be water here? Oh, Hyman knows! It's one and here's a broken vase! Huh. Uh, that can't be. Trolley moves along tracks from start to finish. It couldn't have hit the vase at this distance. Hmm. Let's note this down too. Vase with water? Got hit. Okay. Alright. Um, I'm happy that it shows a check mark over the ones that you already did because uh, in Danganronpa it doesn't and I get, I'm too fucking stupid to remember so I keep going over the same clue like 50 times before finding the new one. A lot is required in order to return to the magic box above. Okay. Cool. High precision is required. Okay, is that it? I think so. Unless I'm missing one. Let me just look one more time. It looks like that is... Oh, unless there's some here. I didn't really check here. Okay, there's... <laughs> okay, well, there's a lot more. Storage boxes. All kinds of props and costumes are haphazardly stuffed inside. Okay. What about here? Examine the trolley. Trolley is crucial trust with the magic box outside. Okay. Uh-oh. What is this place? A vent! It seems someone could fit through here. Huh. Could this have been the suspect's escape route? Mm, alone, perhaps. They had to pull. Wait, there are no other ways in or out of here. Oh, you're right. Let Paimon write 
Yeah, the magic boxes. Okay. Okay. There's a tunnel vent. Noted. Now we can get out of here. Yes. Let's head back up. I like it. Fuck. Okay, let me out. Bro, let me out. Can I not climb the fucking... Does it go to the other ladder? Okay, whatever. Haha, <laughs> there's two ladders, but only one works. <laughs> <laughs> this quest to Danganronpa or Ace Attorney says a lot about them as a person. Oh, I just haven't played Ace Attorney. I played Danganronpa though. Not all of them, but so I don't know which one it would be more like. I just know that this well, is like. We've ascertained yeah. the state of the crime scene. Let's find a place to sort out our findings once Malus returns. Who the fuck is Malus? Me, oh, the old dude. There are several things that don't add up here. Him. Apologies for the wait, Demoiselle. Oh, apologies for so, the wait. What did the guards say? Did the I am Malus. The I'm fucking British. I've got to take a shit, bruv. Okay. The guards have checked the area carefully. No one left through the basement during the performance or after the incident, and no one was found hiding there. So the tunnels become like a secret chamber, then. You know, like the kind you usually see in novels. Hmm. Plot begins. Halsey's disappearance. And Cowell's death. Scarlet and Vadim. Shine a fiat panda. Those who know. No wonder Farina was so confident in her act. In other words, the charges are very likely to be upheld unless we make some considerable progress. Charges and then trial. So okay. if the charges are upheld, they'll announce a sentence. That's right. This is how a trial goes in the Opera House. During the proceedings, the Chief Justice and the Oratrice will hear statements from both sides. Dude, silver does not look like code. I'm sorry. I guess like the hair color maybe, but the rest does not look like him. That's right. This is how code looks like. Uh, okay, the one Fatui member that I don't know his name because I always call him Okay Code looks like Okay Pantalone looks like Okay Code. The other ones don't. The audience's emotions will all be projected on the oratrice. To put it simply, it's as if the oratrice has its own will and is a judge in its own right. This also precludes any kind of favoritism on the part of the Chief Justice. And not that this has ever happened anyway. Once both sides have finished speaking, the Chief Justice will make his final decision. Then, Kay. finally, the Oratrice will be consulted by officials. The result it returns is the will of justice itself. Huh? So that machine is the one that actually decides? In practice, there is very little difference. Both have always come to the same oh there's no juge dissident in this uh uh where like you can have like justice. dissident judges that write their opinions a lot of them they do a lot of them they'll be like five judges agree and then one's like some random idiot who's like oh actually and then they'll write like an essay of why he doesn't agree and then it, like no one cares and no one ever cites it but sometimes it's informative and sometimes it's cool but here's what it is because we've chosen to act as the twins proxies that makes us persons relate. <sighs> They're concerned that we might be colluding with outside parties. Or that we might find outside help to disrupt the case. And even if that were not so, it could prove problematic if we happen to spread key information about the case ahead of time. I'm ready to break out at any time. Whoa, whoa, there's no need for that. Paimon thinks they have a point. That said, are they providing food? Of course. I just hope you don't mind the... Lack of options. I'm it's fine. Let's just sort out our fine together. Pity I was hoping. Okay, I was rather right, right, okay. And over some tea and sweets. Huh. Breaking out suddenly doesn't seem just kidding. Just kidding. Paima will still do her best, even if there are no snacks. Hmm? What do you mean, no snacks? Of course, we'll have snacks. If we cannot buy some, then we'll simply make some. Okay, chat, respectfully, and I mean this with literally the Understood most respect possible. Everyone genuinely, like genuinely respectfully. I just now noticed. How do I say this nicely? I noticed Navia's thighs. I just wanted to mention it in case you're like, oh, I love Navia. I just want to mention it. No, notice, like respectfully. Uh, uh, compliments to the artists. That's all I'm saying. I have eggs, sugar, and almonds at the ready. Cool. <laughs> Good work, you two. Then I'll get to it. Please sit tight for a moment. You'll get to taste my awesome snacks soon enough. These three are quite the interesting group. 
Navia methodically handles the ingredients and pulls fresh macaroons out of the. She made us macaroons. Ryan can't do that. Ryan would have burnt the fucking high house down. Dude, macaroons are so good. Macaron, not macaroon. Shut the fuck up. No one asked you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was applauding. And I was giving encouraging smile. I was just thinking. Aren't you worried about getting your fancy dress dirty, beating egg whites, and baking like this? Well, I don't think it's carved in stone anywhere that fancy ladies can only read books, sip tea, ride horses, True. and play the piano. True. I just really enjoy making snacks. Don't underestimate beating egg weights, by the way. It's a real arm workout. True. You also need to beat them to just the right consistency, or your macarons will crack. Anyway, give these a try. Fresh out of the oven. There's three for each of us. Only three. Well... Too it's actually better to hand whisk your egg whites or uh, your whipped cream because it leaves more like air pockets in it whereas uh, a mechanical electric blender will actually like do it too fast and there'll be no more air in it it'll be less fluffy true and uh, uh taylor swift whatever her name is navia she knows that fragrance that clears the mind and lifts the spirit no need for concern i all right then down to business as Paimon mentioned previously, the tunnel seems to be something of a secret chamber. However, we can assume that Linny and Lynette were not alone within it. Some criminals also the two years. occupied its sealed confines. The magician twins could have committed the crimes, of course, but they lack any logical motive. Exactly. It's funny because the real Taylor Swift likes baking them out. Yeah, uh, the one time, yeah, yeah, yeah. Last time uh, I hung out with Taylor, she actually made me some snacks because she's like, "Yo, you're a big inspiration of mine." No big deal, but yeah, I knew that too. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, uh, apart from the twins, we're left with two other people: the missing girl and the deceased. True. The flower vase and the thud we heard during the performance could indicate some yeah. altercation between Halsey and the criminal in the tunnel, resulting in the <laughs> shattering of the vase, the discarding of her clothes, and her abduction. Perhaps the criminal thought that since she was chosen from the crowd, she would be too easy to identify if she was still wearing the same clothes. Paimon thinks that makes sense, but the real trouble is... There's no person, there's no evidence that this third person even exists. True. None of the clues we found thus far support the existence of this third person, but the only people left to consider are both technically victims. Whether it's a missing girl... <gasps> Cowell isn't actually dead! Oh, and he kidnapped! <gasps> Could Halsey have secretly made modifications to the magic props in order to murder Cowell before making her escape? Uh, that's right. And even if she had tampered with the setup, she would need to understand the entire trick to pull it off. Nor does she have any motive. The guards said that she has never had any dealings with the magic troops' members. <sighs> Were we not thorough enough in our search? From the sound of things, this is turning into a pure macarons are amazing though, Navia. True. Thanks, they Navia. Great. <laughs> they are my specialty after all. What? Five? Oh, that can't be right. Five out of... Please don't worry about it. At my age, a few less sweets might actually be a good thing. Um, no, Pime on no. ate too many. Being greedy is one thing, but Pime knows how to count. That if she ate too many, then others wouldn't have enough. Wait, even you don't believe Paimon? If Paimon ate those two extra Paimon, sh nobody cares about the fucking macaroon. Did you get it? Well, I suppose one of us might have gotten too engrossed in our chat and eaten them by mistake. No, but the loose, set up the stove again if you would. Huh? Making sure everyone gets three macarons, of course. Exactly. We don't want to trouble you. As you wish, demoiselle. And I have the egg Surely this is important to the story. And someone ate two macaroons. Because if not, why would this be a whole ass cutscene? Surely. If this has nothing to do with anything, I'll be pissed. Surely someone ate the Oh, it was a cat. Oh, silly goose. I don't know what we're looking for yet. But we've still got some time. As attorneys, I suggest the two of you think the case over again. It would be awkward if you got all tongue-tied on stage during the trial. Maybe we're just nervous around you. W Riz. Uh, it was nothing. A small task for the Spina di Rosula. Silver, Malus, it's time to go. I'll be back if I find anything new. 
Uh, probably the third person being involved. Neither Cal nor Halsey had a motive, but after talking to Navia, later the third person seems very low. Wait until the following day. Okay. <laughs> I love changing the time. What do we do? The whole situation is so confusing. Is the maid outfit comfy? No, but not at all. Impossible things don't it's tight, happen. so it... we'll get to this okay. one way or another. I'm tall, uh, just but I'm not like even if everyone else suspects Lady like I'm, I'm Lynette, relatively I'm small like like understand. in terms of like like I'm huge I'm fucking massive but like because I'm so tall I have to buy the size for tall people but it also assumes I'm like larger than I am so like for example I kind of have to go in a middle ground where it's like the the thing that's supposed to go to my waist is like here it's like mid like abdominal whereas it's supposed to be like here so it's like higher because I'm taller but 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 and then here it's like tight and then my legs are cold, but it is what it is. All right, Navia doesn't think it's Lenny or Lena either. I was supporting them. Besides, I doubt Farina understands any more about what happens than we do. Then why are you so mean to Farina? She's a fucking Archon, man. Navia. Well, we'll be going then. Best of luck to you. She's Pepega? True. She is. Mars Pony, there's an Alright, what, what's up? Oh, finally, you're back. Well, how did your investigation go? Uh, you're guilty. Honest, you might be disappointed. Hey, it's looking rough for you. We're already very grateful that you were willing to help. Well, now, don't you all look disappointed? Don't tell me that your investigation came up empty handed. That was to be expected, of course. The guilty can never produce proof of their innocence. Dumb. But don't let that stop you. I shall be terribly disappointed should you, my most anticipated foe, concede so easily. Since both parties are present, I declare that the trial regarding the Kaka. magic show incident... Dude, look at his chest! In Firstly, in order for the audience to understand the causes and results of the incident, could we please have Mr. Linney explain? Wait, if Farina's the Archon of Justice, yes, of isn't she like? I will explain while Lynette demonstrates on stage. Okay, not to sound like the cringe people on fucking dead. Twitter, but if Farina's the Archon of Justice, wouldn't she be like, "You're innocent until we prove otherwise"? Why is she like accusing people? Thank you, Mr. Linney. In that case, I take your statement to be that you ran to and remained hidden within. <laughs> The magic she loves the drama. True, I guess. The trick began, and thus could not have committed the crime. Is this correct? Yes, that's correct, Your Honor. Okay. In that case, I call upon the prosecution, Lady Farina. Do you wish to refute his statement in any way? Why, of course I do. <laughs> Why is she so Allow close to the camera? To take the first shot and break this case wide open, Mr. Lenny is clearly lying. Okay. Bold words. I like the pose, though. I do like the pose. There is no way you could have been in the box the whole time if you were to abduct Halsey and murder Cowell. In fact, I'd say you hey. were hardly in that, that. Those are some sentences all. she just said. Hey, okay, okay, That's Farina. Simply your hypothesis based on the presumption that I'm guilty. Okay. Oh, is that so? And what was that split screen transition? Ask, what did you hear while you were inside your box? Good question. The roaring countdown of the crowd, of course. Good answer. That's how I kept track of the time and built anticipation for the finale. And you didn't hear anything else at all? Nothing that might leave an impression of any kind? No, nothing. I what about the bang? But when the count reached 30 seconds or so, there was a thud. One so loud that I believe practically everyone You fell for my trap! Huh? Well, I need the sound effect. Ah, whatever. I won't find it in time. All good. Hey, hang on. Something's not right here. Yeah, Lenny. How can you not know about the sound? Yeah, I'm sure he could have heard a noise that loud from inside the box. I was right by the box and I definitely heard the thud. Dude, so no one asked you, suspicious audience member. You don't even have a fucking name. That's how irrelevant you are. Look at those scales. Could those mean? <laughs> well then, 
then, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to use the words of the magician himself. You never know what can happen in the blink of an eye. Indeed, it seems his alibi can also collapse. Oh no, I was underground, eye. I promise. <laughs> Sorry. Of course, I have armed myself to do far more than smash your alibi. Confidence what? cannot go unfounded, and my foundations are rock solid. Okay. Tell me, aren't you and Lynette actually from the House of the Heart? <laughs> what is this zoom in? The House of the Heart? <laughs> oh yeah, they are Fatui. Ah, see, we knew it. No wonder they did something like this. So the serial disappearances were the Fatui's doing. Now it all makes sense. I've got a feeling that what happened on stage probably wasn't just an accident. That's irrelevant. Our identities have nothing to do with what happened. True, but also, minus two Fatui's doesn't sound that bad, but you're right, it doesn't have anything to do with this case. Indeed. True. Then perhaps you could tell us everything that happened during that one minute. Yeah. Your first priority is to prove yourself innocent after all. I'm sure there is little that needs to be kept secret now. Unless your script already has holes in it. What was that? Is speechless. My, oh my. What the <laughs> fuck is <laughs> this? <laughs> now comes the infighting in Discord. I Discord, yeah, Frida's gonna call me on Discord. Yeah, we're, we're close like that. Good thing I made all those preparations. Seems the all-nighter I pulled last night is real. <laughs> okay, <enough>. all right. <laughs> hey, Lee, She's just goofy. Why didn't you tell us this before? She's just goofy. Lenny and Lynette are Fatui. Dot, dot, dot. Dude, we're literally best friends with Child and Wanderer. I guess Wanderer kind of got debated by Dottori, but it doesn't matter. We're literally, we're literally oomphies with Child. Order, order. Mr. Lenny. Allow me to re-establish the facts. Lady Farina has raised two points. First, when the thud was heard in the opera house, you were neither in the box nor the tunnel. True. Second, Thank you, Naviet. You and Ms. Lynette are both members of the House of the Hearth. I feel like Farina just says whatever's on her goofy mind, and then Naviet actually like makes sense. Naviet's just like the He's just like he's just like a yeah, she's kinda she's kinda out of her mind, but you know, we like her. That's Naviet. Are these claims true? That's like, <laughs> it's not me, chat. Neviet is Oz. <laughs> I'm Farina and Neviet is a Jeff. There's no doubt about a magician's ability to con others. Given how Lenny has concealed his identity, this could all have been set up beforehand. Plus, child is here in Fontaine. Oh, that's actually true. And fucking Linny was like, daddy's coming home to fucking Navi uh, his little brother, whatever his fucking name is, which might be Arlecchino, just saying. Please answer my question, Mr. Linny. I'm sorry. Yes, they're true, your honor. Okay. Okay, I was looking. I knew it. You didn't know anything, man. Well, that's it. We might as well move on to the sentencing already. This is literally Twitch chat. This is literally Twitch chat. They're like, oh, I win you it. And then they, they know nothing. Frick you, chat. My defense cannot proceed. In that case, what is your request? I request a brief adjournment. Is that really necessary? They're already as good as guilty. The defendant deceived their own attorney. You guys are acting like it's not you, discuss. but you know for a fact, if you guys were in the audience and Farina was talking, you'd be like, so true, Farina, and then the the Linny would die. Order, order, I say. Your request is reasonable, and we shall adjourn. This trial will reconvene <laughs> in one hour. Maybe not all of you, but like 60, 70 percent, 80. <laughs> So you would stick to Mr. Lenny's defense even after knowing what you do now? You certainly have more professionalism than I thought. In that case, my dear Ooh, I really like her outfit. Let's allow the joy of victory I like her hat too. for a little while longer. <laughs> also like her laugh. Toothpaste hair? True. She does look like fucking Crest toothpaste. Nine out of ten dentists. 
Farina's the tenth dentist. We found we found the one that disagrees. Well, this is <laughs> I didn't think the Hydro Archon would dig all that up. I'm sorry. Yeah. Ugh. Paimon just knew where to start. We trusted you two. We based our entire reasoning on the assumption that you weren't bad guys. Not to set the wrong tone or anything, but Paimon I'm very sorry. I know you're angry, and reasonably so, but please, let me explain. I know you've clashed with the Vatui several times before. I wouldn't be surprised if just hearing the word is enough to make you upset. I can't wait for the story of... Dude, <laughs> look, I know Linny is probably like, he's, he's like a kid, kind of, right? It's probably Arlecchino, like, pulling strings and shit. But I love how Genshin has to do this thing where it's like, oh no, the playable character isn't actually evil, here's why. And then they just explain it. Like, oh, okay, child's cool. Oh, Wander, he's, he's a good guy. And then, okay, but surely we can play evil characters. Because I know for a fact the Tori is not getting a redemption arc. He fucking better not. But we, I still want to play him. I want him to die, but I want to play him. But our organization is very, very large. And the Harbingers have very different personalities and goals. Right now, we want to save people. As many as we Traveler isn't friends with child? Dude, we were like, dude, we were like against child. And then he rizzed us up. He showed us his little brother. It was propaganda. Oh, look, I'm, I'm Tuser's big brother. Oh, haha, ha. I make ruin guards. And now we're like, all right, I love you, child. That's how it went. That's right. I'm sure we're on the same Now we have his vision. He has too much riz. Disaster that its people might face. I knew if it weren't for our respective identities, we could become good friends. That's why I didn't wish to flat out lie to you, but chose to hide some details instead. The truth is very important, but being completely transparent about everything would see us spending more effort than we need to. Right. So, you be the judge. Heck, if I were you, I fear that I'd even struggle to trust me at this point. Yeah, well, okay, Traveler's kind of like, kind of like, doesn't trust Child and it's kind of like neutral face, but then every time Child shows up, he's like, oh, hey, bestie, and then I feel like deep down inside, the mean likes Child, or, or Aether, whoever the fuck, it doesn't matter. I'm saying, like, I feel like Traveler, like, like, they, like, won't admit it, but, like, they're homies. They just won't admit it. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm just saying. Because eventually, we know this, in patch like 5.8, or 6.4, or 7.1, Child's gonna be like, gonna sacrifice himself to save us, and then we're gonna be like, oh my god, Tartaglia, and then he's gonna die, but it's gonna be like a villain redemption arc, where he's like, an, like he's like, not a good guy, but not a bad guy, and he kind of like, saved us. True. You met a Fatus who works as a magician. A, a Fatus. by trade. All by coincidence, too. But still, I'm asking you to trust me. I am no criminal. Alright, I'll take your word for it. I trust Sorry. you. Please forgive us. Alright, I forgive you. Well, you both say that, but... Explain the other issue. Right. Let's hear your answer first. And... Of course. I'll answer any question you ask. I didn't ask you... Just fucking say everything, We've bro. What do you mean? I... <laughs> we want to know why it has a consciousness. Why can it deliver sentences accurately? During our investigations, we learned that the machine's core is beneath it. From that moment on, Lynette and I have been designing this box swap trick with the objective of getting close to the core. Is that why you needed a whole minute? That's right. In truth, the audience would take about 75 seconds to count down from 60, while I would only need 15 to get to the opposite box. So, after jumping into the tunnel, I accessed the Opera House basement via the vent and went to investigate the room in which the core is stored. That air vent was created during the construction of the tunnel specifically to execute this step. Well, nothing. As soon as I reached that room and was about to investigate, I heard someone's voice. Vashi! Which should have been impossible, oh, never mind. of course. I was quite certain that I was the only one in the room. He vented. That voice seemed to recognize me and tried to speak to me. I chose to err on the side of caution and- Wait, that's how you spell air? <laughs> Okay, I did not back, know. I, saw I thought ERR was like energy back, regeneration rate or whatever. Was almost finished, so there wasn't time to give it any thought. After that, the homicide occurred just as you saw. Well, that explains why you didn't hear the thud. But why do you want to understand how the Oratrice operates? Because of that prophecy I told you about, of course. 
We must know all we can about this nation's secrets in order to deal with that prophesized crisis. That's the only way we can save everyone. So, there you have it. The whole truth. I swear, I didn't hide anything from you this time. It was never my wish to proceed under this cloud of mistrust either. But, like I said earlier, you can be the judge. If you want to leave because you don't trust the Fatui, there's nothing I can do to stop you. Well, Traveler, you decide. Paimon will follow your lead however you choose. I believe in the facts. I will defend you from these charges. Okay, thank you. Thanks for giving us a The current problem is that the scales are tipped pretty badly against you. If we want to refute the Hydro Archon's accusations, we're going to need a seriously watertight defense. We already have the key we need. The adjournment's almost over. Let's go back. Lenny claims that he headed to the chamber containing the Oratrix core upon entering the tunnel and did not witness the, witness the crime taking place. And then hear the thud. Mysterious voice. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Interesting, interesting. Why did I get new mail? Interesting, interesting. Interesting. The brief adjournment ends. Both parties have returned to their positions. Let us continue the trial. Okay. When last we left off, Mr. Linney acknowledged the new evidence presented by Lady Farina as fact. Therefore, Lady Farina may continue stating her reconstruction of the events. Okay. Ugh, that took long enough. Now then, if everyone would lend me their attention. At this oh, one of her gloves is white, one of them is black. I didn't, or like blue. I didn't know they were different colors. That's cool. Based on the opposition's account of events, you can identify loopholes. Wait, okay, this is literally. Use evidence and clues and refute any erroneous assertions of facts. Dude. It's a fucking. Wait, what's this song called? Uh. God, I think I got it. When you find and refute all incorrect content, you can complete the cycle of refutation. <laughs> As the countdown began, he entered the tunnel. Okay. When the flatbed trolley passed, he opened the box and got into an altercation with Halsey, which caused the loud thud. No, but okay. He did not realize that the sound could be heard by everyone in the opera house, which is why he claimed earlier that he could not hear the sound. Finally, he used the vase to knock her out before making her change clothes to prevent others from recognizing her. At this time, Cowell arrived in the hey, tunnel, love, having heard that strange noise, and this is gonna be fast. Lenny red handed. So Linny proceeded to knock him out too before stuffing him. True, Farina, true. He's guilty. Linny passed the unconscious Halsey to Ten his accomplice through the magic box the in the audience stands before operating the device as such that Cowell's death would be ruled an accident. And there you have it. That's the truth behind what happened. Does the defendant's side have any objections yes! to Lady Farina's description? The key to refuting Lady Farina is the order of events. Oh, Levine's talking. What he experienced and what he saw. <laughs> no, that's wrong. <laughs> oh, do I choose a fucking truth bullet to review it? Okay. So, Lenny claims uh, he did not win the crown. Yes. No. 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 Yeah, so it's this. Mm. What? <laughs> Is it this? During the performance, there's an audible thump. Oh, Lenny entered. Okay, that was for this one. That was for this one. What I meant to... What I meant to use was for this one. I didn't mean it for this one. For this one, it's easy. So, he didn't enter the tunnel because... Uh, 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 uh,
No, it can't be that. Fuck it, we'll, we'll review this one. So we use this here. I am so intellect! That's what I meant to do. That's literally what I meant to do. No copium. Okay. Uh, do I have to review all of them? Let's do this one. Lenny kidnapped Halsey. Uh, well, he wasn't in the fucking tunnel. I told you. I fucking told you. Well, do I have to refute it if I just refuted this one? Because it's the same thing. He's on the. I just told you why he's not in the tunnel. Uh, when Lenny returned to the tunnel, the crime had already taken place, and all that Lenny saw was the clothes. Lenny did not take part in the underground altercation. Let him cook. Where's the music? No, this song's no. That's not the right one. That's the same one. A meticulous design, ready to provide a video because what is it? Oh, it's not the Wait, what? Do I have to refute all of them? I feel like. I feel like this can't happen if this happened and then this. I guess it's this one. Wait, what is this? A meticulous design, uh. Claims I've heard. Fuck it, I- ah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Okay, enter the tunnel, um... Dude, I refuted the two ones that matter! This doesn't say anything! Wait, let me read it again, if this is a water break. Oh, you have to do all of all of the, okay i see lenny claims that he headed into the chamber chamber you want to play let's play containing the oratrice core upon entering the tunnel and did not witness the crime thus he didn't hear the thud which is something that we could use fuck it Yo. Uh huh. So. Okay, cool. Yeah, you don't have to do all of them. That's what I thought. Okay, cool. Because I was like, how the fuck would you do all of them? It makes sense. Easy. When the countdown started, Lenny did indeed go into the tunnel. True. But he immediately used a vent to access the Opera House basement, which is where the underground core of the Oratrix is stored. Sure. Once he reached that area, he heard a voice in what should have been an empty room. But it wasn't. Once he felt something was amiss, he returned immediately. The crime scene had been developed by the time he reached the Stop tunnel again. Fun of other and he for no, it's okay, bad tour. He did not remain there for any length Bro of time. Bro admitted he vented. <laughs> Finally, he <laughs> Sorry. Yep. Successful refutation. Wait, refutation? Refutation. What the fuck is a refutation? Is that how you spell it? Oh, I don't know. That. Oh, wasn't it awesome? In other words. Oh, Tation. <laughs> I'm, listen, I'm tired. Listen, it's Tation, like T-A, and then T-I is like a, t I get it. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I am, I was, I was. That's right. That's right. <laughs> My reasoning? No, Farina, your reasoning is not flawed. I don't mean to say it like that. It's just that the onstage equipment was clearly tampered with, but you say Cowell bumped into Linny. If that's the case, then if Cowell hadn't entered the tunnel, who was the entire setup meant to kill? Assuming that what you say is true. Wait, chat, how long did you guys say Act 1 would take? To kidnap the young girl to cause a new disappearance case. What would the point of killing someone on stage be? Oh, 
Three to four again. Point. <laughs> that's right, Hi, you tell them. And that's why they're partners of mine. True, me and Navia, we go way back. Yeah. Around. I was at her concert on her first tour. Your denial is very strident. I'll give you that. But what proof do you have to back your claims? Uh, do you happen to remember how you refuted Linny's initial alibi? <laughs> of course I do. If he had been in the magic box the whole time, how could he have not heard that sound? Why do you ask? <laughs> You're saying that he wasn't. Your claim has now become my weapon. Your claim has also become a critical clue. <laughs> what? Choose? Wait. Uh, well, evidence. Okay. What? <laughs> Irrelevant. <laughs> okay, so we have to choose what makes sense. Wait, was I reading? Okay, I'm just gonna pretend I read. Okay, so she said, okay. How's he's a missing person? During the poor man's, there's an audible thump. No one left? Oh, this is okay. I think it said that no one left, but wait, what the fuck? What did we say again? Wait, so she refuted Lily's thing when he said that he went in the box. No, that he wasn't or whatever the fuck. She was like, yeah, you entered the box and then you must have heard it. But then he was like, no, I wasn't, which means. Is it just this? Yeah, no one gives a fuck about it. It has to be this. Unless it's. No, it's this. That's okay. Right. Lily wasn't yeah, in the box that's right. He was in the vent! Had already entered the basement via the vent. True. The same clue you used to disprove his alibi. Dude, I wasn't the imposter. I was in the vent. I didn't kill it, dude. I didn't kill that. I I was I was in the vent. <laughs> well played. Thanks, Navia. <laughs> to think you'd use such logic. <laughs> well then, if it wasn't Linny who committed the crimes, then who was it? The murder was. Logic chain? The guards investigation reporting against the fireworks near the end of the show indicated it ignited, ignited like League of Legend and burned through the ropes, suspending the water tank above the stage. This caused the water tank to fall and kill Cowl in the box below. If Linny's no longer under suspicion, only the other members of the troop would be able to tamper with the props. Okay, no spoilers for this chat. I got this. Linny kind of the truth supposed to work by using a box out of the box, and then Liddy changes with him. Linny, yup. The clothes belong to Halsey. They went missing. Okay. Select any clue. Wait, who is the person who could have committed the crime? Wait, let me see what these say. Okay, I'm not gonna look at chat for a bit. Well, actually, let me. Okay, I close chat. Halsey is the missing person and an ordinary audience member. Or did she have her own scheme all along? Could there have been a third person involved? Is that really a possibility? Okay. My heart was like, yo, there's a third, but there can't be because the little girl at the front was like, no, no, it can't be. So it can't be that. It's dumb to click it because of what we know in game. They don't want us to click this. I still well, I was like, oh, what if it's just, but it's not that. So it's one of these two. Realistically, do we know this guy's dead? We didn't see his body, did we? I feel like if he was dead, we'd fucking know. They're just like, oh, the devil died. But like, how the fuck do we know? The deceased's name is Powell, Lenny's assistant. Halsey is the missing person and an ordinary audience member. Or... Did she have her own? The deceased's name is Powell. Okay, where the fuck is his body? I knew it! Let me punch out again. I'm too good. Dude, we would have seen his fucking body! We would have seen his fucking body! Every fucking Dong and Rampa execution, you see their body. We did. That can't be right. He died. 
Yeah, it was probably a fucking fake body. Oh, maybe he did die. Okay, maybe he did die. Maybe he did die. Maybe he died, but then he was being used. Okay, but it couldn't have been the fucking girl anyways. Doesn't matter. It was literally a 50-50, and then there's no way it was a girl. Oh, yeah. Serial killer kidnaps women, and it's her who kidnapped herself. Okay, let's say it's her. Let's say it was her. What would have been the point of the fucking crime? To kill a random dude? Wow. Interesting. Let's hear your reasoning then. What I must do next is recreate the truth. What Powell did and how he went. Wait, we literally have to make a fucking comic book. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, um, let me close chat again. Okay. How can we envisage Linny as having been unable to interfere with the crime? Okay, so we'll start with Linny. Linny was not in the tunnel at that moment, which gave our criminal ample time. The sound we heard may have come from a clock. Oh, what? Let me, let me, I wanted to hear that again. His clothing was in the tunnel. So there must have been some fear that she would attract attention. The deceased's name is Cowell, Linny's assistant. He would have been able to tamper with the equipment. No one entered or left the opera house through its entrances. So, where would the criminal have wanted to take Halsey? It was Shang Ling! She cooked her! And then they ate! Uh, she was turned into food! No one could tell she was gone! Shang Ling was actually the murderer the whole time! Sorry. Um, no one entered or left. Okay. It would have been tough for both people to fit into that vent. They would likely have bumped into Linny as well. Linny was not in the tunnel at that moment, which gave our criminal ample time. The deceased's name is Cowell, Linny's is Halsey's clothing was in the tunnel. So there must have been some fear that she would attract attention. I don't get what the so there must have been some fear that she would attract attention means. The sound we heard may have come from a clash between the missing Halsey and the criminal. Okay, so that's the thought that probably goes there, like second, and then it's like, like two, three, and then four is one of them, and then five is the other one of them. It would have been tough for both people to fit into that vent. Linny was not in the tunnel at that. Fuck it. Okay. Halsey's clothing was in the tunnel. Does that mean it's right? So there must have been some fear that she would attract. The sound we heard may have come from a clash between the missing. That's probably third, I guess. And then Halsey's second would be like. Was in the... the deceased's name is. Ah, uh, I'm not sure the order. I guess the. Is that a grief? It might be this one. It would have been tough for both people to fit into that vent. Shorty. Halsey's clothing. Was... Fuck it. Oh, the question changed? I didn't even notice. Clothing was oh, wait, I'm right! Oh, I'm so good! Okay. Who's the prime suspect? This guy. The deceased's name is Cowell. Where did the missing Halsey go? Uh, she can't go in the vent. She can't go out here. So it's whatever this is. We heard may have come from a clash between the missing wait. Halsey and the criminal. It would have been tough for both people to fit into that vent. They would likely I mean, she could also went into the vent after Linny left. Is that a dumb take? What if after Linny left the vent, they fucking chucked her in the vent? He probably could have done that. It's not that. I didn't mean to click that. The sound we heard may have come from a clash between the missing Halsey and the criminal. I mean, I guess this proves where she is, but I feel like she chucked. They chucked her into. Oh, he chucked her into a vent. I knew okay, okay, I knew it, I knew it. Wait, the last one they literally chucked her into a vent. It would have been tough for It's literally in the vent. They chucked her in a vent. No one Wait, no wrong one! one. It no, would no, have been no. tough for both people. Halsey's clothing. And then this one's the vent. It would have been tough for both people to fit. No, 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 it's the sound. The sound. May have come from a clash. Yeah, that goes there. What? It was the vent. Okay, but I knew it. It was the vent. I, I told you. I literally told you. He waited and then he trucked her in the vent. I knew. No one entered or left. Wait, how? Okay, I'm opening chat again. Yo. Okay, I got most of them though. I actually got most of them. This is actually stupid though. How? Okay. 
Okay, 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 okay. If this this clue says, hey, why no one left, why the fuck would the answer to where did Halsey go be no one left? Wow, good fucking answer. I literally said they fucking stuffed her in the vent, which is probably gonna be the correct answer. I game baited me, game baited me. That wasn't my fault. There's no answer. So I was right. I literally was right. Wait, she's in the audience. Fun, Traveler? Are you still having trouble figuring things out? <laughs> she's either in the audience or they stuffed her into a vent. I think if I'm the criminal, you stuff her in the vent. You wait for Lena to leave, you put her in there. GG, what the fuck is she gonna do? In game, in game, in game. Look, since we're at a dead end, why not consider a different track? Just like the trick as it transpired, the end result must have been bad ending. What the fuck are you talking design. about? If only we knew how Halsey disappeared. Well, that would be nice, but the tunnel only has three exits, and none of them seem very likely. But it's not like this is a magic trick where you can just make a real live person disappear. You know, like you did from that one. She's still here if no one left. She's probably in the fucking audience. Oh. <gasps> Could it have been the water? Excuse my interruption, dear opponents. But do you not see? Oh yeah, there is actually a lot of clues that we didn't use. We didn't use the vase. We didn't use the in this opera house vase. An awkward delay in the performance. If the defense is unable to make further effective arguments, we will move on to the next stage of the trial. No, no, I have, I have, I can make something. Objection. Lee was not in the tunnel at that moment, which gave our criminal ample time. The sound we heard may have come from a clash between the missing. Okay, I literally said all this. The deceased's name is. I literally said all this. Oh, oh, let's just not give him the correct clue so he looks like an idiot in front of his chat and everyone makes fun of him. Oh, now the correct clue's here. And I even said we didn't use the vase, and now it shows the vase. Oh, who would have fucking thunk it? Who would have fucking thunk it? It was used to cover important evidence. The water. I'm pissed. Oh, I don't get it. It all comes together if Halsey disappeared instead of being kidnapped. Lynette escaped from the water tank, vanishing gradually and leaving only clothes behind. Why does it say Chad GPT lawyer? What does that even mean? There's a similar method where a person could be transformed into water. <laughs> <laughs> Mona Dash! It was Mona! You know how preposterous you sound at the moment. How could a person ever be transformed into water? <laughs> this is reality we're talking about here. Not so Objection, Freena, I would like to introduce you to Mona and Ayaka. Fuck, I rolled over my headset again. All right. I love Freena's laugh. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. <laughs> Sorry. I request that we examine Cowell's personal effects. We might find something there. Your friend Linny already knows this truth. I think okay, well. this is bad writing. I like Frida, but I feel like she's kind of like silly and likes being entertained by like a good trial in the sense of like she just gets off on it, like the thrill. So she should be like happy that it's like the plot thickens and that it goes longer. She shouldn't be like, do we really have to go over it? So this line should be rewritten. True. Magic tricks are ultimately the just illusions and sword. misdirection. But Halsey's disappearance is very real. She wants to win? Yeah, I know. But I think maybe this is just me projecting what I wish Farina was. I feel like she should be like the crazy character that's like, I just want to see a cool trial. But I, I guess she just has ego and wants to win. So fair enough. Milk made no LS donated $5. Diet caffeine free fiscal. <laughs> Caffeine free Fischl. She definitely has more caffeine than Fischl. Even so, I trust the traveler's judgment. 
The truth must be out there somewhere. Perhaps some new line of reasoning may open if we try to gather all the focal points that don't make sense. Since Cal was the deceased, we haven't placed much attention on him. But given that we aren't making much progress with the case, it wouldn't hurt to have a look at his belongings. Oh, would... was the fucking line that they drew on the ground his body? Am I stupid? Did they did they actually show it and I missed it? Why have I not seen his physical body? Did... Is it just because it's like a children's game and they don't want to put... They did? Where... Oh, it was in the cutscene. Well, I guess I just haven't fucking... I don't know. Maybe I just wasn't looking or something. I was like, why didn't I see his physical fucking body? They, they moved the body and drew a chalk outline. Okay, okay, I see. Fair enough. Schemes went at the end of the rope. The way I see it, your suggestion that we broaden the scope of our investigation is nothing but a tactic for stalling the trial. Nevertheless, I believe that this is a reasonable request on the part of an attorney. Since the trial does indeed appear to be at an impasse, I believe that additional evidence may help us make more progress. Guards, please step into the lounge and examine the personal effects of the deceased cowl. Who spells guard like that? We are still examining the items, but we have already made critical progress. That we <laughs> oh shit, it's Kamemos! Post haste, we discovered several <laughs> test tubes of fluid. Hello, man. Big fan. Each labeled separately. The notebook in his back fluid. claims that these fluids are water from the primordial sea. The primordial sea. The note's contents also indicate that Cowell belonged to an organization that sells illegal drugs and that he had an accomplice. Wow. The notebook has many entries concerning safe usage of these fluids, in which the keyword dissolve appears many times. One of these tubes was labeled Opera Epicles along with yesterday's date it is empty the notes also state that these dissolution properties work exclusively on people from fontaine wait he it's just solved her that halsey was chosen as some sort of test subject oh it's a for two enemies like no the test subject and then you kill them as such we believe that the defense's hypothesis or treasure order yeah whatever in fact supported by sufficient evidence huh, another test subject you gotta be kidding People dissolving into water? Could something so ridiculous actually- Wait a moment, this reminds me of a certain prophecy, but it's just a coincidence, isn't it? Huh. If people can become water, does that mean that the water tank's real use was as a means to hide water stains? And if Cowell was targeting that girl- Wait just a minute, could that mean- <sighs> You two, with me, quick! Demoiselle, wait! What about your partners? Mm, let's go. Just trust me. Huh? Order! Order! Oh my! It is undeniable that further examination of the deceased's personal effects has yielded some surprising results. But we cannot yet that is pretty the large. of these clues. Still, let us assume that these clues are indeed authentic, albeit with the understanding that Ms. Halsey has yet to be found. Guards, Please continue examining the items along these lines. <laughs> Yo, fuck you whoever said this looks like Koyos. Fuck you, you ruined it for me. Mr. Linney, it appears your hypothesis is supported by the evidence. So please continue speaking. Of course. Thank you, Your Honor. If we that made me feel some type of way. I believe that many of this case's seemingly unrelated clues can be connected together. Right! Like the metal hook! Hmm. Let's think about this. Cowell's methods must have something to do with that water from the primordial sea. Oh, primordial jade winged spear. It's Shao. Who's the prime suspect? This Who's motherfucker, bro. We know. Why are you asking me again? He... What item did the culprit use the uh, timing? Now it seems like the hook rope was not meant for another magic trick. But was instead some form of triggering mech- Uh, probably the- Yeah, probably the fucking hook, right? He Roadhog hooked it. Man, I miss when Overwatch was good. I was actually- Dude, I was the best the hooker. The like Roadhog. What item did the culprit use to dissolve Haley? This fucking water from the Jade Spear. What item did the culprit use to hide the mecha mechanism? Uh, no, not rope. He didn't use rope to hide anything. Oh, was it the hook? The Wait, let me read again. Now it seems like the hook rope was not meant for another magic trick, but was instead. Now it seems like the hook rope was not meant. The rope that strung the water. 
Maybe the rope is here and then hook is the other one. Hook for like the the hide thing. Wait, what is this? That was in the magic box on stage the entire time. Oh wait, they use the water the water the 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 water box. When that was in the magic box on stage the entire time. No, but where's the water one? I remember there was something else within the inner layer of that box. Wait, I'm no longer cooking anymore. I am no longer cooking. He used water to hide it. Like a vase, but there's no fucking vase here. When that was in the magic box, I remember there was some I'll just use this, I guess. No, no, no! I, I was gonna change the rope! I swear! I knew it! I was gonna put the hook! I actually got it! I just, I thought I could, I didn't, I didn't think that would lock in. I thought I could change. I literally knew it, first try. I was gonna go back, I wanted to put that there and then go back to the other one and put the hook. I was just testing. I literally got it. I got it first try. I got it first try. What the fuck was that sound? Okay, bye one. would tamper with the water tank rope and the number selector securing his target. When the magic box containing Halsey was lowered, the metal hook would retract gradually and pierce the balloon at the top of the box. When the balloon attached to the box popped, the water from the primordial seed inside it would pour down and dissolve Halsey. Afterward, Cowl would enter the tunnel and break the flower vase to conceal the water inside the tunnel. With the remaining evidence being covered up by the water tank on stage. But he encountered something unexpected in the tunnel. And wound up being fatally hit by the same Deserved. Water Fuck tank that guy. he meant to use to cover his tracks. Huh. But that actually links together a lot of the more confusing pieces of evidence. How is it 50-50 after that? Oh dear, what do I do? Even I think they sound convincing now. Have I falsely accused an innocent person? I have a question. What Farina, I have a question. question. No disrespect, you're great. But if you're the Archon of Justice, right? Okay, hear me out. If you're the Archon of Justice, right? Shouldn't you care more about, like, justice than being correct? So can you be like, that sounds convincing. I'm on your side. True. Now, it seems like the only point of contention remaining is the exact circumstances that led to Cal's death. It was Harve. Harve deleted Hall's baby girl. <laughs> His notes mentioned he had an accomplice who could be related to the situation. It's not how lawyers work? Yeah, but... The Archon of Justice shouldn't be a lawyer. You should be trying to deliver justice, not trying to represent your client. Do you know what a lawyer does? You try to give your client the fair, the fairest, uh, 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 like, the fairest interpretation of the law type of thing. It's, is what you want. You're not trying to fucking, if your client comes up to you and says, I killed this person, you can't just go in court and be like, yeah, he didn't kill anyone. Or like, if you do this, like, okay, whatever. Dude, she's not, okay, but listen, she's not, Shouldn't the... I mean, okay, there's ways to go around it. Like, you kind of can, but, like, you should... Like, there's ways that... That's more detailed than that. But the point is, if you're going to be, like, the, the, the symbol of justice, it's more Neviet than a lawyer. If you're a lawyer, it's not, like... You're going to take your client's fucking best interest in mind. Whatever. It's fine. On that note, the guards have just She's just silly and goofy. ...indicating that they uncovered new evidence. I shall now invite him on stage to share it with us. Thank you, Your Honor. We were just inspecting the luggage of the other people involved in this case. And we found an identical sample of the water from the Primordial Sea among Linny's personal effects. W what? Wait, well, they forged it. That can't be. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, how wonderfully comedic. To have your own counter attack only to come back and wound you. <laughs> Farina is insane. She's actually <laughs> insane. It's not clear all doubt. My dear citizens, my loyal audience, allow me to present. Wait, let me mute alert this, but I do appreciate the subs. Thanks a lot, CJ, uh, Jesus, and Ellie. Shit. Close. What? Linny 
did not need to take part in the dissolution of the young woman at all. Indeed, he did leave the scene via the vent. Okay, true. Having made modifications to the props beforehand, his accomplice Cowl then caused Halsey to vanish using the water from the primordial sea. Okay, Cowl did Back do that. Upon his return in cruel avarice, Lenny <laughs> desired sole credit and prepared to do away with his partner in crime. Uh, I don't know about that one. I don't know about Lenny, you know. Ultimately, he knocked Cowl out, and the tool meant to cover the crime up. Dude, look how Lenny's built. This guy is like weapon. fucking 90, 90 pounds at most. 90 pounds. He can't knock anyone out. He doesn't even have his pyro vision. Now, as much as I regret having come to such a viciously straightforward conclusion, it does seem that the famed Fatui is quite the cold-blooded and ruthless organization. Am I right, Mr. Linny? We've used up all the evidence we collected. There's no way for us to make a rebuttal here. Is this the end of the road? Imagine we just lose. Quest over. Oh no. Mm. Oh, we actually just lose. <laughs> Imagine. Seems using the water as new evidence was too. I think we've all seen enough now, and we have ample witnesses to my flawless reasoning. I believe this is indeed the finale. Wait, it's missing a dot. We're not done. Noble Chief Justice, should we not, in your view, move? Uh, excuse me, everyone, but I must. No, yeah. Miss, I, I know her. Ask you not to shout. She made me uh, some sweets. We ate them together. Going legal proceedings. Oh, come on! Don't be hasty. I have a good reason for interrupting. You know. Now, would anyone here like to take a little break from all this debate and see a little magic? I'll show you an amazing trick. One that can bring a young woman who has disappeared back in. Wait a flesh, second. Right before your very eyes. Please, do the honors, Mr. Linny, if you would be so kind. What? But what in the world is she saying? No offense, miss, but miracles like that are beyond my scope as a magician. Bro, just roll with it. She's clearly setting you up. Do like oh, a ta-da. No, don't be silly. Magic is all about misdirection, True. isn't it? It often conceals the truth while presenting a fascinating illusion. But once everyone believes the illusion, can't magic reveal the truth to them once again? True. And wouldn't such a trick be the most marvelous finale to today's performance? True! Dude, Navi is the goat. Give it another go. Don't worry. Spina di Rasula has made the necessary arrangements on your behalf. But as the magic makers and stars of the show, I think I should... While you're dressed as made, I lost the bet. To you. Basically. TLDR. I understand. And voila. Okay. He, he went with it. I, I, I respect that. Oh my god! Oh my! Um, uh, sorry for the interruption. Wait, isn't that Halsey? So the whole thing about people dissolving wasn't true after all? Dude, fucking clear, Navia. I'm only here because this person told me that if I testified, the merit of doing so would lessen my sentence. Navia's the goat. I was hiding outside this room listening to the proceedings because I was afraid that I would be the one put on trial. Okay, she's a dumbass though. Is Honestly, she deserves to die. We should dissolve her again. Me. I, I, I was just gonna let other people die because I was afraid that they think it's me. Shut the fuck up. Fuck you. Go, go fucking dissolve into water again. Dumbass. Uh, it's fine. It's all good. It's all good. No disrespect. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know how I would act as a civilian, okay? Maybe I wouldn't be better. I just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you were gonna let Linny die and Lynette die, and I value Linny and Lynette much more than you. I'm sorry. I don't even remember your fucking name. Anyways, good job, Navia. Good job, Navia. That'll teach you to underestimate us three. Where should I begin? Also, I just got a fishing level, so please type poggers for me. Thank you, chat. I'm the one who killed Cowl. I admit it. But no. What? Why? Firstly, my name isn't Halsey. It's Lillian. Lillian. I'm originally from Mondstadt. What? I heard that Linny's show was going to be a real thriller, but I missed the chance to buy a ticket, so I stole one. 
Wait, but didn't the... Okay, they're probably gonna explain it like two sentences, but didn't the dude just say the, the fucking dissolve only works on Fontaine blood people or whatever? That's how I make a living. I steal stuff Sus. here Maybe that's why she's still here. And I'd never been caught before. Maybe that's why she's not dead. But I was noticed at the harbor a few days ago. Dude, there's chamber and, and harbor. Lenny was the two Valorant agents. The What's next? Hey, oh, shut up. That was cringe. I'm sorry. You look familiar. So you were the thief. I knew it! I was like, that's the thief! And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, we're like, okay, never mind. Wait. I literally said it was the thief. Wait, okay, I'm actually like, I, dude, I'm, I'm like. You even mentioned that you were pretty skilled. Well, and I thought that would have been the end of it, but then the number selector chose me. He even mentioned the Fortress of Meripede. That's a prison, isn't it? So you can imagine how shocked I was. I thought he was on to me for sure. So I played along with the show while looking for an opening to flee. But then I got water poured on me for no reason, and then someone jumped into the tunnel to nab me. Okay, so she didn't. She hid outside instead of telling, saying anything, and she thieved an innocent civilian. I still think I still agree with my initial take. I Fuck this person. I take that lying down, so I knocked him out and stuffed him into the box. Okay, that's pretty base though. Nowhere to run from there though, so I had to. Never mind. Now I'm back to neutral on her. A box containing performance costumes. I slipped out after the first guard arrived at the scene and continued hiding inside the opera house. Can a person even hide in there? Professional thief could make it work. But I swear, I didn't know that the water tank would fall down. <laughs> really, I swear. Um, like I got fucking finessed. That, I wouldn't have put him in the magic box. I may be a thief, but I'm no killer. Well, that makes everything pretty clear now, doesn't it? This time. We need to tell the entire story from... Wait, why? Surely Farina doesn't disagree with us now. She fucking heard. She just heard the witness. This was true, I'm pretty sure. This is the one that wasn't. Um, Wait, what did that say? Cold plan to get rid Wait, okay, wait, wait. What is this? Um... I and fried between Linny and Cowell. Put the music on? Okay, true. Uh, what is that one called? It's when you make the final argument OST. No, not that one. Wait, where is it? Did I hear the song of my fucking dreams? Because I fell asleep with my switch on listening to this. So now it's been stuck in my head. All right, anyways. Ba, ba, ba. All right. Invite between Linny and Cowell. Uh, Linny wanted to get credit and glory to get rid of us partners. Uh, as a house, he has appeared completely unharmed. Freedom's conjecture no longer holds water, but there's evidence proving that a fight did indeed break out. Yes, there was because of this. Right? Yep. During the struggle between Lillian and Cowell. Linny knocked out Cowell. No, it was the girl, whatever her fucking name is. Um, bah, bah, bah. But there's no fucking way to prove it, though. Maybe the clothes? Why would she take her clothes off? I don't even remember. I, maybe? Yes! Lillian yes! Oh, yeah. She'd be afraid she'd be recognized. Okay. So I, I low key didn't listen time. when she was talking. All good. Just what one might expect of an experienced thief. This is so many Lumine voice lines, dude. We like never get to hear her talk. How would Hilsey have re reacted when the water from the sea? Well, she's from Mondstadt. How do I say that? Okay, my bad. <laughs> uh. I wish for this I could just be like, yo, she's from fucking Mondstadt. But maybe it's this one. Uh, no, but this is true. This is true. The thing did fall. He did use the vent. Wait, let's see. Let's see. Let's read. Let's read. Oh, maybe the thump? Wait, wait, what did it say? How would Halsey have reacted when the water began to tickle in? Ba, ba, ba. There was 
Was das? It's one of these two. I don't really know why though. So like that is to refute Halsey dissolved. Oh, there's a thumb because they fought. True. Yep, she punched the she fucking punched his ass. True. True LW. True LW. Easy. It's True. Having been selected out of the blue, Lillian panicked. She picnicked. Her panic only intensified after she entered the tunnel and had water poured on her head. Hearing the commotion, Cowl leapt into the tunnel, only to discover that Lillian had not dissolved. He did not know that Lillian was not from Fontaine, but was a thief who made her way in by stealing a ticket. Mistakenly believing that the water from the primordial sea needed time to take effect, he tried to force Lillian back into the box. The two broke the flower vase during the struggle, but Lillian... Giga Chad, weakest monstat civilian. And putting him in the Get box. <laughs> No way of escaping, she changed her clothes and hid in the costume trunk until the performance ended. I was chatting, my bad. <clears throat> So I'm gonna run an ad? Okay, but I can't do that right now. She knew that she would have to go through guard inspection if she tried to leave afterward. So she has been trapped in the opera house these last two days. She had already become desperately hungry by the time we were chatting over macarons. So she swiped two of them right under our noses. Okay. <laughs> a sneaky thief. Okay, but like... Okay, that actually doesn't make sense. Why the f- Okay, I mean, whatever. At what? this point, all the events that happened in the tunnel have now come to light. Also, macros aren't even filling. Why would- Okay, ah, whatever. so that's the whole story. Bravo! Bravo! Now then, Lady Farina, do you wish to speak against the defense's statements? Um... Please answer the question, Lady Farina. Also, if I may add, the trial has not yet ended. As such, I request that the prosecution not leave the room before the proceedings mm. have concluded. Mm. <sighs> what? Are you reading my mind now? Holy! No. What I a fucking Chad! No further arguments. I admit defeat. But really, could you at least have left me with some dignity? No. If there are no objections, then as the chief what justice a fucking of Chad. Fontaine, I shall once again repeat the full sequence of events. Okay. Thank the God I get to hear him say it, not fucking pyma- disappearances, Cowell selected his next victim from the audience reservation list. With some modifications to the selector, he could ensure that the pre-selected young woman would be chosen. To cover up any evidence while committing the deed, Cowell thought of allowing the water tank to fall, which would conceal the water left behind after the young woman was dissolved. He also tampered with the rope suspending the water tank, using the fireworks at the end of the performance to cause the tank to drop and hide the water marks. He poured the water from the primordial sea into a balloon during the preparation of the magic box and stuck it to the box's lid. Finally, he passed the prepared hook on a rope through the gap in the magic box's door when bringing the young woman to said box. When the magic trick officially began, the box containing the woman was lowered into the tunnel, tightening the hook rope and bursting the balloon containing the water. If all had gone to plan, the young woman would be dissolved at this time. However, Lillianne was not from Fontaine and thus fled the box with a loud noise. Um. Realizing that there was trouble, Cowell entered the tunnel and met Lillianne. Thinking that the waters had not yet taken effect, he decided to proceed. However, his opponent was more capable than he thought. Oh, what a fucking child. Overcome, knocked unconscious and placed into the magic box, 
and thus became his own final victim. Lillianne, according to her own statements, then changed clothes and hid until the performance ended before hiding in other parts of the opera house. As for Linny, he was in the underground structures within the opera house. Yeah, he was in the vent. He didn't know. Happenings. He was venting. From this reconstruction of events, we can conclude that Linny, the accused, is in fact innocent. While there is much in Linny and Lillian's conduct that should still be investigated separately, this case, at least, can be handed over to the Oratrice to make the final decision. Sheesh! Fuck is that? I saw a Star Rail wish! Jepard! Himako! It's the fucking Star Rail! Uh, Astral Express! As such, Linny and Lynette are officially declared not guilty. Thanks, Nivet. <laughs> Great work, partners. Good job, Navia. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Next, I think we deserve an explanation, Guard Vaughn. Yeah, Guard Vaughn. How did you find the water from the primordial sea in Linny's bag? Yeah! Yeah! What? Your discovery caused me to make a serious mistake, you know. Or was that Seems like you were you placed story. something uh, the in the scene of the crime. To bring before this court. That's why I allegedly the there are some allegedly free criminals allegedly from a Linny, famous case allegedly because there was allegedly a glove placed allegedly. Despite everyone allegedly knowing allegedly. I... <sighs> I'm sure you know what you must do to lessen your sentence. Speak quickly. Unless you want to earn yourself a one-way ticket to Coupon Town. I... I was just following orders. <laughs> we were supposed to place blame for the serial disappearances onto Linny, and thus cause suspicion to fall on the Fatui. The higher-ups said this was the best opportunity to do so. And now that your plan has fallen through, and the secrets of the water have been revealed... What's up, Kamalos? We, we, we just saw you earlier. ...to said higher-ups, yes. Therefore, you would be wise to tell everything you know and seek the protection of the guards. Yes, I'll tell you everything I know. Our boss discovered that the water can cause people to dissolve. It can also be made into a potion, which when extremely diluted, can cause people to experience unforgettable Corrupt higher ups like IRL. We've been in this business for a while now, and have made decent more off it. This guy just a cop? Also the yeah, I remember the idea. guards. I mean, this is the boss we're talking about. The <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and now he can no longer talk. Such ruthlessness. I shouldn't have expected any less. I mean, deserved an outrageous act. All present, please submit to inspection immediately. Wait a second. How do you not know the higher ups of the fucking guards? Aren't you literally the Archon and the Chief Justice? Sus. Wait a second. 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 Remember the vial of what I thought was cum that the Tore holds up? What if the. This is the Tore's liquid. That is dissolving them. Listen, I have seen this picture many times. What do you think this vial is? Hmm. Hmm. What if it dissolves people? Hmm. That's true. But I'm cooking. Welcome to another Genshin theory. Traveler, Paimon, please wait. Winnie. I know you may not want to speak to me right now. Maybe you don't even want to look at me. But still, let me thank you again for defending me to the end. Even after you learn that I'm a member of the Fatui. I guess. But regardless, I'd like the opportunity yeah, to Yeah, fucking things pissed. I didn't approach She's fucking any angry, dude. Or Ill intent. I've spoken to you as myself, just plain Linny this entire time. Okay, this guy's actually the Rizzler, dude. This is literally child too. As for why I'm a fatus, 
It's because the goals of the House of the Hearth align with those of an orphan like me. That's all. That was how Father, who you might know as the Knave, Wait, that's who Father is? Recruiting us back the Knave? Too. Wait, no, isn't the Knave Arlecchino? Wait a second, who the fuck is the Knave? Is it Arlecchino? Yeah, it is Arlecchino. I just looked it up. Okay, it is. Wait, they call... Wait, Arlecchino is Father? Oh. The Flush. The She's your father? That's right. And since we're here, I was. Oh, that means father in Russian. Oh, I see. Would you mind hearing that makes the story? Sense. It's about my past. Back when our parents first died, Lynette and I were left wandering the streets. To survive, I took to surreptitiously observing an older street performer. Dude, they do not give a fuck about fucking Fremine, huh? He never talks about him. Pulled off his amazing tricks. Okay. I took my sister through several streets until we found a crowded corner, and we began to perform magic tricks there. To my surprise, Monka W. We proved to be pretty popular, and we could at least stop worrying about where our next meal would come from for a time. But. I didn't want my sister to remain a street rat together with me forever. Monka W. For long, an aristocrat came to me and claimed that he wished to take us in after watching my performances. So you went from orphans to nobility just like that? That was how we felt at first, too. As if fate was on our side and we could say goodbye to those painful days. But I gradually discovered that while we were called foster children, he was really after my talent for magic tricks. Okay. He would constantly take me to all sorts of banquets to garner attention, which he would then use to expand his social circles. That doesn't seem too bad either. Better than roaming the streets at any rate. But then he... <laughs> it took uh -oh. a while for me to realize just how dark his heart really was. Uh oh. After one particular performance at a banquet, I discovered that Lynette was not on the uh -oh. same return vehicle as me. I waited a long time after we returned home, but she did not come back. I went to that noble's bedroom and asked him about her whereabouts. Uh oh. The answer he gave me was She caught the eye of the most eminent person at the banquet, so I sent her over as a gift. I mean, you'll be able to perform your magic regardless of who your assistant is, yes? And then Lenny killed him. So he was gonna. But wouldn't Fontaine's laws deal with such people? As far as outsiders are concerned, this is a relationship akin to adoption or foster care. And they have their ways of escaping the eye of the law. Damn. So what happened after that? I managed to ferret out the location of the mansion of that so-called eminent person and hurried through the night. But by the time I leaped over the walls, avoided the guards and made my way in, all I saw was the moonlit ground covered in blood and the knave standing there in the I, darkness. Okay, this game tilts me. They always, there has to be, okay, every time it's, yeah, this villain did nothing wrong. See, now Arlequino's a good guy. I, I, I'm all for it. That means she's playable. Okay, true. Thanks. Now we have Arlequino. Deserved. 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 That guy had it coming. I'm sorry. Arlequino fucking deserved. So... She'd already taken care of that guy. That's right. She had rescued my sister before she could come to any harm, and had even discovered several girls hidden in a basement, all of them orphans. Huh. Father, I mean, the knave, might have seen something in me, and so she made me an offer. The House of the Hearth welcomes you, for your interests align with ours. Here, none will ever betray you. Indeed, betrayal shall never be permitted here. Wait, I was, I was also right. To trust her. I mean, I had just been betrayed by. Okay, not to make this about me, but I was also right about Charlotte's fucking case that she was looking after being literally Linny Lynette. Like they were literally, it was literally. Okay, anyways, that's fucked up. But she was also quick to destroy the noble who had taken us in at first, giving us back our freedom. It isn't. Wait, aren't they looking after? Oh, I guess it was 20 years ago. Okay, never mind. I guess it's not the same. Damn. Oh, 
So that's how the two of you joined the House of the Horrors. The knave isn't after the Gnosis, is wait, is after the Gnosis, isn't she? She has her own plans. She has gained permission from the Sarita to first use the Gnosis's power. The Tarita <laughs> Ribozo to, to find a way to break the prophecy and save Fontaine. Not that's someone else. Whatever. So close enough. She believes in that prophecy. That's right. The whole House of the Hearth is currently working to combat that crack. Today's case has also proven that people from Fontaine can indeed dissolve into some sort of water, thus further supporting the prophecy. All of us house members here, Lady Arlecchino herself included, are from Fontaine. We won't give up on defending our homeland. To us orphans, the only connection we have left to this world, apart from our family, is our homeland. So, okay. From small deeds like distributing I mean, that makes sense. to huge schemes like stealing a gnosis, everything is aimed at dealing with that prophecy. It's all right. I understand. The only thing I can do is relate all this to you. I just hope you can understand that even as a member of the house, I have never stopped making my own decisions and that I believe what I'm doing is right. If you should need anything at all in the future, feel free to find me. I will do my best to help you as plain Linny. Okay. Uh, I don't know how I feel about what I just learned, but okay. I mean, based Arlecchino, I guess. Hey there. What was with the disappearing act you pulled right as the trial ended? Were you looking for us, Navia? Well, this whole thing isn't exactly over, is it? I do feel that we're getting closer to solving the serial disappearances case, though. Huh? What's wrong, my dear partner? Besides, are you sure we're the ones who can crack a case that's been cold for decades now? And given that there's new evidence from the trial, there should be a trail of breadcrumbs for the Hydro Archon's people to follow now. Huh. There's one good thing immediately a good guy. I mean, I'm sure Arlecchino's still fucking evil, but at least she say at least she killed that dude. I'm a little so I, from you, I can I fix her. Maybe I don't know. We'll see what we'll see we'll see what happens in Act Two, but I can probably fix her. I might have been too presumptuous. Don't say that, Navia. Ah, oh, and we were having so much fun investigating with you too. It was like having new waters flowing into a stagnant mire. Causing new hope to spring forth and the reflection in the murk to become clearer. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. I'm a bit prone to nostalgia. Don't mind me. Wait, shall we have a farewell meal? You know, to commemorate our time as partners? Huh? Do we really need to get that formal? Uh, well, guess you really did treat us as partners, huh? Well, i just like to have a proper ending. Anyway, it would just be a meal, so it's- You don't have to twist- Oh, wonderful. In that case, why don't we return- All right, then. Sure. Okay, <laughs> that took- How the fuck long did that take? That took like- Less than four. It was like 3.40. Three hours 40-ish. Three and a half. Because we started like 30 minutes- Oh, more than that. Like 40, 3.40, 3.50. A bit less than four. How is part two? Okay, be honest. Is part two longer than part one? Be honest. Please say no. Okay, people are saying no. Some are saying about the same. Act is a bit shorter. Okay, we have ah, we have time. It's only 4.30 a.m. I came here several times with my father when I was little, but stopped eating here as often after growing up. I hope the food here will be to your taste. Hi, Navia. Oh, don't worry. We haven't eaten at a hotel like this in a while. <laughs> wow, food. In that case, I'll the fuck pizza with a fork. Please wait here a okay, I'll listen. I'm sorry. Ooh, everything looks so good. People in Fontaine sure know how to enjoy life. Why, of course. Go ahead. Try whatever you like. 
If the food's good, I'll make a group reservation for the rest of Spina di Rosula next time. And if it's not? No, yeah, it's a baguette. Well, uh, <laughs> then I'll still bring everyone. Also, why did Paimon call Subaru food burnt, but she's hype about Fontaine food? Yeah. Frick you, Paimon. Sure have your own way of doing things. Oh, we called this a farewell meal, but we could also treat it like a victory feast, right? Oh, true. Very true. In that case, boss will I like have Navia. another two dishes. I like the way she thinks. Paimon didn't mean that you had to order even more food. <laughs> of cases do you think that the mastermind behind the serial disappearances will get caught soon now that this has all happened well we've certainly taken a big step forward but i feel that's about it we know that there's an organization that means to dissolve these young women but we still don't know what they are really after if it hadn't happened right in front of us Paimon wouldn't have ever believed that a person could be dissolved like that <laughs> right Yet it was because this was such a preposterous notion that the investigation could never really move forward before. Ugh. If only that guy could have finished speaking! In such investigations, even the smallest step can seem like a yawning chasm if the trail of clues is cut off. To be honest, I don't have high hopes for any follow-up that the authorities might conduct. It's not that I don't have faith in their ability, it's just that a different perspective is required in some matters. It's easy to guard against and deceive a single, narrow perspective. A shift in thinking is required at such times in order to produce a breakthrough, which is exactly why the Spina di Rosula exists. Those highfalutin folk are not all-knowing. That's why we exist. To seep into the cracks where filth falls through, where their watch fails them. Hmm... Seems Paimon thought things were simpler. <sighs> it's all right. Hydrate, I will hydrate. <laughs> this was supposed to be a farewell meal, so I doubt you have further interest in this visit. Let's talk about something else. Like, uh, what are your future plans? That's true. We didn't have a chance to. Hmm. I've heard that there's okay, a I can't lie. Part one was interesting. I now. could not give less of a fuck about this. I'm sorry. So Maybe it's just like a, a, a skill issue, but. That you missed your chance today. Yeah. Wow, there must be an organization that dissolves people. Okay, we saw that in Act 1. Wow, this food is good. Okay. Would you consider some more, uh, unique ways? Perhaps even methods of, uh, let's say, questionable legality? Guess that's been a Rosula's boss for you. Chock full of sketchy ideas. Well, one way would be to infiltrate a performance troupe at the Opera House, only to abandon your act at the play's climax and ask to speak to her. It's fine, it gets better. Copium. I'm sure Lady Farina would be eager to see the ending, and would agree in order to finish watching the play. Don't... Uh, could you suggest something a little more practical? <sighs> Most attentive right. gadget player? It's There's not even like it's good build-up. Calm the fuck down. It's not. It's just recapping game. random then facts. wake her up in the dead of night and demand answers. Don't let her go back I like Navia, though. until she answers all your questions. I can personally testify that this one works. When I'm sleepy, I'll do anything as long as I can finally get some sleep. Uh, that might work, but... Ah, valid point. I overlooked that part. I was just thinking about leveraging a person's desire for sleep. <laughs> all right, all right, no more joking around. Huh, perhaps you could... Oh, I don't know. Cut the line when she's on a break. You did defeat her in court, clearing citizens of hers from false accusations. False accusations she had nearly upheld personally. I imagine that she feels quite ashamed about the whole thing. You mean that if we catch her while she's on a break, she might be too embarrassed to refuse? Why don't we give it a try after this meal? You know, strike while the iron is hot now. Huh? Paimon, did you drink my Fanta? Uh, was this your drink? <laughs> no, it's fine. All right. Honestly, Paimon... Is that so? If we're all finished eating, then I'll go pay. Yeah, we're... Okay. Oh, so full... So the important thing? She drank the Fanta and didn't like it. Nah, that would be so... normal. Hmm. Okay. As for expensive...
expenses this month, here. Hey, Nadia! What are you doing over there? Oh, nothing, nothing. It was just a meal, you know? Nothing the Spina di Rosula can't cover. <laughs> <sighs> Let's get ready to try to meet the Hydro Archon again. Bye, Nadia! <sighs> so this is goodbye, huh? Well, if you do encounter any other trouble in Fontaine, you're always welcome to contact the Spina di Rosula. I'll give your requests the highest priority. Ah, in any case, I wish you smooth sailing. I'll see you again, partner. See ya! Okay. Skipping cringe? That scene was just boring. I'm sorry. Order Fanta, and then she's like, oh no, I can't order another. Okay, cool. Wow, it, this either means that, okay, she can't order another because of something, or Fanta's imported for some fucking reason. If that matters, I'll figure it out when it matters. For now, let me fucking press spacebar when I want to press spacebar. Rip Bozo. There aren't many people around anymore. Looks like that boat we took to Araneus might have been the last one. The shit. <laughs> the fucking I forgot about that shit. <laughs> Looks like we're back here again. Huh? Traveler? Why are you being toxic? You I'm bored during a scene. scene. Let me be bored during a scene. Do the quest how you want to do the quest. Stop acting like I owe you something. It's weird. Oof. That's kind of spooky. Vache? Vache? Hey, why are you still walking towards it? There might be something nasty in the water. I can feel strong emotions. Huh? Hang on. What the fuck is Vashi? Vash is cow. Vashi is Quebec slang for go fuck yourself. But I don't know what Vashi is. Maybe it's like a big cow. <laughs> oh! It's fucking oceaned! Hey man. Vache, are you my dear Vache? Oh. No, wait. You wait is it like her husband? Else. Do you know Vache? Or wife? Do you know where my love is? I'm afraid not. I'm... Wait. Who am I? I'm very sorry. I fear I do not know. My memories feel like they have been washed away like a flood. So many fragments dissolved amidst the tide, never to be recovered. Sag. How much have I lost? How many things that I once held dear while on land have I sent? You were once recovered? human? Yes, that is what I was once. But now, I am but the consciousness of one who has lost their form. Damn, did we kill this thing like fucking how many times? Like a hundred? That's fucked. At least, at least we can level sync Cho. I came to be like this either. I only vaguely remember being covered in light blue water. And it all grew dim. Could you be one of the girls who were dissolved? I also remember going to many places. Damn. I loved adventure. That was fucked. Loved exploring places of peril. No matter where I went, Vache would go with me. I knew how dearly he loved me, and I also loved him equally as much. But now, we can no longer go back. The pain so you need me to find him. Why do I feel like he's going to be... You know what? I'm not going to say it. I am going to say it. Why do I feel like he's going to be dead as fuck? There is no way for us to create any new memory. The thought of me gives him no sucker. So let it lie forgotten beneath the waters. If you meet Vashe, tell him not to look for me. Tell him to move on. <clears throat> I believe it will be hard for me for him to forget you. Perhaps that is so. As I was submerged in the waters, losing consciousness. I saw Vacher. I saw Vashe above the surface. His eyes were filled with such sorrow. What up, Yuli? Is there rain? longing. Actually, no. Run away, please. <laughs> I don't want to talk about today. I don't want to talk about what's happening. Indeed. I had felt a great warmth. Oh. 
That means Vashia was a witness to the fact that you dissolved. Is that what you call it? Dissolving. Sag. If anything. I didn't know the Oceanid was chill like that. Dude, even the Oceanid's voice lines when you fight her, she's like, who dares disrupt these waters or like give like you took this from us or something. I don't know. I felt like she was like just like chilling. It was a state of You're the one that wakes her up. You run up to the ocean and like, wake the fuck up. I need to kill you. They're just chilling. Like the water still surface. I could also liken it to being a thirsty person who drinks water for the first time. And only then sees how they have lived for so long in a world of endless want and anxiety. It seems that after the body is dissolved, some measure of the consciousness still remains. I think I hear your companion. It's time for you to go, I think. Farewell then. I am glad that you were able to sense my presence. Remember, if you see Vache. Okay. Thanks, Paimon. Whoa! What the fuck? Why is there war? <laughs> Whoa, kids, war. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, now he's a Claymore. She has a fucking white blind on. Oh god, it's Noel. Fuck. No, it's fine. It's fine. She'll be. She'll be broken. She'll be broken. She'll be meta. She'll save Geo. Clorand. Hi, Clorine. Raiden. Nope. Never mind. Iron Sting. That looks like Raiden's skill. I am looking. <laughs> Yo! How can she run like that in heals? Oh, look at the gun! Oh, yeah, we saw that in the trailer. What the fuck? <laughs> Hopefully, she actually uses the gun in her kit. Dumb. That's fucking sick. Oh, fuck. This makes Navia look like a four star now in comparison to her. Oh, fuck. Ah, uh, Geo's fucked. I'm sorry. Geo's fucked. Geo's fucked. I'm sorry. Geo main just change. Change elements. I'm sorry. Join the dark side, man. Play fucking, I don't know. Play, 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 play Hydro. Uh, there, Clorand. But before I do so, could you explain how you managed to show up here? I followed you. It seemed to me that danger has followed you more closely. Why'd she follow? Okay, that's that's suspicious. I believe that following someone without their knowledge is actually called stalking, is it not? Mr. Uh, I mean... last wish was for me to ensure your safety, and I will not betray his trust. Okay. Do the same. Were he alive today. Do not speak of my father. Damn, she knew Sorry, her father? I was not strong enough. Thank you for your aid, Miss Corand, but do keep an eye out for your manner of speech. I believe we all wish to avoid unnecessary emotional harm. Sorry, I did not consider your feelings. Okay, let me pause for a second. Yo, real talk. Like, just between me and you, why is she built like that? Whatever. What else do you know? How did you come to the conclusion that I'd be in grave danger? I doubt I know much more than you. But I believe that the mastermind behind the serial disappearances is very powerful. Your performance tonight will almost certainly attract their attention. Huh. I'm sure they've known about me. To be honest, I'm shocked it's taken them this long to act against me. And what about these Gardamax? I thought only those associated with the Maison Guardianage could control them. None of these mecha have serial numbers. I was sure to check a moment ago. They are not the ones used please, by the authorities to enforce please, the law. Please, just keep in mind that every character we've seen through this quest, well, at least like the important ones, will be playable. So so start saving your Primo Gems, okay? Ignore the rerun banners unless you want them. Yo, you might want Zhongli, you might want Child, you might want whoever else is next. That's fine. I'm just saying, be smart with your gems 
or you might have to use the limited five-star credit card uh, to obtain them. I'm just saying. I can only conclude that some powerful or wealthy party must have obtained them via illegal means, deploying them as a private force of sorts. What? She's not going to be what like Dea, the dude. Dea's on the standard banner. Yes. There is no way they standard banner her. And do not act rashly. I would record myself eating an entire this. keyboard. No They're not going to do that. We will bring the truth to light. That's my father's true last wish. <laughs> Regardless, thank you for your help today, Clarand. But if you get any ideas, tell me first. I don't much appreciate being followed. I do not think that they'll strike again anytime soon. So I shall stop following you. Good day, all. No, she looks too she looks too five star for the standard banner. There I have a theory and like when I watch like an anime or something, if I see someone with like colorful hair that the camera pans on, you know they're gonna be an important character. Always. She has like that colorful purple, like she's like yeah, like that polar purple, like fit hair hat, like she has to be important. Dea also, okay, Dea did look important. They kind of did her dirty. She was just an exception. They just, but I will say, yeah, they just did Dea dirty. There's no excuse. They just did Dea dirty. With that in mind, if you put Clorindy and Dea, and you're like, which one do you think is going to be more broken? Purple hair always beats any other color of hair. Or pink or white. Those are the OP hair colors. I'm sorry. It just is what it is. The more colorful the hair, the more damage they deal. But yeah, they just did Dea dirty, which uh, I still don't forgive them for, but yeah. Right. I suppose that's the best Sad. news we've gotten today. Demoiselle, I believe that Miss Clorand was being sincere with you. If we tried, we could attempt to thaw relations a little. If we tried. I know, I just... Oh, whoa, whoa, she's... whoa. Ugh. Whoa. She's what? What was that? Oh, thank goodness. I'm she's what? This is important. She's also champion duelist. Surely they don't make a champion duelist not good. Also, she's Electro. Dude, you can just play any Electro character in Aggravate or Hyper Bloom. Even the bad Electro characters that were bad before Dendro became... Okay, with the exception of, like, Sara, became good. Dory, if Sara didn't exist and you were in a funnel and you didn't have EM Raiden and you didn't know that Sara was a character and you also lost your Fischl at sea, you could use Dory. <laughs> but okay, yeah, we don't talk about her though. Dory's not a character. Oh, come now. Forget all that polite talk. That wasn't really a farewell meal we had back there. Not for me, anyway. In truth, I hope that every meal we have together shall be a victory feast. As such, we're still partners. There's no need to thank me. It will take Stop saying my Sino's bench, so chat. He's not. Magnanimity. If it were me, I would have joined. <laughs> All right, you two. That's enough. Actually, Navia, how did you know that we were in danger? You sure did show up in the nick of time. Nick, that's me. Well, to be honest, you're the one who tipped us off, Paimon. Navia's wholesome. Huh? Really? Paimon contributed to that? Cool. Oh, Paimon, fuck. That actually time. fucked with me. Yes, all thanks to you. Chat, what's the most broken, function? wholesome character? I guess Chang Ling's wholesome. Okay, never mind. I take that back. I just, she gave me too much, like, white blind, looked less in the cutscene, was less, like, intense than Clorindy, and then was being, like, giving me, like, Amber vibes. But I guess a lot of the wholesome characters, like Chang Ling and, like, Mahita, are kind of broken, so. Okay, we'll see. Hopefully. Parted ways. I was on the way back to one of our bases when I suddenly thought of what you said. That the Fanta tasted kind of salty and icky. Oh, that's what I missed. Okay. I'm sorry for skipping that line, but she just said it. Okay, she said it. Now I know. You don't have to get mad at me. Okay? Okay, the Fanta tasted salty and icky. What the fuck, okay? 
Someone fucking spit in it. What do you mean? Fanta only comes in sweet flavors. True. So how could it have tasted salty? The color of the drink, if I recall, had also been a bit off. I thought it was Fanta. So was it Fanta actually Fanta? Spiked with water from the primordial sea? I, like, I know it's spelled with an A, but so how do you pronounce you it? you hadn't drunk that cup for me... Spina di Rosula is preparing the grandest of awards Copyright? for you yeah, but I... for saving the boss. Okay, I've heard people pronounce Fanta Fanta, though, which is why I don't know. people to Hotel de Boer to investigate. But whoever did this left no trace at all. That's when I figured out that you might be in danger and hurried here as quickly as I could. What? Why would they go after us too? All we did was defend Linny in court and help clear his name. Oh, now we're caught up in this mess too. Well, you did foil a plan that they were probably pretty proud of. True. And almost got their name in the process. True. Speaking of which, did anything Did the black rose on her hat is pretty cool. Primordial seawater? Well, it can't be coincidence that the traveler fainted just now. She said that she heard that voice calling for Vashe again. Sus. Oh, and this time Paimon heard it too. But it was real faint. According to the the ability to hear voices like that is to do the one sensitivity to the hydro element. Does that mean the primordial seawater raises someone's sensitivity to hydro when it's used on people who are not from Fontaine? That doesn't sound like too much of a bad thing, to be honest. New intel? While you were... Uh, well, let's hear it, shall we? The voice in the Fontaine belonged to one of the missing women. A person named Vashi was a witness when she dissolved. Oh, that is important. Vashi. That name doesn't ring a bell. I suppose he hasn't stepped forward as a witness in court lately. Since he saw that young woman dissolve, he was at least at the crime scene. But he never gave testimony or any information regarding people dissolving in the primordial seawater. We should search for him! Could he have been threatened? Let's find him! Thank you. This is very important. <laughs> All right, partner. Indeed. We will continue to investigate. <laughs> All right, partner. Oh, you mean... You'll help us investigate? Yes. Well, you did. And besides, we're in this now whether we like it or not. You're not uh, like those people yeah. The Moiselle do try not to look quite so pleased. Oh, the debut says in two minutes. Do I need to do anything? You talk too much. Oh, well, in that case, let's head back to one of our bases, shall Sounds we? Sounds good, Navio. We have some plans to go over, and hopefully we can deepen our bonds as partners. Oh, I, I, okay. Take that one we can deepen our bonds as partners? With us around, our base is definitely secure. That was the NPC voice line. What the? F Wait, wh okay, that's another language. I don't know what that said though. Translation? Chat? Mod check? <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why the fuck would I do that? Why 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 would I do that? Dude, the day's gonna reset. My resin's capped. Why would I? Why would? I? Dude, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We need the new set for my official video. I'm gonna go farm it before we end stream. I might as well do that. We're gonna we're gonna farm it. We're literally gonna farm it. I might as well. It's a song about a lost lover. Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. What if we go fight the ocean right now? Okay, new day. It's right up ahead, but let's make sure we weren't followed first. I've been keeping watch, Demoiselle. I haven't spotted anyone suspicious thus far. Huh, very good. But let's not let our guard down for now. Okay. I shall find rooms for our respected guests. Thank you, Malus. Thanks, Malus. Uh can TP there, right? Why is the cat running? What the f fuck you two cat? Putsy. Wait, there's a legal advisor. Uh you're an attorney? Dude, why am I itchy? What is this maid outfit doing to me? Oh, okay. So, uh, this is your base? It's not quite what 
time unimagined. Your accommodations have been arranged. Under the present circumstances, I can confidently say it's the best we have. Thank you. <laughs> well, our funds have Damn, she's been broke. a little tight lately. After all, we don't allow illegal or unethical profiteering. In it's fact, okay, I got you. Often Don't worry about it. Citizenry who support us. Seems like it's tough times for everyone. But if you have the support of the people, that does sound like it's worth it. <sighs> to be honest, our financial situation was a lot better back when my father was in charge a few years ago. <sighs> I'm afraid I'm not quite his equal. Your father? He was the previous boss of Spina di Rosula, right? How did he... Demoiselle, if you'll allow me to explain. Uh, no. I'll explain Damn. it myself. I suppose <laughs> I <couldn't laughs> Damn, he's trying to fucking mansplain. And as partners, this is something I hope they can understand. My father's name is Callus. Yes, okay, we know that. The one they call Callus the Unfaithful uh -oh. in the streets. The Unfaithful. Three years ago, he was accused of murdering his own friend. But he chose a duel to defend his honor instead of standing trial. He died in the duelist ring. Oh, he died to fucking Chlorine! Because she's the duelist! Hey, I know your father's unfaithful. I would be faithful, just so you know it. Sorry. I'll save it for Nev yet. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me keep going. Let me keep going. So, okay, so he died in the duelist ring, probably to fucking Chlorine. Oh, no. We'll see, though. I do not believe my father was a murderer. I'm sure he was set up. At the time, I believed that if he only stood trial and was duly investigated, something amiss would crop up and prove his innocence. But strangely, he not only requested the duel himself, but rumor has it that even after being seriously injured to the point where he could be deemed as having lost the duel, Dumb. he refused to surrender. Such. Determined to die in the arena. <laughs> Three years later, I still don't understand why he did that. How could he protect his honor if he's dead? <laughs> if anything, he gave up his chance to defend himself. The closest piece of info I have is that my father had been investigating the serial disappearances case at the time of his death. Did you not have like a notebook <sighs> so that you could? That's why you're so determined to get to the bottom of that case. That's right. I've also tried to investigate the murder. <laughs> he my couldn't end on a loss. <laughs> <laughs> you have to I run it back. A single new clue in my countless reviews <laughs> Remember, of the Chad, never killed Q. Records. However, I believe that if the murder case is related to those behind the disappearances, they must know something. I must know what really happened. Was my father coerced? Framed? Even if he really did kill his friend, I must get to the truth. <sighs> if only he'd been more open with me when he was still alive. He even hid the fact that my mother died due to complications when giving birth to me. Sad. And now, here I am investigating his death. <laughs> you really are a handful, aren't you, Papa? Demoiselle, please. If there is anything I can do, anything at all. Did, did, let me just say we're quite alike in the sense that we're looking for truth for our family. Bro, her mom died giving birth to her, and then her dad died, like, defending some shit. All we're doing is finding our brother. Our brother, oh no, oh, my brother. That's it. That's literally it. We could have lived a comfortable life with fucking, with fucking any of the people we met thus far. I'm sorry, there's more to that. I know, I know. There's more lore to, to Lumine, but I... I... I also will never believe that Master Callus murdered anyone. Yeah, also our brother is a criminal. The head of the crim- All good. The two of you I mean, I guess he's probably like mind controlled, but Master still. Callus did he's so definitely much good in all good. Life, yet all it took was one murder case for him to be dubbed Callus the Unfaithful. Even our supporters decreased greatly due to that incident. Hence our uh, strained finances at present. Wait, if Callus was such a good man, wouldn't people at least be a little suspicious when he was accused? Uh, no. Perhaps people just could you imagine that kind of drama. It's not something exclusive to people from Fontaine, really. Everyone's like that. People love watching the evil turn over a new leaf, but they also enjoy watching good people fall into an abyss from one slip up just as much. But how could? Uh, never mind. If Callus was really falsely accused, 
We have to find the truth. He didn't deserve to have that happen to him. Uh, there is one other thing. Yeah. Master figure Callus's figure opponent figure 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 that on our own. Was Ms. Clorand. Oh, her? Well, then, isn't that the, uh, that's not the... Ms. Clorand has always placed great emphasis on the honorable nature of the duel. If her opponent doesn't yield, she will not stop either. She knew Master Callus beforehand and greatly respected him, but... I mean, she probably could have just been like, I mean, uh, she probably could have been like, you know, maybe I won't kill my, my friend's dad, but it is what it is, I guess. It's not that I don't understand her at all, but I, I just can't deal with this yet. Don't worry, Navia. Paimon knows how you feel. You don't have to force yourself to do that. Afterward, Ms. Cloran told us that at the start of the duel, Master Callus requested that she ensure Demoiselle Navia's safety. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, he did indicate to die. In yeah, he did intend to die in the yes, duel. That is our <sighs> oh, Papa. What madness drove you to ask the person who killed you to take care of me? All right. Anyway, that's the information I wanted to share with you. Even if it did sound like I was just... Yeah, for, yeah I don't think Clarence in the wrong, but still, she could have just, like, tied him up. Fuck it. You lost. And then he's not dead. And then it goes to fucking jail or whatever. But, I mean, I guess he just wanted to die, so whatever. Huh? I mean, no, like, actually, like, not in a weird way. Just, like, don't kill him. Fucking cut his legs. There you go. He can't walk. <laughs> I know. She just did what... I know, I know, I know. It's whatever. Uh, thanks. You two should go and rest. This was quite a day, after all. Yeah. Why are you question marking? I'd rather not have legs than be dead. What are you talking about? Relax and get some sleep. We will ensure you rest soundly. Ahaha, mutilation so funny. Are you brain damaged? Actually, like I'm concerned. What are you saying? What are you talking about? I'm saying I'd rather not kill my friend's dad. I'm not laughing. Actually, yeah, what? Okay, I'm not laughing at the act of cutting his legs. I'm saying I'd rather do that than kill him. Anyways, person's weird. Uh, what the fuck is this? Let me redo it. I think I missed it. Yeah, I did miss it. There are not friends? Yeah, I mean, fair enough, but still. Like, it makes sense for her to kill him. I'm just saying. Like, if she didn't want to, she, you know. But it does make sense. Like, I get it. Master duelist, opponent doesn't yield. You're going to kill them. But, like, I'm just saying. And where we have our headquarters. There's not much for them to do here at the moment. Paimon gets the feeling that you're just trying to get them off your back. But never mind that. When did you get back? Were you waiting here the whole time? No, I just returned after going out for a while. I yeah, it's also more... Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, Regarding you probably wouldn't want to live after that, though. Wait, you're getting disrespected like that. I don't know. <laughs> How could I after having yeah. such critical new evidence appear? Uh, guess Paimon wasn't speaking for... Uh, unfortunately, this name seems to have been wiped from existence. It doesn't seem to have a match anywhere. Sus. I suspect that those behind this have already taken steps to hinder an investigation from this angle. But that does prove that this Fashe person is a key witness in the incident. Sus. Does that mean we're too late though? No. There is one ray of hope. One place in Fontaine that they would find almost impossible to threaten. No matter how much they wanted to. And that is the archives kept by Chief yeah, Justice. Yeah, not yet. Okay, I'll, don't worry, Navia. I'll go visit him. No worries. I'll take care of this. You just stay here. I'll go check up on him. Make sure everything. you met is one of the young women who went missing recently. We should be able to find some related information there. So Nervalette maintains an archive of case files. Whew. Guess that's the hardworking Chief Justice for you. In that case, let's go talk to him. Um. Huh? Aren't you coming along now? No, no, I got it. Don't worry, Paimon. You can stay here too, actually. You can stay here too. Uh, no, it's nothing. Uh-oh. Let's go see the Honorable Chief Justice. 
Uh oh. Okay. Quest step complete. That was, uh, I mean, I guess that was like lore. Right up ahead. Come on. We got to learn Navia's past. Dual systems weird in general? Yeah. I mean, I assume that the moral of this story is that fucking the whole justice system in this region is flawed. I don't know. Maybe that won't be the fucking conclusion, but it feels like it. So we'll see. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully they come to that realization, but maybe not. I mean, I don't know. State your business here. The Chief Justice the is presently occupied with official matters. Huh. This place does look pretty heavily guarded. Guess that proves that Nervalet's files are really secure. Hey, don't you recognize us? Huh? Who are you? Just to be clear, <clears throat> I don't care who you are or who I like these things. I don't know. I don't remember what they're called, but I like them. They're funny. No exceptions. See? They've got great discipline too. Yep, yep. Heaven can tell. Melusines. If you're here just I'm not gonna remember that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll try. I'll try. I'll try, but I probably won't remember Melusines. So please leave if you don't have a reason to be here. Damn. Uh, no, no. What I meant to say fucked. is, shouldn't you remember us from a few days ago? We were at the trial of the great magician. There's a whole Lenny. world quest. <gasps> it's like Aronoro. I read about it in the Steambird. Sorry. You, you must be Linny's attorneys. Ugh, it's all coming back to me now. We're here today to report and archive some information on a follow-up case. Huh? Is that even a thing? It's not that long, dude. Okay. This is not even a hot take. This is just a normal take. But like, I feel like Aranara's the quest line was so good, but it was nerfed because it was so fucking long and not voice acted, and you have to find seven million. So the most like the average player is gonna fucking hate it because they're like, okay, I don't want to do a seventeen million hour quest. But like, whenever you, if you actually do it, it's like so good. But it's like so long, dude. Course. Don't worry, we're here on official business. You can trust us. All right then, I'll let you through. The Chief Justice is just inside. Ah. Thanks so much. Thank God they changed it. Did they? What do you mean? Like for like the new region? What do you mean change it? Cause like I I think I did it off stream. Like I I remember liking it. Like I did I didn't find every single one in the wild. Okay, which I know Pepe W. But like I did do like the the quest parts and it was fun. Like I liked it. But it's dude, it's so fucking long. Uh, can I TP or is that dumb? Uh, let's just walk. Whatever. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> Okay, well. What the fuck? Please come in. Oh! Where is he? Yo! Hey. <laughs> hey. Um, sorry to barge in, Monsieur Nervalet. We only like to get in because. It's pronounced Monsieur, but it's okay. Uh, nice try, Paimon. Please let me know how I may be of assistance to you. Uh, so you're not mad at us? We are looking for a man called Vache. He Yo, straight to the point. In the serial disappearances case. If we can find him, we may be able to unearth some key information on the case. Ah, oh, I see. In that case, please wait here a moment while I browse through the files. Dumb. Would be Dude, he is so, so dapper. Wait, I didn't know his hair was that long. I mean, I guess I've seen it, but I didn't know like the like at the end there's like a like a braid or a ponytail or whatever. I didn't know that. Like a, there's like a bow at the end of his hair. I didn't see that. Her hair is long as fuck. Look at that. I'm quite certain that no one by the name of Vache has been involved in any case, criminal or civil, in the past several years. There are no records of him either in the files or in my memory. Traveler, what if it was really just a dream? Is that so? Right, okay, no way she said what if it was a dream so after what happened in fucking that. Sumeru. We'll take our leave now. Do you not remember? Beep. Ahem. <laughs> Miss Navia, I can understand how you feel. Wait, his eyes are Your fucking pretty. What the hell? Look at that. Was a truly exceptional man. We deeply regret his passing. 
Tam. And what are you trying to say, Monsieur Novillet? Uh oh. Are uh -oh. you trying to console me? Uh oh. Yo, chill! You're just like your just dad's cool. Express some tendril of regret. Yo. No. You? Are Yo. Not trying to do any of that? I can hear it in your voice. Yo. There's no emotion behind your words. You only said those things because you felt like you should. Yo. It's just like last time. After my father took his place in the duelist ring, I pushed through the guards to talk to you as a last resort. Oh, she's kind of cooking, but chill. But you thought there was something fishy with the case, yet you still allowed the duel Yo! to go ahead. In your eyes, the value of a human life is nothing compared to those cold laws you hold so dear. If you truly regret my father's death, then why didn't you call a stop to the duel? Why didn't you give me the power to stop him from throwing his life away? Why did you just let him die? Archon's order is not his fault. Hated by all. Okay, maybe it was his fault. was hanging on a thread at that moment. Just the tiniest effort could have changed everything. There are still so many things I never got to tell him. Sad. So many questions he still owes me answers to. If you really have no heart, then just look me in the eyes. I, Navia, will show you the true meaning of regret. I'm Yo. sorry, Miss Navia. You and my father are truly alike. You keep all kinds of things in your heart and never say a word to anyone. It's not so much that you can't feel but that you would never express anything. Oh well. In any case, everyone already knows full well the apathy of the Chief Justice. My apologies for taking my emotions out on you, Monsieur Chief Justice. She's just leaving like- Let's go, Traveler and Paimon. What that's- oh, Okay, what the fuck? She just- She just said what she had to say in peace. I mean- I mean, fair enough. I mean, she did. Navia, are you okay? Wait, it's I'm raining. Uh, rain. Cause he's crying. It's raining. You're right. Wasn't it still sunny when we went into the building? And there shouldn't be any active trials today. Now that I think of it. On the day okay. my father was convicted of murder, uh, it might be spoilers because I remember seeing fan art of this, so it might have debated all of me. But like, the fucking the, the the emo boy at the start was like, when the rain dragon cries, it rains, and then he's probably crying now, so it's raining. So I assume that makes that that means that he's you know, so that's probably what just happened. But yeah. What is it? Did you think of something? Saj. Um, poor Niviet. That makes me like him more, though. Is that fucked up? I don't know. Yeah, he was. I mean, he probably didn't have a choice, to be honest. Covered in the rain could fall there. Sag. Why? Do you think the rain could have affected the crime scene? That thought has occurred to us before. We've even expanded the search area to try to account for that, but didn't find anything of value. Oh. Wait. Uh, you don't mean... Well, I didn't read on what I clicked on. I'm a fucking dumbass. I heard what she said. The fact that people can be turned into water. You're saying that the true murderer could have been turned into water? And then got washed away with the rain? Yeah. And if that's what had happened, then no one would have believed your dad, even if he explained what he saw to the authorities. Dumb. I really think I found a true genius for a partner. <laughs> You're completely Wait, right. that's fucked. Imagine. Oh, did I Damn. Not connect the dots earlier. All right. Let's go to Poisson. With this new lead in mind, we'll get to the bottom of my fuck. Yeah, Dude, imagine if we're fucking go with me now, or do you want to head over by yourself later? I'll go with you. I'll go with you. Please, please, please. Hey. We should go while it is fresh. Okay. Let's I was going to say, dude, if her dad like 
I mean, I guess he had like ego or whatever, but if her dad didn't ego, he literally could have just not fought, went to jail, then his daughter would have proved his fucking innocence because she's about to, and then boom, he's saved. Because we're about to be like, oh, he was innocent. Watch, literally in like 20 minutes. But he had to ego it. See, chat, let this be a lesson. I don't know what the lesson is. Uh, just, you know, if you're on trial, uh, <laughs> don't fight Clorindy because she'll beat you. Yeah, don't ego push. True. Whoa, what a huge ship! <laughs> There's no need to be so surprised. While it may look like a ship, it's actually Spina di Rosa's I like headquarters. <laughs> Navia's like, my father was a noble, like a great man. And then Kaya, we talk about his lawyer's like, yeah, my ancestor. <laughs> I, I mean, it's technically spoilers, but we're literally doing an archive quest. Like, yeah, my, my ancestor fucking made the abyss. Okay, well. Thanks, Kaya. My father was the one who asked for it to be built like this. Perhaps our taste in exterior design is the only thing we occasionally had in common. A gigantic and glamorous ship embodies discovery, opportunity, ambition, and conquest. It symbolizes Spina di Rosula's bright and limitless future. And Paimon thought you were bluffing when you said Spina di Rosula had a glorious past. I'm gonna look up Spina di Rosula. I wanna see if that means anything. I mean, I assume before I Google it, it looks like spine of the rose or something, just from like the words. Oh, it's literally all Genshin when I look it up. Okay, well. Okay, it's, yeah, it's all Genshin. It's our main base, our home. Rose thorn, thorn of the rose. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Took inspo from France lore. France, like the the country we saw in um, history class. Wait, where am I going? Wait, how the fuck did I get here? <laughs> um. All right. It's fine. I'll make it. <laughs> Foreign. Quit following me, Squall and Fury. Search for it. I like how Yelan and Skara's like biggest enemies are like slightly slanted slopes. Malus, we're back. Apologies for the wait, Demoiselle. Apologies. Our... You said before that you still had some business at the court. What brings you back to Yo, so thanks for the plus one raid! Huge! About that. It's because my partner here reminded me of something really important. You see, what if my father's case had something to do with water from the primordial sea? You still remember, right, Malus? On that night, it was raining? Yes, the case was quite similar to that of Mr. Linney's. Both were what you'd call impossible murders. Could the mastermind be the same person? Could you tell us a bit more about what happened before? Oh, well, yes, of course. Of course. Oh! Many oh, but it was her, not him. Something called synth began to gain popularity. In okay, itself. synth. At a glance, it was a kind of drink that could... Oh, like absinthe? ...excite your mood. Literally absinthe. Pleasant hallucinations. Which is like 70% alcohol. Wait! Didn't that guard guy who turned into water also mention that the primordial water could be used to produce some kind of potion? Yes. He did. Considering what we know now, it's almost oh, a drug. Synth okay, well, using water eh, close enough. Sea. If you drink synth for an extended amount of time, you'll suffer many side effects, such as losing the ability to focus or control your emotions. I mean, that's literally alcohol. So I mean, it might be true. It completely, you'll experience that's of also literally alcohol. Anxiety, while lacking energy to do anything, it's an extremely dangerous substance. As he oversaw Poisson. My father was compelled to put a stop to synth abuse and called for a complete ban of it. Boss's uncompromising attitude incurred the synth vendor's wrath, but no matter how much they threatened or bribed him, he refused to yield. Not only that, Boss became determined to find the mastermind behind the synth operation and put an end to the problem once again. Dude, and holy th uh, I'm not gonna say that. I am gonna say that. The enemy was th very th cunning. 
so he could never get anything respectfully 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 sold the stuff and weren't privy to the rest of the operation. respectfully man can i appreciate the art from the artist that's all the dealers i didn't say anything weird and cultivate personal relationships with them finally he was able to convince someone to become his informant the man's name was jacques Jacques. He felt greatly ashamed about his work after seeing many families destroyed. Oh, <gasps> it's like Oppenheim. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. At his countryside estate, he planned to meet up and exchange information with Jacques over some food. But then, we heard two gunshots from the courtyard. We raced to the scene and found my father. Oh. Still holding a gun, and Jacques. I mean, based honestly, W father for doing that. Road. If he did. <laughs> Sounds just like Lenny's case, doesn't it? In both cases, the culprit seemed obvious, but neither appeared to have any motive at all. Looking back on it, though, I now believe the most important clue was something we all overlooked at the time. There were pieces of clothing left at the scene. Precisely. It's all thanks to you that I made the connection now. Back then, we all just thought they were some costumes that Jacques used to disguise himself at the banquet. But, considering it now, it's almost certain that they belong to a third person at the scene. With one extra person, we'll Wait, also actually, to maybe I'm just too tired and I didn't Jacques fucking remember, but I don't remember what the- Wait, what the fuck is the relationship between the father and Jacques? I thought Jacques was just the dude that made the thing. But maybe I fucking- I'm too tired to focus, so wait. Maybe your father got into an argument with Jacques. But it's also possible that the third person was to blame. You're right. We still don't know what happened. But my intuition tells me that we are on the right allies. track to figuring it all out. I'm finally oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, truth. maybe not based to shoot him then. <laughs> okay, my bad. <laughs> oh, good. I mean, his fast actions were so fucked, but... It's unlikely that he turned on boss with zero warning. I think this third person is probably the key to the full truth. On that note, however, even though this yeah, maybe don't shoot the informant. Maybe he didn't. Maybe was... butler, I must still offer a word of warning. Our Sad music. is insidious and cruel. They are extremely difficult to deal with, and Boss has already lost his life trying to bring them to justice. Even though Spina de Rosula has lost most of its former glory, Poisson has welcomed Poisson. <laughs> That bird looks cool. Live out our lives. Okay. There's no need to follow your father's path. It would be both wise and in line with boss's wishes to step back and give up on the case. If that's indeed what he wished for, then he should have told me that himself. Was I not the closest person to him? And yet I was the one most kept in the dark. What was the point of him dying without sharing any of the secrets he knew? Did he manage oh. to protect anything in the end? Synth is still here. Callus the Unfaithful is still his epithet. And Spina di Rosula is barely getting by. Nothing has changed. Did he think I'd just accept his meaningless death and live out my life just as meaninglessly? I've never accepted that, ever. Not since that day, and certainly not now. I want to find out the real answer for everyone's sake. For the missing girls, for the victims, and for myself. Fabia. This is indeed the best moment to act. Your partner appears to be quite reliable, and more importantly, Demoiselle, I think you're also ready to take this on. Okay. So do know something else, Malus. Yes, I do. In fact, even before that banquet, Boss already knew of the connection between Synth and the serial disappearances case. But what drove all the tensions to the boiling point was the revelation that you, Demoiselle, oh. had been selected as the next target Damn. to disappear. What? Boss also didn't tell you that he had been diagnosed with a rare illness. The doctors told him. <gasps> Eliazar, we cured that. We did the the Sumeru no thing. La da 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 da. We we solved it. We. The case caused him great anxiety. 
Five years was nowhere near enough time to resolve this long-standing conflict. But once he Dodge. passed away, all <laughs> the danger would pass on to you. Knowing all of this, he decided to use one final intimidation tactic before his death. He claimed to have already gotten his hands on some key incriminating evidence for the other side. And even told some members of Spina de Rosula about the details. But as long as you remained safe, you would not share the evidence with the public. Bound. If something were to happen to you, then he and all those he told would immediately expose all they knew about Synth and the Bound. disappeared victims. Right. So nobody would be... As we've seen, Boss's tactic has worked. Even though Boss has been gone for a long time, the other side has not tried to take Demoiselle's life. No. I don't believe it. He never appeared to look sick to me. No father wants their daughter to see them weak and haggard. Especially someone as proud as Boss. That's true. Him dying in a duel and suffering lasting dishonor as the unfaithful. Dude, my okay, uh, dad lore, I guess. Well, my dad, I'm still pissed at him for this to this day. When my dad had COVID, we have okay. I have in my extended family. There's like a few like medical professionals. Like my my cousin's a doctor, and like literally like when he had COVID, it was like really bad for him. But anytime we'd ask or check in on him or like whatever, you'd never say anything. And then there's a point where he'd like literally, I he literally rewrote his will. Without fucking telling us. And I was like, dude, we have, like, we could have done, whatever. He's fine. All's good now. But, like, motherfucker. I, I don't know. So I swear it's like, they don't want to just, they don't want to let anyone know they're in pain. It's like, bro. Fine. It's okay. So he chose to die in silence. That was like two years ago. So that he could protect me. I'm afraid you're not understanding this correctly, demoiselle. What boss wanted to hand to you was not a parasol but a sword. If Boss's spirit could hear you telling me that you want to find the answer for the sake of everyone involved... I mean, hey, he beat it, but still, it's like, sure dude. <laughs> uh, that fool. <laughs> Couldn't he have just given it to me straight? No. He might have set up everything precisely because he never thought I'd be able to understand him. Is that the amount of confidence he had in me? And what if I was never able to make it to where I am now? Sag. He wanted to give you the choice to live how you want. Or he gave you the choice to live how you want. Yeah. I suppose that's true. With the way he'd set things up, if I had wanted, I could have just lived out my life without a care in the world. But thankfully, he rarely talked to me about complex matters. And thus understood little of me as a person. In this case... He really didn't need to give me an easy way out. Huh. Malus, what was the key evidence that he shared with you? Okay. Actually, it's fine. I was just going to say, you could have said this before we went and, like, talked to Neviet and all that, but all good. I mean, it's fine. It's the location where Synth is produced. Essentially, it's the enemy's headquarters. When he was threatening the enemy, Boss didn't share the specifics of the incriminating evidence he found. But if you want to use it against the enemy, you'll still have to take several things into consideration. Why? If we know where the place Wait, why did Sultai... Are you gonna do all the acts today at Zyox Clueless? Isn't this the last act? Is it just two? This is two! What do you mean? There's, dude, they're, they're literally about to finish. You mustn't forget Why that we're fighting against a mysterious and dangerous. If there's more, I'll do more, but that's been in operation for decades. There's no telling what might be lying in wait at their headquarters. We also have no idea what kind of evidence we may be able to find inside, nor what people we may be able to capture. The only thing is, visit to their headquarters it looks like the act's about to end, but I remember people telling me that Act Two makes you like farina more and we haven't seen her at all in this act so that means there's probably at least another like fucking hour but <laughs> anyways the worst case would be that we leave empty-handed or but like at least you get to know her more i don't know but retaliation maybe not i mean maybe not in but case, why not work with the fontaine authorities well you saw one of them dissolve during mr Linney's. Case. i don't like her more and i did act we too okay no well we'll see just how thoroughly they may have been infiltrated huh. that's true 
Seems my father really had no choice. But things are different now. It should be a lot easier to prove the other side's guilt, now that we've connected Synth with the Disappearances case. You sound like you put a lot of thought- I am the butler, after all. I live but to serve the boss and demoiselle. Let's go to the chat, I like him. I've always do we get to learn more about Silver? Because all of you guys love fucking Silver. What did he do? He didn't say anything. He was just like, I have shades. <laughs> I guess that's enough. I don't know. <laughs> I guess having, having shades is, is enough. All right, Thank fair enough. For all of that He's not even here. Uh, have you discovered anything new in the past few years? One conclusion I came to was that He's the just enemy there must with be shades. quite familiar with Spina de Rosula. When I announced orders to the organization's members on Demoiselle's behalf, I used to deliver... He did have the almonds ready. That is true. He had the almonds ready for the fucking macaroons. True. If the vendors didn't change their plans, then the individuals informed of our orders must be innocent. If the vendors packed up and fled, however, then someone must have given them the news. After several rounds of testing and investigative tracing, I've narrowed the suspect list down to three people. Okay, three. The first is Florent, Spina de Rosula's senior advisor. Okay. He's uh -huh. dressed like Le Goff. Florent? No one dressed like Le Goff would do anything wrong. But I also think Le Goff... He was one oh, of up. the people Boss trusted the most, which also means that he was someone who understood Boss really well. Okay. Thanks to his position within Boss's innermost circle, he always knew our upcoming plan. There's someone else like him too. Marcel. Carrie Bear! Oh my god, it's not Carrie Bear. Keep thinking it's Carrie. Uncle Marcel. Marcel. It's a guild in Poisson. The boss helped it to grow to its current size and prominence. In the beginning, they were only reselling some daily goods, but now they're. One of the richest guilds around, with a lot of business connections. So, they're like a sister organization? Uh, yes, you can say that. Okay. When we were fighting against the synth dealers, they provided us with plenty of support. It's a bit difficult to imagine someone using their own money to hunt down themselves. The final suspect is Thierry. Thierry. Responsible for coordinating information this guy looks like a cop. Get him, it's him. Gods. It's him, get him. Get him. Get him. Although the guards mostly leave us to our own devices, there are still many activities we have to report to the local authorities. Since Thierry is always in the know about our current activities, he could theoretically always plan one step ahead. I see. These are all people who I communicate with quite regularly. To think that the enemy we've been fighting against has been right next to me all along, among the among trust the most. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'll stop. Too hard. If you want to investigate them, please take every precaution to not alert the quarry. Judging from our experience, the enemy is extremely cautious. Mm, of course. And thank you, Malus. You're too kind, my lady. You're too and kind, my lady. I forget, approving boss. After that incident, Jacques' wife and daughter were taken into the Spina's care. They still live in Poisson today. If it might help, you could also pay them a visit. Oh, thank you so much. A new case awaits, my dear partner. Hell yeah, partner. We can work together to uncover the truth. Huh. Callus's case records. Okay. Is there another trial to do? Pog? Why does it say there's a fucking... Uh, Hydroculus here. Is it over here? There it is. I got it! I got it! Yes! Yeah! Alright, let's go visit Jog's family. If it's useful, I'll take it. Plunge on the cat? Frick you, cat. It is settled then. Please excuse me and enjoy your conversation at your leisure. Thank you for Sorry, arranging that was fucked everything up. for us, Malus. We didn't actually hit the cat, don't we? Excuse me, miss. Do you need anything from us? You should skip the kid's dialogue. Wait, why? Oh. Hey, Navi is all quiet. <laughs> this is why is she mad? I'm sorry that I only came to visit after all this time. After what happened, I didn't know how I was supposed to face the two of you. 
Ah, if it's about that, there's no need to apologize. After my husband died, Spina di Rosula sent us a lot of Mora and support. But aren't Wait, did I skip something? things nothing compared to the loss of Jacques? <sighs> I can understand the kind of pain that comes with losing a father so needlessly. Okay, I'm gonna say it. I'm not gonna say you it. You don't understand at all. I didn't know how to face you. Because I didn't know what I could possibly bring as a consolation gift. I know only the full truth could bring closure to you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry. I appreciate the sentiment, but you don't have to carry all that guilt. On the matter regarding my husband, my daughter and I have more or less found our answer already. Would you mind sharing it with me? I really can't believe that my father could ever bring himself to shoot Jacques. I always knew that my husband's money was earned through others' suffering. Dumb. He told me countless times that if he could turn back the clock, he would never go into the synth business again. He had many regrets, and felt that he took the idea of providing for his family too little. Dumb. He was literally Walter White. This time, he thought Mora was everything. So when Mr. Callis came to him with a proposal, he accepted it almost <laughs> immediately. He tried to be as careful as he could, but even Walter. So, he was still found out by the higher-ups. They found out about his betrayal? Papa didn't say that exactly. But Papa did tell me that I should never be ungrateful. Okay, who asked? Before he left that day, he told me that he had no choice. It was only later that I realized it was his final farewell. To Wait, does that mean someone ordered Jack to take out Callus? I don't know that for sure. But you could say that's... The conclusion I eventually came to. Okay, that's fucked. Which is why I'm the one who should feel guilty. Callus had always taken great care of us, both when he was still alive and after he passed away. Hey, Jack wanted to kill he her dad? He fired the shot that killed my husband. It was likely in self-defense. It is impossible for me to hate him for what he had- But Mama, why is Papa still the bad guy if he did the right thing? Shut Papa up, kid. Go do your homework. To be a good man. So why did he have to do a bad Ponder off the cliff. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. Well, <laughs> things aren't always as they seem. You still feel I'm like kidding, I'm kidding. Papa was a good man, right? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yeah. Papa was a really good man. The best in the whole world. Too far, too far, too far, too far. Then you should hold on to that. If a good man had to do a bad thing, then he must have had his reasons. Regardless of whether he left you a parasol or a sword, he must have done so to give you a better life. True. Oh, thank you for everything you've told me. I will definitely find the truth. Navi is so wholesome. The current state of things is not something I'm willing to just sit back and accept. Thank you. Even though your personality is quite different from your father's, your determination when you speak is really similar. You really think so? That's the first time anyone said that to me. Aww. Okay. What up, Adele? I'll leave my husband. Thank you, Miss Spina. And Miss Spina's friend. I have a name! What the? That's it. I better fucking I I better have I, I better have strong result. Thank fucking God. Fuck you, Adele. Are you okay? <laughs> All right, let's go there. Uh, I'm fine. Don't worry. Let's investigate the three suspects next. <laughs> Greetings, boss. How may I be of assistance today? I don't like this guy's beard. I don't like his neck beard. It's giving me bad vibes. I'm sure you've heard about what happened at the opera house. Someone got turned into water right in front of us. Yeah, I've heard. With something that dramatic, I'm sure journalists will milk it for all it's he worth. He has a great beard? No, yeah, it's it's like not full. It's just weeks. like bottom. It also reminds me. Fang called him Zajef? He does not look like Zajef. That is an insult to Zajef. Zajef looks way better than that. And we found some clothes left at the scene. Zajef 77. The Jeff, see, the Jeff actually, 
He actually has a beard that's like more full. This guy just has just just like the chin strap. After my partner here put the dots together for me, I feel like we should try to reopen his case. Can you do me a favor and try to recall what happened that night? I, I can try. Mm, let me think. Mr. Callus was feeling pretty upbeat that day. So he was drinking and bantering away with us at the table. <laughs> Who is Judge Jeff at Zyox? <laughs> no one, no one. <laughs> Just... <laughs> After that, he told us that he wanted to go get some fresh air. So we let him go without thinking much of it. Who knew that we would hear two gunshots ring out right after? My first reaction was that Mr. Callus's life was in danger. So I grabbed my holster and made a mad dash toward the scene. But when I got there, it was already too late. Mr. Callus was standing over a dead body with a gun. So you also remember two gunshots then? Indeed. Okay. The guard's reason being, Mr. Callus had left his gun on the table. I even Hopefully we get to do the actual guards, like case trial thing in this act. Because if we acquire a bunch of evidence and then we wait till we have to wait till next have patch to actually do anything, expected. I'm gonna be fucking pissed. No Judging by so he would it's probably gonna be that. To bring an extra <sighs> Whatever. Hopefully it's not. The gun he was holding? Probably. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So you're saying Mr. Callus ended up with the gun because he seized it from one of the other guys? But hold on. If that's what had happened, then why didn't he share the truth with any of us? He didn't even want to face the Oratrice machine and chose instead to prove his honor in a duel. Maybe he didn't want to explain. Oh, okay. Maybe this is obvious, but I feel like he didn't want to explain it because then his daughter would have been like. All faith in the courts after seeing. Mm, about that, Malus told yeah, me a okay. thing or two. So. I guess he's not going to explain it. Understand why he committed to the duel. I'll tell you everything once the whole truth has been revealed. I understand. Then I'll leave Mr. Callus's honor in your hands, boss. And if I may just say one more thing, the whole Callus the unfaithful epithet has been a thorn in my side since the day it was invented. Many people have laughed at me for still calling him Mr. Callus, even after so many years have passed. But it was Mr. Callus's trust that allowed me to rise through the ranks of Spina di Rasula and live the life I lead today, no matter what others might say. Don't worry. I will do and okay. all our other... Okay, we'll give on the truth, sure. So go talk to fucking Siri. Where is he? This guy's in Narnia. All good. Oh, he's right here. Oh, hey, Thierry, it's me. I'm Thierry. Oh. Now, what brings you here, Miss Navia? Oh, so you've caught news of that already. Oh, okay. Hey, I'm also a member of the guards. This guy talks too slow, I'm sorry. Are you sure there isn't a little bit of truth in that? Under normal circumstances, shouldn't you have been called back to the city already? <laughs> I mean, where I work is really where up to I me. It's really up to me. Callus did a fantastic job running the town. Building Spina di Rasula from the ground up and clearing many obstructions in my way. It would be next to impossible for me to find a similarly easy but high paying job in the city. Okay. Anyway, enough chit chat. Are these two friends of yours? You uh, here for some formal business? Ah, uh, yes. These two are my partners. What happened at the Opera House made us realize that Linny's case and my father's may be related. We're trying to reinvestigate the details of my father's old case. Ah, I get it. You think there might be more to the case now that we know people can be dissolved into water, right? I was I don't like this guy's flabbergasted tone. when I first heard of it. If you want to go through the original files from your father's case, I can help you look for them. That'd be much appreciated. Thank you. Uh, actually, I have another question. Do you have the authority to dispatch Gardamex? Of course. Without them, I couldn't possibly handle Poisson on my own. 
Bots off. I can handle Bots on my own. Forcefully get more evidence for your father's. Well, you see, just recently, we were attacked by a horde of unnumbered Gardamex in the city. So, <laughs> if you hypothetically wanted to do something against me, all you would need to do was get rid of the Mecha serial numbers and send them after me. <laughs> then you think too highly of my abilities. Okay. Dispatching Mecha is very different from controlling them. Okay. I had to make an analogy. When you order a dish, the chef will make it for you. You can ask the chef if you try to make unreasonable them removing a serial number. So I can promise you, those okay. Mecca were private units. Private I skipped units. the analogy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They're I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Cheap. So, whoever their owner is must be super rich, powerful, or both. Now that you mention it, though, the Psyox analogies, dude, it's my it's analogies it's are so much better. Enough to afford this. What is X-ray shark right here, right meow? It's X-ray shark right here, right meow. Oh. <laughs> My analogy is so much better. Clear, Thierry. <laughs> well, thank you for the vote of confidence. Now, jokes aside, I'd like to wish you all the best with your investigation. I'll be staying in the city for a little while, so just come find me if you need any support from the guards. Okay. Okay. That was definitely a dialogue. How the fuck do I get? Uh, I guess I just have to run. I think we updated your Twitch link for the meow command, but if there's another old one, it's probably not updated. We could do that. Who the fuck is this? Hello. How may I help you? You're under arrest. You Marcel. Could you please let him know? You can just say Navia's looking for him. Sure. I will let him know right away. Ah, uh, Navia. Hello. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm not as young as I used to be, so my legs are... Chat, I hear out. my dad waking up. Uh, I'm going to have to sit in a way where he can't see me. Because it is currently 5.53 a.m. And I don't want to explain if I don't have to. Oh, it's all right, Uncle Marcel. There's no need to stress. I just wanted to talk to you briefly about <laughs> Minus what one the son. <laughs> I'm sure you saw everything too, right? Yes, uh, I've never seen okay. anything so strange. Oh, you were at the Alpha House too? <laughs> That's right. I also witnessed no, some marvelous that. sleuthing work. Quite impressive. Okay. To beat the Hydro Archon at her own game on her own turf. I can already imagine everyone in Fontaine discussing your exploits over a few glasses of the wine. The Inferno must be fucking pissed. Oh, Paimon doesn't want to become the talk of drunkards. <laughs> Apologies. It's just how Fontaine is as a nation. Everyone loves drama and theatric. Uncle Marcel, you've also noticed that other thing, right? The fact that humans can dissolve in water? Oh, it's not on auto. I was like, why isn't yes. it playing? I was reminded of your father's case right away. Is that what you're investigating now? Exactly. I still don't have much solid proof, but I can sense that the other side has already begun to act. Oh, and what makes you say that? We were attacked on Araneus by some unnumbered Gardamax. And yeah, true. there was also an attempt to get me to drink water from the primordial That's sea. also true. If not for the vigilance of my partner, I probably wouldn't even be here talking to you right now. Oh, you're giving us too much credit. Wasn't it you who protected us? Alas, it seems things are heating up again. The peace that Callus sought so dearly will soon become. Dude, I'm so fucking past. tired. But rest assured, Navia. I need some action. Will always remain a safe haven for you. If you're scared, you can always return there. If anyone dares to lay their hands on you there, the Confrérie of Cabriere will use its funds to the last Mora to bring them to justice. Thank you, Uncle Marcel. But I don't intend to go into hiding. I'm going to strike while the iron's hot. Okay. Do you have any new thoughts on my father's case? Ah, about that. Sorry, my age is catching up with me. You don't so even look that old. You call my memory. This guy's sus. 
The Conferi was responsible for that banquet. So I was out and about the whole oh, time. Oh, the age is getting to me. Were running smoothly. I didn't even have the time to drink with the guests. Then I heard the sound of a gunshot, and the rest was history. Oh, it's okay. No need to push yourself. We'll ask around some more. See if there are any valuable clues elsewhere. Sounds good. Just let me know if you ever need more. I need more. All my wealth comes from Callus's patronage and support. Bro, I'll give us more. She's literally isn't she broke? She just said she's broke. Yeah, she'll take more. Can, can I have more? Hey, man. Uh, alas. Okay. Oh, never mind, I guess. Squall Fury. Dude, I need Mora. Even fucking Navia needs Mora. <laughs> Useless. All three suspects, purely based on their conversations with me, none of them sounded particularly suspicious. Okay, what if it might be one of them, right? It might be one of them, right? It might be one of them, right? But what if no spoiler chat? Okay, you're not allowed to type spoilers. Anti-spoiler spam. What if? It's one of the dudes we trust. What if it's like the fucking old dude or silver? It's probably not silver because he's too cool. A guy with shades would never betray us. Mm, I, I suppose but I'm not going to look at chat because if that's true, you guys are going to be like, yeah, I'm not going to look. But... To find them out, then my father wouldn't have needed to investigate the case for so many years. What if it's like our friend? Anyway, even though we didn't make a breakthrough, let's still compile what we were able to find. Hmm. But where should we start? Jacques Motive. That Callus probably only ended up with the gun because of circumstance. Hmm, that makes sense. According to Jacques' family members, he already told them that he had been discovered and that he had no choice before he left home that day. Okay. Hmm. If I had to guess, he probably received an order from the synth boss to kill my father. Had he refused, he and his family's lives would have been forfeit. So Jacques fired the first shot. Okay, just to make sure there are no more there are no spoilers in chat, so that I can actually read my chat. Uh, we're quickly going to. <laughs> yeah, you just got Toyota Corolla chat. Get fucked. All right, back to Genshin. I'm sorry. You just got Toyota Corolla. Uh, can he guarantee his safety after killing Callus? Could he guarantee his family safety after killing Callus? Oh, that's a good point. Jack probably already knew that he was just being used as a tool for murder. And once he had... Huh. Not true. So, what would make more sense from his perspective would be true. to turn his back on the Order and seek protection from my father. True. Hmm, makes sense. But without evidence, that's still just a theory. A game theory. Thanks for watching. Jock, the attack from the Gardamex has been bothering me quite a bit as well. It's obvious that our enemy has become more antsy after the secret of the primordial seawater was revealed. Okay. Do you think he knew even then that we'd follow this lead to the end? Given everything that's happened since, it's quite possible. What does that say? Navia look like fish. To control privately owned what does that even mean? Oh shit. Uh, who could control the Gardamax? It was uh fucking. It was the dude when I was like, oh, like I skipped his analogy. It was Thierry. No, whose analogy did I skip? Because he was like, oh, the Gardamax. Is it Thierry or Marcel? I think it was Thierry. It wasn't Florent. I think it was Thierry. Thierry, you say? Huh. It is possible that he's figured out a way to convert the Gardamex report, but I didn't feel like he was lying when he was talking to us about the Mecha. I also don't think he'd be able to keep that kind of tampering under wraps. Yeah, had he actually tampered with the Mecha, we'd be able to prove it with a simple check of the guard's inventory. True, maybe. If the Mecha were taken from the guards, it should be pretty easy to find out when and how that happened. Oh, oh, his analogy was how he couldn't have tampered. Okay, <laughs> listen, at least I was right with the guy that talked about the max. At least I was right. Okay, let me think about Florent. Florent was like, yeah. And then Marcel was the dude at the end, that, or like the dude in, like that had the excess mora. Yeah, I guess at the end. And he was like, oh, yeah, Uncle Marcel? Uh, hmm. 
My father did really trust He was sus. I did say he was sus. They worked together on a large number of projects. <clears throat> Maybe that's how he got to know Jacques. And with funds from the contrary, he could also afford... True, he was rich. God. Still really hard for me to imagine, though. After all, Uncle oh. Marcel has been uh -oh. around since I was just a... Also... If it's neither of the three, then I'm pissed. Because literally, why are you giving me options to... Why are you making me make a fool out of myself, man? I said, what if it's one of our friends? What if it's the fucking old dude that's helping us? Or the dude of the shades? But you're like, oh, oh yeah, that's been one of the three. So now I have to go through three fucking options. It's not going to be either. It is true that he was closest to my father. No, it's not him, man. As Spina di Rosula's advisor, his work mostly deals with personnel and security. So, so you're saying he's too broke to Damn, that is fucked, especially... Alright. Damn, that's a says you moment, but that's also fucked. Exactly. He can't. And even if he could, I don't think he would be able to dispatch a whole group so quickly. That's what fucked. Could it that's be? fucked. Yeah, it's literally one of our friends. Where is he? Wait, those are only the three I could select? Okay, well, let's read them. Florent, the advisor to Spina di Rosula, claimed that he was very graceful to Callus for his kindness. He was also present at the banquet. Why did I say it like that? At the banquet, banquet on the day of his case and can provide evidence that Callus did not carry a gun. Thierry is the person responsible for official contact between Spina and guards. According to him, only the sufficiently rich can prov uh, own privately large numbers of Gardamax. Marcel. Marcel is the leader of the Confrérie de Caribère. That's not how you say it, but whatever. And was the organizer of the banquet years prior. The Confrérie and the Spina di Rosula have always maintained a close working relationship. Those recollection events is foggy. He's willing to defend of you. Oh, I didn't read the question. Which of these suspects was most likely to have committed the crime? The serial disappearances of young women. This guy has like the... The like... Redditor beard. No disrespect though. Um... I mean, this guy was rich. It's either the cop or the rich dude, in my opinion. If I'm just sort to guess from these three, because all the other sets are relevant. I'm not going to look at chat for a second. Uh... You know, if you think everything through... Let's go! Marcel is indeed the most suspicious of them all. Could we be missing it was Marcel. Suspects? My god, my god was telling me he's sus. He didn't know about the people turning into water thing when he narrowed it down to these three, did he? He's like, oh, I don't remember, but I have more if you want. That's what he said. He was trying to bribe us. Luce has always been very reliable, and his judgment of others' trustworthiness has been fair. He wasn't even old. He's like 42, acting like he's old. The guy was like 35. He, gave me made a lot he was like 50 at most. The suspect is knowledgeable oh, I'm so old. <laughs> has the means to dispatch Mecca to assassinate us and possesses significant intellect and foresight. <sighs> Even if I don't want to believe it, I'm starting to see how things could all tie back to Uncle Marcel. True. Well, we still have another trump card on top of all the theorizing and speculating. Yes. Malus did say that charging straight in there would be extremely risky. Yeah, fuck it, let's go. We need far more solid proof before we can hope to go charging in on our enemy. Navia, here you are. What the? F oh, I've been looking for you. I found solid proof, so you can charge into your enemy. Watch, you watch. Yeah, news came from Arenaeus just after you left. We've got another trial on our hands. What? Wasn't that place built specifically for holding trials? It's about you. Who's worthy about this one? I know, I know, but they said the person they're putting on trial is Child! a harbinger called Tartaglia. Wait, I forgot. Trials in this quest. Wait, I just remembered. Oh shit! What? Is that someone you know? Yeah, we're kind of close. Yeah. Lo I mean, we know him. Maybe even a little too well. Well, he's been accused of being the true culprit behind no, he's the not, bro. disappearances case. It's absurd, don't you think? Wait, how? 
None of our investigations have had anything to do with him. That's what I thought was strange about it. So He's a criminal, but like the, the good right kind. Away. Like, 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 at least he looks stands, good. Then it'll be next to impossible He's pretty. To he has a brother. Uh, 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 two, sir. You know, two, sir. Because they'll think they've already found the culprit. <laughs> yeah. And it'll be a lot harder than to clear. Also, Mr. yeah, he's Mr. Thing. He's fucking Mr. Worldwide, mm -hmm. Mr. International. He's fucking Pitbull. There's no way he's he's stealing people from Fontaine all the time. He's everywhere, bro. Next patch is gonna be in Natlan. Fuck it. He's gonna be in Chesnaya. He's gonna be in fucking everywhere. Uh, um, uh huh? Split up? What do you mean? You can go to Erin, yes, while I go investigate that place. I'm confident in my combat abilities. <laughs> Just as expected of my partner. Since this is a trial about the serial disappearances case, the culprit's attention will be focused on Arrhenius, leaving his home base wide open. You're right. This is our best opportunity. <laughs> All right, then. Let's do this. I'll I won't have any chance of making that charge stick, though, unless we find more evidence. It'll be up to you to make it back in time and hand the decisive evidence. We'll help you. Just like you oh, I like the little anchor, uh, not anchor, the like the the sailor, the sail oh, sailor. Sailor! I'm ready. Ah, oh, Malou, Silver. When did you two get here? We heard that you'll be leaving Poisson and figured that you might require our assistance. Sus. It's our hope that. Why am I sus to these guys now? I want to like them. Whatever. The us, cool. What's up, guys? <laughs> Thank you so much. Then let's make haste for Arrhenius. Hi, Mon. See you then. Okay. Okay, sorry, I turned it off. Now that Navia has Wait, what is this? Oh. We should also get going. Why did that make me lag? It was like a weird loading screen. Oh, that's a fucking... Is that a luxurious chest? What the fuck? Luxurious chest. Wait, why did it make me go here? Just to tell me to go here. Okay. Let's go and try to find the entrance. Wait, let me close some stuff because my game is like lagging a little. Okay. Switch to Kokomi? Sorry. So true. There it is. Wait, I've been in there. There's fucking crystal flies there. Or maybe not. Maybe that's a different one. Huh. So this is the entrance that leads to the synth production base. Ah, you're right. An important place like True. this is bound to have a ton of protection. Different? Okay, my bad. Meanwhile, inside the Opéra Epiclès. It would appear that I must repeat my question again. Oh no. Mr. Oh fuck. Do oh shit. The charge that you are the oh true fuck. The serial disappearances case. To be perfectly honest, I don't understand your country's complicated court system or the reason why I'm being charged with something I've never true. even True. Who heard. the fuck accused them? However, what a child do? I did hear that people who have been charged can choose to participate. Oh god, he's going to ego fight them. Name? Dude, stop. Is that right? In which case, as long as I accept the charge, I can have an all-out fight with that champion duelist, Clorend, right? I've got to admit, that's one of the most enticing offers I've ever received. Dude, he just wants to fight her! When I privately sparred with her last time, she was obviously holding back. Real Privately sparred sausage. Hey! Don't you understand? You're currently the prime suspect for a major case. Farina, you wouldn't get it. Don't worry about it. Just, just, it's okay. Like, don't worry about it. For fights. Oh, sounds like the Hydro Archon wants to lecture me on Chad the just wants to fight, man. House. Then why don't He's only using a bow to practice. Too. I'm the kind of student that learns best in the heat of battle. <laughs> uh, uh, no, no, no. Dude, why does Farina talk all this shit but can't fight? Alas, it would appear that communication with the defendant is going poorly. We have made very little progress. In that case, let me explain everything from the very beginning again. 
The goal of this trial is to determine the culprit behind the serial disappearances case. <laughs> She's a fucking keyboard <laughs> warrior. Did Farina online no, no, must be a fucking man. menace. Huh? What's going on? You don't want to be in a lobby She's with her. Again. <laughs> I told you it couldn't be one of the Fatui Harbingers. <laughs> Miss Navia, this is the Frida, time. If, if you are you with Frida, she sends her IP. She, she's, she, yeah, you, you don't want to fuck with Frida. Because you were able to provide the court with a key eyewitness. But that was an exception rather than standard court protocol. I can very well charge you with contempt of court for your interjections. Oh, please. Did you ever think I had any respect for this place's pointless theatrics? We can put the discussion aside for now. I'm not here to argue with you. I'm here to charge the true culprit behind the serial disappearances case. And if my charges prove true, then Tartaglia here will be proven Damn. innocent by default. Correct? Oh, w Navia. A young lady has charged in and offered to clear my name. How fascinating. Well, I've gotten half bored to death by all these rules Fucking and procedures child. anyway. So I'll take you up on that offer. So, Your Honor, is there nothing else for me to do now? You may take a seat for now in the audience, but that doesn't mean the suspicions against you have been lifted. Now then, Miss Navia, who is the person you would like to charge instead? That person is... You! Oh. Eh? Well, it's the person that we said was sus, right? Marcel? Wasn't it Marcel? Uh... Yeah, I think it's still Marcel. I mean, his name does Marcel, rhyme with parcel. The head of so that already is Carrier. sus. Huh? What Conferry? Never heard of them in my life. I've heard of them, but weren't they Spina de Vosula's sister organization? Oh, is this going to be a friends to enemies type situation? Okay. Please let me remind you, Miss Navia. Dude, he looks so fucking sick. It's an incredibly serious matter. Committing to the charge also means taking on the legal responsibilities associated with it. And if the charge fails, depending on the circumstances, you may also be charged with the crime of making a false accusation. Yes, I do. In that case, I declare the charge to be valid. Miss Navia and attorneys, please take your places on the court. Members of the guards, please come. He's beautiful Mr. Marcel, and he's right probably a dragon. So, so that's a double win. Double W? One more? You get a fucking website? www.fucking. I'm not going to say it. They'll get Mr. clipped. Marcel, I'll behave myself. You will not require an attorney. I'll behave right? myself. I don't want to say anything sus Apologies. in a maid outfit. So we're going to be normal today. So quickly, I still haven't figured out what's going on. I think an attorney won't be necessary. This is probably just a misunderstanding between me Shut and Shut the Navia. fuck up, Marcel. Very well. In that case, since both sides have now arrived, Miss Navia, please present your charges. I would like to take everyone back to three years ago. To the case of... No one remembers that case. I'm sorry, Navia. I like I love you, Navia, but nobody remembers that. In that case, can we connect all the dots for the serial disappearances case? Navia, do you really think that I was the one who killed your father? Come on, why would I do that? Callus was my benefactor, and remember, both you and I only ran to the scene when we heard the sound of a gun. If that's enough to make me a suspect, wouldn't that make everyone at that banquet a suspect as well? I. Uh... I think there's no point in getting into the specifics right now. The audience doesn't even have the big picture yet. Even I'm <laughs> struggling to remember some details of that case. Exactly correct, Your Honor. I must refresh everyone's memory about that case before I can explain my charge and reasoning. I see. In which case, I will recount the findings about that case as originally recorded by Maison Guardianage. Mm. Mm. On the day of the murder, Spina di Rosula hosted a large banquet in a countryside estate owned by the Conferie of Cabriere. Okay. During the banquet, all attending guests heard two gunshots from the courtyard. Yeah, that's true. When the guests arrived at the scene, they found the primary suspect, Callis, holding a gun, while his acquaintance, Jacques, lay dead from a gunshot wound. The guards' investigation did not recover any other firearms from the scene. As a result, they concluded that the suspect's first shot must have missed, 
or the second must have taken Jacques' life. Not true. Probably two people are dead. The suspect did not dispute this conclusion and also declined to defend himself. No in one misses in a piece of Instead, fiction ever. He chose to prove his innocence through a duel. Okay. Callus was defeated by champion <clears throat> duelist Clarand in the ensuing duel and soon succumbed to the injuries. These are the known facts about the case. Honestly, you're right. I'm sorry. Now that I hear you say it, I'm on your side again. My father. And even so, Jacques still had no reason to pull the trigger. Uh, in truth, the third person shot Jacques first and was shot in turn by my father when my father seized the gun from him. After that, the true culprit turned the third person into water, erasing all traces of him from the scene. <clears throat> Thank you for the summary, Your Honor. Of course, the guard's conclusion appeared quite sensible to us at the time. However, we should revisit the case now that we've gained new information about the abilities of water from the primordial sea. What the? Again? Oh, we're refuting. Okay. Okay. What are you wearing? I lost a bet. But if you follow, that would be appreciated. Because then it's like, oh, at least I got the... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You could also... Sub no, no. I'll, sh I'll shut up. I'm sorry. I'll... Okay. Uh, the banquet. Uh, Spinners are hosted a large banquet in the countryside estate owned by the confrère. Um... Okay. Two gunshots. It is not Callus. Callus did not carry a gun. No! Sorry, I'll be I'll be smart. I'll be smart. I'll be smart. I won't fuck up. I won't fuck up. I promise no more mistakes. No more mistakes. Let me think. Let me read. Let me cook. No more mistakes. There will be zero mistakes. Let me read. No mistakes. Watch. I'm gonna read. Ready? Ready. Okay. Um, the guards and veterans now recover any other firearms from the scene. As a result, the first shot must have missed, and the second must have taken Jack's life. Hmm. Uh, can we conclude that only one person who can have a large amount of guard max? I finally believe that he had uh, struggled greatly with the order to kill Callus. I could mention that here because there could be like a little bit of a yes, sir. Hey, okay. In the end, he reconsidered and instead shared everything with Callus, hoping to see okay. the latter's okay. protection. Okay. If we don't count the first guess, we're one and zero. The true culprit had already considered this possibility and had. Okay. Set one and zero. If we don't count the first one. Okay. Uh, scene of the crime, blah, 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 blah. After going to say, ring out, out, certain that Callus did not bring a gun with him. Moreover, that's a nice word. Details of the case point towards the existence of a third party. Hmm, Marcel? Clothing of an unknown person. Woo! Clothing of an unknown person! This assassin first shot Jacques, then turned to shoot Callus, only for Callus to wrestle the gun from him and kill him instead. Reconstruction of events. As a result, they concluded that the suspect's first shot must have missed, and the second one must have taken Jack's life. No, no, no! Callus didn't even have a gun. Could be this too. No, no, the solve is for this. Uh, wait, no, never mind. He didn't even have a gun, Your Honor! Someone was dissolved. Someone was dissolved. Someone was dissolved. Someone was dissolved. Was dissolved. The, scene. the guards once believed they were used by Jacques as a costume to disguise himself. But now True. it is clear that the clothes were proof that there was a third person at the scene and that they were turned into water after committing the murder. Since it was raining that day, the culprit was confident that they could use the rain to wash away all traces of their dissolved accomplice. Sheesh, we not even bad. This. Not the even bad. The culprit caused the hired assassin to dissolve into water, leading everyone to believe Callus was responsible for Jacques' murder. True. True. 
Successful refutation. Ah, so that's what happened. Wait, you're telling me something as dangerous as what a great theory. It also explains Callus's and Jacques' respective motives. Bro, it literally calls I guess you guilty. They didn't shoot each other after all. Mr. Marcel, you are the one being charged with the crime. You should provide a What <laughs> What a great theory. Ah, but I think I agree with everything Navia just said. In fact, there was nothing in her speech that directly implicated me. Uh, then, may I ask some questions? In my opinion, Of course, Rena. What's up? We need to determine two things. One, do you have the evidence to back up your claims? <sighs> I'm afraid not. At least not at this very moment. Boo! <laughs> if you don't have any evidence... Then who are you? Them. You don't have a name! I may not have the evidence with me, but I know where I could go to collect... Your fucking yellow if bracelet thing doesn't even... The necklace thing doesn't even match your outfit. Go change. You missing around the same time. Dumbass NPC. find a match. Considering the serial disappearances case, the guards probably kept careful records of all missing persons from around that time, regardless of age or gender. That makes sense to me. Monsieur Nouvellet, I would consider this to be a reasonable investigative direction. Huh. Why do I feel like Farina's acting a little differently today? Maybe she's scared of embarrassing herself again? True. Alternatively, she's become more diligent after charging an True. innocent citizen in the last She time. learned. My w Farina. My question has to do with the ensuing duel. If the truth is indeed as you described, then why didn't Mr. Callus explain himself in court? If he had testified that a person had been dissolved, he could have at least mounted a defense. I thought about this too, and the answer is actually pretty simple. He felt there were things that were more important to him. The dissolving power of water from the primordial sea it's an important secret for the true culprit of the serial disappearances case. True. My father could have exposed it for all to see, but he chose to take it to the grave. At because of time, you. Spina di Rosula was in dire straits, and his reputation had already been shattered. He had no guarantee that going forward with the truth would allow the culprit to be brought to justice. What was certain, however, was that it would paint a gigantic target on my back. Boss once told me that Demoiselle had already been selected as the next target of the serial disappearance. Oh, this guy's helpful. <clears throat> no. If the secret had gotten out, the culprit would have fought an all-out war with Espina right there and then. I wouldn't have been the only one in danger. All of us would have stood to lose our lives. Of course, the guards might eventually figure out the truth of the matter and determine that we were in the right. But what good would that do? How can a hollow verdict protect anyone? Had this opera house ever given my father any kind of confidence in its brand of justice? Spina di Rosula. Dude, even if we manage to prove child's innocence, he's gonna be pissed. He just wants to fight. By staying silent, so let him fight. We retain the ability to deter our opponents and continue the stalemate. I was able to become Spina di Rosula's president, which made me harder to target, as well as giving me more time to grow and learn. And once I have figured out the truth and stepped up to the challenge, I will do what this opera house cannot and restore my father's truth and honor back to him. So, you mean to say, your father intended to die in the duelist's ring? Yes. That's right. Do you have any proof? No. Of course. Oh, okay. All you need is to ask his opponent, Clorand. Damn, he's dragging her into this. I don't need your apology, your guilt, or your support from the shadows. You don't have to do anything for my sake. But since he entrusted his will to you, Clorand, you should tell us the truth about his sacrifice. Damn. Um, so, oh my. during the duel, did you believe that Callus was intending to die? I need to pull for every character in this courtroom. Yes, I did. As a champion duelist. I've fought many battles and taken a countless number of dishonored lives. In my line of work, I've seen all kinds of people give their all for the faintest hope to continue living. Some were determined, others passionate, and some even manic and twisted. 
Just one look and I can tell if a duelist is hoping to live or if they're looking to die. I hereby swear on my name and honor as a champion duelist that Mr. Callus never intended to leave the ring alive. <sighs> well, sad. Since that's your testimony, I have no more questions. It appears there really are good grounds to reopen this case. I concur. However, I concur. Nami, you still have not explained the link between your father's case and the serial disappearances case. Right? What she said was fascinating, but kind of beside the point. Wait, weren't they just talking about the serial disappearances case? D D what are? Course, why are we listening to these NPCs, the man? Are connected via a matter of timing. <laughs> In my father's case, the culprit intended to kill Bull Jacques and Callus. As a result, they planned to act after hearing two gunshots. And at the end of Linny's trial, the culprit also only dissolved the victim in front of everyone because they realized they were at risk of being identified. The culprit could only time their actions so precisely if they were already at the scene. Coincidentally, Marcel attended. That both is suspicious, the Marcel! The that trial. is. Hey! That is a little. So that's why you suspected me. Ah, even after hearing your reasoning. I still can't help but find it a little preposterous. I'm used to it, though. You've always Sorry. been an impulsive and sentimental child, Navia. It's one of your most endearing traits. Shut the fuck up, Marcel! No need to appeal to pathos. I won't try to refute your points one by one, but even if everything you just said was true, can you prove that I was the only person present at both events? On top of that, does a person have to be physically present to control the timing? Can't someone remotely monitor the place? Uh. Oof. I don't know what she can say to that. I know that even with that, you might still think you can reduce the list of suspects with some further investigations until I'm the only one left on the list. Alas, who won't feel at least a little hurt by an accusation of murder from a girl you see as your own daughter? But if I were to dismiss this completely, You'd also think I'm not being considerate of your feelings. Ah, well. Let Uncle Marcel teach you another lesson. Do you know what the biggest flaw in your reasoning is? Oh, fuck. He's cooking I a little. I suppose you're going to tell me anyways. It's timing again. I'm a businessman by trade. From that standpoint, there's no reason for me to kidnap young women. It's a high-risk action with nothing to gain. In addition, I left my home in Snezhnaya when I was young to come to Poisson and work in some trade. My business only thrived when I received Callus's paycheck. Yeah, maybe he's not cooking, actually. But the disappearances began before I ever stepped foot in Fontaine. Uh, I do apologize, Demoiselle. This was my mistake. No, it's not your fault. I'm sure he had come prepared. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Would you like to check the date of my first business license against the first known case of the serial disappearances? You can also take a look at my border entry records. What if it started with someone else and then he picked it up? When I left Snezhnaya for the first time. Could those records and testimonies do something to appease the unspeakable anguish in your heart? Oh, seems like she got the wrong guy. At this rate, Navia will be convicted for falsely accusing him. Uh, he seems a little too prepared. Job of dissecting your father's feelings. It seems like it seems like it seems like you're like he's sus and then he but overly explains everything and then you execute him anyways and then he was the imposter. Right and then he's like, yeah, but you didn't know why. It's like, I don't care. You're dead. And then minus one imposter. And then you still win. He wished for you to become more rational, collected, and conscientious instead of dwelling only on your own feelings. Once you've learned to be more considerate of others' feelings and to stop rushing headlong into things, you'd have met most of his expectations. Dude, what are you talking about? Isn't just your name rhymes you. with parcel and, and you're pissed about it. Been. That's not my fault. The biggest difference between me and the rest of the victims is that I still have the ability to search for the truth. While that same agency has long been taken from then, the people whose families were destroyed by synth abuse, the people who lost their loved ones to the serial disappearances, and the people who suffered tragic ends due to their sense of justice. Many people's images are flashing before my eyes. I'm sure some are coming uh... to those of you in the audience as well. And okay. Whose image do you see, Marcel? Is it a man named Vache? Oh, <gasps> Vache! Oh, 
So you do know that name. <laughs> I'm merely surprised you'd suddenly say the name of someone I've never even heard of. I was waiting for you to say that. Because I saw you kissing him. Oh, never mind. Oh, 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 oh. We, uh, she cooked. She cooked. She cooked. Wait. Uh, is... Why am I... Wait, I'm in a domain. Okay. I don't know. I thought maybe I could. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got confused. I panicked. Wait, 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 Oh, we have to fucking fight. Wait, should I change my team? Oh, okay, I'll change my team. I'll actually have a real team. <laughs> actually, fuck it. It'll be fine. Fuck it, we're Klee gamers. Why are these guys not fighting back? Okay, cool. Is it because of this mechanism in the middle? That guy First then switching? Yeah, that's optimal Klee place. gameplay. We carried with Klee right there. You're not ready for this Klee gameplay. <laughs> Minus one chest? How? Wait, actually? We got one though. Where's the other one? No, you guys are fucking with me. Behold. Okay, you know what you guys... Okay, you guys are not even funny, by the way. Not even... Fuck it, just kill me. Just kill me. Kill me. Just fucking kill me. Um, How the fuck do I get up there? Where did I respawn, bro? Where the fuck did I respawn? Yo! Where's the elevator? Maybe we can just dive. Maybe we can just dive. Oh, we can dive. Okay, we're chilling. We're chilling. We're chilling. Uh... Okay. Okay, uh, I thought I thought it TP'd us backwards, not forwards. Is there something hidden here? No? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Okay, water raised. Stop. Okay, I'm not. I'm never gonna believe you guys when you type minus one ever again. You guys just fucking bait me and then laugh at me when I get baited. I don't think there's anything here. No. Okay, no chest so far. Is the chest right there? No, there's more enemies! Oh my god! Did you did Engulfing Lightning Shall actually crack for exploration? Worthless. Pog. Saw that I don't get the enemy mats though, but all good. It also matches its pants, so. Can you show us your water build? No, but it's four reminiscence with Sith and like 90 to 100 something. Wait, I forgot a fucking purple mat. Oh, 
Um, oh, let's just go there. Cool. So far, so good. So far, so good. So far, so good. Oh, I'm a god at this. Do I have to wait or can I just go? Okay, I thought it was like a timing thing. Okay, just go. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like difficult. All right, whatever. Just bow your head. Bow your head. Useless. Lament. <gasps> Lament. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Worthless. Boring. That's it. No chest. Okay. Useless. <laughs> After all that, we finally oh! the innermost sanctum. Though, as expected. The mastermind isn't. No, I'm saying it's speak. That's right. Then let's hurry up and find some evidence so we can get back to the opera house. Okay, we need evidence. All right. Look for clues. No way is that. What's all this? Pink accessories, a hair tie, a necklace, Sus. even a makeup box. Wait, that's from one of the people we kidnapped. Oh. I'm on or not we, two, but wait. whoever the fuck. Why are Marcel. I don't know. I said we. Marcel. I didn't help Marcel. I did not. I am not in this quest. I did not help Marcel. I didn't. I didn't. I am not. I am not. Listen. I am not in this quest. You got the wrong guy. You got the wrong guy. Uh. Okay. Cool. Final stop. Manga W. Look at w. Looks like some experiment number 16 aims to verify Jacob Engel's research conclusions of the experiment was a failure. No individual Sag. managed to resurface from the water from the primordial sea. Female specimens 22, 23, and 24 Dude, were dissolved. This office made me so fucking itchy. <laughs> what? Sorry, traveler. Paimon will try her best. The goal of the researcher is to save uh, his love. Wait a second. You're ta You're telling me the goal of the researcher is to save his lover, a woman called Vignair, who was dissolved. No way, it's him! That's why he did all of these experiments. Wait, did he really think he'd be able to do it just by dissolving people over and over? That's just insane! It was fucking Vasher the whole time! Huh? Isn't that the name you heard by the fountain? Paimon thought. He was an eyewitness in the serial disappearances case. No, he is the researcher. Oh, you mean Vache is the one who did all of these... Uh, experiments? That is... Dude, he, uh, he could not move on. What the fuck, bro? The girl was just like... Her wish was like, I just hope he moved on. And then the dude was literally... Okay, well... <laughs> That is unfortunate. Vache was no victim, but personally took his lover and. Oh, he killed her too. Wait, no, I don't think he killed. I think he he killed everyone except her, right? In any case, Paimon will write it all down. I don't know why Paimon said that.
Damn, that is fucked. Damn, the last time there was like a researcher like that, it was fucking the Tan R request. And it was just like, we got a cute robot. And then the robot was, you know, he was cool. Meanwhile, this. That must be water from the primordial sea. That means this is where they make all the sin. And that special water is the main ingredient. If you dilute it with normal water, you'll get sin. But the pure stuff can dissolve a human. Thanks for the subs. Appreciate it, Paima will take notes on this incriminating evidence. Damn. Damn. That is fucked. Let's see what's... Hmm. Callus. Navia's father. Oh, this seems to be an investigation report on him. Hmm. Hmm. Yep. It's about finding someone to assassinate Jacques and Callus. Because of a lack of confidence that Jacques himself would go through with it. This should prove the existence of the third person, right? Yep. Hmm. We still have not determined the exact content of the key information Callus has passed on to certain men. The old dog's a real menace to deal with. Even if he abides by the promise he's made to us, he will still have the upper hand. Okay. He can act whenever he wants to make our lives miserable. I concur. Let's That's fucked. To kill him. He won't declare war as long as we don't touch Navia. Oh, seems like we've got a bunch of correspondence between the higher ups. Okay. <sighs> Wait, did I do this? No, I didn't. Minus 35k? Dude, there's been like three ad redeems. I didn't do any of them. We can do one, but and listen, I, I'm not trying to scam. I just don't want to run it out. Okay, we'll do one. We'll do one. We'll do one, but you can dodge it by sobbing or you can just, just write a short story on what your ad was and I'll be like, oh, cool. Thanks for... I'm sorry. It's just one. It's just one. I'm sorry. It's. I'm not going to scam people. Fruit flavored synth. Cool. We've looked at almost everything here, and it seems like our theories were spot on. But Vache is Marcel. Yeah, we haven't found anything that reveals his true identity. No wonder even Nervalet wasn't able to find anything. Whoever it is probably destroyed everything. Maybe not. Marcel could just be a friend. Ago. We'll see. That way, even if we bring all this back to the opera, we won't be able to identify the true culprit. Sure thing. Let's keep looking. Yeah, I don't know why this is black. It's kind of a monko. I mean, I guess because it's like poison, but still, monko. Oh, we can examine the pool again? Never mind. There's just no check mark on it, so I was like. Did I do this? Yeah, I did. I did that already. Yeah. Oh, this thing. Well, I already did that. Eh. What about over here? Maybe? No, I just did bottles. The fuck, I already did all this. Um. I did this when I entered. Okay, I have to do it again, I guess. Yeah, I guess there's more shit. Whatever. UK University ad crying laughing emoji. Oh, really? What time I see? Vinier. Isn't that Vashe's lover's name? Then you found her diary. Uh oh. She's gonna name drop Marcel. Aw. It's just a normal diary. Take a look at B! Wait, this is done! She was so sweet too. So many, a whole page's worth. But the final name she decided on was Marcel. Wait, but Marcel's pretty old. Oh, has this case been going on?
on for so long that he's Pache and Veneer's grown son? What? Wait, then why are we charging him if it's just his son? Like, isn't his dad the criminal? I mean, maybe he's helping. I don't know, but... I mean, I guess we cooked. And whose image do you see, Marcel? Is it a man named Vache? <laughs> oh, so you do know that name. He is very old, I though, so maybe it is him. Surprise. Maybe he just na changed his name to what he wanted the son to be because the wife died before she could give birth. We're back! Uh, as expected of my partner, I just knew you'd return in the next. Just how often do you intend to? I mean, he's old as fuck. There's no way that's the son of a kid. Like, yeah, there's no way. So it has to be him. Given their confidence, I expect they've found the crucial evidence. You said you've never heard of Vasher. However, uh, I mean, this is the most important one, but I don't know if, I mean, yeah, I guess. But the truth of it, Marcel, <gasps> let me talking always been Vache. Huh? Huh? Ah. We've investigated your lair. We already know everything. After your lover, Veneer, was dissolved, you kept abducting young women to experiment on the hopes of bringing her back to you. Dumb. You even created Marcel as a new identity and destroyed all records of your past as Vache. So that's it. Even the villains in opera performances rarely go that far. And with that, Marcel's motive has now been established. This information regarding your past also dismantles your prior timing defense. Well, Marcel, do you know where you went wrong? Uh. You fixated your gaze uh. on the lover that passed away instead of paying attention to the living people around you. So, you never noticed how we changed or how we grew as individuals. You also never understood Boss's real expectations for his daughter. Or our determination to see things through. Your determination. <laughs> Mr. Marcel, please speak up now if you would like to defend yourself. Otherwise, the trial will move on to the next stage. Do you think? Do you really think I wanted to do any of this? No one cares. No one asked. Plus, Rebozo. Pay attention to you. <laughs> what for? Plus, Have no bitches. Pay attention to me. Ever empathize with my pain? Ever known how it feels to watch the love of your life dissolve? No, nope, no wife, no kids, no one to help, no me. friends. No one even believed me. All those decades ago, even the officers from the Maison Guardianage were laughing at me. They said there's no way a human being can turn into water. So I must have gone mad from grief. Vinyar's death was brushed away by all of you as if it didn't matter at all. Well, now you know. Don't you? Ha! Well, it's too late now. All those who were dissolved are gone forever. You only have yourselves to blame. You set up this ornate opera house in pursuit of your so-called justice, your beloved drama, while turning a blind eye to the suffering of the people. Vignier is dead. We promised each other that we would always I'm be sorry. together. Wherever she goes, I will follow. But I'm not from this blasted place. So I can't be dissolved. No matter what I do. Dude, this doesn't even make sense. Like. Hey, is that water from the primordial? Is he getting buffed? I don't know. Dude, this doesn't even make sense. If you're okay, if it's like. Okay, okay. I watched like Dracula, right? And he was like, he was insane, but he was like. I warned them, like, my wife cared about the humans, then they killed her, so I'm gonna kill all the humans. It's like, it's fucked up, but it's like, okay, you're grieving your wife, I get it. This guy's literally just like, I liked her, she died, now I'm killing innocent women. What the fuck is wrong with, that's not even, I mean, both are bad, but this is, what are you doing? You're not even cool as a villain, you're just a dumbass. I can't dissolve. What is can't wrong with dissolve. you? Can't dissolve, can't do you all see? I can't go, I can't follow. Yeah, she didn't even die, she's I a fucking oceanist. 
What choice do I have but to try to bring her I guess her he doesn't back. know that, but still. I did all of that. Trying to bring her back? Yeah, yeah, but... That accursed callus still got the better of me. I spent my entire life living on pins and needles, only to get stabbed by his idiot daughter at the very end. <laughs> The suspect is exhibiting signs of mental distress. Guards, please restrain him. Don't touch me! Don't anybody come near me! I still need to save Vignier. Her promise. He made a promise. Vignier. Vignier. Please, Vignier. Don't think badly of me. <laughs> At this point, the verdict of this trial is clear. With Mr. Marcel's conviction, the trial oh, yeah, good voice acting. Mr. Tartaglia no longer have any basis. Bam. Fine by me. I was in a bad mood, but after a show like that, I'm actually Child feeling wants to fight. good. Traveler, please submit all the evidence you have collected to the guards so that I might review and summarize the truth behind the serial disappearances case. The man now known as Marcel was originally named Varche and worked as an adventurer with his partner and lover, Vignier. During an underwater expedition, Vignier accidentally came into contact with water from the primordial sea and was dissolved the in front fuck? of Vache as a result. Vache learned of the primordial water's existence through the work of others and began to kidnap young women for research with the goal of discovering a method to restore Vignier back to life. To cover his tracks, he invented the new alias of Marcel and began to operate a business in Poisson. Okay. During the course of his research, Vache discovered that a diluted concoction of water from the primordial sea can induce feelings of euphoria and began to manufacture and market synth. However, as he accumulated wealth to fund his continued research and expanded the scope... Wait, what? She dissolved from putting her hand in water, but drinking a little bit of it's fine? I mean, I know it's diluted, but... There's no way she, like, jumped into the sea. Like, no way his wife just jumped in it. Then he should dissolve from just like, I don't know, whatever. How did it dissolve her whole body? She touched it, yeah, but wouldn't it like dissolve her hand? It just killed all, dissolved all of her. I guess. But if it's that strong, how can you even dissolve any of it? I guess you'd put like a millimeter liter. After exchanging blows, I don't know. I guess that is, I guess. For many years, Vache decided to assassinate their president. Cal Maybe she fell in it. Banquet. Although the assassination did not go as Vache expected, he was able to turn Callus into the murder suspect by dissolving the assassin he sent to the scene. And just recently, Vache attempted to frame Linny as the culprit of the serial disappearance How dare you? case, using a similar method. However, his attempt to frame Linny failed, and the power of water from the primordial sea became public knowledge. Charles is fucking this standing there. I'm covering him with my cap. Look, he's fucking standing. That he was eventually successfully charged in court. Thus concludes the enigmatic history of the serial disappearances. Charles does not give a fuck about this. He's like, bro, just let me out or let me fight fucking chlorine. Why am I here? The oratrice will now deliver the final verdict regarding the charges against Mr. Bache. <laughs> Oh, another Star Rail ticket? Fuck, a three star. That's a three star. Unlucky. According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, Mr. Varche is guilty. Down. Guards, take Varche away. Thanks, Farina. Good. It's what he deserves. <sighs> With that, the serial disappearance is okay. Case. We really just witnessed history. <laughs> we helped him. He's hurt so many innocent people, and now he's finally getting what he deserves. Huh? Are you okay? <sighs> Saj. Demoiselle, you are absolutely brilliant. A day our late boss had always hoped for has finally come. You can rest easy now. Yeah. Yeah. It's finally over. It's all thanks to you guys and my partner. See, Papa? Spina di Rosula still doing well with me at the helm. Well, now, hasn't this been a most delicious piece of drama? The villain okay. has been caught, 
Justice has been served. Past wrongs have been right. Child, shut the fuck up, man. Now's not the time. Since it's been such a great show, I'll just let the false accusations against me slide. Either way, I've still got some business to attend to. So uh oh. If you'll excuse you remember what I said me? about the remember what I said about trailers ruining the movies for me? I feel like the quest is about to end, but in the in the in the preview 4.0 stream, we saw child fighting. So something's gonna happen. And I fucking hate that I know this. Please wait just one yeah. moment, Mr. Tom. Yeah, they're gonna whip their cocks out. Yep. Uh, what now? None of this has anything to do with me. According to court protocol, since this trial was initiated due to a charge against you, a verdict must also be made regarding the initial charge before what? the trial can conclude. Okay. Oh, come on. Is this really necessary? Haven't you already caught the real criminal? Isn't it time for side characters like me to exit <laughs> stage left? Please respect the laws of Fontaine. This has always been the rule. All right, all right, but this sure is a lot of hassle. All I need to do is stand over there, right? Let's just get this over with. Through evidence presented in the public trial that was just held, it has been established that Mr. Tartaglia has no direct connection to the serial disappearances case. However, the guilty party oh, has been mind. identified. And thus, it is logical to suppose Mr. Tartaglia is innocent. Tartaglia is not charges. innocent of any charge, but all we good. Now turn to the oratrice mechanic oh yeah, the oratrice is going to be like guilty. <laughs> I mean, he's a criminal, but he did nothing wrong now. This is, According dude, he's changed. Uh, people, can people can change. People can change. People can change. His fucking what? face. <laughs> hey, hey, that's not funny. Didn't you just say I'm supposed to be innocent? What's with this verdict? Is your justice machine? Yeah, he just did a bit of oopsies in his past. This has never happened before. The oratrice. He's had a few heated moments. A verdict from the chief justice. I mean, have you ever heard of an innocent Fatui harbinger? Do you think the oratrice might have just convicted him on general principle? But weren't the charges <laughs> about the serial disappearances case? No matter what else he's guilty of, it shouldn't affect the verdict in this True. case, right? True. W Traveler. The judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal is, by law, the final verdict of the court. We well, must Traveler wants to fight anyways, verdict. right? Guards, please take the suspect into custody per court protocol. I'm um, nowhere they got his ass. Uh oh. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh fuck. So this is how justice is done in Fontaine. What a joke. I mean, true, Alcourt. You've got your rules. Well, I've got mine too. Wait, it's the same. It's the same thing, but fucking Electro. Dude, he looks so cool. Wait, what the fuck? I am sorry. <laughs> if you have been wronged, we will find the truth. But the rules of the court. <laughs> they actually got fun. down. He sat him down. What the hell? <laughs> he was mid alt. No way, Charlie got fucking one tapped. Apologies. This is also the first time I've encountered such a situation. However, according to the rules established at the conception of Fontaine's court system, the oratrice's judgment is the final verdict of the court. All I do is follow court procedure. As for why the oratrice arrived at the conclusion it did, you should probably ask someone more knowledgeable. Uh, I mean, that was kind of sick, but what the fuck? Surely you can let him go. Uh, fuck the machine. Why are you looking at me? I had nothing to do with it. I I don't know what happened there either. Hey, stop staring at me. <laughs> what does Lady okay. Farina mean by that? She <laughs> says she has no idea either. 
But that's impossible. Trina? Didn't yeah, so are the verdicts reliable or not? <laughs> She's getting ratioed right now. Sure, her ego can't handle it. She's losing followers. My dearest citizen. She's going to make a YouTuber apology. Do you really think we'd allow an incorrect verdict to be She's pulling up the fucking the ukulele. Court. Did you really believe <laughs> that the judgment could be mistaken or be the result of some sort of random mishap? Don't tell me. You thought even I had been blindsided by the oratrice's result. But the way she looked just now, it was pretty obvious she had no idea. No, no, she knows, Paimon. She knows. However, given the state of things, I shall give you an explanation. Okay, we're listening. Everything that just took place, including my supposed shock and bafflement, mm -hmm. was a part of an elaborate performance <laughs> with every action oh. meant to stir up drama. Okay, it was just drama. You're just drama farming. I get it. It was a prank. It's a Okay, I got it. Of course. For every performance, there is a script. Everything mm -hmm. has unfolded Scripted. exactly as I expected from the very beginning. As the embodiment <laughs> of the very... She's just gaslighting us, dude. The oratrice shall never render an arbitrary judgment. Okay. If you thought child had nothing to do with the serial disappearances case, it is only because you've been blinded by the superficial appearance of innocence. Of course, he was actually Vashi the whole time. Not to mention the danger he poses are beyond ordinary comprehension and completely unforgivable. <laughs> All shall be revealed. In <laughs> She's time. insane. You will come to understand my noble intentions as well as the absolute correctness of the oratrice's verdict. <laughs> okay, true, we're just all wrong. Now, having said that, although I hate to leave things hanging in suspense, it is now time for this performance to end. As the lead actress, I shall be the first to take my leave. Toodaloo! <laughs> so she chose to make her escape after all, did she? What the fuck is wrong with her? So you're saying we shouldn't put much stock into what she <laughs> I actually can't. She probably just put on that performance to save face. As for the truth, it's unlikely that... Yeah, this, this nation's fucked. Idea. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, this nation's fucked. I'd rather have the Archon that's just running from bar to bar drip, drinking wine, bro. Run the fucking city. Someone call Venti. Please be assured that I will continue to investigate this case in a personal capacity. Just as I promised, if the judgment has been incorrect, we will do our utmost to clear his name. All right. Even though we feel pretty badly for him, we'll take your word for it for now. After all, he's done plenty of bad stuff. So he should have known he'd go to prison someday, right? Yeah, but it has nothing to do with the case. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't arrest someone on a different charge than he's fucking charged for. So I'm talking about something during a trial, you can't like open a new trial during the trial. Ask me separate. Free my man child. He did nothing. Well, he did hey, something's wrong, but Wait, in this instance, him. he didn't. Free child. Traveler, hey, traveler. Can we kill him? Punch him. Beat the shit out of him. Uh, Marcel, what are you doing over here? I mean, Hydra MC probably can't even kill him, but. Stop resisting arrest. Cease, or we'll add another charge to the list. No, 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 wait. I, I just want to ask the traveler something. I'm not looking to run away. Please, please. Miss dialogue this One small thing. Yes, we oh. talked to your wife. She was cool. You're not. Die. And then we kill him. Thank you. Thank you. I was being led away when I finally realized something. Where did you first hear the name Vache? He'll be like, oh. If I'm MC, this is what you say. Your wife's okay. We found her. I slept with her. Oh, and then he dies. And then you kill him. He goes to jail thinking that his wife just ditched him. His wife was okay the whole time, but we she actually didn't come to see him. And then he's living with that fucking guilt in jail the whole time. Deserved because he killed like 10 innocent women. True. I erased all records of that name. So, unless... Are you still trying to prove your innocence? Give it up. You've already been convicted. 
Or just just pretend she died. He doesn't deserve you peace did. of mind. You, you did. He does not you deserve peace of mind. He literally. Never. Okay, all good. How could that be? How did you he didn't just kill it? ten. I don't know how many killed, but he doesn't deserve a happy ending. Why? Just lie. It was around the fountain of fountain of Lucine. Something to do with my sensitivity to the Fountain of Lucine. Then, then she's been so close to me all along, and I just yeah. You could have just went to the fountain, bro. Please. Please give me a chance to talk to her again. Just let the traveler take me to the fountain to see her one last time. This is the last one. More than twenty-one because of the experiment you log. Damn, you can that's do fucked. You want to me afterwards? I don't care. What? Give an inch and you want to take a mile? Do you think serial killers get to make pretty a base come like emos? <laughs> I forgot that's coming. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> This request, is it worth as much to you as your life? Of course! Wait, no. It's worth even more than my life. Humans, will they betray the instinct to live just to satisfy spiritual needs? Very well. I will grant your request. Your Honor, I th I will go with him. <sighs> in that case, I shall leave him in your most capable hands, Chief Just. Thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah, Namir acted like he's not a human. I mean, okay, we literally know from what fucking Fremine said that he's a dragon, right? We like we know. It's like I guess it's technically not confirmed, but like he was literally when when dragons cry, it wanes, and then it rained when he cried. It's not even a spoiler. It just literally that's literally what he said. Oh, it, as a child, I heard it cry, dragon, and then it cried. <laughs> so like no, no, like it's not even, dude. Like why would that voice line be in the game if it's not true? For a minute, it literally was like, okay, all good. Yeah, also, yeah, also he fucked up child in like a second. Is this the place? You said she's here, but what do I need to do to see her? Yeah, and even Paimon could hear her after drinking that thing. Vashe. Ah. You are fu- all this guy needed to do was walk to the middle of the fucking city? That's it. He's lived here for like 20 years. He could have just what? You're fucking me, no? He owned a business there. He could have just walked to the fountain after drinking the. Yeah, but surely, 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 if your if your wife dies from drinking something and you're trying to experiment on it, why don't you? What he's gonna force random women? Okay, he knows it only applies to women. If not, he wouldn't kidnap a bunch of innocent women. So he knows it's only for women. So why didn't he try it? How did he know what he just decided to kidnap 20 women without testing it on a guy? Oh, it's not just women? Oh. Oh, he's just a psychopath. Okay, never mind. Wait, yeah, he only kidnapped women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, never mind. My bad. Wait, but he's not from Fontaine. Isn't he from fucking uh, Shiznaya? So why didn't he just drink it? That's what I meant to say. I fucked up my, like, mental process. But you know what I mean. Why didn't he just... He's from fucking Shiznaya. Yes, that's it. He did? Yeah, exactly. So walk next to the fountain. I'm saying if he didn't drink it, then drink it. If he did, fucking, he lived in the city 20 years. You're telling me he never went to the most important part of the city in 20 years. I'm done. Vignere, it's me. It's me, Vache. 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 Why would he? Okay, let's say you live in a city, right? And the city's known for like having a huge thing, like one big thing. You've probably at least been close to it. This place, it's the fucking court that they're known for. There's a big ass fucking fountain. Make a wish. Oh, I wish to see my wife again. And then she literally says her name as you flip the fucking penny into the well. I'm here, I'm here. Where are you, Vignier? I'm coming for you. I'm finally here for you. Hey, wait. Be careful! Hey, wait! Vignette, is that you? It's me, Vache! Vignette! Vache? Why did you come? Didn't I say? You don't need to look for me. You. You look a lot older than I remember. Damn. She said you're ugly. It's been more than 20 years. 
I've suffered for over 20 years since the day you left. All this time, only the thought of bringing you back has kept me alive. Nothing else mattered to me. Oh, I must be dreaming. Who would have thought I'd get the chance to tell you all of my feelings like this? Wait, if you didn't think you'd be able to talk to her, why would... Everything. I really don't know how I could live without you. Bro, surely after the uh, I'm not even gonna say anything. If you ask me, this world would be better <laughs> off without you. Yo, W Ocean in! Uh, what are you saying? True! It's not for you. I would have finished my law degree and probably your attorney one day. <laughs> if not for you, I would have continued to pursue True? my love of the arts. And my works would have been displayed in True. Harmonia itself. <laughs> Not for you. I would at least have been able to take care of my mother. And she would not have grown Okay, I actually deserved. I actually deserved. Tears on her cheeks. It's all because of your selfishness, Vashe. It's all because of you. Monka. You. Wait, you are not Vinier. Who are you? You're right. I am oh. not Vinier. Yeah, that makes sense. I am the sacrifices. Every woman Sag. who died by your hand has our bodies dissolved. At least they're not like completely. I mean, they're dead, but at least they're like something. Our thoughts circulated endlessly Sag. within the primordial sea. And we were no longer the forest remembers every quest ties back to the RNR quest the forest remembers the ocean it remembers it's all connected I <laughs> can't shut up I'm sorry I'm Cressy. I'm Lemony. I'm Azine. the only one I am not is Vignier that is fucked why deserved though but then where is Vignier she's fucking dead bro she doesn't want to see you anymore. <laughs> Every ten Yo, yo, this guy. Okay, I. Yo, yo. I'm actually happy we we'll let him come here. Your selfishness robbed us of our lives and our futures. You said time and time again. Uh, I actually deserve. Do any and everything for her. But did you ever consider whether she'd want to see you do the things that you did? True. If she would despise you for what you became. Yeah, imagine if he was successful. Hey, babe, I brought you back to life, but I killed 20 people. <laughs> She'll just leave you. Like, you're not... What are you, okay, I don't know, dude. I, um, I... You are a liar, a heartless murderer, and a cowardly narcissist. The only thing you are not... Is Vignier's beloved. From the moment your first victim died and her consciousness merged with Vignier's, um. she has had nothing but pure hatred for you. Um. No! Vignier! She can't hate me. Let me see her. Please have mercy. You still don't understand. When I said don't look for me, that came from the real Vignier. She really doesn't want to see you anymore. Damn. But on top of that, she also said that because it's her final drop of piss. I, why did Carrie Bear turn into Hilly Troll and not him? Turn this guy. Make this guy a fucking common chest defender. She said that because she knew that if you did come here, <laughs> we will show oh. no mercy to you. Vashe. 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 Monka W. Vashe. Drown. <laughs> Dumb. Later, the guard, uh, the guards found that the culprit of the serial disappearance of women. No, let me read. I'm just gonna assume he drowned. Deserved, very deserved. Nivet's crying again. Finally, we have some time to do shopping. Gosh, it's really been a long time since. 
since we've been able to relax. Huh. Well met, partner. Hey, Navia. I knew something great was going to happen when I woke up in such a good mood today. Yeah, the, the dude that the, the, the guy drowned. The he dr he drowned. It's a pleasure to see you both. Child's still in jail though. I mean, I don't know why, oh, but hey, Navia. I mean, he's committed a few war crimes, but not here, so. Oh, now that I believe, I'm easy to work with and always bring home the bacon. Who wouldn't treasure having a partner like me? <laughs> Sounds like you're really enjoying life these days, Navia. What have I like you been doing since the trial? Ugh, it's just Hello, one thing after What's the up, other. Man? I've been making non-stop trips between Poisson and the courts in Sen. Everyone from Spina di Rosula organized a memorial for my father. We never held a memorial when he first died, since everyone knew that even if we held Sag. one back then... Oh, they're going to hold no one now. That's wholesome. Come. This time, though... Everyone in Poisson. Oh, they did. Okay. Many people from the court all attended. Wholesome. <laughs> it's been the dearest wish of Demoiselle all along. <laughs> that blasted stubborn fool. I was right to put my faith in him. <sighs> oh, by the way, I ran into Charlotte just after I left the memorial service. Uh, well, maybe it'd be more accurate to say I knew she would be there. And there was no That's actually funny though. We meet know. fucking, we arrive in Fontaine. Charlotte's like, yeah, there's this huge case that's been going on for like 20 years I want to solve. Literally like two days later, we just solve it. <laughs> like, it's like her life goal. We just solve it. It's like a day. Thanks, Navia. Huh? So you know Charlotte too? <laughs> oh, wait, we just met, Charlotte? what the fuck? Journalist from the Steamberg? Yeah, way back when I first became the president of the Spina di Rosula, she was all over me. Wouldn't take no for an answer. I believe the story was called The True Heart of Darkness, Secret Tales of the Yellow Rose. Huh? To be fair, though, it was a really flattering feature. <laughs> so we've been on pretty good terms ever since. Okay. She was trying to lean on our friendship to get me to do an exclusive piece on the serial disappearances case. Yeah, come on, man. She wants to do it. Oh, yeah. She told us about that. She's always been super interested in Dude, Act 3's so not now, out, chat. Her wish has finally come true, too. Anyway, I told her to make sure that when she writes about you guys entering the opera house with the critical evidence, that you both sound really cool. <laughs> now that's another thing to look forward to. We trust Charlotte's skills with a pen for sure. Oh, and in other news, I also took Clorand out for a meal. Whoa! Sorry, there's nothing, nothing. I don't know why I wrote that. Okay, what happened? Oh, are you two on better terms now? None of my business, mm -hmm. but... While you were investigating Vache's headquarters, Clorand gave testimony on my father's behalf. It was thanks to her that we were able to turn the tide. I wanted to thank her. I mean, <laughs> there's also no point in being awkward all the time. So we took the chance to reconcile with each other. Oh, that's great. Paimon also thought Clorand wasn't actually a bad person. Anyway, now that the case has finally been solved, Perhaps it will slowly begin to fade from the fade? consciousness. Fade? First chamber, so, then harbor, actually, now fade. That's three ages. I'm sorry, I'll shut up. I need to do. What is it? I should pay a visit to my father's grave and tell him the truth of what happened, as well as how it all ended. And on top of that, just how much people still look up to him to this day. That includes me, too. That Marcel guy is so weird. We should have stole all his fucking Mora, man. He literally said, if you want more, I will give it to you. We literally should have taken it. Yoink all his money. Go, go fucking, go take him. Yoink it. Steal it all. After all, without you, there might not have been such a positive ending. And in that case, everyone, let's be off. Considering the recent weather, we'll be lucky if we can reach Poisson before dark. Damn, Navia's crying. right. It's been raining non- Yo, go, yo. Okay, Navia, did she cook them too hard? He's crying now. My man was just doing his job. Huh. This is where my father's grave is. Hmm. To be perfectly honest, even I haven't been back here for a long time. Huh? There's someone there already. Wait. That figure. It can't be. Hmm? Isn't that Nervalette? Oh, he's here. Why would the Chief Justice be here? Oh, he cares. Huh? Nadia? Saj. My apologies. 
I should have asked before coming to pay my respects. Don't say that. Sorry about that. Oh, I, oh. I was trying to say there's no need for you to apologize. I wanted to show my father how much I've grown. But still, I doubt I've grown to the point that even the Chief Justice would feel compelled to apologize to me over and over. In that case, I will stop apologizing for now. Bro, <laughs> this guy does... You really yeah, this guy does not understand how to talk. It's okay, I'll teach him. Hey, Naviet. I know this might not be the time. Why did you come to Poisson? Hmm. Well, ever since that day, I've been turning a question over and over in my head. Just what is justice anyway? There was once a time when I didn't want to believe that there could be anything talk to more Sino. important to humans than life itself. Oh, rather than that, it's probably more truthful to say I didn't believe humans were capable of resisting the most basic instinct of living things. That they could rebel against their own nature, or consider certain things to be more important than their own lives. Which is also why I didn't stop your father from beginning that fateful duel. I believed that a truly innocent man would never throw away his life like that. That there was nothing, should have been nothing more important than one's own continued survival. But Mr. Callis proved me utterly and decisively wrong. If not for his sacrifice, the serial disappearances case would have remained unsolved to this day. Mr. Callis made the choice he did for his daughter, for his associates, and for many people completely unrelated to him. And in the end, from a certain perspective, Dude, Navier looks like such a five star. I don't know how to explain it. He has too much drip. Justice. Too many different color justice palettes. That's higher than life itself. So you asked me why. I like I'm shades. Here. I just wanted to say my apologies to Mr. Callis in person. I should have noticed all of this much sooner. This regret has filled me with a sadness that has haunted me for days. That high and mighty chair in the opera Epicles indeed insulates one from many important things. Spina di Rosula, thank you so much for your hard work and perseverance. Oh. I'm sorry for being mad at you before. So you're actually one of those types that's cold on the outside, but pretty thoughtful on the inside, huh? That reminds me of Silver. Another Silver mention. Too easy for Silver. Self-expression is not one of my strong. All right, I guess I like Silver now. Didn't I just say you don't need to apologize? Made their peace as well. Let's not disturb them for now. We can wait till after they're done. Dumb. <sighs> Paimon's never paid respects at someone's grave before. Uh, did Paimon do anything rude there? Dumb. Huh? Oh, oh no. Paimon holds. Anyway. Nervalette is still standing around there. It's not often that we can catch him alone like this, so why don't we go talk to him for a bit? Ah, we, uh, we get to talk to him. Cool. How have we not paid respect to anyone's grave? I feel like a lot of people died. Well, like, not that many, like, characters. Like, no, like, playable characters died because it's Genshin moment, but, like... Can we pay respect to the child? He's fucking locked up. What if I wish next to him? No, I literally only have 200 free months. <laughs> oh! We have fucking child's vision! What the hell? You think we should roll an artifact here? Do I even have any? I feel like I rolled all my good artifacts. I mean, okay, fuck it. We're next. To, hey, we're next to Naviet. We might as well roll an HP piece. You never know who it could be used on. Fuck it. I don't know if it's the right set. I don't know what he wants. I don't know who anyone wants. I don't know anything. What do I know? I don't know anything, but we might as well roll a piece next to him. Might as well. I don't know. I mean, if, if he's there, we might as well test it. If he's there, we might as well test it. If It's 
Some things never change, I guess. Alright, it, <laughs> it was worth a shot. Alright, what's up, man? What's up? What's up, dude? Oh, it's you two. Oh, because Navi is here and she's Geo, so defense. No wonder it's Navia. It's Navia. It's Navia. Yeah. I see. I see. Then is there something that I can help you with? Let's ask a few questions. Please feel free. Though outsiders, you helped us solve one of the greatest mysteries in Fontaine, and it would be my pleasure to return the favor. Um, about child. Is that guy okay? My I, investigation has still not reached its conclusion. You, you body sent them. He's. I still believe the judgment of the oratrice was not rendered arbitrarily. Huh? But you also said you thought he was innocent. For many years, I have been quite aware that the oratrice does not simply mechanically repeat the verdict that I give on each. As a divinely created mechanism, the people's unified faith in the concept of justice is integrated into it. Not only can it produce the incredible power of indemnitium, but it likely also possesses other traits, such as self-awareness. Which is all to say, I have been prepared for a situation like this for a long time. <gasps> so when Lenny told us that he... Um. I was not aware such a thing had occurred. Perhaps that could serve to prove my conjecture. I will add that to the list of items to investigate. In any case, I am inclined to believe that the Oratrice does have a methodology all its own. We just do not have enough information. Based on Farina's reaction, I doubt even she had any idea what was going on. She managed to bluff her way <laughs> So true, Farina. So true. Amazing performance. 10 out of 10, Farina. You got... While we do intend to get to the bottom of this, <laughs> for now, we regret to say that the Fatui Harbinger will just have to bide his time in the fortress of Meripede. Farina? Okay, Farina's what happens if Fischl gets born as an Archon and without Oz to keep her in check. It's kind of like Fischl, but like more unhinged because she actually is an Archon and Oz isn't there to be like, chill. If we did incorrectly convict him of crimes he did not commit, Neviet is Oz. We must certainly <laughs> compensate him to the fullest extent allowed by the law. If you ask Paimon, the only compensation he'll want is a no holds barred fight with you. Is there anything else you'd like to ask me about? Yes, actually, there's only one of. I'm on my si Why the fuck would he know? Because he's dressed like Dainsleaf? I guess he. Yeah, I mean, he does. Hey. Your sibling. Another blonde haired traveler. I'm sorry, but I've never seen He looks seen so fucking good, dude. I actually creature. can't. If he ever stepped foot in Fontaine, I'm sure he followed our laws to the letter and had no reason to appear on the stage of the. Is there anything else you'd like to ask me about? Yes, actually, uh, about the prophecy. That the sea levels will rise and everyone will be dissolved in water, leaving Farina crying alone on her throne. Yeah, pretty much, you got the it. the sins of the people will be finally washed away for good. Does that appropriately summarize the version you've heard? That's I mean, yeah, man. Right. It was Lenny that told us back then. And that about covers all the main points. Yes, up to the present, I think we reached a point where we have no choice but to confront this prophecy directly. Rumors have it that this prophecy is rooted in the last words the former Hydro Archon. Greater Lord Ru No, I won't away. say it. I'm sorry. A prophecy of the former Hydro Archon? Wow. Imagine is Lumina's like, wait, heard? that reminds me of the former Dendro, and then it just Nahida dies. She just says the name, boom. Two parts of the prophecy have already proven correct. <laughs> the rising sea levels and the ability of the people of Fontaine to be dissolved. We should be more vigilant and stay on the watch for further signs. Speaking of the prophecy, Farina has also always taken it quite seriously. Indeed, she has been collecting information and intelligence from across Tevat for this purpose. If the rumors were true, then perhaps this prophecy is the conundrum left to Farina by her predecessor. But with Farina being the way she is, can we really trust her to solve it? Is there anything else you'd like to ask? Okay, me? it just she didn't respond. I about the water from the primordial sea. So at court, the bad guys referred to that special water as water from the primordial sea. But what is it really? Truthfully, that name is already quite accurate. I can only surmise that Vache and his ilk only learned of its nature and existence after extensive research. There used to be a special sea on the surface of this planet. 
The nature of its seawater was rather different from that of the... Most of Tevat's life forms were first born in that special sea. You could say it nurtured much of the life on this planet. Okay. Yeah. So it really was where everything began. It makes sense to call it primordial then. But today, the primordial sea no longer exists on the planet's surface. What Vashe discovered must have been some kind of special case, or a remnant from a truly hmm. ancient age. Huh. So that's how it is. Oh, you really know everything, Monsieur Nervalet. But if that's the case, then why would people... Uh, at least people from Fontaine dissolve in that kind of water? Indeed. Why would the primordial sea, which was known to engender and nurture life, suddenly reverse itself and devour life instead? Hmm. I want to... I'm not even gonna say. It. I wanted to make a. I wanted to. Okay, never mind. To be frank, that also doesn't match my understanding of this world and its laws. There must still be some unknown secrets around the people of this land. Is there anything else you want to ask it? about? Damn. Huh. Such. Yeah, I don't know why the water would only fuck with Fontaine people. That doesn't really make sense, but... At least Dottori told us the sky is fake, so maybe the fucking water is fake too. Very well. It was my <laughs> Don't drink the tap water, brother! I very much enjoyed conversing with you. It will soon be time for me to leave this... I mean, to be fair, if I was from Fontaine, I probably wouldn't. Fuck that. I'm not risking it. Fuck that shit. Memonia. Super busy, Monsieur Nevelle. I'm boiling my water. Crime and villainy do not have the day <laughs> off. And so justice must work around the clock as well. This is merely the nature of a justice's work. All right, all right. You've got a point, huh? Paimon just noticed that the rain Because he's happy. Damn. Dude, seven and a half hours? No, we started 30 minutes later. Seven hours only? That's not even bad. I thought it'd be like eight. There's a thing that I figured out while I was in. No, you fuck. Look, there are some people talking over there. Let's listen in. Okay, well, I'm not going to skip the Archon quest, but I don't want to do it right now. Those pompous parasites on the surface act like they're all a bunch of aristocrats. Dude, I don't want to do this right now! Have a hoot about a bunch of dogs like us? <laughs> Speak for yourself! Oh, you think you're special or something? <laughs> if you're here, then you're just a convict like the rest of us. A boba. I've heard that even if you're least... Uh, I don't <laughs> buy that. Hey, how cool would it be if the whole world was destroyed by a giant flood and every- What kind of filthy bilge water are you spewing? I have family up there. You b listen, things ain't so great on the- Alt F4? But I need to absolutely. be here! I've heard that you can still stay here and work even after you've served your sentence. Now, who wants to- Is this cutscene almost done? Is this like a long cutscene? want to hire someone like you. It's one of the great mysteries of the universe how someone as useless as you is so confident. Five hour oh. cutscene. Sounds like they're really unhappy. Speaking of which, Paimon never heard it. That's true. Hello, welcome to the promised Archon Quest stream. Now, good news and bad news. Good news, we're finally going to do the Archon Quest stream. Bad news, the Gene cosplay hurt. I'm not joking. Wearing the wig gave me a headache and I wanted to jump off a cliff. I don't know how cosplayers do it. I don't want to do it. One, we are finally doing the Archon Quest. The second good news is that I lied about not wearing the Jean cosplay. Wait. Chat. 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 Oh, shit! Chat. I'm Jean. I'm literally Jean. Yo, listen, 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 listen. Fallen leaves. Adorn my night. Wait, that's... What the fuck does what the fuck does Gene say? Anyways, I'm Gene. Here's what we're doing. I, Gene, am going to be doing the Archon quests. Act three, I did off stream on my phone. Beep, 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 beep. But now there's Act Four and Act Five. 
which I haven't done. I saved them for stream because I figured they're good. I'm going to make sure the dialogue's loud enough. It's going to be on English so that I don't have to like read so I can actually listen while reading chat. And if Paimon speaks and it's not relevant, she will be skipped. Everyone else I'm listening to. Catalysmic quickening. <laughs> Chad, do you know that quicken is the reaction? So this is the team we're going to do for the quest. Here's my go-to exploration team, okay? Jow, we got Wanderer, Yelling, and we got Free, who can also heal us. Since I'm Gene, I think we have to put Gene in the team. That's just all, that's what I'm saying, you know? I think because I'm Gene. Actually, no, fuck you, Gene. Sorry, that was kind of fucked. Wait, mods, change the change the pin message from 24-hour ban to permaban. Spoilers or permaban? I don't care. I do not care. Hey, you over there. Hey, you over there. Sorry. Oh, wait, are we ready to start? Are we ready? Wait, wait, are we ready? Chat, chat, buckle up. Chat, chat, see belt. Sorry. Chat, strap up, strap on. Get ready. Bev Yee is talking to us. Also, listen, dude, I saw people ranking Raiden over Farina. How is she above Farina, Dumbo? Sorry, that was toxic. You're not sorry. Dude, I don't want my viewers out here thinking, thinking they, 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 they. <laughs> yeah, you. Say, do you like playing card games? You know, like Genius Invocation TCG. Dude, stop advertising the fucking TCG, bro. Question mark. TCG players are like mint in the True! Wait, Paimon the actually game. based her once. What the hell? Hey, come on now. What's wrong with finding fellow invocation aficionados? Anyway, care to join me for a game? Huh, all right. <clears throat> no pressure. But why would How's the dialogue volume chat? Should I turn it off? Genius invocation in a place like this. Or is it okay? Don't people usually come <laughs> Whether you're throwing down cards or throwing punches, it's all a competition. I'll turn up a bit after this. It's all the same in my eyes. There are lots of card players here in the fortress. When I saw you, I immediately thought, hey, even outsiders from other nations play cards. So I came over to say hi. Sure. Should I read what the traveler says? Should I immerse myself? You've been here longer than us. You need to flex your seniority a little bit, right? Maybe you could start by telling Yes, okay, I'll be Lumine, chat. I'll be Lumine. No, 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 I'll be Lumine. Hey, I'll be Lumine. No worries. Will you wear the wig? 100 gifted. Do you have anything specific in mind? Or do you want me to just pick a topic? Change position. Oh, I... Is this better for subtitles? Should I go here? Or does it not really matter? Have you heard any strange rumors since you've arrived? Better. Okay. Then did you know that there are some people who are <clears throat> always gossiping over in the corner? Gossiping in the corner. I didn't I didn't know that. Skulking around in the corners of corners. Skulking? Gossiping. The bigger guy is Quisto and the skinny one is Lavarune. People call them the bombshell bros. Okay. I never really found their gossip very mind-blowing. It's pretty much just the same stuff that I hear about when I'm at work every day. This is That's Act 4, not 3. I finished 4. I'll turn the volume up after this cutscene. a lot of nonsense, but they aren't exactly bad. Hmm. Good to know. Do you have... Hmm. Let me think. Sounds like you want to hear something a little more tantalizing. Bombshell bros. Oh. Did you know that the Duke was also a convict in the Fortress of Meripede before? Huh? Wait, are you serious? That's right. The Duke was an inmate just like you and me. Seems he was exiled here for committing some crime. Wow, Risley was a criminal. Who knows how he ended up rising up to become the warden, though. To go <clears throat> from an ordinary inmate to becoming the manager of the whole place? I'm not gonna lie. I kind of respect that. By the way... By the way, do you happen to know anything about a forbidden zone? Forbidden zone? Hmm. Sounds like something that someone just made up. It's just a rumor we've been hearing, but no worries if you've never heard of it. Do you have anything else you can tell us? Grizzly got arrested for <laughs> being too thick. It's sad. Hmm. Not that I can think of, but I'll be sure okay, to... Okay, let me turn the volume up. Let me turn the volume up. I'll try again. The music is kind of loud. <laughs> Over there. Let's go listen in. Dark Side, there's a six months. So I said... That's not a faucet. <laughs> hey, who are you two? Sorry. Why'd you come over all of a sudden? What was it? Oh, if it wasn't a fa- Sorry for eavesdropping. Sounds like you were talking about something private. Uh, what's the matter? <laughs> They're just looking to join in on our fun, that's all. Hey, don't pretend like it's okay for them to just interrupt us like that. Yeah. <sighs> 
Fine. You're lucky we don't mind extroverts that much. <laughs> you hear that, Quisto? What nice! Quisto. Your expressions tell me you're looking to hear some juicy info, am I right? <laughs> but before that, it just so happens that I know you two. Really? Are we that famous? You kidding? How often does anyone get a personal tour led by His Grace himself? Practically everyone was talking about it. Word has it that you also caused quite the kerfuffle. I like the word kerfuffle. Oh, hee hee. It was just a little mistake. A uh, little mistake, huh? I like the way you put it. You see, people with a good attitude can join our group anyway. Why does this guy sound like that? Like some of the others here. Your group? I'm Cuisto, and this is Lavaroon. People usually call us the bombshell bros, but don't worry. We're not playing with bombs or anything. It's just that our information is always so explosive, and we blow minds on the regular. So, you two really like to gossip? Ooh, you sure know how to embellish. No, no. You don't get he said, no, no. it. Knowing intelligence will make things better for you here. For example, knowing who's working with whom, who has the latest rumors, who's not getting along. Wouldn't you like to know all that? Sure, fill, me, fill us in. Oh my, Archon, I'd love to know. Please tell me. Whoa, all this info's worth something, you know? You should prove you're worthy of it. I don't mind him. Quisto's always this way. Just play nice and say something to massage his ego. The welfare meals. Oh my, Archon. The welfare meals. We ate the most incredible welfare meal. Right, right. That meal we had yesterday was super delicious. Is that so? <laughs> to tell you the truth, I've been helping out with making those welfare meals. I've been working as a kitchen assistant for about a month and a half now. Oh, wow. so you're the one who made Thanks those so much. Uh you are correct. I am a true professional. In fact, I even went to culinary school. Whoa, but that's all. you like my cooking. I guess that means we share similar tastes. Listen carefully. This little bombshell will help you learn what's really going on here in the fortress. Huh? Did Lavrun just wink at me? It seems he's saying, don't be upset. He's a good fellow. Listen, kids. The power structure within the fortress is quite complicated. The overworlders couldn't care less about us down here. We're basically dogs to them. You've already met the one person here you should never cross. The Duke, Risley. He knows more than you think. And if he doesn't care about something, then he often doesn't bother dealing with it. Those who have the Duke's attention get all kinds of special perks, even better treatment in the infirmary. Wait, chat, who's the Chi Chi of this place called? What's her name? Right. I don't think there's anything useful about him at all. Why does he visit the infirmary practically Siege every win. day? Is it normal for anyone True. to be going in and out of there so often? If you ask me, he's just faking it to get out of work. But did you know that Churia was a talented researcher from the Fontaine Research Institute before he came here? There's okay. no denying that. I don't care if he was a researcher that could turn dirt into Mora. Once you're in the fortress of Meripede, you're just another inmate like everybody else. Ah, interesting. According to Quistot, a person named Jurieur frequents the infirmary. I should take note of that. Speaking of which... The last time I saw him, he was passing by in the corridor with Lorvine. I also heard they started arguing in the library and got into a fight, right? Guess that's just how terrible of a guy he is. You mean he hit a woman? Wow. I never imagined he was that bad. But that Lorvine's also quite the odd one, you know? She's always gabbing away, got into a fight with a man, and she also got sent to the infirmary. Come to think of it. I always see her going to the sick bay every couple of days, too. Huh. huh. Wait a second. You don't think. Do you think it... Could it be that they're secretly meeting there to go on dates? Ah, but it's really hard to imagine. Dude, I'm After sure this all, matters, but I like... Do, remember seeing do I care? Joey to a pulp that one time. And we might be overthinking things. So, Jolieu had a confrontation with a girl named Lourvin, who also frequently visits the infirmary. I'll remember that too. Okay, we've talked to just about 
everyone, and it's about time for us to go meet Linny. Linny! 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 Let me adjust the volume slightly, slightly, slightly. Music, you're gonna go on eight. Dialogue, you're gonna go on nine. A bit louder. Hi, SFX, you're going on seven. Is this level okay? Is this level okay? What a brand. Can you give me a meal? I wanna test my luck. I wanna test my luck. Boom, 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 boom. Delicious! Luck is not. How do I go down? I do navigating this place is. Am I stupid? I actually am the worst at navigating. Like, I know you have to, like, elevator. I'm just gonna go to the elevator. I'm just gonna go to the elevator. What are you wearing? I'm Jean. I just can't wear the made like the cosplay. The the wig hurt my head, so I'm not wearing it. But I promise I'm Jean. Look, look, I'm Jean. Look, look, I'm Jean. Socks, wait until Twitch. If, yeah, I waited for the new Twitch policy. Because now if I want to twerk on stream, I'm allowed. True. Tasteful news are allowed on Twitch. Go to the production zone. Do I have to climb another <laughs> Mamma mia. Wait, how is it up? I just went down. Are you fucking kidding? I don't know which layer it is. I'm going to go here. Wait, that was the wrong one. This is where I was two seconds ago. I'm just going to elevate her. I'm just going to elevate her. So you want to know something funny? If you summon this this person to heal you, it actually doesn't go in the elevator and then it, yeah, it goes, yeah, it just, yeah. Go over here. Hmm. Hi, Lenny. I'm Jean, the gra huh? acting grandmaster of the Knights of Favonius. Nice to meet you. That look in your eyes, you found something? A little something, yeah. <laughs> Oh, as expected of the legendary duo, you have my full and undivided attention. Okay, so what did we find? I actually don't remember Act 3. <laughs> it's been like a... I mean, I, I remember, I remember. The rumors swirling about this place are unreliable after all. And oh yeah, how Child left. We remember how Child dipped. Yeah, 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 we remember, we remember. He is a harbinger after all. I suppose he's much more resourceful than I initially gave him credit for. Unfortunately, this isn't enough for our final report to Father. We need to find out Master Child's father. exact whereabouts. No, this isn't Act Three anymore. Father it's not. Told it's me four. That even though Master Child said he was just coming. Dude, to I hope we get to meet Father again. He actually had some personal reasons. His agenda might be linked to his disappearance. The most important thing right now is to catch up to him. The crowd is already flooded, so we'll have to cast someone with professional diving skills to chase after him. Well, when you put it that way, it's obvious that only Fremine would be up to the task. Bingo! He's working today. Why are Lydia's eyes a abyss? Attracted too much attention. I'll talk to him about it later. Please do. It's the least I can do. We're all in this together, so it's only fair for us to fulfill our end of the bargain. Honestly, I'm far more impressed by you guys managing to collect all this information right under Risley's watchful eyes. <laughs> Collecting information has always been our strong point. True. Now, let me think. To find out more information, Fremine will have to retrace Master Child's original route. And if he's to do that, he'll have to set out on the next pipe cleaning day at the earliest. That's six days from now. Hmm. Okay, we can go clean and some pipes. After that, he'll probably take another two or three days to return. <clears throat> You can even estimate how long it'll take for him to get back? We've been working together for a long time. We know each other's capabilities like the backs of our hands. You don't Travel. look like Jean, bro. Let's that's because my camera, it cuts. It cuts too early. We'll be able it to cuts. While what do you want me to do? Too. Fuck, my, my thing just fell. Oh, and there's just one last thing we'd like your help with. Though we can just sit back and wait for Fremenet's report on Master Child's whereabouts, we still need to make more progress on the investigation of the Forbidden Zone. Fremenet's no master of disguise. Lynette's still working on getting intel from the other areas, and I'll need to spend some time helping Fremenet prepare for his diving mission. So, you are the only ones we can count on. What do you want us to do? Will it be hard? Hey, it'll- Well, I won't call it easy per se, but I think you'll be able to pull it up. That's how you spell per se. Listen carefully. You'll need to find an excuse to get into the infirmary and investigate the room and environs. 
You okay. mentioned several sketchy looking people always meeting at the infirmary earlier. So it probably has something to do with the secret we're hoping to uncover. You've already met the head nurse, so she'll be less suspicious of you. Okay. Investigate the internal structure of the infirmary and any active dealings within, and pass those on to me alongside anything else you're able to discover. But okay. also, there's no need to take risks. Don't forget, safety always comes Sounds first. Sounds good. Oh, my apologies. I just started rambling out of habit. <sighs> it was almost as if I was talking to my younger sister. But that's not a bad thing, right? But what if I'm the older sister? What? Dude, Lumine, what the fuck are you talking about? All right, then we'll head out as soon as we finish our prep. Let's go our separate ways for now, then. Don't forget, we meet here again in nine days. The fuck? After doing some prep work with Paimon, you slowly begin approaching the- <laughs> Why? I wasn't even reading that slow! I wasn't even reading that slow! Hey, stay here for now. Paimon will take a peek. Hmm. Hmm? There seem to be several people in Let's eavesdrop! You and Paimon are hiding in a corner and you're right eavesdrop on the people inside the infirmary. Several people approach and being endangered and engaged in the company. Oh no! <laughs> Time. Uh, it's a bit hard to understand them from here, so why don't we just try to talk to them in person? You nod and take a long, deep breath. If I recall correctly, the potion is the result of a failed attempt at alchemy you once performed. Bro, having given it a good whiff, you hand the. Okay, how? Whoa, are you okay? Who the fuck is this? Oh my, what's wrong, little one? There's no need to panic. Who are you calling little? Before you begin. The oh, to on my stomach ache, and then nausea, and then collapsed onto the ground. Paimon doesn't know what to do. Freezing limbs, twitching fingers, and pale complexion. <gasps> Could it be poison? Could it be love? Let me take in the look. air. Please, Sorry. lie down over here. Oof, my stomach hurts. Don't worry, I'll get you to the bed safely. Here, hold on to my shoulder and walk slowly. Okay. Dude, I thought after I thought I was gonna be out of this fucking prison for Act Four. Surely I get out now, right? You're sick after all. Now, please relax. I'm just going to do a preliminary checkup on you. Okay. I see now. My checkup has confirmed that she's not in any moral danger. That's our worst fear out of the way. Eh? Oh, that's good. But I'll continue my diagnosis of the patient now. Please relax and take a deep breath. <sighs> Siege ween? Dude, okay. Someone in chat said it's per Don't Fuck, I have auto! Oh my god. Either. Does it hurt when I press here? <laughs> and here? Huh? Oh, that hurt! Based on my initial checkup, there shouldn't be a problem here. Oh, how strange. Oh no, was my acting a bit over the top? Mm. Well, what about here? Does nope, this not really. Oh. Hmm. I understand. So that's what it is. I think you just ate something that disagreed with you. That's all. Nothing too serious. Oh, outside of a pretty bad stomach ache when it decides to act up. True. <sighs> so that's what it is. Mm -hmm. <sighs> and there have been other inmates complaining about the food recently. I'll inform our head chef, Mr. Wilson. We just threw the, our fucking the chef friend under the bus. What the hell? Congratulations. The health risk is incredibly low, so you should recover within a couple days. Why don't you Why do we do that? Here while I go get some medicine for you. Miss Lavine, I'll have to trouble you to help me look after this new patient while I'm gone. Very well. I know this is... And she hopped away, just like that. Phew, this infiltration mission is going much smoother than I imagined. Next, there are only two people left in the room. 
So you don't call that woman Lourvin. So she had to be one of those frequent visitors to the infirmary I heard before. Would that mean that oh, man next to her is so Jurieur? Hello, how do you... Still not great. I can't keep staring at her. It'll draw unwanted attention. This guy also seems to have noticed. Her stomach aches really bad. She was stumbling about the whole way okay, here, so I'm gonna say something. Really this feels like the fucking biggest waste of time. I want to mash my space bar, but obviously it's gonna matter. They wouldn't make us go through all this dialogue if these two weren't important, so I'm sure they're gonna matter for something. But bro, I don't care about these two fucking random lovers. I do not care. They could literally both die, and I wouldn't, and my day would progress the same way. There's no need to worry. She's the best medic we've got down here. But. It also looks like she's the only medic you've got down here. Ah, uh, well, that's true. Ah, uh, well, that's true. <laughs> what do you mean, that's true? That's really misrepresenting the situation. Of course I can't speak for the whole fortress, but it's not like everyone imprisoned here is useless, you know? Though they may have committed crimes and gotten locked up here as a result, they still know a thing or two about medicine, and they help Miss Sishuin take care of Yo. the sick and injured. Who asked? Yeah, yeah, you're right. But did you have to lecture me about it in front of another patient? Also, Aren't why does this guy too? Where did all your energy come from? Uh huh, that's correct. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a bit ahead of myself. Are you two? We've been so Oops, I, to click. I come back every once in a while for checkups and to pick up the medicines Miss Siegeween prescribes for us. That's just the nature of chronic illnesses. As for her. Okay. Okay. Chat, I have a question. Why is it pronounced Siegeween? Nobody. If you name. Is this a common name before I roast someone? One sec. Siegeween. Okay, it doesn't look like it. If you name your child Siegeween, you deserve to be prisoned. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go to fucking jail. I'm sorry. What the fuck is a Siegeween? If it's pronounced like Siegeween, maybe. Uh, we could call her Lil S. You are called Nick. Bro. Bro. Why are you attacking me? Okay? I don't want to call her Siegeween. I mean, I will. Sorry, that was toxic and disrespectful. It's fr it's not French. <laughs> She's a Melusine. <laughs> Leave her alone. She fancies herself as Miss Sijuin's capable helper because she learned a bit of medical knowledge ages ago. Please watch your mouth, Mr. Jurier. Don't forget that you are the primary reason I have frequent heart palpitations. Damn. Okay, these guys. Are, okay, this is actually a couple. Don't forget, you're the reason I have frequent heart palpitations. Damn, this is a quarrel. Hey, don't start arguing now. Please, keep it civil at least. These two seem have a pretty terrible relationship and only ran into each other because they came to pick up their meds at the same time. Okay, that is copium. Respectfully, Lumine, you are coping. But outside of the two of them, there's nothing suspi suspicious. Sorry, calm down. All the files on the table seem to be uh, patient records. While there's a box, I can check it out. There also aren't that many furnishings on the wall. A? Wait, there seems to be a movable hatch. Hey, there's no need to fight. <laughs> Release. It's way too early for us to even think about that. And who the heck knows if we'd even be able to continue our previous lives? The presence of a movable hatch isn't strange by itself, but perhaps it's my adventurer's intuition speaking. But isn't this a bit strange that there's a movable hatch over here? Is it, is it, is it hiding something? Please allow me to end this boring and useless conversation. Oh, and Mr. Jurier, I don't want to see your face here again anytime soon. And same to you, Miss Lorvine. Anyway, and same that was more Sorry. than enough rest for me, so I'm going to get out of this excessively noisy place. Okay, he that was. Just walked off like that. <laughs> That's just what he's like. I'm sorry you had to see all of that. I'm Lorvine, and that. Well, his name is Jurier, but I hope you'll never have cause to remember his name. Bro, why is she flaming him? Can't stand him, huh? <sighs> I mean, can you blame me? Who would like someone who's as arrogant and obsessed with weird research topics as he is? <clears throat> but there's no need to keep dwelling on him. I, I'll i accompany you two for a while. <coughs> Miss Sishween should be back soon, and I'm sure you'll feel better as soon as you've had some of her medicine. Thanks for looking after me. No, no. 
It's nothing. I'm back. Did you rest like you promised? Bro, it's been 40 seconds. Thank you for getting our medicine, Miss Sijuin. Did you all cooperate with your bed rest? I trust that nobody got up to walk around. <laughs> Good. Here, this should be two days worth of medicine for you. Take one pill now, and then continue your bed rest. Okay, welcome back. Siege ween. Ah, uh, Miss Lavine. Ah, uh, Miss Lavine. Sorry, now. I'll shut up. Do you still remember if we discussed the color of the pill that you should be taking today? <sighs> I remember. You said it should be yellow. Did they talk about that before we walked in? Why don't I remember? Yellow, huh? I understand. These are yours. Please make sure to go to bed early after taking them tonight. You'll benefit from a good night's sleep. All right, then I'll also be on my way now. I hope you feel better soon, too. Watch. Okay, here's my prediction. I feel like this entire cutscene is going to be like, at some point, we're going to see a pill of a color, and we're going to remember that it should have been yellow, and this whole fucking waste of 30 minutes was for that. I could be wrong. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe she's an important fucking character. I'm going to fill out your medical record now. You're widely known as the Traveler, right? I just want to double check a few details. Actually, it's, it's probably to talk to see. It's probably to talk to her. Okay. Those two made quite the commotion just now, so why don't we let the traveler rest? Paimon can answer the questions instead. Mm-hmm. So her primary symptoms are abdominal pain, with secondary symptoms of nausea. Is there anything else? Hmm. That's it. All right then. Is there anything we should know besides to take the meds? No, her base constitution is quite good. So, I'm sure she'll recover quite quickly after taking the medicine. Please, make sure to stick to bland or less stimulating foods. And don't stay up too late at night. Got it. Paima will hold the traveler to that for sure. Okay. See, she wants to look at me. I should try to take a nap, like she said. Oh, you're going to take a nap already? You move yourself to regular patients, better try to relax completely. The weariness from the work and the intel gathering that you've been holding back all this time of... You can, however, still catch some hits of Paimon's conversation with Sijuin. We've been to lots of places together. She may I got it. I actually clutched up. Now, but she's actually super strong. Oh, so you're the best of companions. Well, don't worry. She'll recover soon. Slow reader? How am I a champion that we're literally recovered? You literally said relaxing. How am I slow, man? It's... How do you feel? You slept for a really long time, but we never left. I feel a lot better. Thanks. Well, now you can go back without a worry in the world. Remember True. to take the meds regularly. And don't forget, bland foods. Mm -hmm. Thank you, uh -huh. Sijuin. Sorry. Um, return to the dormitories. Okay, cool. That was a fun cutscene. All right, cool. You really are something. To be able to fall asleep like that and even sleep talk the entire time, you scared Paimon half to death! Did I say anything I shouldn't have? No, but you kept mumbling things along the lines of, Pyron, go take my grilled fish and... Paimon talked with Sijuin the entire time you were asleep. She seems like she's just a sincere nurse and Paimon didn't notice anything unusual in the room. Are you sure we're not going off track with the infirmary? Are we really off track? There's a few weird things about this place. The movable hatch, the question Siegeween asked Lord Vine, and also, were they talking about their meds before we walked in? Oh, and L L Lord Viney and Jurius, argument genuine, or were they putting on a show? Paimon, hear me out. Whoa, you really are super thorough. All those tiny little suspicious things that Paimon didn't even pick up yeah, on. Yeah, they're definitely fucking. That's number one. Second of all, the pill is a metaphor for something else. Third of all, the... Oh, I can't read this in time. Over the next few days, Paimon wears... You should have already made it to write keywords or any suspicions on a piece of paper. Wait, I actually got it. What the fuck? Oh. Okay. You manage to pass the slip to a busy Lynette as she happens to pass by. Her disguise is impeccable and she does not even look at you or change her expression as she pockets the info. Truly a professional, Lynette. Truly a professional. Truly a professional. We love to see it. Linny would have been like, ha ha, it's you again. Sorry. No Linny slander. Just saying. Let's go meet up with Linny. 
Show us the full cosplay. I don't have the wig, but I should get a stream deck so I can... I swear by my sword! I had a thigh strap, but it, it, it broke because my thighs are too thick. Did you shave? No, I didn't shave. Why am I showing you guys my legs? This is weird. <laughs> All right, back to this. Yo, yo, my bad, my bad. <laughs> yo, don't clip that. <laughs> New Twitch TOS, true. We're fine. This is what they wanted. Hmm? Hmm? Did you two run into any trouble over the past few days? Uh, no, I was in the Vermilion domain. According to the schedule, nothing weird happened. There's like a rune grader, but he's not that bad, honestly. Mm, it was pretty fine. Good. That means you didn't raise any suspicions when you infiltrated the infirmary. Okay. We've taken a look at the slip you've sent. Fremenay successfully left the grounds via the pipes two days ago, and as of last night, Lynette has also infiltrated the infirmary after faking an illness. Okay. Wait, why is she getting involved as well? You already went above and beyond when you scoped out the infirmary. To put it more bluntly, even if we were to view that as something you did in exchange for Fremenay's help, you've already done more than enough. Thanks, Lenny. Infiltrating a guarded stronghold is a different kind of job from a one-off investigation. We want to avoid using the same faces over and over and reduce the amount of suspicion that will fall on any given person. Lynette also felt like you have already taken the first step for us, so she should be the one to finish the job. Thanks, Lynette. So that's what Lynette thinks. Oh, Paimon hopes everything's going well for her. Yeah, I'm not opposed to helping you. Hmm. Perhaps that's true. You are both very good people, and we've come to appreciate that more than anyone else. Unfortunately, there's still one thing that could get between us, lest you've forgotten. The matter of our respective loyalties. You've mentioned before that you've had some run-ins with the Fatui. I can understand that feeling. So I assume you're just helping us out of the kindness of your hearts? Well, everyone could use some more friends. We'll be counting Lenny, on you to help respectfully, I, L Lenny, let's mm -hmm. talk for a second, okay? Since I see Listen. you as friends, then it's even more important for us to protect you from any peril. Fremenay and Lynette feel the same way. Listen, you, your sister, and whoever the fuck the other guy is, you guys are cool, okay? You guys are cool. Uh, you know, Linny, you've helped us out. Lynette, she's cool. Fremenay's a diver who drowned in the first trailer we saw of him, despite him being prone to being a diver. But the event was cool with the penguin. That was that was cool. Anyways, so you guys are... That, that's cool. However, regarding our loyalty on the Fatui, right? I know you guys are like villains, okay? I know that. I know that. But your father figure, right? Are like, you know... Uh, or many other Fatui members. Just so you know... If ever push comes to shove and I have to choose between my current loyalties and them, just know that it's nothing personal, but I would give up my life to be Arlequino's chair. Respectfully! Respectfully in-game, of course. Respectfully. I'm just saying, okay? This isn't about you, Linny. I'm sorry. I'm just being... I'm Listen. Listen. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay? I get it. A lot of them are criminals. They've done heinous acts. The Tore is unforgivable. Child's a terrorist, allegedly. But if I have to choose a side, not excusing their actions, but I would, I might as well watch. I can't stop them. So I might as well be there. I'll watch. I can't stop them. What? I'm going to stop fucking Capitano? What the fuck am I going to do? I saw Tra Traveler saw as a fucking dull blade. How are we gonna stop them? Dude, the, the, the Nahida literally, end of last act, literally Nahida's like, oh my god, Dottori, take these two Gnosis. And then now Dottori has fucking so it's over. What the fuck can we do? It's over. We're we uh, I might as well watch. Glad to hear it. Then, let's go check on Lynette before Fremenay returns. Sorry. If everything went well, then she should be wrapping up her investigation right about now. Is now really a good time to go over? According to my observations, Sijuin always spends around half an hour away from the infirmary right before lunch. Half an hour? Lynette knows this as well, so this should be a good time Thanks, to meet up with her. Okay. Oh yeah, we heard about also, that. Also, I'm her brother, remember? 
It's only natural for an older brother to care about his younger sister's well-being. Okay, then let's head over right away. Cool. Let's go over. Oh, oh beginner's protector. Nice. Lynette should be here right now. Huh. Strange. Lynette? As expected, Sijuin isn't here, but why isn't Lynette here? Could she have found a lead and left to follow it? No, Lynette rarely deviates from the plan. We agree that if she were to make changes on the fly, uh -oh. she'd find a way to let oh, me know. Oh, fuck. Unless... Oh, no. Let's see if there are any clues around here. We can look while we wait for her. Okay. Oh, fuck. Why is this music kind of epic? Wait, this music's actually... Yo. There are some books here and a few files. They all look like medical records. Hmm. Advanced nursing. How to raise the spirit of your patients. A quick guide to the site. These sure are some interesting books. Who knew Sijuin would be interested in these kinds of things? She even has books on understanding people's motivations and feelings. Hmm. Is it because she's a melazine? Or does she have a need to understand her patient's emotional state? She manipulates. Seems quite normal to Maybe me. Maybe not. I don't know. These are skills that would come in handy for a nurse from time to time. True. None of the beds have any signs of having been slept in. Except that one over there. That's the one Lynette must have used, right? You said she was pretending to be sick. Mm-hmm. She would have said her migraine was having a particularly bad flare-up. Generally speaking, the head nurse would then ask her to lie down and rest while she left to retrieve the medication. But this bed is unmade! Which means either the head Sorry. nurse didn't return the entire time from when Lynette laid down up until she left the bed, or the nurse intentionally left it this way. Hmm. Why would they leave it that way? That's suspicious. Let me let me check this hatch over here that Lumine talked about eight fucking times. If there's she mentioned it so many times, this has to be pivotal to the story. If it's not, I'm quitting getting it back. Ah, this is it. We saw it before. Wait, this thing. If it is, I'm becoming a lore skipper. Look like it's been disguised that well. Wait, Gatchin just tweeted. Wait, 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 is this something new? This wait, 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 one sec, lady. Empty. From its size, I don't think it's an entrance that is meant to be taken apart. There's probably a mechanism around here somewhere. Genius Invocation TCG. <laughs> of course! Chad, do you guys have Demon Riz I can use? Hey, haha, are you a demon? Because... Don't. Chat, you guys are literally gonna get a restraining order. Okay, I never mind. Let's let's move on. Okay, the space behind it is empty. From its size, I don't think the entrance that is meant to be taken apart. There's probably a mechanism around here somewhere. Could Lynette have tried to get inside? But if that's the case, she would have contacted me for sure. Hmm. Let's look around here for some more clues. Don't panic. Just take another look. Hey, haha, are you a demon? Because I'm an angel. Wait, wait, that's actually... Yo, you kind of cooked. You might be a demon, but you could be my angle. Wait, did I make it better or worse? Be honest. No, so bad. Okay. Angelic Riz. <laughs> okay, thanks, chat. Look on his face. Definitely beginning to panic. Don't panic, bro. That's subconsciously. <laughs> okay, true. Why are you roasting Linny? He's worried about his sister, man. Hey, you guys! I am too. I like Lynette. Over here. A slip of paper. It's right over here, and there's a bunch written on it too. It reads, "Out of respect for your usual practices, I'll use a piece of paper or card as the medium to pass on my message. You may consider this as me giving you my best regards." This is. Is. Is that all? Is there anything on the back? The back. <sighs> <gasps> Show me. Now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. That, that look on your face. P Paimon's reading it now. Would you care to guess where Miss Lynette of the Fatui could be right now? No. Could she have? Is she already? Hey, what? Honestly, did he deliberately leave the infirmary unguarded to use it as bait? Wait, you mean he was aware of our ghouls from the very beginning? But why? We didn't run into any trouble last time, and he also never reached out to us since. Why would he uh, choose to act during our second infiltration and have to set the first? Yes, that is a crucial question. Risley, he doesn't do anything without a clear goal or reason. So this means well, he had no minus one sister, I guess. Activities from the very beginning. You are not from the same camp as us. You were sent down here by Nervilet, so you have no Nervilet. conflict with Risley. <laughs> We're a completely different story, though. Why don't they go after Lynette? Why didn't he go after you as well? I'd like to know that, too. Why did he only go after her? Don't panic. Just think everything over. I have to stay calm. This is not like what happened last time. The situation's different now. Uh-oh. Lenny's panicking. Wait. You're right. Wait. But that means... The fact that Fremine was able to leave the grounds, could Risley have let him go as well? But what does he gain by letting Fremine leave like that? I get it now! Eureka! He deliberately made them both disappear! So he's challenging me and trying to provoke me, I'm sure of it. Minus God, two siblings. We never should have sent out Fremine. We had to go through all that trouble to find an opening to sneak him around the guards and into the pipe, and we even thought luck was on our side. If Risley let him leave on purpose, then he's probably in a terrible spot now as well. Lenny's getting more and more panicked. We have to calm him down. P Lenny, calm down. Yes, that'll. I'm sure that'll work. Don't be like this, Lenny. Fremine wouldn't have left if we hadn't told you about Child. That was our fault. No. I'm the leader of this operation, and I'm the one responsible for this team. I was the one who failed to protect them. I'll go talk to Risley. Hey, don't be reckless! Traveler, please tell I simply cannot allow Lynette to be abducted again. I have to go. I'll find a way to get them back! Go. Oh. He's rushed out the door! After him! Hmm. Why is she there?! What the fuck? Wait. I feel like we still have some room to make changes on these details. It's okay, she's gonna help us. But it will require extensive testing. Is that so? Very well. Then please be mindful of the time. Huh? Is someone? Pack everything up. Uh oh. Pack Whoever's what up? Outside is eavesdropping. They'll probably come in once we stop talking. Damn, she fucking called it. Someone, please help! She, she's there! Wait a second, I don't really like her right now. Whoa, are you why is she, why is she fucking, why is she, why is she playing chess with us? Two, as expected, they've already found this place. Oh, they are quite sharp. What a delightful turn of events. I like smart people, but I also like playing dumb. I like the feeling of being trusted. Oh my! What's wrong, little one? There's no need to panic. Take a deep breath before you begin. Being able to read human expressions is quite the useful skill. Okay, she better have a redemption arc in this quest, because right now I want to roll her off a cliff. But maybe her intentions are good. We'll see. I mean, to be fair, they are Fatui. To be fair, we are siding with Fatui right now. Siege win? More like siege lose? Am I right? Okay, mods. Actually, that's a personal timeout. Not even because it was a bannable offense. Just because you made me cringe. And that's saying a lot coming from me. If you managed to make me cringe, if you managed to make me cringe, yeah, see you in fucking, see you in 30 minutes. Yep. Oh, I don't think I've been here before, have we? Uh, one sec, chat. I'm just setting something up. Okay, we're good. Come out and face me, Risley! 
Hmm. Aren't we at an administrative office space? Why don't you at least try to follow even a couple rules from no! the fortress's indoor management regulations? I know that guy! What did you Sorry. do to my sister? I ran into the young miss at the infirmary. I'd heard that she was suffering from quite the migraine, so I decided to invite her over for a cup of tea. I do have some teas in my collection that can work wonders against such an illness. Oh, do you have some spare Stop tea? Really, we could... Where did you take my siblings? I have also heard that your performances are quite the spectacle. Miss Lynette would sometimes enter a box filled with water, only to emerge the next second from another place altogether. Rizzly, if you want to emerge in a... You right now, if you were to turn your head. Is he trying to trick me into turning my head? No, he's probably not looking to attack me right now. All of the hostages are in his hands, and he's even in the mood for small talk. That means Lynette is probably still alive. You knew we were investigating the infirmary from the start. So you deliberately aroused the Traveler's suspicions and baited us into continuing our investigation, just so that you'd be able to kidnap Lynette. <sighs> As for Fremini... No, you probably didn't even interfere with Child's escape. You let him go, so you could purge the Fatui members that we had planted into your ranks. There was no need to do so. The Fortress of Meripede is a pretty pleasant place. Most people enjoy their lives here. The only ones who act differently are those with personal agendas. It was quite easy to identify your colleagues. You removed our original members and spread the news of Child's escape so Father would assign our team to come down and investigate. Fremine has also fallen into your hands, right? If you're oh so omnipotent and so in control, why would you need hostages? Yo, low key though? Okay, I'm not siding. Obviously, we're siding with like Linny here because, you know, but low key, kind of a Giga Chad move to just get like fucking minus four Fatuis. You just trapped three and you could have done whatever you want with Child. And you're probably baiting Arlequino. That's like minus five. One correction. They're literally Lynette children? Is in my hands right now, but from an ace. I mean, true, but. He's not. What do you really want? Lenny! Oh, wonderful. Everyone is here, so I'll only need to say this once. Thank you so much for cooperating with me. They're not children. Well, they're like Arlequino's, like, I want to say tools. I don't really know the lore yet because we're only at Act 4, but I feel like they are. I feel like you you use, like, if anything, you use them to bait Arlequino. Where are Lynette and Fremenet? I'm eager into the point, I see. Alas, only Miss Lynette is currently having a cup of the fortress's finest tea. Although, as per your original plan, Mr. Fremenet should also have returned to the fortress by now. But he has neither shown up within my gates, nor has he been taken into any kind of custody. So, where do you think he may be right now? He's diving. Wait, He's a diver. You can't mean... You locked him outside in the sea? Oh. Well, I was I kidding. I the fortress's gate to the outside world. That's all. Fremenet's a star diver, so he should be fine, right? No, we're still here, so he definitely tried to find a way to come back for us. So we can't assume he might have made a break for the surface. But why would I do this, you may be asking? To have an audience with you, of course. My intel tells me that Mr. Linney is a great magician, so it's only natural for me to want to have some cards of my own when it comes to negotiating. Besides, I do recall you mentioning to Miss Lynette that you've always wanted to have a face-to-face -face meeting with the Lord of the Fortress of Meripede. Oh, you could have just asked. ...of whether it was in a personal or a professional capacity. Well, you got your wish. Oh, I get it. Risley, okay, he has a big brain, a big ass, respectfully. So obviously you can't have a big heart. You can't have all three that would be imbalanced. So uh, obviously he's acting without his heart here, but he's using his brain. So clearly because he's backloaded and there's that, we have that information, he won't factor in the feelings here because his heart, okay, that makes sense. So, and then Nevelette is like the, like that's where the, okay. Before we even set foot in the fortress. Some of my folks just happen to hear a thing or two. That's all. In any case, I will be straight with you. I was willing oh. to play dumb and turn a blind eye, so we had a pleasant few days playing games together here. 
But once you started focusing on the Forbidden Zone, all of that changed. Mr. Linney, the cards are stacked against you right now. Miss Lynette is in my hands, and Mr. Fremenet is still slowly being pickled out there in the brine. Dumb. You know just as Why is Fremenet getting pickled? What the fuck did Fremenet do? Dude, what did Fremenet do wrong? He's just he's just diving, man. He's just diving. Why is he getting pickled? You need do but one thing to guarantee their safety. <laughs> I would like you to contact your superior and ideally invite her over for a cup of tea with me. You want to see father? <laughs> But Wait, I literally okay. Maybe it was just obvious, but I told you he just, he just traps he traps the kids. Well, I know they're not technically kids, but you know what I mean, like Arlequino's kids to fucking bait Arlequino. Boom, minus one Fatui leader. Well, if she cares for the well-being of her dearest children, she should have plenty of motivation to join me for a parents' evening. I've heard that the bonds between the members of the House of the Hearth are like the bonds of family. I don't see why she would refuse. Why did you think father sent us to handle the fortress of Meripede? This place is basically a no man's land. It wouldn't be fitting for anyone as important as a harbinger like father to come here in person. Oh, I see. So it's because she doesn't care for my place here. Bam, that's fucked. That's such a shame. After all, I've amassed quite the tea collection. I was looking <laughs> forward to sharing it with her. <laughs> Both Monsieur Nervillette and Lady Farina have already received many samples I like this guy. gifts. Was this the extent of your master plan to get to father? No matter how much pressure you may put on me, I won't allow you to use us to blackmail her. You people really are difficult to get along with. All I'm asking for is a face-to-face -face conversation. Does she truly have no interest in the fortress's secret? Mr. Linney. You have one last chance to invite your father here. If you refuse. Yes, what happens if you ref Oh. Linny! Why do you have to do this? Instead of asking why I'm doing this, why don't you try to see things from my perspective for a second? From the very beginning, the Fatui has been actively infiltrating my fortress. I gave you a warning by cutting off the first few operatives I found, but that only caused you to double down. Had you given up on the fortress then and there, I'd have no reason to want to talk. Mr. Fremenet left the fortress on his own, and Miss Lynette tried to pry out my secrets right in front of me. No matter how you look at it, the responsibility for this falls on you. I mean, that does make I, sense. I shouldn't ask Father to do anything because of us. Six. <laughs> Yo, I... chill! Wait, I... Two. One. Time's up. It really is a shame, Mr. Lenny. Risley! Negotiations have broken down. Please leave, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's time for my afternoon tea. <laughs> Yo! Give us a little more time! Can we not talk about this some more? Yeah! Listen to the traveler! If you can't talk yeah. to him, can Sorry. you at least talk to us? You do realize that I'm only letting you go because of Nervillette, yes? You Wait, he said Nervillette. That's better. I've already done my best to stay out of your way. But that doesn't mean you can just do whatever you want. The fortress may be small and remote, but it still has its own set of Fuck, laws. dude, when I saw this option, I thought we got to choose. Like, I thought it was gonna be like Fremenet and Lynette or like Lindy and Lynette. Like, I thought we got to choose two. That's the same option. Hmm. Hmm. Then how about this? Those who are capable deserve respect. You've spent quite some time investigating my home turf by now, so why don't you tell me a thing or two about what you found, hmm? I'll ask you three questions. Answer all of them no! correctly, and I'll agree questions! to your questions. It's fine, I got this, I got this. Regarding the hidden rules okay. of the production zone, yeah. what is the truth behind the one about not being allowed to work for three days in a row? I remember this, I remember this. Not being allowed to work for three days in a row? Yeah, you get the strange meat. Okay, cool. What happens if you violate? I'm not gonna look at chat for this. I'm not gonna look at chat for this. I'm not gonna look at chat for this. Okay, I'm not gonna look at chat. Regarding the hidden rule of the production zone, the truth behind one about not being allowed to work for three days in a row, what happens if you violate the production zone's hidden rule? If you break the hidden rule of the production zone, your welfare meal might contain some strange meat. Yes, I remember. Oh. What will you see if, who will you see if you keep working continuously? I've been told that the infirmary is always empty for the half hour just before lunch. 
The Fanta promoter has been struggling because he doesn't recognize the real value of coupons. I remember doing this. I did this on my phone in the train. Luke believes that only idiots who don't understand the value of coupons would spend Did the mean just say Fanta. idiots? We often see Miss Sijuin observing the prisoners at work. Fanta's internal reports suggest that they're starting a new trial. Yes, I remember that. An unpackaged product. The research notes said that the Melusine race perceives the world very differently from humans. Because of that, the... According to Collins, the Pancration tournament only took place because the Fanta company sponsored it. Okay. Okay, so I know that the Fanta was sus, and I know that after three days, we got a meal when we ordered it, and then we just didn't eat it or some shit. But I don't know if we saw someone. Maybe we saw Sijwin. I don't remember if we saw someone, though. Oh, maybe it's this. That might be the clue. Wait, what is this? I don't... Oh, it might be this, actually. Wait, it's actually definitely that. Okay, I think it's this one. Oh! Wait, does it mean I got it? I think I got it. Under what circumstances does a strange meat appear? Hey, hey, hey. According to Collins, the pancreation turn. We often see strange meat. The Fanta promoter has been struggling because he doesn't recognize the real value of coupons. So I remember we got strange meat. We got uh, a package in the mail with like blood or a potion or like something poison. I don't know. And there was another thing. There's three sins that we did. I just don't remember which was which. One of them was like when we bet on both dudes. Yeah, this one. I remember we bet on two of the wrong things, but I don't think the strange meat was from that, was it? The Fanta promoter has been. The research note said that the I'm gonna click it, but I don't think this is right. Oh my god, I'm a fucking genius. If that means I won, I don't know. The research note said that the Why does a strange meat appear the way it does? The Fanta promoter because they're experimenting! He doesn't recognize they're experimenting! Where is it? They're, they're, they're putting test subjects in our water! trial of an unnamed and unpackaged product. Okay, I got the first one. I got the first one. Well, I got the first one. See, I got the first one. I got the first one. I might have fucked up the last two because I didn't remember. Dude, dude, I thought the meat was from the first thing though, but I actually got the first one. Did I miss any alerts? No. Well, only a few follows. Thanks for follows. Haha. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, under what service does a strange meat appear? I've been told that the infirmary is always empty for the half. The Fanta promoter has been struggling because he doesn't recognize the real value of coupon. Fanta's internal reports suggest that they're starting a new trial of an unnamed and unpackaged product. But this. Why does the strange meat appear? Note said that the Melu Wait, I might have fucked up. I might have fucked up. It might have been vice versa. Promoter has been struggling because oh, I fucked up. I think this one goes to the other one. Fuck, how do I change it? Wait, go back, go back, go back. Okay, so the the, the testing wait, was the huh? Fanta's internal reports. Why does the strange meat the appear what it does? Said that the Melusine race perceives the world very differently from humans. According to Collins, the Pancration tournament only took place because the Fanta Cup. Okay, let me think. Let me think. This time? Okay, full focus. This time I'm actually thinking. Oh, wait, it just shows me the answer. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, I'm actually thinking. I'm actually thinking. Why would the strange meat appear? Dude, it's when you break three rules. Or, like, when you break a rule. Like, one of the hidden rules. I've been told that the infirmary is always empty for the half hour. What, is Cedron making the fucking schmeat? The, the bad meat? The Fanta promoter has been struggling because he doesn't... Maybe. The research notes said that the Melusine race perceives the world very differently from humans. Okay, maybe that's it. That maybe she's just poisoning the meat or some shit. Okay. Why does the strange meat appear that it does? The Fanta promoter has been struggling. Because the Fanta wants good the return on investment. Said that the Melusine race perceives the world very differently from humans. Maybe it's this. Because of that, the Melusines have also developed a sense of aesthetics that appear rather strange and alien to humans. It says appear and here it says appear. So maybe that's a clue. A jeepers! Yes! Sorry, I'll calm down. Gene, Gene, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Gene needs, Gene wouldn't react like that. Chat, it's only two hours in the stream. I guess it's been three because my stream crashed. And I already have to pee. And taking off the Gene Cosplay to pee is not easy. The hidden rule of the protection zone. People are not supposed to work three days in a row. And I'm going to wait a little. get strange meat in their welfare meal. The fuck is Paimon wearing? At first we thought 
this strange meat must have something to do with the people who disappeared. But in reality, they were all prepared by Sijuin, the head nurse. She often visits the production zone to observe the workers' health and makes a note of anyone who has worn themselves out after three full days of work. Out of her sense of duty as the head nurse, as well as her genuine concern for the workers' health, Sijuin visits the cafeteria right before lunch and cooks an extra dish for those who can use the stamina boost. Sijuin has only the best intentions with her surprise gift and doesn't want anyone to find out about what she does. However, unfortunately, Melusines as a race perceive the world oh, differently from okay. humans, and their sense <clears throat> of aesthetics is even... The recipients of her lovingly prepared special meals cannot taste the care within and usually just freak out. I mean, that's wholesome, but right don't let her cook. <laughs> Not bad. Can Risley headlock you me? Don't! And even guessed her intentions correctly as well. It's nice to know that her efforts have not gone unacknowledged. All right, now for my next question. Oh, God. There are also some hidden rules in the Pancration Ring, including the one that you're not allowed to support to both sides. I have to pee before we do this. Why I sorry? remember this one. I remember this rule. Chat, I have to go pee. I don't know how I'm going to take this off to pee. Uh, wish me luck. I might bring food down so I can eat while we quest because I'm hungry. I will return briefly, okay? Okay, chat, I'm, I'm back. You better fucking scatter. I got food, but it's almost done. I ordered this like teriyaki place. They have rice, chicken, and broccoli, but I finished most of the chicken. So there's rice and broccoli now, which kind of sucks, but it's fine. And then there's another one in the fridge that's noodles. It's like noodles, teriyaki, and like beef but, and broccoli, but that's in the fridge, so I'll get it later. Do you wash your hands? Yes. Also, the Jeff's trick did help. I'll DM him. Thanks for the tip. It worked. Uh, also, I might need a new coffee soon because this street... <laughs> This stream is going to be very long. Speaking of very long, Risley. No, sorry. Sorry. The hidden rules of the Pank Ration Ring. I remember if someone tries to. Wait, chat, remind me. Before Act 5, we'll go, we'll go stock up on, 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 on liquids. Okay, yes, I remember this. We, we, we voted on both and we got blood. Well, it's not blood, but it was a weird liquid. Okay. If you violate the rules, you will see a bag containing strange fluid. Cool. I've been told that the infirmary is always empty. No, it's not Sijuan. It's the font of people, I think. Because the font of people, they, 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 they have, they control but the, 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 the stadium. Trial, so if you try to rig it, they rig your life. True. About it. We often see Ms. Who sent the package? At work. The font of promoter has been struggling because he doesn't recognize the real value of coupons. The research notes said that the melody... According to Collins, the Pancration tournament only took place because the. Wait, but it says who? So do I use promoter? Because this, the, I mean, I guess promoter, sure. Uh, why does the blood look the way it does? Because they're testing stuff. Fonta's internal report suggests that. Whose ticket? Who do? <laughs> why do only those whose tickets to supposed to? Because they want a good return on investment. True. I'm a. Oh whoa. whoa. Yeah, dude, I literally had it right. I just put them in the wrong order because it doesn't dude. I had the right hypothesis though. I literally had the right hypostasis. We often see Missy. According to Collins, I've been told that the infirmary is we often see Missy. The Fanta promoter has. Eureka! Okay, time to eat. Gets this rule too now, so there really was nothing to be afraid of. That hidden rule of the pancreation ring is about how um people are not supposed to bet on both boxers at the same time, and if they do, they'll receive a package containing a strange blood-colored liquid. People get scared when they see it because they've subconsciously begun to associate it with the missing boxer. But really, it's just a bottle of the latest yet-to-be-named and packaged new Fanta trial product. A blood-red drink. It's no wonder even Fanta's own staff were questioning the company's decision-making. 
The company, facing backlash from its own staff, decided to try to trial the product on a smaller scale to see how it might be received by customers. They came to the Fortress of Meropede and offered to sponsor the Pancration Tournament so they could push their new product. But the Duke completely refused to even entertain the idea. The Duke, knowing how valuable coupons are in the Fortress, knew that only total idiots who didn't understand their true value would bother buying a Fanta product here. And so, only those who proved their stupidity by being dumb enough to bet on two opposing sides of the same match were selected to receive the drinks. I acknowledge the That's kind of stupid, I can't lie. the truth of this mystery to light. Although, based on your description, that Fanta promoter is a bit too careless with his words. I may just reconsider my collaboration with the company. All right, and here's the final question. What's the secret behind our head nurse oh God, and all another. of her patients in the infirmary? Oh, we don't know. She's actually a murderer. She's fucking... She's... Cl no, not Clee. Stop your cruel and pointless games, Risley. She's Capitano. You know that we haven't finished our investigation, so there's no way we can answer the last question. The thought of sparing Lynette and Fremenet never even crossed your mind. Lenny. You'll pay for this. Whoa, whoa! He's way more no. built than you. This Lenny, is. Are you all right? Oh, <laughs> close one. I owe you, Sijuin. That was a Wait, why'd she? Why'd she interrupt? It was nothing, Your Grace. Fuck you. Sijuin. Let them fight. Though this gun may look like a toy. It's actually fully functional. Why does she have a gun? See, Lean. You. Not at all. I am merely a resident of the fortress, and thus protecting it is my duty. When Monsieur Nervilet asked me, <laughs> Hell me, yeah. he told me that my job would be to take care of the well being of everyone here. I am merely discharging my duties. <laughs> But if you mean what you just said, then isn't Linny someone you should be looking after as well? Isn't yeah, why not learn a thing or two from the roulette? But I really am just doing what Monsieur Nervulet told me to do. Everything I did, I've done to protect them. Had I not, they would be in far more dire straits right now. His Grace knows it too, right? Your Grace? Mind proving my Fuck innocence you. to them? I hate her. I only hate her because... Of the, I only hate her because she's like, I'm smart, but I'm pretending to be dumb so people like me. But I hate people like that. I hate people like that. I'm sorry. I don't care if she's a good character who ends up saving us. You can fucking die. I, in game. I'm sorry. I hate people like that. I, it's so manipulative. <sighs> My dear Fuck you, Cedrin. Whatever shall I do with you? Would it have killed you to just wait another minute or two? Sorry, I'll leave her alone. She's just a melusine. Nearly time after all. <sighs> the way you do things can be truly frustrating sometimes, Your Grace. I figured I should try to talk some sense into you. <laughs> Arlequino's even more manipulative. She's a Fatui! They're not good guys! Maybe, maybe we'll find out in eight patches. But as of right now. <laughs> what are you talking about? What time? Me if you want. Let women be evil. My Let bad, you're right. <laughs> mm -hmm. How touching. Can you just give me one more minute? Don't be like that, Your Grace. All right, everyone, calm down. Two more visitors will be arriving any time now. Two more visitors? A cup of tea. Miss Sijuin, I leave Miss Lynette in your care. You... What are you doing? I believe I hear footsteps. A familiar figure! Nevelette! Cl Some space, please. Whatever you say. Ah, Miss Clorand. My door. Hello, Clorand. I am Jean, uh, gr acting Grandmaster of the Knights of Favonia. Yo! Fremen. What the f- Wait, yo. What the hell? Why is this the Dice of Cringe Remote? Um. Here. From an ace on the ground, and we're more concerned about her. True. 
Just like me. Work. Oh, dude, she's so sick. Oh my god, she's so sick. Sorry about shooting you, Mr. Linny. The tranquilizing Dude, can we skip to whatever patch she comes out in? Please take it easy in the meantime, though. What happened to Fremenay? Wasn't he diving just outside of the fortress? Why is he looking like... Like this? These symptoms, it can't be. Elzahar. Elazar? Ali is what is that called? I don't know. Never mind. Oh shit. What did you say? Uh, please, make some space. I'll need to give Mr. Fremini a more thorough checkup. Your Grace, I'll leave the rest to you. I'll talk to Clorand while you get Fremini to where he needs to be. Yo, wait, wait, yo, wait. yo. Yo, okay. Yo, she's actually peak. Dude, that hat is so fucking sick. I don't know. I'm excited. No! What's that look? Okay, that's fine. Face? I thought I made good time on the way back. Oh, I'm just admiring your punctuality. Had you arrived just a few minutes later, Sijuin may have been forced to shoot Mr. Linny again. How's the situation out there? The water has changed. It's pretty much as expected. The concentration of primordial seawater has increased significantly. I was only out there a short time, so it wasn't too bad. But if one were to stay for any significant amount of time... Well, you can see how that boy is doing. Where was he when you found him? The abandoned zone at the end of the pipes. A good distance into the water. Closer than I thought. He must have recognized it early on and tried desperately to swim back. Locking the door was necessary. I don't think we could have saved two. Well, I did try to convince him that I had my reasons. Never seems to work, though. It would probably work on Neuvillette. He has a knack for picking out who had good intentions, even when the outcomes were all terrible. Uh, it's a bad sign if you're having to plead your case to Neuvillette. Want some tea? <laughs> What the? Why did he transition to want some? Yo, Riz. Not particularly. If you want to drink some that badly, just say so. Fine. I'd like to get some tea. Want me to get you a cup too, since I've already made it? Uh, might as well then. It works. I suppose. Actually, do you have a towel? I would like to dry my hair. Yo. Hey man, can I have some tea too? Hey. Could I tempt you with some sugar for your tea? I'm down. No need. Okay. No, no sugar actually. Could I tempt you? No need. Okay. Chad, do you think Chlorind will bless us? Do you think if I roll an artifact next to her, we'll get lucky? Please, Chlorind. Chlorind and Risley. Like, surely nothing can go wrong if Chlor. Linny's expression looks disgusted. It seems like he'd rather not have Siege Win touch from an ape. Still, he didn't stop her. Siege Wins examined from an ape carefully. She doesn't look too upset, which is a good sign. I hope from an ape will be okay. How is he? These symptoms are probably caused by an acute ingestion of a large amount of primordial seawater. Still, his condition is not critical. Of course, it would be best if he stayed for further observation. Let's leave him here for now, and move him to the infirmary once he's recovered a bit more. Uh, sorry. I am aware that the infirmary may not be your favorite place in the world at the moment. We do only have a single clinic in the fortress, however. <sighs> Why would he ingest a large amount of primordial seawater after leaving the fortress? How could that possibly happen? Please, look after Mr. Fremenay for the moment. I'll go fetch some medicine and a respirator. Oh, I'll bring Miss Lynette back with me. Where is she? How is she right now? Oh, she just took a nap in an empty room after I tranquilized her. If my calculations are correct, she should also be waking up right around now. You might not believe me, but His Grace and I so actually made my food. some snacks and tea for her. Why'd you tranquilize Lynette? 
Then I would have cooperated. She's not mean. Winnie, are you okay? I'll be fine. They're all here now. Don't worry about me. Are you sure? You don't look all right. My hands and feet are still a bit weak, but that's probably just the residual effects of the tranquilizer <laughs> shot. I'm back, everyone. Oh, Lynette! Lenny. Hi, Lynette. Oh, Traveler, Paimon. Also, okay, I'm going to say it right now because we don't know what okay. happened. I'm going to say it. Is he... Fremenet probably got ambushed, betrayed, pushed into the wrong area. There's there's definitely something. But if he didn't and he just drowned because he drowned as like the best diver with that being his only trait, I will be so... I spit everywhere. I will be so pissed at Fremenet, Fremenet, you don't even understand. However, someone just first time chatted, why are you dressed like a little baby? Listen here! I'm... I'm Jean! I'm Jean! Adorn my knight! Anyways. From an A. You're is he? Fine. But for now, please help me lift him up. But for now. But for now. Oh, I missed that. It's fine. Ugh. Zyhawks, you kinda have boobs. They're called pecs! Sorry. His breathing's beginning to slow down. Give me a hand and help me get him to the infirmary. Yeah, I'll take him from this side. Lynette, together? On it. On it. Traveler, you seem pretty worried about him. Want to come with us? No, I want to stay with Clorinda and Risley. What the fuck? Fuck you. The Duke and Clorinda are gone. They probably went to get some tea. Huh. The Duke will explain the truth in just a bit. Miss Plurian will need a break. Since yeah, Paimon, go with them. We'll go have tea with the them. Sea. We'll go have tea with them. Clorin, stay from an A from the sea. What just happened there? Wait, can, yeah, 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 can we go up? Hey, hey, hey! Look at some tea too! Hey! What up, Clorin? Could I attempt you with some It's the same fucking you? dialogue. I'm going to... I wouldn't hurt either of them, but I'm upset. Just know that I'm upset, but I wouldn't hurt them, but I'm upset. Can I sit? Oh! Could you take a fucking photo? F1. Background blur. Look at camera. Hide character. Hide personal info. Enter. Save. All right. There you go. How do I get out? I leave. Shit photographer. What the fuck? How do I... Oh, come on. Wait. Do it! <laughs> Is TV even going to help me? I probably just have to go up the fucking elevator again. Wrong one. <laughs> blue TP. They're all blue! Oh, do you mean like in a blue area? But how would that be closer? There's no way, right? Okay, what the fuck am I doing? Dude, none of these are... Oh, I can teleport to these things, right? Like this? Wait, I'm actually a genius. DJ Khaled. We the best. No. Wait, why is it getting further? Okay, wait a second. Oh. Wait, I forgot about this thing. I didn't know there were... I, like, forgot there were layers. How do I TP into this thing? Okay, I'm gonna do... We're just gonna go here. We're just gonna go here. Okay? We're gonna go here. We're gonna take the elevator. And if you disagree, I will find you. And I will bake you a cookie. Okay, this was definitely the wrong... <laughs> We're gonna try everyone. We're gonna try all of them. Fuck it. Surely, th okay, we're gonna... We're gonna go here. Because the elevator's next to us. This does not seem... Oh, it's right there. Okay, cool. Ha! Too slow! <coughs> He's awake. Fremini, how do you feel? Whoa. Lenny. Lynette. We're all here. Uh, where am I? The infirmary at the Fortress of Meripede, Mr. Fremenet. How do you feel? Don't push yourself. Uh, Traveler. Is he usually this dumb? Stop! So 
I'm not! Listen! The sea. There's something wrong with the seawater. Shh, it's okay. We can talk about it after you've recovered. No, listen to me. This is really serious. There's primordial seawater mixed into the regular seawater. I don't know why it's there, but no one should touch it. Okay. What happens after you snuck into the pipes? Pipes. Uh, right, the pipes. It's all coming back to me now. Oh, it's all coming out now. Hazo. Watch, we're gonna get to play us from an A trial, and then we relive his experiences. Whoa, how did he predict it? Never mind. Just the cutscene. I'm in. Hmm. Seems like this pipe hasn't been used in a long time. <sighs> Where could Master Child be? I called it! I'm a genius. Yo, it's because there's a loading icon. I was like, the loading icon only comes when you have to like play. I'm actually a genius. I'm actually a genius. I'm actually a genius. There might be a chest over here. I'm going to make sure you guys can't type minus one chest. Pre-watch? I actually did it. Why am I on a royal? Calm down. Calm down. What the fuck is this build? Wait, what just happened when I... Oh. I can't even open the menu anymore. Let's build review Hoyoverse. Okay. We have a royal greatsword level 90. Not my recommendation. Let's keep looking. Four noblesse oblige. Unable to view artifacts at this time. C3. Uh, 1188. 5791. That is terrible. Could he have done it? The fuck he teleports? Get in gear. Pair. Pair. Yeah. Get in gear. Frost is coming. You missed the chest already. No, I didn't. How? L Calm down. How? I literally looked at... You guys are actually trolling me. I looked at every corner. Look, there can't be... Unless it's like in that nook and cranny. There literally can't be. Yeah, there actually can't be. Uh, we're going over here. Okay. Uh, anything here? Start. Getting gear. Never mind. We got getting gear. Hmm. Frost is coming. It's getting stuck on something. Seems like I'll have to avoid those obstacles while I turn it. Okay. Well, we can't turn in that direction. Try adjust. Oh my god! I'm a genius. We bring it down, then we go to this one to turn it, and then we bring it up. That's my streamer. Not only is he a genius at, at, at solving puzzles, but he's also somehow a talented musician. Look, fuck. Never mind. I can't use it in domains. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck just happened? If I was on mobile, I'd die there. If I was on my phone and I did that dash, it's over. We Frost is coming. Just making sure there's no chests. This is where the water starts. Okay. Master Child probably dived into the water. Oh, I wasn't looking. Uh, let me climb back. No, I have to swim. Oh, you can dive. Never mind. It's Fontaine. Okay, cool. Why doesn't Fremenet have his fucking diving helmet on? Hello? Can't you just put it on? If he's gonna dive? Because what if it's primordial jade water? The vegetation here is a bit more sparse. These traces aren't natural. A person must have left them. And recently, He's getting pickled. Oh, there are traces. <laughs> <here too. laughs> is there might be a hidden chest over here? 
Damn. If there was, you guys would have been like pre watched. Okay, there's none. The traces are gone. But I don't see where he could have gone from here. Uh, wait. What the? Uh, uh, what? Uh, my heart is racing, and it's getting harder and harder to breathe. What's going on? No good. I have to get back. They still don't know anything about what's going on. If I turn back right now, I should still be able to make it. Return to shore quickly. What if I don't? What if I stall? Do I die? What happens if I try to go forward? Okay. Just checking. Oh, our health is going down. Wait, can I use food? It'd be so funny if you can. Wait, let me see. <laughs> Wait, we can just use food. What the fuck? Okay. No. Yo, I'm dying! Okay, we're fine. I can't Wait, this guy, if he brought in an NRE, he would have been fine. This, uh, this is bad. I'm feeling worse and worse, and I'm still underwater. Uh, I have to push on. Yo, why is Clorin here? Hello? Clorin? Can we get to play as Clorin? Play as Clorin! Dive as Clorin, please! Hmm. So, in other words, the trail you were following vanished, and you had no idea where Master Child could have gone. But there was also no obvious place for him to have disappeared to. Mm-hmm. That's right. I tried my best to swim back, but I had already put some distance between myself and the fortress. And I just Bro, I get that the water was like going. bad or whatever. I but why didn't he just put his diver mask on? Time after that. Is that his whole thing? And you know the rest. Moon? Thanks for four months. Hydrogen is a nine months. I even I that there's a the tier one. Miss Clarand brought you back, but we also don't know why she just suddenly appeared at the fortress or why she went out to save you. That wouldn't do anything. It would still touch his skin. I see. Wait, but can't you just be a pro diver? Okay, this is like, this is just me being a hindsight Harry, so ignore it. But can't you, if you're like, okay, can't, okay, can't you just go diver gear and then you have your own air tank and then you're not like, your skin is full of like, like latex? Or like whatever the fuck your suit is? No? Okay, I don't know. Miss Clorand, you say? I must Yeah, I guess his fit isn't very diver friendly. His fucking fingers are out. Sir, he's in jail. Okay. You're still too weak from an A. You can go after you've had some more rest. Miss Lynette is right. I believe Miss Clorand will stay here. Do you think they let him bring his diving gear in prison? Days. Yes, the fuck so they do. Look, day. they're wearing their literal outfits. His entire outfit is diving. His idol animation puts it on. It's not like they went into jail gear. Child was in full fucking Fatui fit. Guess. So is Liddy. Look at him. He has fucking cards. Leslie was the one who invited her to come down here. You should ask his grace about that. He'll be able to explain better than me. Got it. I'll go talk to him. Yeah. It's about time he actually told us what's going on. Want to come with us, Liddy? Uh, no, please go on without me. I don't want to leave just yet. Lenny. I mean, it's fair. Like, he wouldn't know, but it's the fine. Part but, of like... brain is aware that we're safe right now, but I still can't bring myself to leave. Both of you are just in danger. <laughs> Understood. Then let's just sit together for a while. In that case, I'll leave the infirmary to you. The Traveler and I are going to head out for now. As long as you stay in here, I don't think you'll be disturbed. Thank you. Okay. Oh, le deluge! I just got an achievement! Wait, was that Act 4? Am I done? This is Act 5? Nope, it's still Act 4. <laughs> Woo! Act 4! 
Four. Yo, okay, you guys, everyone was telling me Act 4 is shorter than Act 5. Why has it been over three hours? Oh no, I guess my stream, since my stream crap, okay, it's technically been two. It's fine. We're fine. We're fine. Act 5 is not short. Okay, 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 okay. It is midnight, so I probably got a birthday mail. Wait, can I just TP to this place? Why didn't I? Th <laughs> I just TP'd further back. Okay, it's fine. Squad Fury. I have to know where it's easy to. I was just checking. It's your birthday? Wait, is it? Gene's birthday is celebrated on March 14th. Okay. Excuse me. Why does she talk with a fucking take it, Mr. squiggly? Has stabilized? Of course. I wouldn't have left the infirmary otherwise. I've been expecting those two, but... Might I inquire as to the purpose of your visit, Miss Sejuin? I wanted to check up on Miss Cloran. How are you feeling? Mostly fine, I think. If you don't mind, I'd like to perform another quick physical exam. It'll just take a few minutes. All right. Thank you for looking out for me. I'll take my leave. She do not need you, little bro. Well, want to explain yourself, Risley? <laughs> of course. But I'm not partial to the word choice of explain. How about enlighten? Okay. Please enlighten us then. Where should I begin? How about you start by asking me any questions you have? You can start with whichever one you'd like to get answered the most. Hmm. Then Paimon will begin. Did you know about Lenny's goals from the very beginning? Hmm, no. I just knew they were Fatui operatives sent to the fortress by the Knave. As for their specific goals, I only figured those out as you made progress on your investigation. You managed to monitor and stay ahead of them even though you didn't know what they were trying to do? They came here with ulterior motives. I'm quite adept at discerning what that kind of behavior signals. Why didn't you stop them? Initially, I thought their goal was just to investigate Child's disappearance. Linny suggested that I had deliberately let him escape. But in truth, I didn't really do anything special to help or hinder him while he was here. Everything he did, from finding helpers to leaving this place, he did on his Bro, own. Bro, what the fuck is not course, looking at Booba? But the knave would make a big deal Sorry, I'm into of the fellow Harbinger's unexplained disappearance. I'm also quite curious about where that Harbinger went. So I figured I might as well let the Fatui do their own investigative work. Oh, did I can it? What did I do? So you were hoping Lenny's group would just do your work for you. You make it sound like that's a bad thing. Unfortunately, things didn't go as planned. I assume that Fremenet has told you already, the ratio of primordial seawater around the fortress of Meripede is on the rise. The Forbidden Zone has always been Linny's target, and you got roped into that investigation after running into him. I began to intervene out of concern for your safety, and also to prevent the fortress from becoming entangled in more irksome matters. Are the rumors true that you're also a former criminal? Now, why would you put it like that? Isn't staying here all day and serving as the manager of the fortress a kind of sentence unto itself? Another form of prison? I just happen to have some support from the rest of the inmates. That's all. Oh, right. Paima wanted to- Me, of Oh, course. fuck. Who invited Clarin? Me. I her good Mora to come down to the fortress for some field work. Okay, based. As a champion duelist, Miss Clarin could be considered to be an independent party. I needed to find an exceptionally capable person to help me get through Understandable. the crisis. Understandable. And saving Fremenet was part of that crisis? You can think of it like that, yes. Credit where credit is due, that boy is quite adept at diving. Well, clearly not! not <laughs> Sorry. Were, Calm down. He probably would have found the missing Harbinger already. So the Furniture Zone really exists. What's inside of it? That's not something you should be asking after. Nevelet only asked you to investigate Child's whereabouts. All you nearly drowned. It's not funny. It is funny. I mean, I feel bad, but it is funny. Disappearance. Someone can nearly drown in game and still be funny. I don't want him to drown. It's still funny though. That the character who's the diver almost drowned. I mean, like I get it. I get why. It's still funny though. All you need to prove is that the Fremen Zone had nothing to do with the Harbinger's disappearance. That should be clear now that you've spoken to Fremen A. You drowned in Fontaine. Okay, why would you bring that up? Why would you bring that up? 
Why would you bring that up? Do you know who wouldn't have drowned? Kokomi. Because she's not from Fontaine. So she doesn't... She's not a fucking fake and a fraud who can't swim in certain waters. She could swim in any water and walk on it. True. What? We've already uncovered that there's something wrong with the infirmary. And we've answered a bunch of questions that you threw at us. Isn't it about time that you answer our last question in return? Yeah. You make a compelling case. Do you really want to know the answer that badly? Yeah, yes. Paimon really wants to know. Even if the truth may not be pleasant. Uh oh. Follow me. Oh no. I mean yes. Ooh. No, Clarin's gone. Sag. It's fine. She'll be back. Yo. <laughs> There's a hidden door here? And a whole basement behind it. This is my stream setup. I actually <laughs> stream from Risley's basement. This is actually like the staircase. That's the staircase. I'm actually streaming. Kind of yeah. Just so you know. Of is. The the jig is up. This is actually where my stream setup look. You'll see. Look, you'll see. This is my stream setup. Yep. Stand on the central plate. Wait, is there a secret mechanism or whoa? Whoa! Once everyone had taken their positions on the circular plate, it began to move downwards. Okay. So, this is the Forbidden Zone? Honestly, for a place so well hidden, Paimon sure doesn't see And that is... Special. Child! Oh, Never mind. Big door. door. There are three such isolation gates in total. Generally speaking, I'm the only one who's allowed to go inside. Hence the name Forbidden Zone. Am I correct to assume you're going to run on back and tell your little Fatui friends everything? They're not my friends, well, man! I... Uh, Paimon wasn't thinking of keeping anything from them. <laughs> well, I'd advise you wait until Actually, you no, I guess we're friends. Of this place oh, you're right, we're friends. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, we're friends. Not to tell them. Wait a second. Why am I? Wait a second. Wait, is this my build? Okay, get me off fab. <laughs> if I get to play my own character, yeah, yeah, we're going Jade Cutter. Yep, get me off fab. This isn't a fucking the Jeff stream. Get me on a real weapon. Huh. So there's a switch on the side. Stand back. Why are you Whoa. gearing? Dude, They're shut up. One one. What's in the middle of that Go room? On. Have a look. You guys think I could be Risley? Nah, who am I kidding? <sighs> okay, that was... <laughs> this room is also empty another year. There's a guy training on its own. There's also a device smacked out in the middle of the room. I've been interested in what lies beyond that gate ever since I assumed leadership of the Fortress of Meripede. Of course, it would be unwise to recklessly open it, but it'd also be risky and negligent to simply ignore any potential danger that could be behind it. The readings on that dashboard have not budged since the day when I first laid eyes on this place. But over the past year, the needle has crept upwards from its original position, likely because some parameter it's been tracking has changed, if only infinitesimally. Infinitesimally? But I happen to have some. This guy has big words. It, so I investigated. Any guesses what the reading could be tracking? The pressure? Very reasonable guesses. I've considered both of those as well. Unfortunately, our dashboard is tracking something less ordinary. The temperature should vary with weather and climate changes. So for something that rarely climate change, Genshin God woke. I'm sorry. We ran a few tests <laughs> to increase the pressure from the outside. But the readings didn't change at all. Later on, a few more possibilities occurred to me, such as a potential connection with the primordial sea. I began to make a few preparations based on that hypothesis. Okay. In the past few days, the needle has moved again. With that and the symptoms that Fremene displayed after leaving the fortress, I can now confidently conclude that the readings represent the concentration of primordial seawater in the seawater nearby. The concentration of. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, there's more primordial seawater. But we're Okay. And that is precisely the problem. Under the sea. Yo, I want to play that. One sec, chat. 
Under Somehow, the sea. Primordial seawater got mixed in, and the concentration is steadily rising. DMCA? Oh shit, you're right. Actually, I can't play it. Okay. Whatever. And that's precisely the problem. We're at the bottom of the sea and now we're surrounded by toxic seawater. Somehow, primordial seawater got mixed in and the concentration is steadily rising. Primordial seawater is continually leaking into the sea? Question mark? Yes. But forget about the two of us. Not even Novalet knows where the primordial sea could be, much less where we could find a plug of le Oh. Oh! Seems like you've figured it out. I believe the Primordial Sea lies directly beneath this sluice gate. For some reason, the Primordial Sea water levels have risen significantly, and it's now oh. very close to us. The indicators are now red. Although the gate still stands, some Primordial Sea water has already leaked out and mixed into the sea around us. Can't you test if it? This continues, Just truck someone we don't like. Soon, it will no longer be able to. Yo, hold get reckless! No, he's not from Fontaine. Hall. I was gonna say Le Goff, but Le Goff's the homie. I don't know. Just get someone from Fontaine that you don't like, like a criminal. And if the Primordial Sea is leaking through, if this gate falls, all of Fontaine will fall with it. Yeah, you know what the legends say. If this place falls, then everyone in Fontaine will be turned into puddles in the span of a night. But that's just too weird. Why would the Fortress of Meripede be built right above a sluice gate for the Primordial Sea? Who built this place anyway? Good question, Your Paimon. expression tells me you think this might be part of a vast, complicated conspiracy. To be honest, you might find the actual answer may be exceedingly Never mind. Boring. Chat wrote Pepega Paimon. I guess that was a bad question. I'm dumb. Been long forgotten by the nation before I, I actually don't know who built this. There's no single founder of the Fortress of Meripede okay. in any traditional sense. What we know about its history has been left to us by the people who used to live here. Sure. When the previous Hydro Archon, Egeria, ruled the land, Egeria. all convicted criminals from Fontaine were exiled. The people the drove the criminals away like a wolf pack chasing away the banished. Chat, if I Google Egeria, will I get spoilers? Who the fuck is... Lore Skipper. Did they talk about Egeria before? Yes? Okay, I won't look it up. The hell? Wait a second. Nahida, let me call Nahida. Nahida, hello? Yeah, I just learned about the previous Hydra Archon, Egeria. I'm wondering, do you know anything about a previous Dendro Archon? No? Does, like, uh, Ruka Devada ring a bell? <laughs> no, he just dead. Sorry. That was, I wouldn't do that. Okay. Egeria. All convicted criminals were exiled. People drove the criminals away like a wolf pack. Wolf. The criminals received no... He is dead? No, she's not. But if, if you, if you mention Ruka Devada... Desolate seaside, where they experienced aware. only pain... So don't struggle. mention it. And the Who? Bone chilling cold. Apologize, I'm sorry. I like Nahida. Some of them began to repent. Repent. And prayed to the Hydro Archon, asking if there was still anything they could do. The Hydro Archon took pity on them and said, You may go guard my secret deep underneath the waves. And so, oh, no, no leaning on the power of the Hydro Archon, they gathered underneath the sea and began to build a fortress. They became a community down there in the deeps, and over the years, helped it to grow. As the number of exiles increased, more and more people joined the community. When the first group of exiles died, they left the yet unfinished fortress to their successors. The Hydro Archon continued to lend her support. Allowing the fortress and what it stood for to continue growing ever larger. Before long, this dark underwater fortress became the sinner's only home. And with that, the people here stopped referring to the fortress as a prison. They saw themselves as repenting sinners who would regain their freedom once they had sufficiently redeemed themselves. But as time went on, people also realized that the fortress was a lonely place. Dodge. Once they had gotten used to life here, they could no longer feel comfortable living in the overworld. Once they had finished serving their sentences, some people left and some others chose to stay. They'd find some idle position and let their withered souls fade away with the ancient secrets of the past. After many, many centuries, few people still remember the reason for the fortress's founding. Now they just see it as an integral pillar of Fontanian society, as the place where criminals deserve to be sent. 
Now and again, researchers manage to break one law or another and live out their days in the fortress. I learned all this from an elderly historian. Everyone else just thought. What if he did make up, make it up, and then but just really believe them? Every part of that history is true. Never mind. Indeed, that's just as the prophecy says. You believe in prophecies? If to be frank, not really. But sadly, that hasn't stopped this prophecy from proving all too accurate. Prophecies are troublesome things. Just hearing one will create the first wave of panic. Seeing signs of it will bring about the second, and actually witnessing it in real time, the third. So, as the Duke of Meripede, just what do you plan to do about it? Let's go somewhere else. I want to show you. Uh, okay, stay here, Paimon. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry, Chad. If I look to my other it. monitor a lot, it's because the shooting star I'm mining right. reset, so I have to click somewhere else. I usually have to do it like once an hour, so have... it's not that big of a deal. Wait, Juri, he's not alone. Oh, it's these two again. Huh? Lorvine and Juri? No need to panic, you two. <laughs> no need to panic, you two. What? After you warned us not to tell a single soul about any of this? <laughs> Someone I'm wrote gauge well. but different Are gender. Sure How is this gauge? <laughs> I mean, maybe, but. The results I'm... speak for themselves, don't they? These two may already know more than you could ever imagine. All right, then, if your grace insists. They seem harmless enough, so I'll trust them for now. Look, my cosplay just How about some broke. reintroductions? This is Jurier, one of the highest ranked researchers from the Fontaine Research Institute. He used to work under Edwin. I trust that you've heard of Edwin. Edwin? Van Cleef? The fucking, the rogue? He's the one who blew the whole institute sky high. Everyone knew he was a bit crooked in the head. But you're not a local, so I guess it's possible for you not to have heard of him. Edwin's Why does he talk like that? Chad, do I sound like him? Be honest. As his assistant, Jurier is Say no, familiar please. with them as well. I hired him to be my technical consultant. You... you want to blow up the fortress of Meripede? Ah, <sighs> what a lovely idea. What the... yo, <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? Albedo? Gotta admit... Gotta admit... Well. Guys, focus! Focus! <laughs> that taskmaster over there is Miss Lorvine, and is also one of my technical consultants. While Jurier used to be Edwin's assistant, she used to be Jurier's assistant. Okay. Ooh, are they together? Paimon, what the fuck? See, everyone keeps asking this question. Are you too sure you're not a couple and just using your work as a canon? No, they're actually couple? canon. I... Your grace, I am not in a relationship with this man. If I dated her, I'd officially be madder than Edwin. <laughs> Why does he sound like that? Dude. If I dated her, I'd officially be madder than Edwin. Jeez, I forget I said anything then. Follow me. Yes, sir. Whoa, there's another door that goes right up. Your constant amazement makes it seem like the fortress can do anything. <laughs> Is this just a normal room? Haha, <laughs> wait till you see that! And here you Ooh. go. Yo, 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 what's about- What a huge What the? Ship? Beto's ship?! This is also a production zone that Paimon's never seen before. What's going on? How much do you know about Fontanian history? Bro, I don't- I don't know. I... Why the fuck would I learn about fucking Fontaine? Well, maybe you haven't heard the story of ancient Lemuria. To give you a quick rundown, Fontaine used to be ruled by the Lemurian dynasty. According okay. to legend, the Lemurian king Remus uh, hey, came to this land after being inspired by divine revelation and found the seer Sibylla, who had taken on the form of a golden bee. Taking the golden bee with him and riding on a huge ship, the Fortuna. He created his nation above the surging waves. Okay, will this be on the will this be on the test? His nation Lemuria. Okay. And used the Fortuna to incessantly search for new tribes and islands, calling on them to join his empire. There's a ship in this story too. Where there's water, there'll be ships. People believe that hope can always be found at the end of a voyage. 
Do you believe that? To a point, I think. As you've already seen, I have a whole factory's worth of labor, materials, and technology at my disposal. Certainly can't hurt to give it a try. So the moment I began to speculate that the primordial sea might lie underneath the gate, I also began this project. Were you inspired by the legendary Fortuna? Hmm, maybe. Fontanians need something to hold on to to cope with the cope. impending disaster. <laughs> True. This is a plan for the ages. Why can't you share it with everyone? Man, they literally rebuilt Noah's Ark. For the workers to find out the truth behind this ship, riots would destroy the fortress faster than any catastrophe. As the fortress's administrator, I'd never make <laughs> Bro such a is Noah. Call. All right, that's enough talking for now. I'll need another three cups of tea to soothe my throat. Do you have any other questions? Christy, why does your throat hurt so much? Seems like you're good. Come on, I'll take you back. I'll leave you here. Oh, uh, thank you. No worries, but don't forget. I like Grizzly. You whether or not you want to share what you just saw. What you do from here on out will likely affect those three as well. He means that my actions now will decide the next steps Lindy's group takes. Wait, actually? Decisions matter in Genshin? Yeah, we'll put a lot of thought into it for sure. Yes, Great. we will. I look. Yes, decisions matter. Surely, surely it wasn't just, it actually means decision matter. Please, act for complete, act for complete, act. Behold. We're back. Welcome back. Do you want a cup of tea? Why does everyone keep Why offering me tea? He's so much like Risley, always drinking tea. Huh. Actually, now that you mention it, I just remembered something now. While I was sedated, I could still barely hear two people talking next to me. They were discussing everything, from the leaves, to the water, and even the teacups themselves. Must have been Risley and Sishween. What if it's code? Yeah, I heard one male voice and one female, so it should have been the two of them. They really were just talking about brewing tea. I really can't make sense of this place. So, Traveler, Paimon, were you able to learn anything from Risley? Yeah, he explained everything. Very well. Then, would you mind checking your answers against my speculations? Feeling better now, Lenny? Yeah, I took the time to rest, so I'm feeling a lot more relaxed now. Nobody else is around, and Miss Sijuin is also busy with something or other. So, let's just talk here. All right, then I'll posit my theories. I asked myself three questions. Firstly, why was Fremenet affected by the primordial seawater? It was because he dove into the sea. My theory is the long lost primordial sea. Bro, we already figured that out like two, uh, two cutscenes ago. Maripede. Okay, good, good theory. Ooh, he's good. That's our Lenny. Secondly, Risley's attitude changed dramatically during the course of our stay here. He ignored us completely at first, then suddenly roadblocked us. Why? I spent quite a long time thinking about this. If he has been monitoring the Fatui since the very beginning, he probably ignored us at first because he was hoping we could find Master Child for him. What's more, the Fortress of Meripede is not part of Fontaine's court system, nor does it report to Udex Nervilet. Risley is basically the king of the no man's land. As long as the fortress doesn't do anything about Master Child's disappearance, Father can use it to pressure the Fontaine authorities. And while the two factions are pitted against each other, Risley will be free to move between the parties of interest. If I had to guess, he probably has something that he's working on himself. It's likely related to the secret of the infirmary, but I just can't think of what it could be. Um, Lenny, Lenny was a cutscene skipper, but he he got a good he got a good he got a good yes. read. <laughs> Thanks so much. Then finally, there's the last question. If Risley does have a plan, what could it be? All I know for now is that his plan probably has something to do with the changing nature of the seawater. He's even gotten Cloran to help him out. Uh, Cloran? Full extent of what he's doing. There's probably a secret passageway behind the block in the infirmary, and there's something big in the fortress that most people here never get to see. 
He has a bargaining chip, and it could be important enough for Father to deal with him directly. I don't have enough information, so I have no idea. It's a dragon! True. But she has? let me guess. You have the last piece of the puzzle. Well, it's a ship, but it could have been a dragon. You emphasize that now's not the time for disputes. It's very important uh, to think about it. I can't believe it. Must see will engulf everyone. Yeah, just like lightning. Just like the prophecy. I know it's tragic, man. First engulfing lightning. Wanted to meet father to figure out a way to deal with this crisis. If you remember, I once mentioned that father sees the House of the Hearth as her base of operations, and she truly wants to resolve the crisis. But how could Risley have known that? Or perhaps he didn't know and just wanted to bring father over to his side, which could be why he said he just wanted to negotiate. Yeah, that makes sense to me. I understand your concerns as well, Traveler. I'll figure out a way to pass this on to our father. No matter what, we're on your side. The two of you have already aided us far too much. We probably wouldn't be standing here right now if not for you. If you ever need anything else going forward, please come to the House of the Heart at any Bro, where time. the fuck is the House of the Heart? I'll happily go. Where is it? After all that we've gone through together, the three of us basically see you as family now. Oh. You have my gratitude. Wait, we're family. That means we can. Could... protecting Lenny when it really mattered. That means Arlequino likes us too, right? The secrets of the fortress with us. We didn't think you were going to do it. Uh, why are you being so formal all of a sudden? Don't mention it. Given your strength, you might not need our help at all. But if you are ever in danger, we will try our best to protect you. Aww, the sound of that makes... Growl. What was that? Uh, Paimon... Paimon's hungry. Oh, uh, You've done so much already. Go... All right, then we'll catch you guys another time. Is that the end? End of Act 4! Arla Kino appears, boom. Oh, I've been waiting for you. And then, boom, it ends, act five starts, true. Nevelette comes over, Risley gets oiled up, end of act four. Fuck. Wait, where the fuck am I going? Oh. Wait, why is my shot on Homa? Wait, she's eating alone? Hey. <laughs> hey. She's actually sitting in the fortress cafeteria. What would you like to eat? Huh? We could choose? Yes, you can. I've already talked to our chef, Mr. Wolsey. It's all on me today, so you can get whatever you'd like. Then I'll have the tastiest stuff you have to offer. Me too. Don't forget. No problem. Well, this is not only this part. We have the luck. This is bursting with flavor. See, you know, all the way to the stream. Okay. Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, I'm so glad to see you all so happy. Oh, see the expression on your face just now? But the muscle here just moved. Which suggests that you're feeling quite relaxed at the moment. Sejuin, do you do this to help your patients or to better understand? Uh, a bit of both, I suppose. I'm a melazine, which means I'm very different from human beings. I must know what you're thinking if I want to take good care of you. You're really good at taking care of people. Even though you're so short, you still talk and act like <laughs> Even though you're sister. so short. <laughs> of an older sister <laughs> that's great to hear oh and what did you mean back in risley's office when you said that you were protecting linny and his siblings as well oh that i just asked his grace to look out for those children especially that diver boy 
I was getting a bit worried after him. Bro, now she's being nice. I would orders. like this character if she just didn't d say the Thankfully, first like six Glenn sentences she said. Strong and managed to save him in the nick of Nick! That's me! Also sealed the pipes after Glorian left to make sure that Lenny wouldn't impulsively chase after his brother. Although the path was blocked, we still stationed some guards there to stop anyone from approaching. They were instructed to only open the door once Miss Clarand had returned. Oh, and I was keeping an eye on Mr. Linney as well. You were all super considerate. <laughs> it's just what we do down here at the fortress. At least this has been his grace's style for as long as he's been the leader. Oh. Dude, Clarand is literally just sitting there. Why are we talking to her? Sorry, I have a meeting to attend to. I feel like he'd like it here. That doesn't make sense. Hard to imagine that outside of his office. True, actually. You no, no, no! No! Oh, we're fine. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, what are you doing for? Clarin! Ah, uh, it's you two. How's dinner? It's all right. Miss Sijuin really put in a lot of effort. So we heard that Risley invited you to come down to help, and you saved Fremenay too. You sure work super fast. Oh, it was child's play. Still, Paima didn't know even Champion Duelist could take on side jobs. Oh, and why aren't you eating with Sijuin and the Duke? Won't you get bored eating by yourself? Miss Sijuin was with you. And the Duke has business of his own. Do you need someone to eat with? I'm actually free. Actually, didn't Navia say that you went out for dinner with her as well? Wait a yeah. second. First time in a long time. Wait a second. Okay, never mind. First I don't want that smoke. I don't want to fight Navia. Never mind. So you mean you've gone out to dinner with her in the past? In the past, yes. <clears throat> you seem to be enjoying yourselves here. Why do you change the subject? It's all thanks to Neverland. Things will be getting messy at the fortress soon. Don't run around unnecessarily. I want that smoke. Never. Navia has cannons! And a fucking gun umbrella! You're not winning! Wait, how do I oh, how do I get up again? No! Wait, 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 I know this. Wait, what if it's just from here? It's probably just from here. Surely I I'm just gonna elevate her. I'm just gonna elevate her. The wind rises. They highlight the TP you need? Wait, actually? No. You're talking about this? The fuck are you talking about at the same level? The bottom TP? Okay, I know what the- Okay, uh, you mean this symbol? Yeah, but- Okay. I... Sure. You're right. I mean, I knew that, but I don't know. I, I don't know. Aware, not acting. Bro, this is the only area in the game with eight levels. Where else would I need to know this information? This is the only, calm down. Only place in the game where I would want it. <sighs> so much has happened. Paimon just feels absolutely exhausted now that she's finally relaxed. <sighs> Paimon's super sleepy. Are you sleepy too? No. Why are we zoomed into a box? Watch, gonna be like, let me go investigate this box! And then there's gonna be something. Watch. Never mind, we're just sleeping. Why are we staring at the box though? Good night, Lumine. Bedge. Out of my way! Get out of my way! What happened? Why is everyone this is running? another dream about child. We've been dreaming about child a lot recently. Something must have happened. Stop asking. Uh, Never mind. Uh, who's yelling? Paimon's... What's that sound? Paimon, wake up. We gotta need to get out. Wait, was there just an electric spark? I saw a spark. Maybe my monitor was fucking up. No time to explain, mate. Goodbye. Mate. Uh, uh, hey, what? Why do you call me mate? What's wrong with these people? No time to explain, <laughs> mate. Yeah. There you are. Oh, thank goodness. I hate this guy. <laughs> Why does he sound like that? Do you know what happened here? We came here especially to inform you. Something seems to have gone terribly wrong just now. His grace is telling everyone to evacuate and get out Never of here. Never mind. I mean, they're cool. I just but don't know why he talks like that. That's all. You're new here and you don't have many friends, so you might slip through the cracks. I have friends. Haven't you heard all the stories like that? 
an evacuation is successfully completed, yet you only find out once you do a head count that one or two people are missing. Wait, weren't you the one who brought that up? Why is it suddenly my idea? Hey, shut Okay, whatever. <laughs> the point is, you should come with us. Yeah, he said to get as far away as possible, upwards and outwards. Is there a flood of water? Yep. Oh, no. It can't be that thing. Whoa, wait, what? What? Hey, where are you going? What? Hey. We Sorry. We have to go by the Duke. You two just go and get out. Go on without us. I mean, we are hey, not from Fontaine, hey, so we should be fine. Be careful. Monka W? Fuck. <laughs> hey, Clorind! <laughs> They're here. Just like I said. What happened? <sighs> You're just in time. Hmm? But be ready to run. His elemental burst! Cause he's cryo is gonna- I'll shut up. Whoa, what the fuck? Wait, it actually worked. Never mind. Well, nice try. <laughs> Yo, he's not making that. Never mind, he made that. Wait, if he could freeze a bit of the water, you could have waited like an extra set. I'll shut up. That was pretty sick. This won't hold it for long. Find Nuvilet. Tell him the defenses are about to collapse. Then what will happen to you? Until he arrives, we're the last line of defense. The gate. How long do you think it'll hold? That depends on us. <laughs> yo, yo. Power couple, bro. They super conduct. That's like the worst reaction. Nuvalet? But that was a sick cutscene. Traveler, I need you to head to the opera house immediately. Farina will soon be meeting with the knave there. You must protect Farina. And make sure she doesn't spend too Dude, much Farina's time. Dude, Farina's a grown. Her. She she can defend herself. There's are my fucking my my fucking my they're die, my wife and, and 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 husband are dying. Will do. You have my sincerest gratitude. Go down. Hello. Don't speak about my husband like that. Sorry. Honestly, they could be my they could just be like my my parental figures. They I feel like Risley would be a good teacher, like a good father. He'd be nice. It was like in his trailer, he was like, fuck you, you're a bad father. And then he like locked them up or some shit. The knave is probably here already. We need to hurry. Are you two the traveler in Paimon? Dude, this fucking gene is giving me a wedgie. I'm actually, bro. Though I'm sure he's already explained, this should be a mostly cordial conversation, unlikely to give rise to violence. But it would be most appreciated if you could protect Lady Farina. I did not need to hear that. Dude, sh Dude, Farina doesn't need protecting, okay? She's strong. She's independent. She has Mademoiselle Cabaletta and the other two. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. Don't get me wrong. I would protect her, but I'm just saying she's, you know... We'll see. Oh my god, it's her. Oh, and there's cake. Hi, Farina. Hi, Arlequino. Hey. 
Am I too late? What's up, guys? Hey, <laughs> it's me. Oh, so you two are the honored guests Miss Farina mentioned. Of course, of course. How could they not attend a meeting such as this? Farina's currently in her Numa I must outfit. Always have two or more I think. At my dessert table. Whatever the healing one. Otherwise, the occasion would be too lonely and unbecoming of my station. That is an orange. Is that an apple? That is a very long seed for an orange. I think it's a, it's, it's, it's an orange. Matcha cake. Maybe pistachio. It is my pleasure to make your acquaintance, Yo. traveler. I have heard much of your accomplishments. I am the Knave. One of the 11 Fatui Harbingers. Dude, her eyes are so fucking sick. Oh my god, her eyes are so sick. Yo. 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 Yo, I'm gonna be real. I know I'm saying this in a jean outfit right now. So it, 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 pretend I'm not. I, if I could turn my camera off. I think you have to just try to propose just because you might as well. Like it's it's a high risk, low risk, high reward. So this is the knave, the head of the house of hearth and the Linny siblings father. She certainly does not seem to be there to deal with. Greetings, pleasure to meet you. I've already prepared seats for you. Come sit beside me. Perhaps you two are unaware of how Miss Farina and I do things. You see, we actually recently agreed to get together for tea when we had the time. I like her colors. I like the like black, white, red. I guess that's gray, not white. Eh, it's white, gray. Her hands aren't gloves, by the way. Yeah, I remember hearing that, which is actually pretty sick. See this? This is a limited type of confectionery that Miss Farina simply adores. There are only 16 slices sold every day. Here, why don't you and Paimon have a taste? She seems friendly enough, but that can't be all there is to her. The knave is a force to be reckoned with. I should be very cautious. I mean, we're basically best friends with Child, and he's a fucking Fatui, so we're chilling. Traveler, what do you think of this cake? Also, Wander's our friend now. That's two. Now we have a third one. Boom. Three of the Harmingers are friends. It's pretty good. That's good to hear. So what Child said was on the mark after all. You do share a taste in desserts with Farina and I. Wander is redacted. <laughs> I mean, uh, wait, I was listening. That's good to hear. So what Child said was on the mark after all. You do share a taste in desserts. Wait, Chad should have no reason to have said something like that. I wonder how he's doing nowadays. You must have heard, right? He's suddenly gone missing. I'm really worried about his safety, you know. Here's to hoping that he's an excellent swimmer. I have faith in his abilities. But if he's not a good swimmer, and you need someone just to replace him. Uh, since we're talking about him, I feel like I should add something. His martial prowess really looked certainly pretty impressive. Yeah. Uh-oh. Dude, Farina's face, she looks so worried. Look at her. Poor Farina. You okay, Farina? You need a hug? Oh, so you are also familiar with his aptitude for fighting, Miss Farina. Oh, right. I almost forgot. Child was subdued by Udex Nuvillette right in front of you. Against ordinary people, my colleague would never be on the back foot. But alas, he just never imagined he'd run into such a person. Hmm. I must express my admiration for Monsieur Nuvillette. I managed to find a few leads. Hmm. Coming from you, that's not surprising at all. Uh, but I thought you would be happier to hear the news. Of course, but it's still a bit of a shame. You see, I would have been far happier had I received this news somewhat earlier. As you well know, a long time has passed since Child disappeared. Uh... Yo, is she okay? Uh, well, in any case, there's no need to worry. We know for sure that Child is still alive. Oh. And just how do you know that? Because... Uh... Because we found evidence that proved he left the Fortress of Meripede! 
And where did he go after leaving the fortress? Well... The fortress of Meripede lies deep beneath the waves. Unless he pranced right out of He's the in the abyss. We saw the trailer. I saw Skirk in the trailer. He's in the abyss. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I saw the trailer. I saw the trailer. But there was also no evidence they've been injured or killed. <laughs> spoil did trailers always spoil you, man? It's like I was watching a Fast and Furious movie like five years ago, and before the movie, I saw a trailer that had an airplane fucking driving on a railway, like a road, like a like a road. And then I was like, bro, the movie was like gonna end. I was like, wait, I haven't seen the airplane yet. The movie can't end. And then surely enough, plot twist, there's a fucking airplane. Sorry. The trailers suck. Limbo sauce, thanks for the raid. I appreciate it. But there was no evidence that he's been injured or killed. Oh, that is good news at least. His sister Tonya sent a letter Wait, to Fontaine a... not too long ago. I knew that. I knew that actually. I'm part of Child Nation. I uh, love I Child Tartaglia, Ajax. Uh, I knew he had a sister called Tonya, actually. I knew that. A brother, Tusser. I knew about uh, to Sonia, Tonya. Lore Skipper. I knew that. I knew that. I knew that. Okay, I didn't know that, but I knew about Tusser. Literally the first thing he said in his trailer. Are you talking about Child's trailer? Do you know how long ago Child... I wasn't even making content. I like started with Deluke and Child. That was literally three years ago. There is no way you're saying, oh, in Child's trailer three years ago, he mentioned someone. I don't remember the last time I watched Shao's trailer and I would literally die for Shao. Actually, that's not true. I have watched it. It's like, duh, 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 duh. Sorry, calm down. Do you have any idea how he usually writes back to his family? Dear Tonya, your the raid. letter made me feel like we were still enjoying our time in Scaring Sleep Mario together. I'm currently admiring the scenery on the streets in front of the opera house. Is it something like that? What? Why are you at? Wait a second. I don't like how she talks. That sounds good to me, yes. Wait, don't we literally have letters from him? Yo, check the birthday emails. Check the mail we got for our birthday. We should have, we should know. All letters tend what? to follow the same few formats anyway, right? As long as the contents are accurate, it doesn't matter so much how it's written Freena, or how what are you it's saying? worded. Freena, I love you. Genuinely, I love you, Freena, but what are you saying? Uh, yo, let me talk. I'm sorry, Freena. What are you saying? Uh-oh. Hold on. The water in the teacup is shaking. <sighs> Nevelette? I suppose this is also Wait, a if, if it rains when Nevelette cries, what does shaking mean? Is he fighting? Huh? Uh, I don't quite understand what you're trying to say. Have we entered into the next stage of the prophecy? The prophecy? <laughs> Wait. Kaka. <laughs> Another Kaka. Oh my... That's a three combo. My thanks to you both. I will take it from here. Mm. <sighs> sure you don't need a hand? Quite sure. Wow. <laughs> so, what's your secret, huh? He said, wow. Well, let me guess. <laughs> nah, who knows? Maybe it's just your sense of responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. Bro, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> He's holding me. A day may come when the prophecy is fulfilled and the waters burst forth, but it is not this day. 
This ancient power could easily obliterate an entire race. A tsunami of fury would unleash endless catastrophe. <sighs> this sentence is too severe. Forgive me for overruling it. Yo, <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, this guy's actually fucking cracked. Seems like the problem inside has been suppressed. He said, fuck you, I'm the Archon. Fucking waterbended. Let me guess, we're safe for now. <laughs> Indeed, but only for now. I win this bet. You owe me a present. Wait, why'd they have a bet? <sighs> Very well. It was indeed just as you said. You made a bet? <laughs> we made a bet on the size of your entourage. Cloran thought you Size of Neverlet's entourage? Probably like, uh, I mean, like 12 inches? Well, we saw the hydro. When he charged axe, it's like, sure! Uh, it's probably about. No, it's more than 12. It's like, well, like 18. I don't know. I figured you would have at least brought a few people along for appearance's sake. It appears I underestimated just how confidential the mission was. Shouldn't you have gotten used to confidential missions by now? That's just how the courts operate. So what gift must the loser give? Tea? Mm. He already has tons of tea in his office. I'm thinking about a set of legal codices. That wouldn't happen to be a dig at my lack of legal awareness, would it? Well... I'm sure His Grace doesn't consider the fortress to be outside the law. I was under the impression the residents of a place like this would be uninterested in the legal codices. <sighs> that was obviously a joke. <laughs> yeah, he did not, yeah, he does not get the anyway, joke. Anyway, you've still got some unfinished business to attend to in the overworld, correct? No need to stay here if you have a pressing matter. We all know you can't leave Palais Mermonia for long. Thank you. I hope everything went smoothly with the Fatui Harbinger. Uh oh. Yeah, about that. Uh, yeah, so Farina, she's having a tough time, but she's pretty strong. Um, like meta wise, I'd recommend Nahida, then Farina, then like Raiden Zhongli, uh, in terms of just like power wise uh, for your account. But I must say, we've spent long enough playing house. House. What about Kazo? I was only talking about Archons. I must say, we spent a lot of the horse. Miss Serena, as the Hydro Archon, I am sure you understand the exact meaning of the phenomenon we just witnessed. Or should I say, that's what I originally thought. But looking at your expression, was I wrong? And you haven't a clue? Okay, listen here, Arlecchino. Listen, okay? Look. Listen. I love you, Arlecchino. I do. But you can't be bullying Farina like that. Because then we'll have a problem, okay? Let her be. Let her be a failure. You don't have to... Listen. Okay? <laughs> Why is she talking like what this? What are you trying to say? She At is right, though. Point, I don't think there's any more need to speak as diplomatic representatives. Allow me to speak to you now as just a Fontanian. You know the prophecy by my heart, cost was falling and apart. also that every part of it is being proven true. Yet, here you are, relaxing, drinking tea, and eating desserts as if it's all nothing more than a few stray bugs okay, I in mean, your garden. I mean, she is garden. right, but... Do you really think that's acceptable? I mean, true, but like... She's cute. Like, he could be nicer the to her. prophecies hanging above our necks like a guillotine. Every faction is looking for a way to either avert the disaster or save their own. Even the orphans of the House of the Hearth have devoted everything to saving their home. Guillotine. That's actually a France reference. But you... This is literally Marie Antoinette. Just how nonchalant and carefree you have. It's been. fucking Jeanne d'Arc. Wait, From I'm Jean of Arc! I'm literally Jeanne d'Arc! Look at me! You have utterly... Oh, my cosplay's falling. I have a... Shit. I have a chain caca. It fell. My bad. 
My bad, chat. Dude, my chain fell. We can see your armpit hair. Dude, who cares? What do you want me to do? Shave? Why are the shorts so high? It's a small cosplay made for... It's not made for someone built like me. Look at me. Look at me. I'm 350 pounds of lean muscle. It's not fucking made for me, okay? It's not made for a man like me. A mammoth like me. So obviously the shorts, they're not going to be as long as I am tall because I'm fucking six foot eight. I actually did. It's actually like it literally hurts. The but from you, sorry, I got distracted. It beggars belief how nonchalant and carefree you have been. From the very beginning, you, the god Fosalor, you have utterly failed to take action. You're wrong. I've never ignored the prophecy, nor have I just been passing the time in self-indulgence. Retract your accusation and stop doubting the wisdom of the gods with such absurd conjectures. I am not alone in my doubts, you know. All the children of Fontaine may be harboring the exact same thoughts right now. Harbor? I suggest you move! Dude, shut the fuck up, Xyox. Sorry, I'll let it play. Oh, great Hydro Archon. How are you going to save them? Save us? How are the people you've sworn to protect supposed to survive in a land that will soon disappear beneath the waves? I have my ways. And I've been working on them for all this time. Even if you look down upon me, you have no right to judge me. True! Fontaine will be saved. It will be! Even, even if I still cannot see the true future right now, as long as I continue on as I am, I will be able to hold my head up high. I mean, that's not really the point. They're talking about like the prophecy of the nation. It's not about your head. I... So true, Queen. Farina's not actually her usual self. She's actually then seriously refusing. Me. Fuck. Farina, just what have you been working? Bit autoplayed. Where can we see it, and what is it doing to help? Oh I... no. Yo, Nevelette sent us here to protect her. Why are we silent? Lumine, talk. Is that all a lie, or can she really not tell us? She was so full of conviction and confidence just now, but now she's deflated like a popped balloon. Nevelette really said, don't let Farina talk. I'm worried about, hey, the more she, hey, the more she talks, the worse it is. My machinations are just like the prophecy itself. They will only reveal themselves at the fated time. It is just that beings like yourselves are unable to perceive them as of yet. Mm, I see. As a god, the proof of your labor always lies beyond prying mortal eyes. Yo, allow me to be so I bold as to ask another. Yo, one. someone screenshot that for me. Would it be possible What's up? for you to tell us the parts of your plan that are not confidential, such as your emergency response plan for the impending disaster? Uh, an emergency response plan? No, don't say! Lumine, I'm sorry not to flame the main character, but are you fucking stupid? Just say something! Say something! Nevertheless, a dragon! What? Oh shit, we have a defense system! Say something! Oh, that look in your eyes. Have you not even prepared one of those? The, the emergency response plan is also strictly confidential. True. Then allow me to jog your memory. Miss Farina, what is the purpose of your oratrice mechanique Denelise Cardinal? God, not that and again. what do you plan to do with the massive amounts of indemnitium that has accumulated over the years? The oratrice? It, it's just like it appears to be. Hmm. So you also have no idea. If I'm not mistaken, someone's using it to prepare for something. But unfortunately, it would seem that someone is not you, Miss Farina. I first caught wind of this when Linny tried to investigate the Oratrice in the Opera House. You see, even just getting close to the core contaminated him with an extremely large amount of indemnitium. But even if that had nothing to do with you, then what could you possibly be working on, oh great Hydro Archon? 
Look at her chat. Look at the pyro vision in display. Get ready. I hope you farm your fucking pyro domains. Your Marie Chaussée. We don't know what she's going to use. Maybe Marie Chaussée, she can be played if she damages herself or can be played uh, with Farina. It could be Golden Troop if she's a, a user of the elemental skill. Uh, it could be... No, not Golden Troop. Golden Dreams? Gilded Dreams. Fuck! No, it is Golden Troop. It could be uh, uh, Vermilion. Hey, who knows? It could be Emblem. It could be fucking Crimson Witch of Flames. Alter Signora. Lava? It's not Lava Walker. If it's Lava Walker, I will eat an entire cock on stream. It's not Lava Walker. There's no fucking... No one... No one... Like, unless you're a Kleemane, you're not building Lava Walker, okay? And even then, you're probably not building Lava Walker. I'm sorry. But it's probably another set. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, right. I almost forgot. Udex Nouvellet is not at the tea party with us today. Miss Farina... I suppose you must have ordered him away to take care of some troublesome business. You know what, Arlequino? Yeah, yeah, yes, that's exactly right. Please keep it a secret for Arlequino? me. Arlequino? Of course I will. Although, I must say, Miss Farina, you seem quite insecure without the okay. Udax. Arlequino, so. one more sassy remark to Farina, and I'm killing from an A. I'm sorry, I'm pushing him back in the water. I'm sorry. So one more word, from an A goes in the water. Yeah, now what? Yeah, I said it. I said it. I wouldn't want to do that. Any from an A means watching? I love from an A, right? He's cute. He's okay, cool. He has a penguin purse, pear. Cool. But. If you disrespect Farina like that, I'm sorry. I won't. I wouldn't hurt our like, you know, I wouldn't do that. Oh, very well. Let's stop that conversation here. There are still a few slices of cake left. <laughs> sorry, my bad. So please help yourselves, everyone. Leave the Frem boy alone. I'm sorry. These are times against you. I don't even know what Neverless Task was. We just watched it. I mean, for like. Arlequino is cooking. Traveler, I heard that you were recently She's not wrong. to handle a few matters on behalf of the At all. Why don't you take an extra slice of cake? Those who work hard deserve gratitude and praise. <laughs> Yo. Too, Paimon. Yo. Uh, thank you. Paimon will take you up on that offer. The name proceeds to change the topic. Matter less to matter less to matter more likes to matter feeling. Fuck! I hate this autoplay. Super full. That cake was great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if it's on my tea table, it must be of the highest quality. Uh, yes, and we must thank the Nay for bringing these over as well. You're welcome. I'm sure the cake also felt greatly honored to be featured at Miss Farina's table. <laughs> True. And I was merely catering to Miss Farina's tastes, seeking a chance to chat over tea. Mm, it is getting late. Why don't we call it a day? There are still a few matters that I need to take care of, so I must take my leave now. Very well. We'll end it here. Mind seeing me off, Traveler? We could use the opportunity to discuss child before I must be on my way. Of course. Raymond's coming too! No, fuck. <laughs> fuck. Hey, Freyna, I'm so sorry. <sighs> The tea party turned out to be even more difficult than I'd imagined. Uh, uh, <laughs> ahem, why are you looking at me like that? Is something the matter? If there's nothing urgent, then I shall be retiring for now. Uh. That's where we met Navia. There's like Navia, Silver, Malus. I remember. How are they doing, by the way? <laughs> Sorry. I'm glad that you were willing to come with me. Of course, child was just an excuse. I have no interest in your dealings with him. <laughs> Yo! I'm on God. Child's cool, though! You lent your aid to the children of the House of the Hearth. As their father. I would like to express my gratitude. There's no need. Wait, what? I clicked on there's no need. Was there anything else you want to say? That was all. Formal topics should be discussed in formal settings, and informal topics in informal settings. Oh, then informally. I Let me ask. I just returned from the fortress of Meripede. Relax. I have no intention of trying to get anything out of you. Linny, Lynette, and Fremenet are still there. 
and I trust their judgment and abilities. They've all been working very hard and have always done all they can to fight back against anyone who tried to stop them. Especially- You mean Ridesley. He's a tricky one to deal with. Hmm. It's unfortunate that Linny's so eager to prove himself that he can't learn to rely on others, including me. By the way, and you can just consider this a bit of idle gossip, but what's your impression of Farina? Listen, Arlick, you know. We need to go a bit easier on Farina, okay? I get it. She's a bit of a failure, but it's like in a cute way, okay? She's trying her best. She's been through a lot, okay? Look, I get it, but like, it's like, look, we have to, like, you have to be a little nicer, okay? Just like, you don't have to be nice to me, but, but at least to her. You are outside of our disputes and the freest person in all of Fontaine, able to move around most easily. Allow me to share my perspective with you. And that's everything that happened during the trial. Master Child was declared guilty and immediately transported to the Fortress of Meropede. Didn't he say he was coming here on vacation? Does he not feel an ounce of shame for all the trouble he has caused? Uh, I... Uh, Forget it. He did give us an opportunity. <laughs> yo! We'll be meeting someone shortly. Yo! What's with it? Yo, what's her beef with him? Preparations. No need. I will take care of it myself. Oh my god, I didn't even notice. She's using the tea set that I got her for her birthday. Oh, yes, that's awesome. You're welcome, Arlequino. <laughs> need to meet with Farina, a Hydro Archon. She is Sorry. the heart of Fontaine. My bad, chat. But what's fascinating about her is that she often seems more like a celebrity than a working Archon. True, she's a Twitch oh. streamer. Oh here. my fuck! Is that yo? How many primo gems for this outfit? How many? Say a number. I will say my credit card information right now. Please give me this outfit. I will do anything. Sorry. I was just screenshotting it. Mrow. You dare to run from me? Stop right this instant! Yo, yo, it's a cat. My goal is just to discover the location of the Gnosis. But I didn't expect the chance to approach Farina to be handed to me on a silver platter. This is so easy, it's actually making me a bit suspicious. Anything left unguarded Fuck, I was in the palm of her hand. just bait. But... Wait, no, but also, what the fuck is happening? For taking the bait. After all, from the moment it was attached to the hook, the bait is meant to be sacrificed. <laughs> it's just as I guessed in the second before I struck. The Hydronosis is not currently held by the Archon. First of all... First of all... Wood. Second of all, what the fuck? Did she try to kill her or try to get the fucking Gnosis? In fact, this Archon doesn't seem like a god at all. Yo! And I sense that she's under some kind of- Yo! Curse. She's my Archon, okay? Who are you? What are you trying to do? Please don't kill me. I'm begging you, please. The fear in her pupils is genuine. So perhaps she's not bait after all. Either way, targeting her has lost all meaning. Hmm. I left the scene with ease. Nobody Such. came looking for me, and nobody could serve as a witness to my near assassination of Fosalor. I suspect even Verena dares not mention this incident to anyone. Nah, tell it to Nevelette. My informants confirmed what I had guessed. After returning to her quarters, Verena quietly cried alone. She was so scared that she could not sleep that night, nor could she even bring herself to eat her cake. There's no doubt that there's something wrong with her. I began to entertain the possibility that she is not the true Hydro Archon. Perhaps Udex Nouvellette is actually the genuine article. I have to find the Gnosis. Wait if a second. Nouvellet That's literally what I said like five minutes ago, but I can't be true. probably in possession of it. Alternatively, 
It might have been hidden in a place that's hard for ordinary people to access. Did you see the cutscene? Yes, Did you see the cuts? Whoa! My dear children. Where'd they come from? Please speak. Did you see the cutscene that we just saw? Master. Because that was my reaction. Master I'm like, damn. Master gone missing. On top of that, the contacts and guards we bribed at the fortress have all gone quiet as well. Probably the handiwork of that Ridesley. I'm afraid so. This is a good opportunity. The value of a harbinger is much higher than most would imagine. We now have an excuse to exert diplomatic pressure on the Fontaine authorities. Set up a meeting for me. I would like to meet the Hydro Archon and Udex Neuvillette. Oh, and I have an additional mission for you three. Yes, yes Father. Father. Bring me the traveler. Tartaglia's disappearance was not a part of my plan, but I can use it to make a breakthrough. With this as my excuse, I can ask for an official audience and continue my investigation of Farina and Udex Nouvellet. The initiative belongs to the House of the Hearth. My wish to investigate the fortress of Meripede will be a front. Linny and his group will be responsible for the actual intelligence gathering. Damn, what the fuck just happened? What the fuck just happened, dude? Damn, nobody really cared what you happened to the child. <laughs> Linny's group is quite close to you, so they wouldn't have hidden anything from you. Y you attacked the Hydro- What the fuck is she here? It wouldn't mean anything, even if you shouted it from the rooftops. After all, even Farina herself is still pretending that nothing of that sort ever happened. Uh, all right then. The I poor have child. Two chances to enjoy tea with Farina. I have to say, the leadership of Fontaine is even more inscrutable than I had imagined. I once surmised that Udex Nouvellet must be the Hydro Archon, but now that doesn't seem right to me either. The Hydro Archon's dead. How'd you come to that conclusion? I am a servant of Her Majesty, the Tsaritsa. Over my years of service, I've learned how a real Archon conducts and carries themselves. Whether Udex Nouvellet or Farina, neither fits the bill. It's hard to imagine either of them as the Archon. Of course, that is all just how I feel. Oh, Kokomi! It's Kokomi! No wonder! Is, however, I've been saying she's a hot that after all my years working in intelligence gathering, I've come to realize I am at a complete loss regarding the identity of the god of the land of my birth. Don't you think Fontaine is quite intriguing? A catastrophe looms, yet many secrets have yet to rise to the surface. <sighs> it looks like Fontanians will have no choice but to save themselves. Ultimately, though, one must survive in order to do anything else. Should the need arise, I would be happy to cooperate with you. You don't need to commit to anything right now, of course. I have a feeling that the situation will continue to evolve. And as your name is often connected with noble deeds, I'm sure we will work together someday. Hey, I'm sure to! Nevelette? He certainly returned quickly. You must want to catch up with each other, so I'll leave you to him. <laughs> uh oh. I'm sorry, Father. Nevelette? Is it over? For now, yes. But this issue will prove quite thorny in the long term. I am concerned that sooner or later the prophesied events will occur. Thank you for protecting Farina. We, yo, we didn't do shit. I'm gonna be honest. We actually, d we did more harm than good. I can't lie. We were simply, fucking useless. I used my power to force back the primordial sea and reseal the sluice gate. And for us. Hmm. So as expected, the knave has turned up the pressure on Farina. She's trying to feel her out, though I'm still unsure as to her motives. Okay, do not use my Xiox happy emote and then type Nevusi after. That is not the proper use of my emote, and quite frankly, it is tainting it. Can I ask you some questions? Permission granted. You have enough power to force back the primordial sea. Does this mean you have enough power to throw it back? Whoa. It can't be that you're the real Hydro Archon, right? 
But that's just a speculation on our part, though. <laughs> you can't tell us? Then... Then that's okay. We can talk about something else. We won't try to force you. <laughs> but that's <laughs> just a theory. Strange. If by the phrase, you guys, you are referring to Farina and I, then although I'm not sure just what you are trying to imply, I must clarify that I do not share her positions on a multitude of topics. What did he say to the Fortress of Merapi? Did you manage to protect those that needed to be defended? I believe so. The Fortress has a long and complex history. It has seen much grief and suffering. Hmm. And now, another catastrophe will soon be upon us. I mourn this It's about to start events. fucking raining, watch. Huh? Why is it raining all of a sudden? I knew it. It said that a dragon of water once resided in Fontaine. Bro, are you? Does the fucking. Do Lumine and Paimon think we're fucking stupid? Bro, Fremenet literally said in like the first cutscene that when the dragon cries, it rains. And then Nevelette cried. And it was like a clear assumption in like 4.0 when people pretended they didn't know who the fucking dragon was. Bro, it's been like four patches. You may be Two. closer to the truth than you think. Oh? And what are you thinking? He's the dragon sovereign of water. Dragon of uh, what? Yeah, you know how Zhongli is a dragon, but like Geo? Okay, Please do but you know so Apep, right? Have you heard of Dvalin? <laughs> Farina? Nevelette. Nevelette, are you listening? Ah, my apologies. We were just guessing randomly. We didn't guess right, did we? You're not actually the dragon sovereign of water, right? Well, if you don't want to confirm or Oh deny, no, we have the Zhongli isn't a dragon or is in my chat. Correctly. I sincerely hope you <laughs> uh, It's actually just one of his forms. It's not technically a sovereign right, dragon. It's right, just a form he can do and then Azdahad exactly didn't recognize him. Speak. So actually, if you read the There's still something Paimon wants to ask you though. Please, go ahead. Well, if you are the it's true, I don't care. Water, <laughs> he has a dragon form, the so fortress, that's all I did. Roar. Since prophecy is all about seawater, couldn't you just use your power to solve the crisis? None of the currently living dragon sovereigns in the world, myself included, possess our full dragonhood. They say that when the first usurper arrived on Usurper. That, they seized a part of the dragon's power. Today... That stolen power is the basis of the Archon's authorities. There are seven elemental Archons and seven matching Dragon Sovereigns. The Dragon Sovereign of Water who lived through that era perished a long time ago. As their successor, I know far less As of their successor. Of ancient history. In any case, I, I like this guy's voice. Be able to do much I don't know why I call them this guy. The Archon disappears My bad, never returns their elemental authority to me. Given the status quo, however, I would recommend finding another way to deal with the prophecy. Oh, so even you can't solve it. I still have some urgent matters to attend to at my office. If you have any more questions regarding ancient history, you are welcome to discuss them with me at a later time. I'm down. Ah, uh, please go right ahead. There's a place that Paimon wants to go to. Traveler, why don't we pay another visit to the Fortress of Meripede? Sure. We'll see you another time. No! Take care. Fuck, I shouldn't have said sure. Thanks for the history lesson. Oh, I got an achievement. Another one. Is that Act 4? That has to be Act 4, right? Done. Are you fucking... Are you joking right now? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is this pu my punishment for fucking... I'm sorry, okay? I made a joke about Zhong Li. I'm sorry. Okay, fine. I'm sorry. I just wanted to make a joke about how Nevelette can actually have a useful element, whereas Zhongli is Geo. That's the only place I was going, okay? Return to the prison to learn more about everyone's situation. Oh shit, it's the fucking, it's the fucking, it's the, 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 the bro bomb, the, the explosive. What the fuck are they called? Something bros. <laughs> Don't, what? Dude. You guys didn't get caught <laughs> back down here, right? Huh? No, not at all. 
Ah, and here I thought you'd managed to escape from jail during all the commotion. I'd held you up as legendary jailbreakers, but now you're telling me you just never left? <laughs> We're sorry, but we just had some business to take care of. All right, all right. There's no need to get caught up in the details. We're just relieved to see you. He was super worried about you, you know. <laughs> hey, it wasn't just me. Weren't you super worried as well? <laughs> A boba bros. Uh, something like that, yeah. <laughs> I was also transferred to work in the kitchen a few days ago. I can still hear Quisto mumbling to the carrots. Are those two all right? Whenever he'd say that, I'd tell him I'm sure they're fine. Well, hey, there's nothing wrong with worrying about your prison pals, is there? I mean, considering how they always love listening to all Man, these guys are gossip. cool. These two, they sure are a lot warmer and friendly. Oh, well, if you say so, I'll be watching you to make sure you finish every last bite. Yeah, they're pretty wholesome. Kind of irrelevant, but awesome. Seedwing! Traveler! I... Come on, you're back! Are you still doing all right? Do not like Did that pronunciation. Fine, but what about you guys? Even though it's it was correct, such a apparently. Huge mess. How bad was it? A few people sustained superficial injuries, but that's about the extent of the damage. Monsieur Nervulet paid us a visit. It was all thanks to him that we managed to suppress the crisis for the time being. Of course, we must also thank you for the help you provided. How did Nervulet know that he was needed here? Well, Monsieur Nervulet has strong resonance with the hydro element. When the water level rises, I ran into the bombshell bros while bandaging the injuries of the wounded. They were mumbling the whole time about how you just ran down without a word. If you're not too pressed for time, please stay with us a few more days. No, no, get me out of this fucking prison, please. Please. To Still act four, five hours in. <laughs> we're about to finish. It also hasn't even been that long. Fuck, I have to go down. Wait, does that mean I get to see Chlorinda again? How the fuck do I go down? Oh. Wait, what the fuck? Okay. Yo, yo, yo! Okay. Fuck, it's just them. Dude, I do not care about them. Yeah, I was working on something, so I forgot. <laughs> yeah, it's actually me. That's no excuse for Huh? What's you two? Then they care about each other. Hello there. It's been quite no, a there. recently. How have you been? And you? Are you still taking the secret passageway from the Yep. That is still top secret, though. So don't say a word. Dude, we should we should get a three star banner. It Fuck it, we should have them as three star options on banner. Like it'll be like instead of three star weapons, you could also get them as like three star characters. The one from the Duke's office. I mean, the infirmary does make it easier for you to slack off. Oh yeah. Then why are you also here so much? You two really are just using your jobs as a cover for your relationship, aren't you? Not at all. Okay. Does anyone know in how many hours from now the 1.6 live is? Four? No way it's four. That's copium. You're coping. Apparently for UTC plus eight, it is currently 2.31, right? Yeah, and it's at 7.30, so that's five hours. Chat, do I have time to do act five in five hours? Yes. Maybe. Did I want to have time to like digest it? Why did I start so late? It's barely under five. Now guess, what suit will this next card be? Uh, Yo, a bear it's legit. Cat? I just looked up playthroughs. No spoilers, oh, but I looked up playthroughs. This shit is literally four and a half, 450, 457, 520, 450. It's literally five hours on the dot, bro. Looks like you're recovering nicely. This is gonna be a speed run. But I wanted to play Star Rail before the live. I wanted to have time to transition to fully immerse myself in Honkai. The courage to thank Miss Clarence. Whoa! How did she react? Uh, she told me that it was nothing. She didn't want to stress you out. That's all. She's right, and it's best not. Yeah. Okay, but check this out. We went back to the opera house, and we met the knave. You met father? She said few things that were Bro, it's 1 30 a.m i think my dad woke up i don't know how i actually can't go upstairs anymore if he's like this i'm dead working 
with us in the It was surprising. Attitude towards you is even better than what we'd imagined. You should believe You her. were yelling. She has okay. Her own well. way of doing things and she'll do everything in her power to help those she considers close, which now might also include you. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Father's very capable and also trustworthy. Oh, Paimon just remembered that she thought Linny was a bit too proud as well. She said that you should learn how to rely on others sometimes. Uh huh. That does sound like something that father would say. Hey, are you going to stay here for the next few? Looks like it. Excellent. Chat. Okay, be I'll honest with me right now. Party. Be honest with me right oh, now. You? Then Paimon wants another serving of cake. Another implies that you were already served some delicious cake while you were up there. Hmm. Well, do we speed time, run Act Five? To have tea and snacks with us. Or do I do it another day? Cause I'm down to do it, but I could also wait. No, why is everyone saying no? Let me ask a follow-up question. Is there a point within act five where I could pause and do something else? Like, is there a point before it gets too hype where I could like, or is it just the whole thing is at, like, is pog? The whole thing is pog. Finish act four, I did, didn't I? Oh my God, I <laughs> Lud is still in act four. Who's L Ludwig? Ludwig plays Genshin? Did my eyes deceive me or did That's I just sick. see two inmates come back after making it to the surface? Some strange winds blowing of late. We wanted to see how the fortress is doing. Is everything still all right? We're fine for the most part. Nervalet came down and took care of the worst of it. If that's Before the case, we can for the main stuff? Just ask him to stay here. Oh, yeah, what a brilliant plan. Let's go convince the Udex himself to exchange <laughs> the courts of Fontaine for a puddle of water. Why is this guy so sassy? Okay, I'm sorry. He came here I mean, actually, that was Paimon's idea. True. Fuck you, Paimon. He did remember to take Miss Sijuin's gift with him, though. He sure sounds super busy. Miss Cloran has left as well. She also took her gift from Miss Sijuin. Were the gifts milkshakes? Nervalette got the milkshake. Clorand received lipstick instead. Uh, those aren't even remotely alike. Well, it's Nervilette's own fault for making Sijuin worried about his health by working so much. But besides that, our head nurse is still pretty fond of picking out beauty products for the ladies. Oh, and I have some gifts here for you as well. Are these from Sijuin too? Nope. They're from yours truly. Aw, thanks, Mr. I accept. I accept. So you can I... return to the surface at any time. You haven't yet served your full prison term, however, so you may continue to use your cell until your oh term is up. Oh my god, we're up. still in fucking prison. For real? Then we can stay here for a really long time? You may access the cafeteria for free. <laughs> Just remember to come complete your paperwork once it's time for your release. Evil conquering! <laughs> We're back in our cell again. We're no longer prisoners, though, so it really just sure feels that way. But the truth is, we. Pama, that's all you'd like to say. How did you know? Hey, that it's like we've now gone to so many places together and become friends with so many people. We've never what stopped traveling. Yeah, he's not... Dude, what's wrong with Iron friends? Point? I'm being relatable. There are so many bad things in the world, and we're just two people, but. We've still been solving We're the problems. best adventurers You're ever. Paimon today? Let's the last time we should be safe now. All right then. Good night to you, traveler. Queen of 23 months. I appreciate watching you. You're now my favorite view. Yeah, I forgot about child. Hey, man, you good? Hey, man. Yo, Arlequino definitely cares about you. She's. Oh my God. It's Tenha. Hey, Act four complete. Catalysm's quickening. I really want to do act five. I really want to do it. I, I could start it. And then before I get to like the hype part, we do the Star Rail stream, but I don't know. Respectfully, it's five hours. I just don't want to ruin the experience. That's the only thing I'm worried about. 
Because this quest looks really good. Everyone's been telling me it's amazing. Especially we could have finished by now if you didn't stall for 10 years. I have to put this this cosplay on. It's it's fucking it's so tight. It's literally I am losing my balls. Okay, it's not made for a mammoth like me. This took hours to put on. I literally had to. I literally had to. Fl I literally boarded a plane. Got home. I literally arrived. Came home. Uh, 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 the first thing I did, I took all my clothes off, showered, then then changed into the jean outfit, and then started streaming. That's literally all I did today. Wait, I just waited two days and it wants me to wait another day? I will literally. Okay. Let me go make a coffee and pee. And while I do so, I'm gonna think about what our next move is, okay? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna decide if we do half of it or all of it, or if we do it tomorrow or whatever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna think. I don't know what the play is. Cause, okay, on one hand, I think we can do it. I do. But on the other hand, we could, if I have to interrupt near the end, I will be tilted. Now I've seen some people do it in four and a half hours. Well, by scene, I mean looking at the VOD. But also, if it's a banger, I could upload the VOD of me doing it on the second channel. He can't skip? No, I can. Like, it's my decision. I could skip it, it doesn't matter. But like, I don't want to. <laughs> like, I wanna watch it. <laughs> Skip Paimon, she just yaps. Okay, it's time. Chat, behave, be normal. Thanks for all the subs, thanks for all the follows. Sorry if I don't know all some. Uh, I don't know why, I have no excuse, but I appreciate it. It's time, no more distractions. Once I start, I start and I don't stop. Agreech, agreech. Let me just make sure I can record. I don't know if I'm gonna upload this to my second channel or not. I might. I might record the Arkham Quest and then upload it to my second channel. I don't know. Depends if you guys want me to or not. I might. There's it's not no a bad take. I'm not asking Rai to do it. We'll see. Yeah, I think I'll do that. But then the VOD person can have the whole VOD and then we'll just upload the, the Genshin, the, the Arkham part. That might be a good idea. Stop stalling. Dude, shut the fuck. Sorry, calm down. I'm nice to my viewers. I promise. Okay. Dude, once I start, I'm not gonna stop. So I need to make sure I'm properly, I'm properly, I'm properly prepared. Okay, this thing on. I just reset my fucking OBS. Please work. Dude, what? How? Two days in a row it crashes right before the quest. Is Twitch stalling? This literally isn't even my fault. Please be live. Is it even live? I'm tilted. Well, see you guys next year. Hey, chat. How you guys doing? Zero viewers. Bro stalled so hard. I wasn't stalling. It just crashed. Faked crash to stall. How do I even fake a crash? Do you really think I faked the crash? While we wait for people to come back, after Fuck it. I mean, <laughs> I guess we'll just start. I don't know. <laughs> it feels weird now because we literally just we I wasn't stalling. I just bro, the what stream the crashed. What do you want me to do? Was my I intro cringe? Maybe my intro was so cringe it crashed. Someone... Okay, no stalling. Let's just start. I was just waiting for people to come back. Let's actually just start. I'm gonna press record. If it crashes again, I'm never pressing that button. Okay? We agree? Okay, cool. Hey. Okay, I'm cringing. F. It's not crap. Calm down. I'm gonna mute alerts. Hello. We're two months late, but we're finally doing Act Five of the Archon Quest, <laughs> the finale of Fontaine. What will be revealed? Find out today. You probably know. You've probably seen it, but I don't. So let's do it. <laughs> I promise I won't be cringe. If we cut at the okay, Archon Quest time. Whoa. Please sign here. This document will be effective immediately upon signing, and you two may exit the Fortress of Meripede via the regular channels. Finally out of jail. Dude, two acts? We're in, <laughs> we're in jail for two acts. Uh, what's happening? Ah, uh, what's hap- Dude, be normal. I just started the stream. Sorry. Are you okay? I'm fine, thanks. I wonder what that trail hmm. was just now. Let me move my cam. Let's bless the Duke. Let's go ask the Duke. Oh. Right, I'm down. I was down to go see Risley. Maybe Clorinda will be there. Hello, Risley. Your Grace. Your Grace. Oh, good to see you Yo! Too. Is there something you wish to see me about? Yeah. What was with that earthquake just now? Kurogami. There's a ten gifted. Appreciate it. Ah, that. The tremor didn't originate from the seafloor. In fact, it seems it came from the surface. From the surface? Over the years of serving as the warden here, I have developed a sense for distinguishing between what occurs on the surface and what occurs underwater. 
Besides, the seal that Monsieur Nuvillet set in place won't fail so easily. I'm not a bad pronunciation on Monsieur. Also, I think the dialogue volume is a bit quiet. I'll turn up after this cutscene. Also, I think Nevillet just earthquaked. So the fortress is okay? If you recall our last incident, if there really were a problem, there would be crowds of inmates in a panic right now. Huh, you've got a point. Okay, seems we need to get back up to the surface and ask about what happened. Okay. Uh, by the way, do you know what day it is today? It's the day you get a job, Pima. I believe today is this month's pipe cleaning day. Uh-oh. Wait, seriously? Actually, today's the day we say goodbye to the fortress. Ah, uh -huh, yes. Have you completed your release papers? Yep. Uh, it's you two. Uh, are you leaving now? I still don't forgive you for shooting Linny, but yes. That's right. Today is our last day in prison. But now that Paimon says that, it doesn't feel like we were confined here. It's actually been pretty nice. A lot of people have helped us out. Oh, yeah. Paimon feels fond of this place now. Well, then be sure to come back and visit. I'll miss you. Don't talk to me. Sorry, that was toxic. If we'll miss you too. If you sign the release papers, then you're free to go. The guards will escort you out. You're not going to see us off? Yeah, Rizzy, you want to escort us out? Actually, it would actually, it would mean the world. Hey! Right, hey! Sure. Let's go. Well, I hate to, hate to leave, hate to see him leave, but love to watch him go. I'm sorry. That was out of pocket. Let's just keep going. Ah, so you do have a polite side, I see. <laughs> After being down here for so long, <laughs> that was fun. I'm sorry. You must feel like you're lacking companionship. Shall I come along too? <laughs> no. <laughs> Yo, this is based from Lumi. This is actually based from Traveler. I don't know if she's like, gonna follow us or not, but it's actually based. Like, yeah, let me just go alone with Rizzly. No, that's all right. It's not like we'll visit again. It's kind of fucked though. Yeah, don't worry. We'll come back to see you. Oh. Uh, Paimon really likes the cafeteria here. The chefs sure do know how to make good grub. I hope you won't be here as convicts the next time I see you. We'll do our best to stay out of trouble. Well, it seems our work in the Fortress of Marathine is finished. That's the end of another chapter. Wait, sorry if this is a dumb question, but you can just... Oh yeah, I guess we have fucking like waypoints and shit here. But I didn't know if you could like freely just go down to the prison. But I guess you can, yeah. Chlorine was visiting and shit. probably go report to him now. Next up, the Palais Mammonia. You're going to see Monsieur Nervilette? <laughs> Please pass on our kind regards. I'm sure just your regards will do, no? Yeah, what about yours, Rizzly? I believe it would be the polite thing to do. You're right. I've heard the Palais has been terribly busy these days. Tell him that I hope he hasn't been overwhelmed by the recent string of troubles. Alright, I'll tell him. Quit following me. The wind rises. Okay, let's go. Where am I? <laughs> You didn't say anything. The Palais Marmonia sure is buzzing with activity today. <clears throat> Halt! Huh? Oh, it's you two. Hello, oh, Sadine. Monsieur Nirvillet did say you'd be welcome at any time. Excuse me, would you mind helping me take a look at this report? Who the f I'll be right there. Sorry, I've got my hands full here. You can see yourselves in. Everyone's so busy. Seems a lot has been happening. Chad, do you guys remember the daily commission here where you just, or no, the a world quest where you talk to a dude and then that's one and then you have to talk to another dude and then that's one and then you talk to another dude and you're literally talking for like an hour just for one. Hello. You've come at the right time, but you'll have to wait for just a moment as there are some urgent matters I must tend to first. I'll wait all day. In the meantime, please have a seat. If you'd like to have something to drink, let the melusine outside know. Yes, sir. That's all right. We just ate. Very well, then. Let's take a break over there while we wait for him to finish his work. <laughs> all right. I should wrap things up for now. Are you done with your work? <laughs> Dude, pie yes, heat. Sorry to keep you waiting. Today should be the day you were released from the Fortress of Meripede. And it appears that you've managed to complete all the release paperwork. Okay. That's right. And we came here to see you right away. Nice. You and Paimon tell Nevelet everything that happened since the Primordial Sea incident, mm -hmm. as well as your dream regarding Massive child. Whale. <laughs> Do you have any idea what that might be? 
That's you, chat. You're the massive whale. From your Not me, though! That cannot have occurred in any ordinary waters, but rather something like the primordial sea. Okay, I'm looking. I'm, I'm gonna stop yapping during the Archon Quest. I probably won't, but during important moments, I won't. Anyways, I look at my audio mixer, and I my mic goes to the high yellow, almost red, and the game only stays in the green. Should I turn the game up even louder? Or is it fine? Anyways, let's keep going. A whale of that size and shape cannot usually be found in the waters of Tibet. <laughs> Therefore, we can only a little? assume okay. the child is presently immersed in primordial seawater. Immersed in primordial seawater? What the hell? He's not from Fontaine, Paimon. Most people wouldn't be capable of entering He's a Sheznayan. I'm not completely sure I think. how he could have gotten there myself. There's something we'd like to ask you about. Are yes. you free to... What is it? Are you free? Oh, right. Paimon felt it too. We asked the Duke and he said it wasn't from underwater, so we figured you might know something about it. It turns out that I have just received a report about this particular matter. In fact, that's exactly what I was busy with a moment ago. The source of the tremor was here on the surface near Poisson. Poisson? After the shaking stopped, the water I love Poisson. in the Poisson area rose at an alarming rate. Chad, Poisson means fish and rose is a flower. Yeah, you might not have known that. The water was rose? <laughs> I'm so funny. What about Sorry. The there? It's too quiet. I'll... The water levels only rose for a short period of time and have already returned to normal now. However, I still have a bad feeling about the whole phenomenon. If the change in water levels is connected with the leaking primordial seawater, then the situation in Poisson may be much worse than it appears. Okay, that's interesting. Should be in Poisson, right? We need to go check on her. Oh no. I would also like to go there as soon as possible, but I'm afraid I can't leave just yet. Oh no. We must immediately formulate disaster prevention plans for the surrounding okay. coastal areas to avoid potential. I'll have to ask you two to go to Poisson first. I'll meet you there to check on the situation once I finish things here. Sounds like a plan, Nevelat. No time to lose. Let's get going. Please be careful. Okay, listen. First of all, I'm excited for this quest. I've heard only good things that I've managed to avoid spoilers. However, all I know, we talked about this yesterday, for those of you just tuning in, all I know is that in the Navia gameplay trailer, should I even say this? I don't want to spoil people that aren't, but like, I want you guys to know what I saw. Cause I can't be like pretending. I'm not like, no spoilers in chat, but I can't be a like liar. Like I can't like, okay. I mean, if you didn't see it, I'll just say it later, whatever. What, like, I mean, for YouTube frogs, I don't want to spoil it. So I'll just shut up. There's only one thing I saw. I don't know what happened. I just know something, whatever. No spoilers, chat. That's the only thing I know. But I don't even know. Like, I don't know, but I saw... We'll talk about it later. Everything else, I've avoided. It's literally just from the trailer, though. Like, Genshin themselves spoiled me because I took too long to do this. Whose fault is that? What the fuck? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no! All the buildings here seem to be in pretty rough shape. There's nobody around. Why are they all dissolved? Uh-oh. Wait, dissolved? Oh, were they all dissolved? Uh-oh. Oh no. Navia should be around here, right? We need to make sure she's still. Uh, I know means we need to check on her. Chad, is this the new Conneria? Or is that too soon? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Carrie Bear. I'm sorry. Carrie Bear! That was such a good quest. Yo, shout out Carrie Bear. Wait, I have to go higher. Fuck! <laughs> no! Wait, I can climb, I can climb, I can climb. Hello? Okay. Music's a little loud. No, actually it's fine. It's just sad. It's making me sad. We haven't seen a single soul all the way here. Oh, this is getting scary. <laughs> what will I ever do now? Disaster Look, victim M. There's someone on the roof over there. Just stay put. We're coming up. Watch your balance. <sighs> all right. Just hurry. Okay. M. I'm not young anymore. How will I survive on my own? <laughs> my Desiree. Oh, he looks pretty sad. Oh, where? My leg. Disaster victim F. My leg. How could this have happened? It hurts. Just hang in there. Help is on the way. 
you can hold my hand if it makes you feel better. Wander moment. No, I'm in the. Oh, it's Navia. <laughs> Yo, I, I was midair. Hey, Navia, are you okay? Oh, hi, Navia. Honestly, all of the casualties were were worth it if it meant seeing you again. Hey, You're here. I'm. We heard there was a situation in Poisson, so we came as quickly as we could. Question mark? Okay, I didn't mean that. Sorry. As you can see, the water level suddenly rose. It caused quite the disturbance, in fact. Demoiselle, there was a wounded resident next to a building. I like her black and gold here. like outfit. We've already Pretty transported cool. him to safety, but we've run out of medical supplies. He's wounded? How badly? He fell, so it's probably a broken leg. He's pretty shaken up. When the water level rose, he desperately climbed up to the roof. Once the water receded and he saw the ground, he became terrified oh, no. and eventually... He jumped down then. Find the leader of Squad 1 Touch. and tell him to take the wounded resident to see a doctor. He should know where to go. Understood. I'll take over his search and rescue mission in the meantime. All right. <clears throat> You'll be in charge. I'm sorry. Where were we? Uh, the situation in Poisson? Ah, uh, right. Allow me to explain. I'm listening. Earlier, we suddenly heard a loud Wait, why is it so quiet? Hello? At first, everyone thought that something might have exploded in the waterways. But before we knew it, water started <laughs> pouring yeah. out from everywhere. It's a bug? I mean, okay, well, I barely... A little earlier, we suddenly heard a loud noise. At first, everyone thought that something might have exploded in the waterways, but before we knew it, water started pouring out from everywhere. The rushing water seemed a little odd, almost like the unique color of primordial seawater. Some people didn't realize the danger and thought it was just ordinary water leaking from somewhere. Okay. Everyone on the street who happened to be close to the water didn't have a chance to escape. As Touch. the water levels rose, they suddenly disappeared. They were all dissolved. Those who realized what was happening started to flee in a panic, desperately trying to get to higher ground. Many were injured in the stampede, and some, some people fell from significant heights. The Spina di Rosula initiated rescue operations as quickly as possible, but there have been a lot of casualties. Fortunately, the water began to recede after some time, and the chaos came to an end. The water that flooded the area contained primordial seawater, so the lower levels of Poisson are still hazardous. To ensure everyone's safety, I've asked the people there to leave as soon as possible. No one knows if this could happen again. All we can do for now is try our best to help evacuate the residents. Okay. We still haven't completed the headcount, but we'll have some numbers soon. How awful. And all of this just came out of nowhere. It was quite frightening indeed. I only wish that everything that just happened was a bad dream. Is there any way we can help, Navia? Yeah, we're here to help. Thank you for being so willing to help in a moment of crisis like this. You don't know how much it means to me. I really can't express how grateful I am. We're missing some people, aren't we? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Silver. No. No! Wait, they're... Wait, but they're not on... Wait, if we... Listen. Listen. Okay. Listen, now's the time I can say it. The only thing I saw in the Navia trailer was that Silver and Melus weren't there. But if we don't see them in the quest, they could be somewhere else. Dude, It does, they weren't necessarily here. Let's ask. Oh no. I'm sorry for asking, Navia. 
Demoiselle, we've got a situation here. Uh, I'll be right there. Yo, yo, what is this? I'll oh, shut up. Sorry, I need to go for now. No, they're actually fine. Dude, they could be fine. And out she goes. Seems it might be a while before she can take a break. Navia walks around talking with as many people as she can for organizing matters. Her decisions are clear and reasonable. Her the wounded are being tended to, and we finished I a preliminary headcount. More support has just arrived, so I suppose I finally have a moment to focus on my own matters. Uh, of course, we should remain ready for anything and continue doing our best to rescue others. I'll be sure to have everyone at the Spina di Rosula ready to render assistance. Traveler, Paimon, would you two accompany me to my father's grave for a moment? Yeah, sure, Navia. Right now? Thank you. Like the wait, your father like the guy Clorin killed or the uh, uh, what Oh achievement! What the fuck is the Phantom Thieves re In any case Please, 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 please. Oh But the very next day you gave it away. Wait. Wait, is I'm this a lot of people here, huh? Wait, what quest is this? Wait, is this? Wait, wait, wait. Is this the Arca? Huh? Okay, this is the Arca quest. Okay, we're back. We're back. We're back. Well, given the time of day and the whole situation in Poisson, Paimon doesn't think there'd be a ton of people here visiting graves. Right. That's how things are now. Damn, she sounds so sad. are so exhausted. That they've no strength to spare any words for the dead. Um, Navia? There's no need to push yourself. Okay, that's kind of a bad line. Given that a bunch of her friends died. And people, and like people that lived there. Probably not the best time to say don't push. Her. There's no need to push yourself so hard. Uh-oh. Yo. 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 Navia, what's wrong? Yo, hug her. Sorry. I... I just... Malus and Silver... They won't ever come back here again. What should I do, Papa? Oh. Huh? What happened to them? Navia. Everyone agreed on the rescue plan, but still... I was the one who initiated it. They were helping evacuate the residents, but they couldn't leave in time, and... And they were caught in the seawater. <laughs> what, what should we do? I've known them for so long. And I know they weren't afraid. But... But... I could at least hold a funeral for my father. And I know where he rests. But as for Malus and Silver, they're just gone. I just can't. Damn, my goats. Oh, I thought. Everything looks so clean after it rains. Even the gravestones. I didn't expect that you'd enjoy a glass of red wine in front of Master Callus's grave. I can understand. Besides, the scenery here isn't half bad. See, it's not just me. I always want to bring something when I visit Papa. Perhaps we Damn. might even have a picnic. That's fucked. He wouldn't be angry, would he? Ah, how could Master ever be upset with you, Demoiselle? Yet the cemetery is the home of those who have passed, is it not? Everyone ends up here sooner or later, no matter who you are. Buying yourself a plot in advance, are you? <laughs> no need yet. But when I Sag. do, I hope you'll let me be buried beside Master Callus, Demoiselle. Hey, stop joking Wait, maybe about. he's not dead. Okay, hear me out. He wants to be buried next to the Master. So, what if, in order to fulfill his wish, he can't die without his body being found, so he's, te he's on vacation. The writers didn't actually kill him. True. He's still alive, maybe. No, he's not. I'm it quite serious. That way, it'll save us both the trip to see each other whenever you visit your father's grave. 
That makes sense. In that case, could I be buried on his other side? After all, besides you... Yeah, man, we got it. The two of us could certainly be considered Master's closest companions, no? Yeah, man. Personally, I believe we fill those shoes just fine. <laughs> Why are you bringing this up all of a sudden? Seriously. All right, all right. I'll I literally foreshadowed it. But I'd really prefer not to talk about this stuff. And what do you mean by saving me a trip? I'd make the journey even if I had to visit you two somewhere else. I promise to let them rest in peace here. But here I am breaking that promise. <sighs> I'm sorry for letting you see me in a mess like this. I don't usually cry, really. Paimon doesn't know how to help you feel better, but... I had always thought I could make my wishes come true. But now that I think about it, that never solely relied on me. Many things can only be accomplished with someone else's help. Luce and Silver have helped me so much. But by contrast, I could do nothing for them. I'm so sorry. Sad. You can spend as much time as you need here, Navia. We'll stay with you. Yeah, we're here for you. Thank you. Right now, you don't know how much that means. By the way, you can have a look at this. It's a list of victims from the incident that took place here. Obana, Khan, Burnett, Desiree, Sage, Francine, Karina, Daisy Ray, Juanville. Okay, I'm skipping this. So I'm sorry, but Melus and Silver were there. Everyone else, it's okay. I just can't listen to Paimon for too long. And you're right. We lost Melus and Silver. We were able to save more than we anticipated. The overall outcome indicates that the cost was worth it. Wait, but what if Melus and Silver opened the map and teleported to a waypoint right before the primordial seawater overflow? Like, what if no one's sacrifice is truly necessary? Right. Don't think that way, Navia. One person might be saved at the expense of another, sure, but. That isn't something we should ever consider a trade. Malus and Silver were not the price for saving anyone. They're heroes. Um, good Paimon take for once. Thank you, Paimon. What you said just now was pretty amazing, actually. I'll remember your words. Oh, uh... Seems you've become more eloquent in the time since we no! last met. Wait a second. Okay, Arlequino, I always love to see I always love to see you. However, why are you here at the funeral? Were you involved in this? Please if you killed Malus or Silver, we I will have to choose a side, and I don't know which side I will choose. However, I'm always ple 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 uh, I can't speak. Okay. I get nervous around. What are you doing here? Hello. Uh, is everything going well on your side? Yes. My people are carrying out the mission according to your request. Oh wait, never mind. They're... All the residents of Poisson have been evacuated. Wait, she's helping. And we're preparing to relocate them to higher ground. Thanks, Father. As for these supplies, we have everything taken care of. There is no need to worry. Thank you very much. Wait, do you two know each other? Yo. Dude, her design is so sick. I'm sorry. We just met recently. Right, Miss Navia? Hmm. Usually, I would call this a coincidental encounter. That doesn't quite fit this time. Besides, it's a little it suspicious. Crossed my mind that a Fatui Harbinger would come looking for me. It's a little suspicious, Navia. Well, let that slide. Thanks to the Spina di Rosula received generous support from the Fatui, which allowed us to complete the rescue and evacuation work so quickly. Mutual aid is essential to fostering positive developments. We were already in the area in any case, so it was nothing. That said, I must say that you're a lot sharper than you let on. I'm sure you understand what I mean. I apologize for all the ways in which I tested you previously. We've never worked with a Fatui before, and it's extremely important for us to know who we're working with. My subordinates have reported that Fatui soldiers have been observing water levels and taking headcounts in various locations. 
I hear that they've also prepared a large amount of emergency supplies. I'm quite surprised. This is nothing to brag about, nor do I intend to. It is simply the way of powerful organizations to act forcefully, whether they are doing good or ill. You've witnessed that firsthand, in any case. Whatever you say. As I've told this traveler before, I know of the prophecy, and I intend to prevent the impending disaster. Lending your organization a hand was a natural first step in accomplishing that. As such, do not be troubled by this token of our sincerity. Perhaps one day, you'll also be able to help me in the same way. Without your help, there would have been many more casualties. I won't forget your kindness. Chat, imagine if Arlequino, they make her fire that either the red, like a different color. It could be the red on her back. Like it could be like a, like a black and red fire. Imagine kind of like the loose skin, but cooler or blue. Give her blue fire. Furthermore, I sincerely regret what happened to Malouse and Silver. I only wish that my people could have arrived a little earlier to prevent this from happening. Don't say that. You and your subordinates did everything you could. As Paimon said, Malus and Silver didn't choose to sacrifice themselves for any specific person. And they weren't the price paid for other salvation. They chose to become heroes themselves. I've never liked hearing people put it that way. It's like trying to relieve pain by saying some noble-sounding words. But right now, there's nothing more suitable. They really did become heroes. You're right. I'm sorry for your loss, Miss Navia. Water is life to Fontaine's people, and it also spells disaster. It's no wonder that people always say that prophecies represent fate. Fortunately, okay. I've never been one for such opinions. Okay. So you're one who will try to change fate then? Of course. That is why I'm going to Hotel Bouffe de Terre. I still have some things to take care of, and the children need my attention. I mean, it's Hotel Bouffe de Terre. But nice try. Not bad. It's okay. I, I forgive you. I can actually teach you, Arlequino. If ever, by like, you're way, like... Traveler, Paimon, one more thing. Yeah. All right, then we'll just... Uh, huh? This isn't right. Paimon thought you would ask us to walk with you for a moment so you could tell us something in private. That is a clever and useful conversation technique, which I do like to use when necessary. But there's no need today. Um, she likes Navia. Hurt to have Miss Navia listening in. Traveler, I'm sure you remember that I said we could work together when we had the chance. You and I both know that there may be issues with the Primordial Sea. Previously, it was the Fortress of Meripede's Sluice Gate, and this time, it was the water levels in Poisson. These are both signals. So, the time for Jolly Corporation has come? Indeed. Allow me to share the latest intel I've received from the House of the Hearth's Intelligence Network with you. During some recent investigations, a child claimed to have discovered some ruins near Poisson. The ruins date back to ancient times and seem to be worth investigating in many ways. Okay, cool. Judging ruins. by the dating of the ruins, they may be related to the prophecy and the coming crisis. The situation is becoming more urgent, so any pertinent information will prove extremely precious. Okay, I'll, I'll text you. Give me your phone number. initially came to prepare for ruin exploration. Unexpectedly, this disaster struck. And at present, we're all busy prioritizing the rescue effort. So that's why the Fatui were already in Poisson. I wanted to take the children along, but unfortunately, Linny, Lynette, and Fremenet have all been dispatched to higher ground to assist affected residents. Bro, Fremenet's gonna go drown again. Try that was too soon. I'm sorry. We love Fremenet in the stream. Okay, good for them. I'm sure they're helping. Linny okay, told me that outside of the house, the person they trust most is you. I'm sorry. Dude, he's Which a diver. He has one job. Sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. Ask. W for a minute. Which is why I want to give you this task. Are you sure you'll, that'll be okay? Can you trust an outsider like me? What? Why are we calling it? The House of the Hearths members Do you know who see I am? each other as family. But Linny, Lynette, and Fremenet said that they also see you as such. Even though you are not from the house. I'm sure you already understand how earnest they consider their friendship with you to be. Oh! That somehow makes Paimon feel kind of happy. 
happy. Bro, you drowned the in the UA pool. About the ruins could fetch a high price. Yeah, that is true. Oh, but since the children consider you family, it's only natural that I. Hey, they consider us family. Got it. So all we gotta do is go to some ruins, right? We can handle that. Excuse me, but may I tag along? Yes. You wish to join, Miss Navia? Oh wait, her or us? But are you sure? All of us. To Let's go together. Ruins? Well, I'm sad, yes, but I can't just go back and plop myself into a chair by the roadside and do nothing. There's no point in being depressed okay. while we still have a disaster on our hands. As my father's successor, I must live up Dude. to the hopes he had in me. Great dialogue. Very sad story. But why is the dialogue right here? It. Besides, I'm also doing this for myself. I need something. True. We'll distract you. We'll go fight. We'll kill everything. My mind Fuck it. Kill hilly sword. trolls. Oh wait, those are real people. Never mind. We'll kill Slimes. Not as strong, but she needs coming right now. Since you put it that way, I have no objections. What do you say, traveler? We'll go to the ruins together. All right. The ruins are to the I'm sorry, chat. I don't know what I'm saying right now. Here's the map. Okay, the three of us will handle it. Come on, let's pack up and get going. So, I promise. I'm gonna pause are it right the here. Ruins the knave was talking about? Wait, not on a Paimon dialogue. Oh, talk about old. They seem Gotta pause here. Be pretty ancient, all right. Wait, actually, I need a good frame to increase viewer retention. Let's go in and have a look. Just be there. You careful. go. Okay, BRB. Give me a second. Respectfully though, yo, chat. I don't know if this is too much info. I said I was gonna be fast, but that was like the longest stream of my life. I'm sorry. If you didn't want to hear that, I apologize, dude. I literally it took like five years. I'm sorry. Okay, we're back. Bro, I'm sorry. I'm hydrated. Stay hydrated, by the way. <laughs> okay, Navia, just be careful. We're gonna be careful. All right, let's resume. Why are you yelling at me? I'm sorry. I, I yell because I'm passionate, because I care about you, okay? If nobody's got your back, know that Zyox got your back. <laughs> okay, uh, there, I feel like there's gonna be a hidden chest here, but we're just gonna... Useless. Yeah, it's fine. Hey, can we... Okay, look. I know Hilly Trolls enemies, right? But we just did the carry bear quest. We know that Hilly Trolls are real people. And we are currently mourning people that got disintegrated by water. Which which basically is pretty similar to, you know, these humans that got cursed. So can we not have to kill them? Okay, we have to kill them. Yeah. Minus four Hilly Trolls. And they're suffering? Dude, I mean, okay, if it's like a, if it's some of the hilly trolls, I get it. But dude, if you're the hilly troll with a scythe, are you really suffering? That guy looks like he's fucking, bro, he looks kind of, he looks like he's living the life. Well, maybe not. Okay, I guess it would suck to be, but yeah, at least he has a scythe. He's cool. This place has also been contaminated by primordial seawater. Yeah. And a lot of it too. Stop. A Fontanian would most likely dissolve the moment they fell in. First of all, stop having minus one chest. We didn't miss one. Second of all, Navia, please. I don't want to risk you dissolving. You should go back for safety. Right. You can't go down if there's primordial seawater. It's too dangerous and it won't be any help for you to just stay here. You did? Uh, don't get by my wrong. We're not saying you're useless. It's just that... No, you're right. I can't do anything in this situation. I'll leave this to you. From the looks of things, maybe there's no way... Uh-oh. Wait a second. Yeah, we just fell from like... Oh, no. Wait, she's Geo. Just... Oh, just That's crystallize. You can just build a rock and climb it. Yep. Maybe the only way left is forward. In that case, do you want to wait for us here? Mm, the water levels here are unstable. And there's a chance the water will rise. So staying here wouldn't be safe either. I'll go together with you. Perhaps we'll find the exit just up ahead. Seems like there isn't any other option. All right. Come with us for now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait, how is Navi going to make this jump? I mean, no, she can make the jump. Wait, what happens if we jump in as a Fontaine character? Do we dissolve? Wait, let me try. Oh, I can't configure the party. Does Freena count? I mean, she is... <laughs> Wait, what if I go as Yelan? Okay, well... I don't know why Yolan died. She's a Hydro and not from Fontaine. Oh, wait, Frida's skill. Wait a second. What the fuck? Is there? Yo, yo. 
Wait, that's kind of sick. Imagine there's a hidden chest here. You need Freener or Kakomi. You ever try to go on like the side track? Like there's like two options, right? There's like one road that looks pop, like bussin' and there's another road, road that looks like no one's going there. And then you try to go to the road that's like less popular, but it ends up being the popular, like it, okay, I explained this terribly. It's like there's two roads and then one of them you think is just a side track, right? So you just go to see if there's a chest, but it ends up being the main road. And then you keep going and it's too far gone to go back. And you wonder if the other road had like a chest or something that you missed and then you can never go back. No, just me okay sorry i'm actually sorry for speaking i'm sorry you have to listen to my voice Squall fury wait there oh i'm sorry i was flying <laughs> yo <laughs> no nah, she can't die she's too important she won't fall we're gonna cat what Bro, since when can we fly? Well, minus one Navia. Uh, huh. <clears throat> Demoiselle. Huh? Wait, is that? That's Malus. Demoiselle, what are you doing here back. by yourself? Would you be standing here till dark if I hadn't come to get you? Okay, Maybe before she just want some time to herself, Malus. I know we're probably gonna get some lore and she's not dead, I hope. Please. But just as I say, there's no way staying where you were was less dangerous than running through Why am I getting upset at the past? Let's just keep going. Let's just keep moving forward. I'm just saying we should have escorted Navia out. Find a way. Fucking call Zhongli. Fucking phone him on a phone. What am I saying? Calm down. Just keep going. Oh. Uh, was I? Was I sleeping? Like, I know they couldn't yes, go back, but like, bro, so. no way you bring Navia there. Uh, I must be tired. That's quite possible. However, you were the one that suggested we go out for a walk. Oh, right. I nearly forgot. <sighs> it must have slipped my mind when I dozed off. Please don't be I dead. I haven't had a nap today yet. Please, Navia. Have I? This is a familiar feeling, yet something's a little strange. Is something no spoilers, the chat. Oh, uh, no, I was just trying to recall why we came out for a walk. Do you remember Mr. Giverny? He'd requested our help before with foreign merchants who had a debt dispute with him, and we'd resolved the matter not long ago. We were headed to see how things were going with him at the moment. Ah, oh, right. Yes. I remember now. Oh, Miss Navia. Ah, Mr. Malus. And Mr. Silver, too. <laughs> it's good to see all of you. Ah, oh, how have you been? I've been great. Thanks to your help, those bothersome merchants finally realized that I wasn't the one they were looking for. Why, I wasn't even the guarantor for that person. They were knocking at my door day and night. Even my neighbor, Obina, was getting fed up with them. Sometimes, force is required to calm someone down and get them to listen <laughs> okay. to what you have to say. <laughs> That's right. Oh, by the way, Burnett, what was it that you wanted to give to Miss Navia again? Oh, oh, yes. One moment, I have it right here. Miss Navia, these are some flower seeds that I prepared. Please take them. They're a very good variety, and they'll become very big and beautiful once they bloom. The flowers are gonna I save her. I don't know what we would have done without your help, so this is a little token of our appreciation. I hope you won't refuse. Ah, did you cultivate them yourself? Thank you so much. I'll certainly take them. Malus, we do still have some empty flower pots at home, right? Why, we can have as many pots as you'd like, demoiselle. Perfect. In that case, we'll swap out some of the decorative plants for some of Mrs. Burnett's. Very well. Wait. Something uh -oh. seems to be off here. Excuse me, madam. If I'm not mistaken, your name is Burnett, correct? That's right. Is something wrong? Oh, no. Uh, no She's Burnett! Book in the book! This is the first Sorry. time we've ever met, but your name seemed familiar to me. I must have heard it when I was discussing things with your husband previously. I've heard this name before. Sometime recently, I'm sure of it. 
And why are there so few people around here? Where did everyone go? We must mind the time. She's in the dream a... realm. We still have important things to attend to today. The metaverse <laughs> bat chest. We do? Like what? Well, now, did you forget? Miss Navia, here you are. I've been looking for you. Please, come to the opera house. Your trial is about to begin. My trial? Wait, well, why would I need to go to the opera house? Why well, the fuck is she on trial? Yes, she's right, demoiselle. It's just about time now, so we should get going. Oh? Uh, all right, then. Yo, is someone gonna explain? Hello? Beep! Look, it's Navia. She's here. And her two attendants are with her. <sighs> Goodness. Everyone's finally here. There sure are a lot of people here to see the trial. And they all seem to be oddly... excited about something. Karina? Desiree? Oh, no. Joeyville? Oh no. Julian. This is the list that Paimon was yapping about. Oh no. There's so many people here. And why do I have no recollection of this case? They're in the fucking seawater. For the judge. Uh, huh? Where's Mr. Nervilet? Please sit in the defendant's seat. Don't worry, Silver and I shall accompany you. Uh oh. But are you sure you can stand behind me? Typically, it wouldn't be allowed, but today is an exception. Hey, Malus, why is today an exception? Hey, what kind of place do they think this oh. is? Oh, come on. Do they have any idea what they're doing? Enough with the whispering! Could someone please tell me where Monsieur Nervilette is? And why I am standing trial? My dear Miss Navia... Have you not yet realized what you've done? In that case, allow me to explain. As all here know, you are Master Callus's successor, the head of the Spina di Rasula, someone held in high regard by every soul in Poisson. After you took over the Spina, you treated all of us just like the late Master Callus had. If anyone in need reached out to you for help, you responded. Not only you, but your butler, your subordinates, nearly everyone in the Spina di Rasula fought okay. for the well-being of those in Poisson. <laughs> Wait a moment. Aren't you just proving that I'm a good person? Yes, correct. Absolutely right. And that is why you stand accused. You have helped so many people get through so many difficulties. You are one with us. We are inseparable. Okay. We are one big family. All of us who are from Poisson, inextricably linked. And with you being so <clears throat> important, we couldn't possibly do without you. Therefore, this fair and honorable court shall declare you guilty, and you shall stay here. You will be together with us forever. I'm good. Huh? What? Are you saying? I'll pass on that. Everything you have said is correct. I have indeed done a lot for my hometown, and I would be willing to be with you all, but what is the purpose of having me stand here like this? What is there to discuss? Oh, well, if that's oh, what you think, well. then I have no further comments. <gasps> How wonderful, Miss Navia! <laughs> know all these people why are they laughing me too silver i seem to remember now yes i get it this trial is wait just a moment this isn't right <laughs> yo Malus? what was that mr Malus? Our conclusion is very clear and unanimous. Let the court judge her now. She's guilty. Stay here, Navia. You're one of us. Demoiselle, don't admit guilt. This trial means to keep you here forever. I wish to exercise my right to defend our lady. 
Mistress Romfield, you only know of no. Nadia's goodness, but nothing of her utterly independent mind. She was born a free and independent spirit. She has never been tied down by anything. Indeed, even the death of Master Callus couldn't stop her. Her actions cannot serve as proof that she identifies herself as part of any group. She merely acted as an individual, extending her hand to help others. Please do not mistake her actions as being otherwise. True! Really? As an individual, you say? Don't forget, we are all Fontanians here. This is the nation of justice, the nation of Hydro! Even if Miss Navia only voluntarily rendered her assistance, that doesn't change the fact that her beautiful soul must return to everyone. Water accepts all, blends with all. It will surely accept her kind. Actually, uh, sorry, defendant, but uh, my client here actually was not trying to be nice. She just thought you were ugly as fuck and dumb and couldn't do anything on your own. So she acted because she thought that you needed help because you're stupid and uh, purely dependent, incom incomprehensible buffoon, which is why she tried to help you guys out. A bunch of fucking idiots you are. She actually doesn't deserve to be here or to be blended with the likes of you. So I rest my case. Everything is measured here in the nation of Hydro. And in the end, everyone shall meld together. Thus, when a unanimous opinion emerges, that opinion represents justice. Now, I speak for everyone. Our opinion is consistent. Navia should stay. We and Navia are one. Okay. And you would call this justice? Preposterous. Preposterous. You I'm going to jail. Okay. Zell still has a chance to exist as an individual. Have you forgotten how much you all once longed to become individuals, to become independent? Do you mean to defy? <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? If your justice is flawed, then why should we acknowledge it? As you said, we can also have our own justice. Silver and I shall defend Demoiselle. And that is how we will enforce justice. Ugh, my head. Um, it hurts. Yo, what up, dude? Demoiselle. They're actually carrying us. It hurts. My head is spinning. All I can see is stars swirling in front of me. I remember now. Everything that seemed odd from the very beginning. Karina, Desiree, Joyville, Jolien, Essen, and Mr. Giverny and Mrs. Burnett, who we met earlier. Even Malus and Silver. No! I don't want to admit no! it. No! But they're all dead. Don't be afraid, and don't admit guilt. We will protect you to the very end. Absurd! Who are you to say that she cannot be judged? We are the majority, and in the nation of trials, the majority is absolute justice. We are the will of all. Don't let them escape! We shall keep Navia here with us! Mr. Malus and Mr. Silver, must you be so stubborn? How could the two of you possibly hope to stand against the Collective? Do not resist. This judgment is fair and just. Yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. What Navia the fuck was that? Belongs to us. I just saw like a fucking hi uh, hydro happened, <sighs> ocean. She should not be left alone in Poisson. What are you saying? No more excuses. Yo. She says we're jealous. Jealous. <laughs> How could she possibly be Yo! an independent individual? Is this 413? These people... Who's jealous of her? She belongs to us. Miss Navia. She. Silence. Oh! Wait, never mind. Uh, that's. Okay, yeah. I never mind, then never mind. Uh, Monsieur Nervilette. Such commotion is prohibited in the court. The accusation Wait, how is he here? Is presented are nonsense and cannot constitute a proper trial. True. The court will adjourn for the rest of the day. In this, I shall hear no objections from any unauthorized party. Our thanks, Monsieur Nervillette. Please leave with me, Miss Navia, while there is still time. But... Go on now, demoiselle. This is your only chance to leave this place. 
What, can't bear to leave us behind or something? Such. Loose. <laughs> My apologies. I couldn't resist making one little joke once I realized that this shall be our last goodbye. Such. Loose. Silver. Quickly, you must come now. Goodbye. Then was it? Um, Malus is my goat. Um, dude, they could have taken Dory instead. Man, fuck, taking like half the characters. Uh, no, wait, just a second. Hey, uh, Navia? <laughs> You're awake. Good. Wow, Navia that actually saved her. What a fucking Chad. I'm dude, Navia has dreaming. been so far. It's just him carrying Malus the even so Act Four. It's just him carrying. Were... They were defending me at some insane trial. It looks like you're all right. Did all the sad feelings cause you to have a nightmare? Paimon could give you a hug. The ruins you were exploring suffered a cave-in. When I arrived, I found you falling toward the water. This guy's literally the main character. He's kind of like me, actually. About to be dissolved within, but I. Hmm. Um. Hmm? What is it? He waterbended. I think I saw two oceanids protecting you. Never mind. Oh my it god, it's for a moment. Perhaps even a fraction of a second. Why do they but make they them the chance to retrieve you? Why did they make them the coolest characters and then they kill them? Were it not for their intervention, I would not have been able to rescue you before your consciousness dissipated. Wait, did you say oceanids? You mean like what happened with Vache? So people that are dissolved become oceanids? Perhaps those two oceanids were the people you saw in your dream. Well. Huh. Okay, well, I guess I can't cope anymore. They didn't have to protect me. <laughs> to think that they'd keep doing so even after death. <sighs> Please come with me. Well. Nevelet, are you okay? Hmm? Oh, I am quite all right. Perhaps there's something we could chat about? Why do you look so stiff all of a sudden? Oh, Paimon knows. You're the type who feels awkward when there's nothing to talk about. I merely thought that we should give Navia some time to herself. Huh? Why didn't you just say so then? Well. Don't you think it's even more awkward? Hmm. I suppose so. By the way, Siege Ween sends her regards. Oh, Siege Ween. I hope all is well with her these days. Her work in the Fortress of Meropede has not been too much for her, has it? No way, don't worry. She's doing fine now. I see. Well, that is good. I have always worried that Sijuin would need a lot of time to understand the world of humanity, just as I have. Oh, and the Duke also says hi. Even though Sijuin made him do that, he hopes that you haven't been overwhelmed by all that's happened lately. Thank you. I have indeed been busy lately, and I also hope that everything is going well in the Fortress of Meropede. Okay. Uh, he still doesn't know what to talk about. Uh, let's chat about something else then. So, Nivellet, uh, you're probably That's your fucking the swimmer, huh? Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. That he's an otter. Uh, this isn't going anywhere. Uh, let's try something else. Um, how did you find these ruins? Did the knave tell you? Yes, in fact. I had arranged to meet you in Poisson, but when I arrived, I discovered that the Fatui were helping the residents evacuate. They had even transported a large quantity of supplies to the area. Amid my astonishment, I ran into the knave, and we had a chat. She informed me that she had asked you to investigate the ancient ruins here. Yeah, we originally planned to meet up with you, but we thought you might... Are, like, you know, kind of carried, but also, I don't know why Navia even came with us. Like, I guess she wanted to distract herself, but, like, bro. Surely we knew about the Primordial Sea. I hope Navia can get back on her feet. Love is destructive. Why was that the... Wait, no, Navia's not here anymore. I'm sorry to have Sad. kept you all waiting like that. I'm feeling much better now. Wait, what even is over... Can I make it over there? Oh, no, that's where the bridge... Okay. Will you come with us, Monsieur Nevelette? Is there a chest here? Yes, check. if you wouldn't mind my company. All right, another one joins the party. Let's get going then. Uh, no, no chest. 
too slow. Oh no, another path. Bro. Oh, I was looking for chest. Bro, 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 are you? Squall and Fury. Okay, cool. Skipped part of the quest? Dude, I didn't skip. Did I? No, I didn't. <laughs> Elon moment. Sorry, he said the line. Oh wait, there's a fucking rune guard. Yo, this game sucks. If I die, five. Dude, I don't have a proper team. We're playing an exploration team. My shell's not geared. We're literally running no. What's it? Dude, my healer is literally Farina. She's not even on the healer mode. I'm gonna change her to heal mode. Wait. There you go. This thing heals so slow. Whoa! A dice! Okay. No! Well, <laughs> we lost our friend. Quit following me. I didn't miss the chest, right? No, I didn't. Wait, I didn't go in the downstairs. Oh, I actually did miss the door. Wait, was there something in the door? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. Whatever. It's fine. We speed running. We're speed running. Whatever. It's fine. <laughs> Can we go back? Uh, it's fine. This is the place. There should not be any other hidden spaces in the vicinity. The path sure had some twists and turns, but it turns out that this place isn't actually that big. There seems to be something on the wall. Stung. Brina! It seems like they were put here as an offering. Uh, that looks like Nevelette. What the fuck is that? And have a look? Okay. Uh, perhaps we should just leave them be for now. Hmm. There are four locations in total, but only three. I've heard we get a lot of Freena lore to this quest, because so far it's just been Freena being like kind of cute but a failure, and then Nevelette's just been carrying. So I assume we're gonna get that lore. The surrounding walls also show signs of damage. There's something written below. Or Paimancy. Uh, reason dictates. That this nation be destroyed. Don't be me. Hey, we love Freena. Record the history of its future. Well, let me listen. Its past. The reason dictates uh, that this nation should be destroyed. Uh, okay. It feels like someone left these slates and these words here for a purpose. But does he mean that Fontaine should be destroyed? That would fit the circumstances dictated by the prophecy, yes. Indeed, the slate's contents correspond to it. Take the second slate, for example. There's a person kneeling here. She seems so dedicated. And there's a whole bunch of other people behind her doing the same. She's facing this... Uh... Celestia aware. Some kind of island in the sky? And is that Lady Farina in the third image? Did the Hydro Archon fall into the water? 
And is that a ring of people around here? Paimon doesn't quite get it. Are they all in the water? The fourth image. I know this one. This exactly matches the content of the prophecy. The people will all be dissolved into the waters. And only the Hydro Archon will remain, weeping on her throne. Wait, what if the Fontaine people just move to like Sumeru? Like, what if you just immigrate? Like, what if you, what if all of Fontaine just goes to like Mondstadt? And then it's a, a march in Mondstadt. Hey, a summer in Sumeru. Hey, fuck the prophecy. Yes, they do seem to match. Hmm. I'd rather have Sumeru food. I'm gonna be honest. No disrespect to Fontaine, but I'm just saying, I'll go to Sumeru. So let's see what track them. Okay, fight us. We have fucking, we have fucking, hey, we have plot armor. Slates, but I fear I cannot easily uncover it. Most likely due to us missing the first slate. I am very sorry. Don't blame yourself, Monsieur Nervalet. Deciphering ancient stone slates isn't one of your duties. Ooh, Paimon's getting the chills just looking at these slates. This says that it's the history of the future, right? That means the prophecy's sure to come true. The history of the future. I really hope it doesn't mean that. Still, Paimon feels like these images are kind of weird when you look at them together. Huh. Uh-oh. Hmm. Uh-oh. I get what you mean, Paimon. The issue is the order of the third and fourth images, right? That's right. Yeah, I knew that. If the image is in <laughs> chronological order, shouldn't the fourth, the waters drowning Fontaine, come before the third, where the Hydro Archon herself falls into the water? And yet the order is reversed here. The second is also quite concerning. What sin are the people in the images confessing to? If we go by timing, Lady Farina only emerges in the third image. That means that the person yeah, in the second image... Yeah, we learned about that. The the, wait, what, what, what was the name? I forgot the name. Whatever. I remember. They said it last chat. Last stream. Fuck! Last quest. Egeria, then. Egeria, that's the name. I had never met her, but her appearance... John Egeria. The records. No, mind, it's her. ...previous Archon kneeling before the floating island in the skies, as if confessing a sin. Did she herself commit that sin? And if not... Why would she be in such a posture? Also, I'm still wondering why these ancient stone slates are here at all. Judging from their contents, could this place be the origin of the prophecy? <laughs> Does that mean that someone, or some people, once saw these slates? But who would have created these slates and left these words here? Hmm. What if Hu Tao did it just to fuck with you? I'm sorry. I'll be Seems serious. That any further clues will have to come from Farina. In that case, there's no time to lose. There's nothing else to be gained here, so. Wait, let's let me look at the slates first. a little longer. Let me cook a little. Yeah, we better get somewhere safe for now. Honestly, who created the slates? Doesn't matter. The real question is whether the things will truly play out as the prophecy foretells or not. Challenge completed. Wait. All right, let me cook for a second. Okay. Okay, kneeling. A new one is born. They summon, they fucking, she was like, oh my God, I sinned, kill me. She died. Then a new one was born. They fucking chant, they ritualed, boom. Farina summoned. Then everyone's dead, she's weeping. I don't know. Maybe. It was like the new Nahida, you know? How like, how like Ruka Devada was like, I Okay, no, Scar told me to shut up. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'll stop cooking. I mean, this could also be Farina who sinned and then something happened and she got cursed. They're like, fuck you, you're not the Archon anymore. I don't know, it was Kokomi. It's Kokomi! Sorry, calm down. I mean, we just know she doesn't have a, uh, 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 not vision, what's the word? Gnocchi, gnosis. We know she doesn't have that, so. Probably something there. She definitely sinned. I don't know what the fuck happened. Or maybe the other one sinned and cursed her. It's one of the two, 50-50. Well, if I guess, I have a 50% chance of... I'm going to check on what's happening with the Spina. You know how it is. There's some things you just need to be there for yourself. I was distracted. You okay. still have energy for that, Navia? Paimon's already beat. 
Just head back to the Fluff Sandra and have a rest then. Thanks for keeping me company all this time. I mean, you almost died, but no problem. I'll, I'll do that happily. Thanks for your hard work today. Rest well, everyone. Traveler, I will go talk to Farina tomorrow morning to ask about the stone slates. I'm sure that you're concerned about this matter as well. If you have time, drop by my office. Yes, for sure. The results of our discussion with you. See you tomorrow, my king. Are going to talk to her about this directly? Will that be a problem? She has long been harboring secrets and will not give them up easily. Which makes it all the more my duty to ensure that she understands the present situation. All right, we'll leave There's it so much bass in his then. voice. You're probably the best person to talk to her anyway. I will be carefully considering my words tonight. I will Trust be careful. Paimon, our safe house at the Flivsandra is always open to you, as ever. So please don't think you're an imposition. <sighs> all right, I'll be on my way then. Okay, both the part, you and Paimon head to the Spira di Rosula base at Fleuve Sound. Ah, we're finally back! Who the fuck is this guy? Welcome back. Tetro. We've got a special menu prepared for you two tonight. Yay! And there's good food too! <laughs> oh, garlic bread, chicken, <laughs> matcha cake, or pistachio? I don't know, cake. <gasps> what flavor can green be? Again. Pistachio, matcha, what else? Like apple, but it's not gonna be an apple. Mona? Voice. Why the fuck is He's Mona like here? I think it is. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Mona. It's you two. What are you doing in Fontaine? The fuck? Child pulled up to Fontaine and then Mona. Where's Kakomi? Mona? Speaking of cake. Okay, well. Lady Meg is Tuss. Did the stars not tell you that we might meet? Seriously, nobody just uses a scry glass whenever they've got time to just see who they'll meet on the road. Still, we didn't expect to see you here. Uh, wait, you're not a Fontanian, are you, Mona? Well, I have some business to attend to here, so I booked a hotel in the city. I was just out for a Well, how do you pronounce it? I don't know. I bumped into you. Quite unexpectedly, if I might add. Why did you think I was from Fontaine, though? Is that because Magistus doesn't oh, sound Magistus. like a surname? Oh, uh, Magistus. Yeah, let's go with that. Well, I used to have my own surname, which was, well, some other thing. Either way, the old hag told me when she took me as her disciple that the first step to being a great astrologist's pupil was to change that name. There was nothing for it, really. She really is amazing at astrology, so I changed my name to what it is now according to her wishes. To my surprise, however, Magistus is not the name of some ancient house or clan. Uh, it isn't? Nope. Although it is Why are we getting in right now? place of surnames, it generally just means great. Okay. Wow! Imagine including a boast in your name. I reckon so. In any case, I'd give my disciple a name like this as well, if I were to take one. And I may ask what your master's name is? Astromancer Barbaloth Trismegistus. What? Whoa, that's a long one. The my name means Mona the Great Astrologist. As for the old hag, hers is, in plain speech, the thrice as great scholar of the stars. Just take it as a title specific to astrologists. Thrice as great? That's so... heavy. I know, right? <sighs> That's just how she is. She used to call herself Magistus, actually. But once she took me in, she changed her name to Trismagistus. Okay, cool. How that excessive? Magistus is thus the calling card of our school, so to speak. Which makes it about the same as a surname. It's alright if you don't get it. You can look into it further should you need to study astrology more deeply. How about triple strength traveler? That sounds terrible! <sighs> but anyway, you're not Fontanian, are you, Mona? You're- Well, I was born in Mondstadt, yes. My parents migrated to Dorman Port, and I traveled with the old hag for a while, after which I settled down in Mondstadt City. Oh, that's a good thing then. At least we know you won't be dissolved by Fontaine's waters. Hmm, speaking of that, I'm sure you're aware that a bunch of things have happened here in Fontaine, right? I know you're not a local, but I'd avoid getting too close to any water that looks strange all the same. 
There's something ominous about it. Well, the water, I mean. Do you come to Fonda because of the prophecy mona? That was the main reason, yes. Just a while back, the Steambird invited Fucking me to Charlotte. take part in a panel Charlotte. and speak about the circulation of the prophecy as an astrologist. The invitation was sent quite early on. I don't think anyone expected Fontaine to be in this much trouble. What do you make of that prophecy, Mona? Just tell us what you think as an astrologist. Your word would go a long way to make things more certain and less scary. What I can tell you is that I'm an astrologist. Thanks. And that this prophecy concerns the fate of Fontaine, even that of all Tevat. Ascertaining this is akin to reading the fortune of the whole world. I'm afraid that this is not something that just anyone can do. If I could do it, you would no longer call me an astrologist, but a visionary. Wait, so what's the point the of- side, Astro The prophecy is so huge and powerful that it must surely come from a powerful visionary. Its contents involve the fate of the world. Disregarding it would be a mistake. A visionary? Sounds really powerful and all, but does such a person really exist? Of course. The old hag could do it. And I bet there are others amongst those Hex and Zerkel colleagues of hers who could do something similar. I need to ascertain the accuracy of the prophecy. Can you help me get in touch with your master? Uh, uh, are you okay. sure? Hmm. Wait, do we get to meet Mona's boss? I'll help you. It isn't often that I see you with such a serious look on your face. I'll tell you once I hear back from her. Boss Thanks, chat? Mona. You're amazing as always. Oh, well, this is something only I can do after all. So yes, your praises are quite welcome. Good job, Mona. Okay. <laughs> That's the spirit. Oh, sorry. I came to see what all the commotion was about. Shut the fuck up, Jeto! Oh, sorry. Do not hesitate to inform the Spina di Rosula. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Guess we were getting a little too carried away there. Well, I'll go tend to my own business now. If I receive any news, I'll be sure to come find you two again. Thanks, Mara. And there she goes, quick as rushing Wait, how does she dash without turning into the water? Like, when you dash on Mona, it turns into, like, a waterfall. How would she just start running without turning? Well, we were making a ruckus. Try to keep it down next time, come on. But we were able to recruit Mona's help, didn't we? Our Fontanian friends will thank us someday. She didn't dash? No, but she started running. It wasn't walking. It actually was so fast. It looked like a dash, therefore. Oh, because we're in abyss! Oh, my God, it makes sense. But it's time to get up, Traveler. We agreed to go see Nevelette, so let's go. True. Let's sleep and go see Nevelette. Thanks, Paimon. You're here. Finally. Uh, is something wrong? Monsieur Nevelette and Lady Farina, they, they seem to have gotten into a dispute. Oh, no. Please go see for yourself. Oh, they're fighting. No. Like I said, I've already explained everything. And yet the problem has not been properly solved. There is little space for excuses between us. It is not my intention to offend you, but please tell me where you stand. Oh no. You are the Hydro Archon Fosalor, are you not? Look at this. This is a list of the victims from the recent Poisson Nevelet, incident. Look. I love you and I love Farina, but just assume for the rest of this quest. It's not her fault, but just assume that she's useless. I don't mean it in a disrespectful manner. It's probably not her fault. I don't know the lore, but given all the clues we have, she probably can't do anything, okay? Because why else would she act like she has a plan in front of in front of the knave, Arlequino, when she has nothing? Let's just, listen, she might, listen, I could be wrong. I love Frida. I am a Frida lover till the day I die, okay? I'm just saying, for your own sake, Nevelette, just proceed alone. <laughs> We'll see. I'm sorry. We'll see. You mean they're all... We did not arrive in time to avert this disaster. And I will not have... I, mean, I don't know. I assume again. it's not her fault. There's probably gonna be lore behind her. But like, I assume she just can't do anything. But it's not her fault. I will say this once more. But it's like, you no one knows she can't do anything. You know. Yesterday, I found three stone slates in some ancient ruins near Poisson. 
Do you know anything about those? Like Arlequino is mean, but she was kind of cooking. But she was mean. Seriously? You're questioning me like this is a court case now. I don't know anything about that. But you found them in some ancient ruins, you say? That's correct. Uh oh. Which is why I oh, came fuck. to ask you some questions. It's a heated. There should have been four slates, but one of them was missing. A heated the rebuttal. Other two featured different images that seemed to correlate to the prophecy. <laughs> the prophecy? The second of these slates depicts the previous Hydro Archon Egeria kneeling before a floating island in the sky, as if confessing something. Do you know nothing of this either? I don't. I've never seen such slates. I'll ask you again. Do you really have no information regarding the previous Archon? My deciphering of the slates indicates that the Hydro Archon Egeria once had to confess to, or apologize for, a certain sin. If anyone would know about it, it should be you. All gods don't have the same secrets, you know. She was herself and I'm me. Is it really so strange that I know nothing? I understand your concerns, but I'm sorry. I just don't have anything to tell you. Dude, if I'm never let, I'm pissed. <sighs> Imagine you're you're Forgive you're fucking re now, Lady Farina. But I have long known of your various secret investigations into certain matters. Dude, imagine your Archon, your whole nation's gonna like die by drowning to a prophecy and your Archon, I guess, maybe, I mean, we'll see. Or you're literally, your Archon's like, yeah, I don't know anything. There are several indications. And you're a fucking Hydro Dragon. That's just saving slide. everyone. This is not strange in itself, considering that you are the Hydro Archon. But it is strange that you should also claim to not know any of Egeria's secrets, as well as do nothing following your inquiries. You have never been as superficial as you have presented yourself I know she's trying, me, though, but... Nor are you a fool. And yet, your behavior is very inconsistent. True? <laughs> oh, so you've been watching me all this time, have you? I didn't think you were that tired. He's a tier 3 sub, Frina. He watches your streams. You. Wait. <laughs> Since you know about my secret investigations, then oh, he's you blushing. know I'm actually working to take care of it. There's no point questioning Yo, Nevelette, thanks for gifted. me. You're the Eudix, but you're still my subordinate. You should be following my lead. Just trust in me, your Archon, and do as I say. Never mind whether you can truly convince yourself to or not. It'll all turn out fine. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that one, Frida. That's all that I have to say. We do not discuss this matter again. Yo. Yo. Oh, <laughs> the opera is about to start. Toodles. Bro, if I'm never let, I quit. Fuck it. Bro, fuck it. I just saved the whole nation. I saved, I saved your fucking general. And, and I saved everyone. Fuck this. I'm going to fucking Did monster. You notice her standing by the door? <laughs> Wonder what's up with her. She was smiling. Huh. She didn't seem in the mood to care if we were listening in or not. She seems deeply troubled. She seems to be deliberately hiding something. I assume you've been outside for a while now? Oh, you noticed. Seems Farina didn't even realize we were here. She was in a great panic, though I cannot discern the reason. <laughs> Our discussion reached impasses time and again. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry. Not to break to immersion. Continue. I'm sorry. I don't want to break immersion. But first time chatter, King Gamer 111 says, Is it just me or are there no actual ladies on Genshin? Bro, what? Yo, yo, what are you saying? Have you not seen like half the Genshin characters? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me keep going. Let's not get to this chat. I'm sorry. I. Please look up in your Google search bar, look up uh, Beido, B-E-I-D-O-U. Also, you can look up uh, Yai, Y-A-E space M-I-K-O. Actually, look up Electro characters if you want, uh, all of them, or most of them. Uh, you could also look up Arlequino, uh, Dea, Yalon. Anyways, uh, I, I missed a bit of what he said. She's in great panic, though I cannot discern the reason. Our discussion reached impasses this time, uh, time, and, time and again, a state of affairs that we cannot allow to continue. Still, I do not understand. Dialogue is the basis for understanding. So why did she keep refusing to engage? True. I'm uh, afraid questions alone might not suffice. 
We need to make her understand how dire the situation is. Everyone in her inner circle has noticed that she is hiding some secret. The issue is her attitude. So it's too true. I fear that she will not reveal anything unless absolutely forced to. Okay. We may have to create a situation in which she will have no choice but to speak. Oh? Like what? Normally, people will only reveal the truth when standing trial. Perhaps we must have the Hydro oh, no. experience just such no. a scenario. No, I mean, you should, I agree, but she's gonna cry. You're gonna put her on trial, you're gonna embarrass her in front of everyone, she's gonna admit the truth, she's gonna cry. And then everyone's gonna be sad. The end. La, 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 la. I'll shut up. We will need to consider this thoroughly, join forces with various parties, and then do what we can. <sighs> If at all possible, I would prefer to recuse myself from this affair, but we must prevent the prophecy. Yeah, from literally. Going to She's going to reveal everything. It's going to be sad. She's going to start crying. Then, like, it's going to be like, she'll be like, I hate you, Nevelette. Then, we're going to leave the opera, and then it's going to start raining. And we're like, and then Paimon, Paimon's dumbass will be like, it must be the Hydro Dragon! This Sorry, I hit my... But all Fontaine is in crisis. The information a god possesses is too precious, and so we must take a chance on this. In this case, we will need help. Hmm. But who will lend us their aid to do such a thing? Oh, I know who to call. Oh, pause trap. Who do we call? Shao? Clorind? Navia? Risley? Well, <laughs> Saul Goodman? Speaking of which, it was pretty smart of you to think of hiding here. Wait, where the fuck are we? Oh. In a disaster, Linnea so Lynette. Presently devoid of people. And here you are. Oh, I didn't mean to click, mode. It's the most natural thing in the world, huh? That's what family should do. Sit and enjoy a leisurely time together. True. <laughs> it's nice to enjoy tea here, you know? Care for a cup? Ahem. <clears throat> hey, where's from an A? Everyone. Hmm. Or perhaps one of you might like to start us off. How about you, friend? Oh, there he is. Uh, Hello, Navia. Me? No. I don't think I can. Hmm. Uh, then, uh, how about you, good sir? I fear that I will cause the mood on this boat to become as somber as it is in court. Thumb. <laughs> well then, I guess we're lucky we've got a local like me to organize things. Wonderful, the spotlight at last. I guess I'll be facilitating things from here. Oh! That was a little long-winded, don't you think? Hello. Oh. <laughs> You might be right. Anyway, to cut to the chase, our friend here, the Traveler, has brought us together to discuss Hi, something. Hey. As for what that is, well, uh, let's start by saying that we'll be pooling our efforts together to create a series of traps. Oh, how intriguing. Well, it's just an expression, really. One that I just learned from Chlorand. Wait, why'd you learn an expression from Chlorand? So, let's invite her to explain in detail. A round of applause, please. That's suspicious! Huh? Didn't you say that you would be facilitating this? Oh, come now. Your work doesn't involve much public speaking, right? This is a yo, good yo, chance yo, to practice. Yo, 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 yo. You might even pick up some fancy oratory tricks. Yo, your hats are literally touching. Back up. <laughs> I see. And what does my boss say? Hmm. He is glad that you consider him your boss. Do go on. In that case, <clears throat> do any of you have experience hunting? Not that I recall. Fremenet and I once used a wooden stick in a basket to catch wild rabbits when we were younger. As for Lynette, um... Oh, right. You were sick that day, weren't you? Uh, I've also gone diving to catch some fish before. Uh, Does I've that also got... Sorry. Uh, I'm afraid not. You may or may not have heard, but Fontaine once played host to a group known as the Marichose Hunters. Marichose! <laughs> they did not hunt animals but rather various monsters left behind by the ancient dynasty of King Remus. Dude, Today, no way! Fontaine's monster population has already thinned greatly, so the hunters have blended back into society, taking up arms in other lines of work. 
They even left a unique methodology of hunting in their wake. A trap comprises of the following a spider web. Bait, a trigger, and a containment device. Sometimes a lethal implement will also be necessary to deal with the prey. So, if we were to build a trap together, right now, what would you choose to build it with? For me, I would prefer something basket-shaped. Pigeons and rabbits will see the bait and naturally enter the snare. Our line of work requires a deft hand, and we're some of the best in the industry, so you can count on our techniques. You used some of those techniques while moving the people of Poisson, didn't you? My subordinates mentioned that you even performed Wait, so I have to design a trap? Children. Yes. What if we I do? To gather some intelligence in the meantime. What if we do? We take a character, we take an attractive so character, myself. and then, in order for people to get baited, we make it to where the character, you can get them, but you have to spend a currency. We're gonna call these currencies, uh, 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 Brimo Bems. And in order to get them, you have to spend, you have to either play all day or spend real life money, and then you will fall into the trap looking for the one character you want and end up in cable, in the whirlpool of the gotcha system sorry i'm afraid going. i can't claim that as my strong suit i prefer more stable methods like placing bait in the water and waiting for the fish to come within reach that's the kind of method i would count on <laughs> calm and steady exactly the kind of and i can be their assistant with discretion i'm sure hmm I'd probably use some sort of mechanical animal. Papa once bought me some small clockwork squirrels, mice, and such. When placed in the forest, they can attract others of their kind. I remember that you liked those too, didn't you? I did. And that would be a good way to go about it. If they're realistic enough, animals of the same kind will follow them all the way to the trap. What about you, Monsieur Nevillette? I fear i do not have any related experience or he's literally an otter that makes sense you usually solve problems directly without the use of any such tricks but i do have one more question for you monsieur if we were to create a trap now how would you design it hmm i would like for it to be effective but bring no harm to the prey a more gentle it makes the soundboard louder ready. dude the problem with my soundboard Come, yeah, this is the time to talk about it However, our intention doesn't necessarily change the Fuck it, yes it is. I hear it really loud, but you guys don't. So if I make it louder, it destroys my ears. And there's, I don't know what to do about it. Anyways, let's keep going. If we wanted to kill the prey in one strike, we would need a powerful implement. However, that also goes for prey that must be captured and safely contained. Wait, why is that? Only a hunter who's a true expert at subduing their prey can snare it. Am I fucking it. stupid? I just realized the they're talking about like luring Farina. I just realized the they're doing all this for Farina. Am I stupid? This took me like 20 minutes. I'm stupid. So are My bad. we going hunting together? I was like. <laughs> huh. We hadn't thought of seeing ourselves as hunters. It kind of works, but maybe it's still not the best metaphor. If our means of capturing and dealing with our prey is to put them on trial, then the hunting metaphor is actually quite accurate. At least I said it before Neville did. much more courage than any hunter to judge a god, a being whose seat is an exalted throne. That's right. Oh, so that's what's going on. Sounds very interesting. Florence's hunting metaphor was just that, a metaphor. Okay, I can click to continue, thank God. It was just that, a metaphor. You will not call this a hunt, because that is not what you should do at the present, nor has the relationship between you and Farina reached such a dire stage. First of all, who the fuck is talking to us right now? Is this Dainsleaf? What you need is simply the secrets she is keeping. Attempting to take secrets is an act of sacrilegious disrespect, but must be done to prevent Fontaine from sinking into the waters as foretold in the prophecy. There is neither hunter nor prey, but there must be a trap. This is what you will need. Marie Chausse Hunter. Dude, what's with Genshin and having random NPCs of the saddest lore? I'm sorry! <sighs> it's been a tough few days, hasn't it? So much Why is that girl taller than Chow? Yeah, that's a ban. Mods, destroy him! Mods, fire! 
find his house. No, don't, don't. I'm sorry. I That was a Silver Wolf moment. I apologize. Don't do that. Those meetings sure did make me hungry. <sighs> Hyman didn't think the meetings would go on for so long, but everyone seemed pretty fired up, huh? Hyman thought they'd be at least a little frightened. Well, Fremenay was, now that Paimon thinks about it, but everyone else just looked a little... You feel more confident after the meetings, Paimon? Uh, well, it's hard to say. Paimon doesn't have any experience with this sort of thing. But with you around, Paimon sure will do great. After all, you're the most reliable person in the world, aren't you? <laughs> Something uh, wrong, Paimon? Uh, did you just pour some tea? Paimon didn't notice you doing that at all. Uh-oh. Oh my god, it's like the last Archon Quest we did, where like the macaroon scene was like, Oh my god, the person ate a macaroon, now someone poured tea. Wait, Farina's here. It's either Farina or, or Arlecchino, place your bets. Never seen that cup Wait, never mind, it's a red Don't cup. Who would- frightened. I'm just joining you two for tea. I merely refrained from saying anything till now. Well, I'm not looking at chat. Whose voice is this? I've never met- have I met them? No. Ah, have you forgotten me already? Wait, you are familiar. You're the voice we heard from the sky in Sumeru. What? But the Tori told us the sky's not real. Or wander at the both. The voice from the sky, hmm? I fear that description is wrong. Though, not completely wrong. Huh. You're feeling lost now. Just as you were feeling previously. I sensed that confusion and thus came to you. Guiding people is an irresistible hobby of mine, after all. Yeah, I make guides too. Hey, the name is... Who are you? And what do you want with us? Consider me a passerby. Just accepting a commission from my friend's disciple on a whim. One of friends of Mona's master, the enigmatic N of the Hexen Zirkle. Allow me to ask you, will Fontaine's prophecy come true? The prophecy, yes. Mage what M. has been prophesized will be fulfilled. You may view such things as the history of the future. What? The Why did you say future? Like She's like, future. I believe you have witnessed a failed attempt with your own eyes. Can everything in Tevat so easily be changed? There it is again, fate. Can there really be no exceptions? Ah, so you've caught on. Just as prophecies are usually only the future as seen from the future. perspectives of the gods. Wait, is Britain in this game yet? Could be happening in hidden corners where the god's gaze does not fall? Are the things that you shall see different from the fate that the gods perceive? Yeah, it's Sarumi Island, right? What is she talking about? It all sounds really impressive and important and stuff, but it also sounds kind of scary. The thing is just about gone. Wait, that was a Dane's leaf line? I believe that you understand, right? Some things are insignificant, but others you must reach out to change. Ultimately, fate shall serve as your only guide, no matter what will happen in Tavat's future. All you need to do is to play your part. Hmm. This was good tea, by the way. Thank you for your hospitality. Well, it's your own tea. Well, that'll be all for today. The voice. Uh, it's gone. Is the clue you're leaving for us? Yo, am I stupid if I don't understand the clue? Not as the news. Not the <sighs> when you wake up, someone seems to be outside. Someone talking. Uh, all right, all right, come You're getting more digital, by Mon. Hey, it's you who's getting lazy, okay? Well, I see I've walked in with some lively banter. Mona! Dude, okay, listen. When they asked me to remember a qu uh, character, for, listen, listen. I do Archon Quests in waves, okay? I will be like, oh, I love Archon Quests. Then I'll do like eight in a row, but then I'll have to wait like three fucking years, sorry. One fucking year, sorry. Six months for the next patch to come out. I'll forget my memory doesn't last that long, okay? It doesn't! Sorry, calm down. So I forget, okay? I don't remember what the fuck happened in, in like... It's okay, we're gonna make a new account soon. We're gonna do all the quests again. Uh, because, uh, we're gonna have a second account. True. How have you been the past few days, Mona? Fine. Just fine. I went to take part in that Steambird panel. 
It turned out to be more interesting than I expected. Imagine the Carrie Bear quest. I remember all of Carrie Bear because it's like my favorite quest. One or one of them. mentioned that sitting around and waiting for the end to come would be wrong and that they should make their own rescue preparations. I agreed, so we had a brief chat with her. Uh, did she have pink hair by any chance? Why, hmm? yes. It was Charlotte. You remember her, right? That daredevil journalist. I'm in full support of her view. Prophecies are very important, but how can people allow their lives to be commandeered by just a few words? That's right! Paimon's glad to hear something sensible for once. Ah, yes. About what we had discussed before. I did try, but I'm afraid I couldn't reach the old hag. I'll try again tonight, but I wouldn't get your hopes up. Actually, someone already came over. Huh? Huh? Sorry. You tell Mona about your mysterious guest. Goodness gracious. Are you serious? I believe she came to pass a message to us. She said that even the god's gaze has blind spots. Pretty bold if you ask Paimon. Most people would believe the gods to be all-knowing, right? The Hexen Circle members are certainly anything but ordinary. As for the mage named N, the old hag has mentioned her a few times. She said Why does she sound more British now? Did I just not notice it? And that she loves guiding those who are lost. But I've never met her. And if she were still alive, she'd be... <laughs> well, suffice it to say that the hag's at least a few hundred now, and n has been around for longer than that. Whoa. The Hexen Zirkle sounds like oh, a scary okay. group. But they must really stay in shape to live so long. Their abilities alone are pretty terrifying. If she came to see you personally, then the problem you're facing must truly be of great importance. Well, it's not like Paimon could understand anything she said. Transatlantic? Perfect, but I suspect she means that there is still a way to turn things around. Hey, good for Atlantic. She didn't say when or what that would be, though, so... That's awesome. Okay. Perhaps it is something that you cannot know right now. True. Her words meant uh, as a helpful hint, but when will they realize that... <laughs> what was the best answer that my question could have gotten? Or, sorry, was that the best answer that my question could have gotten? Traveler, Paimon, are you two all right? Oh, we're fine. We're just a little down right now. It kind of feels like the end is coming, you know? I see. I the end is coming. Of desperation, too. The end is coming! Sorry, I had PTSD from that. I guess you could consider me someone who has often witnessed fate. So far as I have seen, it cannot be swayed. But even so, I still hope for and believe in miracles. Astrology is eternal and rational, but fate may not be. It is cruel, but it can also be beautiful. So Perhaps true. Speaking of beautiful... was trying to tell you. Not to lose heart, and to believe that what you are seeing playing out before you is not yet set in stone. I did originally think of steering clear of all this, but I couldn't. Even if this is all futile, I still wish to help everyone. If we don't struggle to the last, then how can we face the end when it comes? The end! Sorry. You do have a point. <laughs> there I go, talking about astrological principles again. <laughs> Sorry about that. The moment I start talking about work-related stuff... I oh, I need to get going. Don't worry about it, Mona. Thank you. It was worth trying to comfort you, even if only a little. I believe that you'll help those who are struggling in the same way I did. Thanks, Mona. If you ever need it, that might be why we always seem to meet by coincidence. I mean, was it really coincidence? Or she... kind of I mean, I guess it was. She didn't know we were here. But also kind of sad too. Hey, traveler, Paimon suddenly. Let's walk around the city, shall we? There's a few spots we always like to walk by. Okay. GD Prince, your message may have gotten deleted, but you spoke the truth. You got punished for speaking the truth. Actually, upon reading it, kind of harassment. Harassment. So, never mind. I didn't fully read it. I read like half of it. I read thighs. I didn't read like all of it. What the fuck? Oh, wait, Linny was right there. Over here. What's up, Linny? Why are you here? Lynette's not joining us today? 
I've had her follow Gemma and see if we can make Oh my! Work. I had to pull a Who the fuck is Lorenzo? Bro. Oh, <laughs> Lenny just ambushed. Uh, huh? Is this this is the right quest? Yeah, that's the right quest. The underwater stronghold, the Fortress of Meripede, has continued in its noble autonomy. But that does not mean that others cannot interact with it. My recent attempts to enter the fortress bore little fruit. Huh. Guess Charlotte still hasn't given up on that. Thus, did an Alamander friend become the focus of this report? A blind adventurer with their white fairy legends trailing in their wake. It is said that this mysterious traveler once visited the underwater fortress. So while the fortress's interior remains a mystery behind closed doors, do not fear, for the tales of the journalist Charlotte's biggest scoop... Huh. Charlotte took so many... She hasn't been able to get a hold of anything at the fortress, so since we're easier to find, she's using us at the... Ugh, seriously? Wait, is this even the... Yo, was that the wrong quest? Again! Another day, if I wanted you... Sorry, my good sir. I don't believe I've... Oh, yes. Please, please, please. Oh my... You okay there? I promise I don't skip lore, okay? Why? Well, no, at least Archon Quest. I don't know what. Bro, God forbid I log the story quest! I'm sorry! Wait, is this the Archon Quest? Hey. We're back. Quick! Hasn't sold out? It was so delicious the last time we tried it. Thanks, Arlequino. We should go thank her. Actually, Paimon, you stay here. I'm gonna go thank Arlequino. I'm sure it'll be great. I'm sure Farina will be fine. We can't let anyone get ahead of us. One slice of cake, please. Ah, someone showed up after all. Oh, wait, you're the one from the Palais Mermonia. Oh, are you here to buy cake too? <laughs> it seems Monsieur Nervalette was right. You really can eat. Hello, Sadie. Wait, did he really say something like that? That's right. Even he has his own preferences when it comes to food. As for me, I love the cake and coffee here. Do you come here often? Mm -hmm. Usually every day. Mm -hmm. Every day? All right, I like her. She passed the vibe check. It's part of my daily schedule, apart from work. I shall have my cake and coffee. Uh, then what if someone told you one day that this place would be closing soon and you Yo, wouldn't get what to eat cake What the fuck, Paimon? What would you think? Why is Paimon a... Yo, fuck you, Paimon! Don't ruin her dreams! But why would it close? Yeah! Well, Paimon doesn't know either, but... Bro! Maybe... Maybe the waters will rise tomorrow. You know, like in the prophecy. Paimon, don't scare the fucking man! Yo, I will shove you in that vase. Oh, the prophecy. Um, to be honest, I haven't paid much attention to that. No, still, even if there'd be no more cake tomorrow, that wouldn't keep me from having some today. True. No, no. It's the same for eating in general. You might not be able to eat tomorrow, but if you can do so today, then you should carry on. That's what people call living, you know. Real. Huh. Don't be sad. Excuse me, could I have two more slices of cake to go? These can we have two the rest? slices are for you. Sijuin said that this kind of expression you're making is what humans call being sad. Oh, you know Sijuin? I sure do. Mm -hmm. She was born before me, and she sometimes comes to the surface to teach us things about humans. She said that humans are creatures that are saddened easily. Yes, and you can only lift their spirits by feeding them delicious food. So True. please try the cakes here. I've right, got so something else to do, so I'll be going now. You two try to stay in a good mood after eating, all right? Mm -hmm. Bye. All right, she's cool. We should get a Nahida skin I'm where sure it reskins Nahida, and instead of playing Nahida, you play as a Melusine. Right, let's dig in. I'm unsure this cake will be delicious. They're the same fucking height, anyways. You should glance at with Paimon and snarf down the cake. It's more delicious than last time, and the flavor gets even better with the sip of tea. It sure would be nice if we could come again tomorrow. Sure would be nice if we could always eat delicious food here. Wow! If it isn't the Traveler and Paimon! It's Eloise. Yeah, but Eloise sounds cooler. You've got some nerve! 
we just use death to make some quick mora? Can we negotiate a profit split? Oh, you needn't worry about that. I heard that you were in Poisson some time back, so I sent you a letter to discuss just that. It appears you didn't receive it, though. It's all right, though. I've set aside the amount intended for you. I've even set the table with some food. Really? Well, you... <laughs> you're almost a little too easy to win over, Paimon. If I were a journalist with ulterior motives, you'd be in trouble now, you know. Oh, Paimon knows you're not like that. Still, what brings you here all of a sudden? When Mona mentioned you, we thought of coming to see you at work. <laughs> I see. It seems you've already bumped into Mona here in Fontaine. So she mentioned me? What did she say? She said that you're a real daredevil of a journalist. <laughs> nice. In which case, can this daredevil journalist dare to request an exclusive interview with the legendary traveler and Paimon? No. Huh? So your article in the paper today doesn't count? Oh, of course it doesn't. That was more like wait, live wait. photography. Wait, wait. Oh, that was I this quest? I thought that was part of Liddy's quest. Uh, my bad. Okay, yeah. Seen and experienced. You seriously want to interview me? Yeah. Are we even qualified enough? Why not? If I say you're worth an interview, then you're worth it. But not right now, of course. I'll need a few days to prepare. Try I order food oh, chat? It's 2 a.m. Is there even anything we'll open around me? I feel like everything closes here. Oh, so that's a But yes. there's literally like nothing oh, open. Splendid. Aware. I'll tell the editor in chief immediately. I'll have to apply for lighting, uh, venues, get whatever. And props, and. Oh, so much to get done now. Talk to you later. Wait, Charlotte. Paimon's still got a question for you. Mm hmm? And what's that? If, just for example, Fontaine were to be flooded tomorrow? Dude, shut the today? fuck! Sorry. Huh. That's the prophecy you're talking about, isn't it? I mean, I do hear about it often, but I've never once thought that the day could be tomorrow. If you're seriously asking, then I might try and think of a way to leave Fontaine. Oh, but I'm still a journalist first and foremost. That means I have a duty to be reporting from the scene. And secondly, I wouldn't forsake my homeland that easily. From what I've seen, most people don't know what they'd do should the worst come to pass. In truth, it might be better just to behave like normal rather than worry over such an end. So in all likelihood, I'd probably still True. be prepping at the office for that interview of ours. That is a good answer. I know what you're thinking. That sounds a bit sad, but I've always believed that it's best to do what you enjoy. Just think about it. If this nation really were to be suddenly destroyed tomorrow, but I still okay, I'm getting poutine, finish fuck it. an exclusive interview with a truly unique person, then the story I would wind up writing would truly be timeless. And then do you know what I'd do? Well, I'd write that story, send it for printing, and use messenger pigeons to get copies out to the various nations as soon as possible. I'm not a dreamer, nor am I a workaholic, but I do love my I mean, job. This is cool. I kind of don't care, I'm going to be honest, but like, inspirational. So true. I guess you, but anyway, that's my answer. And on that note, I'll get back to my preparations. Cool. That's so nice. Anyway, let's go and take a look at the sea, shall we? Okay. Shit's about to go down, by the way. I like when we do like 30 minutes of talking to random people just for like a bunch of shit to go down and then six people die. Thinking. No, don't think, Paimon. If it wasn't Fontaine, but all of Tevat that would be destroyed tomorrow, where would we go and what would we do? No, Paimon should ask if you... Really, Paimon? If t all of Tevat was destroyed, what would we do? Paimon, if all of Tevat's destroyed, I won't be here! Sorry. Suddenly trying to consider what to do is part of this. We've always been moving to the next destination, so we haven't spent much time thinking about these kinds of things. We didn't have to either, with us always being on the road and whatnot. Until that, mo until that moment comes, I think I'll keep on journeying on. Let's journey starward. <laughs> starward. Yeah. Honkai Still star. Traveling? Yes, cherish every moment I that I have to look upon this world. The banter goes back and forth between you two as the time slips by. Night falls, you return your, to your accommodations and end this busy day. The next few days are just as calm. Charlotte comes to find you and conducts the interview in the Spina di Rosula safe house at Fleuve Centre. 
Navia, having finished her business in Poisson, even drops by to take a photo with the two of you. All goes well. All is well. Clorin then comes over, says, hey, traveler, are you that one streamer? I'm a big fan. But it's still better than the Fortress of Meripede, that's for sure. It's not only the- Oh, so the two of you are still here. Wow, Wonderful. Isadora. Oh, you're from hey, the man. Polymermonia, aren't you? Yes, I'm Isadora. Wow. Monsieur Nervilad sent me to look for you two before. I heard that afterward, you awesome. went to the Fortress of Meropede. You think we're criminals? <laughs> not at all. I'm well aware that you're friends of Does his. something happen? Yes, inside the Opera House. The Mari Chaussee Phantom has declared the incident a small-scale riot. A riot? Well, that said, I don't personally think it was that uh -oh. serious. Uh-oh. What happened? Lady Farina was uh -oh. watching a performance oh, no. at the Opera House. And while she was resting during an intermission, no! some other audience members suddenly started harassing no! her. Loudly accusing her of doing nothing <laughs> riot. the prophecy crisis. And before she could Should respond, that others I'll started that to join in. Okay, added riot. The crowd continued to grow and protests against the Hydro Archon started to break out. So people have started to put the blame on Farina. Guess they finally found an outlet for the pressure they've been I can't add Hoyo, that's fucked. <laughs> I agree. People will naturally rely on gods, as is customary. But the moment people feel threatened, gods are also the first to be blamed. <laughs> so what happened after that? Is Farina okay? Seeing that the situation was spiraling out of control and that Spiral the abyss! Was pointless, she claimed that she'd gotten tired of this and left in a hurry. The Marisha say Phantom had their hands full maintaining order and did not catch where Lady Farina had gone. Only when things had stabilized did we realize that she had gone missing. So wait a second. You mean she's still missing? How do we let Farina go missing? That's right. The Marisha say has dispatched many people to search for her. But we don't have any leads yet. That said, I don't think there's much to worry about. She is a god after all. Even if she were to fall into the hands of rioters, what could ordinary people do to her? Bro, she almost died to Arlecchino like five days ago. What do you mean, what could ordinary... Literally anyone... Bro, it's Farina. Find her. What the fuck? She should be literally locked in her room. Literally, Nevelette has to have her... If I say on a leash, you guys will take it in a weird way. Nevelette literally should have his eye on her 24-7. We can't lose our fucking Archon because she got kidnapped by Arlequino while she was chasing a cat. I understand the situation. Good. Monsieur Nervilad sent me to tell you about the situation, but he didn't say anything else. Don't worry. This is more than enough to go on. Thanks for keeping us informed. Ah, oh, is that so? Well, all right then. In that case, okay, chat, I'm ordering poutine. Care. Fuck it. It'll be here in 40 minutes. I'm hungry. Now. But I don't want to eat while doing the quest. But I'll have it for after because everything closes and I don't feel like cooking at 4 a.m. By the time oh, I'm done. Sounds like we should hurry over to Poisson, then. You sure caught on quickly. If we know Farina, she won't try to fix things in this situation. You're going to save food for yeah. four hours? I mean, so look for a place to wait out the heat. I guess I might eat mid I don't know. I'm just going to order it. She may be loud and dramatic, but she doesn't have a heart of stone. When Nervale was talking to her in the Palais Mermonia, and she heard about Poisson, she couldn't hide her sadness and remorse. It would be hard for her to ignore being accused by the public to- Paimon thinks Farina's probably taken the opportunity to slip away to Poisson and try to relieve the sense of guilt that she's feeling. Huh. Well, what do you think? Paimon knows the answer, of course, but Paimon can do the- In that case, there's- Yep, don't really care about what Paimon has to say. Now what? Find Farina! Bog! Wait, why? <laughs> I like how we- Look how it's telling us where Farina's. Pause the Arkham Quest and auto battle Star Rail while eating. <laughs> It's actually not even a bad take. All that's left here are signs of devastation. Could Farina really be here? Let's try to find her as soon Yo, as possible. Yo, I see her. Five on. You're yapping. I literally already see her. What if I plunge down and I press F3? Fuck, I couldn't F3 in time. Oh no, she's crying. No. Or sad. Farina, no. <gasps> that's Farina right over there. She really is here all on her own. Stay quiet, Paimon. <laughs> Should I just give up? This is all meaningless. 
what was meant to happen did happen after all. Everyone's dead. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Give up, Farina. There's no point in holding out. No. I'm sorry. But what can I even do? Other than to repeat meaningless apologies over and over. Uh, who, who's that? Don't worry, Farina. It's just us. Ahem. <laughs> so it is you, blonde traveler from another land. Bro, she's so good at switching I up. I almost thought you were someone from that was like two frames. ignorant subjects. Come to kneel and beg for my forgiveness. Farina, you were crying just now, weren't you? The tear stains on your face are obvious. Uh, what do you mean, tear stains? Uh, oh, <laughs> I remember. The show at the Opera House earlier this morning was so moving. I'm still trying to process it. <laughs> Who did that uncivilized rabble think they were? Disturbing my enjoyment of the arts. They even dare to tout their archon. I must teach them a lesson. <laughs> I can just imagine their twisted and frustrated faces once they realize that I'm nowhere to be found. Oh, and I'm sure Nouvellet and those people from the Mari Chose Phantom are freaking out right next to them, too. <laughs> Stop trying to act out, Farina. You're actually beyond devastated right now, aren't you? I... Uh, of course not. Hey, there she is. The Hydro Archon's over there. Quick, after her! Yo, what just happened in chat? Uh, Farina, those people seem to be after you. Uh, they are? Uh, they are just some rabid fans who want to cut the line because they haven't been able to meet me in person, aren't they? Mm, that's against the rules. I can't let them get their way. Uh, Farina just ran off! Quick, we have to catch up with her! Um. Should be the place, right? Hey, Farina! There's a good hiding spot over here. Quick, come to Pima before. Uh, wh what? What is this place? Hurry, they're almost here. Fine, fine. I suppose haste is warranted. Lead the way. <laughs> Bro, she's running at like 1.2 speed. I totally thought they had caught me. Uh, no, I mean, I merely gave in to the sheer enthusiasm they displayed. <laughs> Bro, this place is not what I call soundproof. You might want to lower your voice to stay hidden. You're right. Yep, that's a good girl. Why did... Uh, what's happening? The ground's shaking. Is it an earthquake? Another disaster just struck, I suspect. Yeah, a quake of this kind preceded the flooding in Poisson, didn't it? It can't be. It's happening again. Well, there's no need to worry too much about that. 
Nevertheless made some emergency plans, so the evacuation should go a lot smoother this Bro, time. Bro, at, at a certain point, when we go to save every fucking region from their Archon or the Prophecy or the fucking, the, the Torah, like, at some point, we can just be like, look, look, I'm a traveler, I'm just here for tourism, I'm out. Like, why do we have to solve every nation? I'm sorry. Yeah. Let's keep playing. I hope you're right. But the people of Poisson, they've already... Has Frina finally reached her limit? Now that she's talking about her actual feelings, she's starting to look far less stiff. The jig is up. You begin to talk among us, yourselves? For Frina, call me, call down. I've been investigating the prophecy for hundreds of years. I once had informants all over to VAT, searching for clues and feeding information back to me. I've tried all kinds of ways too to hold back the sea, anything to keep the coastline from advancing. But all my efforts proved to be futile in the end. Really, the truth has been clear to me for a very long time. We cannot make an enemy of the divine. No matter what we do, the will of the heavenly principles will have its way. And the prophecy shall be fulfilled. Stop get it up, right? <laughs> Give up. <sighs> I do love the sound of that phrase. It would mean finally coming to terms with fate, but also for me to finally be free. But that would also mean that all hope would disappear and we must hold on Indeed. to hope for it. I've thought about giving up so many times, especially after we almost lost Poisson. Fate is really unreasonable, isn't it? It has no heart and obeys no rules. The prophecy has only just started to come true, and so many people have already lost their lives. Wait a second. So we're beefing with Celestia, right? Because of the prophecy. Okay. And we're getting Chevalier's next patch. And Chevalier has a musket, and she's America. She represents America, which means we're getting America next patch. So hypothetically, couldn't we just nuke Celestia? What if we just fired a nuclear missile and we just America'd all over Celestia? Can't we just? Isn't that freedom? Listen, hey, listen, hey. Wouldn't we win? Farina would be saved. The prophecy won't be fulfilled. Hell yeah, brother. Sorry. Just now, it all became clear to me. I still don't have the right to come to terms with fate on behalf of everyone else. As long as the final moment hasn't come, it's still not too late. Don't worry. I... I will keep hope alive for everyone until the very end. <sighs> no. Well, that's enough for now. I got the impulse to play the stricken maiden, but honestly, considering my rank and station, bro, is what she is okay? What the, yo, what the fuck? She literally switches. She just take any of what I just said. No wonder it costs no stamina when she charge attacks. Costs like five stamina. To the whims of trivial prophecy. She's used to it. Come on, Pina could have sworn you were actually being honest just now. We're out of time. We can't go back to square one years. I'm gonna more information out of her. Farina, you might not have to shoulder this burden alone. Although I don't know what you might be keeping from everyone, your people are more than willing to share the burden share with you. My burden. That's impossible. It was fated right from the start that this would be my duty alone. But even if your burden doesn't need to be shared, you can still choose to confide in someone. Just share it with me. I'm what you call a witness. Yes, I've heard that you came to Tevat from beyond the stars, yes. In other words, you never belonged here. Okay, that's kind of fucked up to say, but... if is, in its entirety, a show on a stage, then you're just a spectator, aren't you? <sighs> if that's the case... Please, Farina, just spit it out! Pause chat? Cutscene. Cutscene. I... Oh, we trapped her. Oh. That's kind of fucked up. I can't lie. That's. Huh. It's showtime! 
I'm sorry. That's fucked. That's actually fucked. Linny did the thing, Ladies though. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes my opening performance. Now, without further ado, we may proceed to the trial of our god. Wait, wait, I have it, I have it. So, this is what it is. Yes, you deserve praise for the effort you took to raise the dramatic stakes. Do not forget, whoa, whoa, what however, I miss? that I am Thosalor, the god of justice. The embodiment of justice itself. Does it not strike you as even the least bit absurd to bring the very concept of justice to trial? May I interpret these words as your refusal to stand trial? In that case, you will have the opportunity to defend your honor. <laughs> Yo, you don't want to. Hey, you do not. Look, look, Navi already lost her dad. Child got fucking clapped. You, I don't, well, not by her, but I don't know. You would draw your blade against a god? I mean, that is an iron sting, to be fair. <clears throat> I see. It seems like you have made up your mind. Paimon can't believe it. She... She just surrendered. Hmm. What the heck is going on? Did I just see an Archon surrender to a, a human? Wow, how utterly humiliating. Lady Farina, what is the meaning of this? Uh, shh. It would seem that there has been a misunderstanding. To be clear, the raising of both hands is not always an indication of surrender. Looking for excuses again, huh? I raised my hands just now to indicate my acceptance of the trial. No duel shall be necessary. I will admit that I've been running away for a long time. I'm sorry, everyone. I was unable to protect the people of Poisson. It is my duty to stand trial for my crimes. You are not the only ones to be disappointed in me. I, too, am exceedingly disappointed in myself. Such. <sighs> but now, it is time for the Hydro Archon to show you her courage and resolve. I, Farina, will use this trial to show the world the true meaning of justice. This time, I will protect you. Applaud and rejoice. One of the most outrageous and fantastical arcs known to the opera Epicles is now unfolding before your eyes. Mark my words. This shall be one of the most exhilarating and brilliant shows so true. ever to grace the stage of Fontaine. The trial of the Hydro Archon, Fosalor, will now begin. Woohoo! <laughs> That's you, chat. Woo! Now we're making history. <sighs> Why does it feel like Farina just took over the whole thing? Like, come on! Didn't she just get forced to stand trial for her crimes? She's also, a showman. Even though she's still acting super dramatic, she is taking this seriously this time, right? This is the greatest right, show! Then. Sorry. Who will be my opponent in this trial? The court asks the prosecutor to please take the stand. No, it's us. Yo, what the fuck? Is that I would so? never. Very well. Then please speak, witness of Tivat, my accuser and fated opponent. We're so close to getting her to tell us the truth and it still turned out like this and that. Low key, she would have confided in us. We ruined it. Chat, I, I peed twice in the last like two hours. I have to pee again. Am I weird? I don't know. I'm sorry. Dude, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why. I keep having to pee. Okay, I, I was a speed run. I'm back. Dude, I know if this is uploaded anywhere, people are gonna complain about chat. The thing with my chat is you, chat is really cool when we do normal stuff. Whenever we do Archon Quests or Star Rail where I can't talk as much, you guys have a mind of your own and that never ends well. Whenever chat they are left to themselves, it never ends well. Wash your hands. I did. They're literally still wet. All right, let's keep going. All 
so please allow me to ask as a final question before the trial begins. Just how much work did you do to force me onto this stage? Well, we did do a lot of prep after the meeting that day. I can go over the tasks assigned to the Spina di Rosula, since they were rather straightforward and easy. Navia, the president of the Spina di Rosula. Most of the people who participated in the disturbance this morning were my subordinates. They changed into plain clothes and came to the opera house as regular audience members, waiting for the. Oh, so Silver and Malus were there too. That's to awesome. Incite insurrection against you. The people's resentment against their archon has been building as more and more of the prophecy is fulfilled. A spark was all we needed to turn smoldering anger into a flame. Moreover, according to our understanding Sorry. and analysis of you, when something like that occurred, you would likely flee the scene and head to Poisson by yourself. So, we arranged for a second group to lie in wait there. So, you mean... The ones who scoured the settlement for me were also from the Spina. And their goal was to force you to step into the giant magic box so you may personally participate in the greatest magic performance in all of Fontaine. So true, Lenny. That's right. That house was a magic box rather than someone's residence. As the super ultimate version of the setup that I used when I first performed at the Opera Epicles. The volume of the box was increased by a whole order of magnitude, and the distance it traversed was the entire gap between Poisson and Arrhenius. Its cargo, of course, was an Archon instead of a human. My thanks, Farina. Without your help, we could never have pulled off such an extraordinary performance. Uh, you're welcome? Of course, this performance was only made possible with Father's support. The House of the Heart spent a massive amount of labor in Mora to pull this off. We had to select a location, construct the giant magic box, dig a tunnel, and open up a path through the water. Chad, does this guy Electro one kind of look like me? Be honest. All of us. Be honest. So, does it kind of look like in me? In other words, the earthquake that we no, okay. felt within the giant magic box was just a normal tremor from the transportation of the whole house? That's right. It wasn't a sign of another disaster to come. Sorry. <laughs> then, I can guess Nervilette and Cloran's parts. You gathered a crowd, prepared a stage, and made sure that the champion duelist would Bro, be Cloran, immediately ready for Why are you fight. wiping off your iron sting? Go make a better weapon. Look, iron sting's fine if you're aggravating. Maybe hyperbloom. Not really electro charge, but realistically, you're in this courtroom, there's no dendro, you're in Fontaine. I wouldn't recommend going iron sting. It depends on what you scale off of, but I would highly recommend a crit weapon. You go like mist splitter would kind of match you. You go pri uh, jade cutter, primordial jade cutter, like the primordial see Hey, that's a reference to primordial. You could do that. You could also go maybe uh i don't know maybe the low light of foliar incision uh you could do if you want a force weapon black sword wolf fang um if you buy the battle pass i don't know if you buy the battle pass if not like black cliff uh iron sting is okay if you're using four stars but you'd really have to make sure you're proccing reactions uh if not again maybe like lion's roar for an electric character especially r5 could be not bad uh, other five stars you sorry keep going oh so that as soon as I appeared on the stage, the trial may commence without a hitch. Am I right? Yes, that is correct. Well, Clorand, I must commend you for your courage. Only the most outstanding champion duelist in all of Fontaine would accept a duel with an Archon without flinching. Thank you. Okay. As for you, Traveler, I suppose your role was to keep me distracted with conversation once you found me in Poisson. You'd make sure that I didn't notice anything amiss before revealing yourself. Yeah, we kind of dropped the ball though. Once we'd arrived she was kind of being stage. honest with us. She would have told us everything, I feel like. And then we just did this. We betrayed her. No. Oh? My mission was to give you one last chance. We'd hope you share. Oh. Well, I guess. Yeah. We hope you share your with us before the magic box. <laughs> I guess you wouldn't so? have. Then I suppose I must have missed my. Phone nah, no, nah, we could we could have gotten it out of her. Give us like give us like another day. We'd have had it. It's fine. It matters not. What's done is done. The stage is already set, so there's no reason to disappoint the audience. 
Let's see this trial through to the very end. Yeah, the only thing we can do now is judge the Hydro Archon. So I kind of feel a little bothered by the conversation earlier. What did Frida want to say right before we arrived? Madam Prosecutor, please allow me to pass this along. This is a oh my God, it's Comemos. Charlotte applied for and Yo, I missed them! During the trial. According to her, it should speed up the proceedings. Huh? Charlotte wanted to give us something? Oh, so she's here too. Hey, Charlotte! <laughs> okay. Oh, let Paimon see. Uh, isn't this the exclusive interview that... Oh, wait. Then that means this document is a perfect timeline of everything that's happened ever since we stepped foot in Fontaine. So in other words, we can refer to this anthology of evidence every time we want to use something from our journey as evidence for an argument. Super practical gift. I just realized how long this quest is going to be because I watched the trailer and we still haven't met fucking Skirk. We haven't seen a whale, which I fought for like four weeks now. We haven't literally met like half the... Yo, we haven't done shit. It's a super practical gift. Let's quickly confirm the information in it. Just think of it as a refresher, all right? She's defeated the Hydro Archon in the very oh first Oh my god, we're legit in court. House. That's one for the history books, all right? Okay, I'm not going to use chat for this. I just finished Danganronpa 2. Well, I'm technically still in like the ending, like trial, but like it's it basically done. Anyways, I practice for this. Law student? Yeah, but be, studying law doesn't... Ch they don't chuck you in... I mean... I don't know. Become Lenny's attorney. Yeah, we did become Lenny's attorney. I didn't think that you'd wind up getting to the bottom of the case I'd been following all this time. This is the first time Monsieur Nervi. <laughs> Ripozo child. The <laughs> Sorry. That's fucked. Sorry. Out. I read that as the meeting with Kanye. I'm. Dude, what the fuck? The meeting with the knave. Tui Harbinger. She's an extraordinary person. Her instinct must mean something. The fortress of Meripede was almost destroyed in a single day. That I didn't witness that scene personally will always be a source of professional regret, I think. According to Monsieur Nouvellet, both Child and that whale should have been in the primordial sea at that time. I nearly lost my awesome friend Navia. To be honest, that still gives me shivers. The words of someone as extraordinary as a witch can probably only be truly understood when something surreal happens to you. The prosecution and the defense. How does she know all this? If you are listening! Sorry, we told her. It was an interview. We told her. Charlotte was like, hey, can we get the And then we waited. We Sorry. <laughs> oh, come on, Nervy Let. There's no need to repeat all the unimportant legal leaves. Just fast forward to the part where the prosecution lays out my offenses. As the defendant and the lead actress of this performance, I still haven't even Why is she still acting? My supposed guilt in all of this. Of course, it is only natural for humans to struggle to understand the actions of a god. However, you will need more than that to convict me of a crime. Bro, fuck it. Worst case, I don't know the lore yet. Okay, we'll see you at the end of the quest. Worst case, Rita, just be like, listen up, okay? I'm gonna be real. I've been lying this whole time. I can't do shit. Prophecy's gonna kill us all. We're all dead in like fucking a week. So for now, we'll just fucking have fun. I don't know. Spend your money. Do whatever you gotta do. Boom. That's it. At least we'll have a last fucking fun week in Fontaine. It is what it is. Fuck it. Sorry. I don't know. Let's That's keep playing. True, but my charge here is unrelated to your conduct as an archon. The fuck? Lamine talks? I would like to charge you as a fraud. No! Who's never been the Archon in the first place? Wait, what was that? Lady Farina's a fraud? Hey, I came here thinking that we were going to try the Hydro Archon for forsaking her team. Yo! Did I hear that right? She's not our Archon at all? Charge accepted. Lady Farina, do you plead guilty to the charge? Lady Farina. I plead not guilty. How can I be guilty? There is no way that I, I Farina, otherwise sorry. known as Farina de Fontaine, <laughs> she literally a talks like Fischl. Of the seven and the Regina of all waters, kindreds, peoples, and laws of Fontaine could be anything other than your true archon. Kindred? Yeah. 
Even though Lady Farina can be rather eccentric, isn't it going too far to doubt her very identity? True. Yeah, I've never questioned her identity either. Sure, Lady Farina can be super irresponsible, but but what grounds does that prosecutor have to make such a huge claim? I have cause to believe that common sense will prevail in this case. Many of the members of the audience have known me as the Hydro Archon ever since they were born. There would be no fooling their memory. See? <laughs> Even the Oratrice has decided to show me its favor. Are you sure you want to commit to a charge that will never be upheld? If you wish to drop the case, I can promise you as the God of Justice that you will not have to face trial for making a false accusation. We will treat everything that's happened as a dramatic spectacle and move on with our lives. What do you say to that? Huh. An argument with near impossible odds, huh? You have to not only refute Farina's claims, but also overturn the long-held beliefs of the people. The people only see as their archon because that's their long-held belief. Yeah, I don't know if you want to go against that. I'm gonna be real. Well, I tried to give you the chance to surrender. If you must persist, then let me ask. If you believe I'm not the Archon, then what manner of being do you think Hear me out? I am? Farina, as a kid, grew up playing Genshin Impact. She saw Kokomi on TV. She saw what Kokomi could do. She was a Kokomi main. She was like, oh my god, Kokomi can walk on water. She's literally a mermaid. I want to be like her when I grow up and try to make it, right? That's why her hair looks like a jellyfish, okay? So that's what she was trying to do. It's kind of like how Wanderer is like, ah, uh, I'm Wanderer. I want to main Shao. Like, Wanderer's a Shao main. We know this, right? You look at Shao. Okay, look. Look at Wanderer, right? Look at all his backstory he would main Shao if he played Genshin if Wander played Genshin and wasn't in the game he would main Shao so he tried to like listen it just it's, it is what it is Wander would main Shao Farina would main Kukomi let's just keep playing and if I was not the Archon then how did I manage to live for over 500 years we gotta think carefully what do we know to be special about Farina exactly um she likes cake <laughs> Uh, she likes, I mean, she's a good actress. Um, she's cute. Don't forget that. Um, she's fun. Um. Wait, what is special about Farina? Yo, none of these are about Farina. Uh, okay, Linny's attorney. Fontanians can be dissolved by water. Sure. Child's conviction. That's the fucking oratrice mechanic that analyze carnal. What is this? The meaning? Oh, I mean, I guess this is about Farina. The name she revealed that she had a treat the that she had already probed for probed. What the fuck does that mean? Farina on her own. I'm gonna look up probe right now. Probe from Starcraft. A blunt-ended surgical instrument used for exploring a wound or part of the body. Physically explore or. Ex Oh, yeah, when she met her. I remember. Okay, I remember. I remember. When the cutscene, she's like, Ah, yeah, you don't have a, a fucking, what is it called? Neosis? No. Yeah, Neosis. My bad. On her own, I believe that possibly not only is Farina not really the Archon. Okay, it's this, right? Wait, no, but it's why can she live so long? Afflicted with some kind of curse. Yeah, it might be the curse. What about this? Uh, I'm just going to click this. It has to be this. Yeah. Can't be anything else. Member of another long lived race, which would allow you to naturally possess. She's a Melusine! No, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Even if that wasn't the case, there could be other ways to extend your life. <laughs> uh, okay, sorry, I was resetting something. Okay, such as a curse. <laughs> Who gave you that idea? Was it the name? Oh. You she knows. speak so low as to use a harbinger's words against me. Doesn't matter who gave us the information. What matters is the veracity of the claim. A curse. A curse. I once thought it possible that the a aura curse. of an archon might naturally resemble a type of curse. But in light of this claim, perhaps what I sensed was not your divinity, but a curse after all. Oh, like in Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse, there's like Spot, right? Who's like, he was supposed to be the, the, the Spider-Man dude, but like he didn't because the other dude got bit by like the spider. He like, he yoinked him, so he became the Spot. Yo, Safrina, so instead of an Archon, could you just be a cursed human? Lady Farina, 
is actually a human? Well, it is true that it's extremely difficult to tell humans and gods apart just by looking at them. It's not impossible. That's wrong. Lix, I'm not here to debate Marvel lore. I don't know, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, don't start celebrating too early now. Even if I have been carrying a curse like you said, how does that <coughs> prove that I am merely a human being? Besides, everyone knows that the main difference between a human and a god is the possession of authority. Gods can do what humans cannot. That's why they're worshipped as gods. For centuries, manifestations of my authority have served the nation of Fontaine. One need only to turn their eyes towards the Oratrice Mechanique de Annelise Cardinal in the Opera House, or consider the endemidium that is used in every aspect of life. Okay, my bad about spoilers. It's literally the first five minutes of the movie I watched, chat. Literally the first five minutes. Anyways, I'm, I, no more immersion breaking. Okay, we're gonna keep going. Wait, that one trial proved the opposite. Frida actually has no control over the Oratrice at all. Yep, that's the child one. I told you I'm correct! To reference the Oratrice. But I told you! As confused as all the rest of us when the Oratrice declared child to be guilty without any proof. Otherwise, you should have come up with a good explanation for that by now. Didn't I make myself clear at the time? The decisions of the gods are naturally difficult for humans to comprehend. There is no need to provide an explanation. Lady Farina, I believe a reminder of your current circumstances is in order. While the court is in session, the principles of justice and the law must come before all else. While you are an Archon, you are also first and foremost the defendant in this trial. You will prove yourself unable to defend against the prosecution's charges if you continue to withhold vital information against the rules of the court. I never thought you'd use that kind of rhetoric against me. That was no trick of rhetoric, Lady Farina. I've merely reiterated the rules of the court. Rules that all should respect and follow. <laughs> so, you neither knew why Child was declared guilty, nor did you understand the structure and operations of the Oratrice. Instead of having been created by you, the manifestations of authority you mentioned have been made by the real Hydro Archon, haven't they? The real Hydro Archon? Well, now you're really losing me. It is true that I did not know why the Oratrice gave out a guilty verdict that day. But the Oratrice handed out that verdict unilaterally, and it has been operating independently ever since it was first created. Wait, you're telling me that in 500 years no one called her out? I don't know, we'll see. But I feel- You can't- You can't argue that just because a divine creation is flawed, that the god behind it must also be no god at all. <sighs> She's still throwing out all kinds of excuses. Meanwhile, in Mondstadt, like they just don't believe Venti. Be able to produce proof that she has no power. Venti's just here. drinking wine. Sure, we can put the Oratrice aside for now. But then, Miss Rina, could you give us a brief demonstration of your power as an Archon? My power as an Archon. There are many ordinary citizens in the audience. How can I just carelessly demonstrate the formidable power of an Archon? If that poses a concern, I'm prepared to extend my protection to the audience. Um, you don't need to go that far. A brief decision of your power over Hydro should be quite harmless. Surely an Archon can at least match the capacity of a human with a vision. I was literally about to say that. Like, literally, we play as her right now. She has a vision. Can't she just press E, summon fucking Mademoiselle Crabaletta, and then just... I don't know, we'll see. I... Bro, literally uh, press your skill. E, I did it. I just did it. Aren't you the Hydro Archon? Or is it that you can't even wield the power of Hydro, much less the authority of a god? Indemnidium! Yes! It's all because of Indemnidium! All Archons derive their power from the faith of the people, and I've converted the people's faith in justice into Indemnidium! Thus did I give up all of my divine power to provide everyone with energy for their daily lives. Have you ever seen a more magnanimous god? Magnanimous. Isn't that a huge stretch? 
Yeah, no matter how generous an Archon can be, how could they give up all their power? Can a god with no power even still be called a god? Hey! Don't talk about Farina like that! It seems like nobody's buying Farina's excuse. Hey, come now, everyone! Please don't stare at me as if I was a liar! I'm still the same Farina you knew, right? Marco Meepo? I don't... Hey, Shouldn't I don't care who you are. Don't talk about Farina like that. Good voice acting, though. <laughs> Sorry. I'm still the same Farina you knew, right? The one that you loved. Shouldn't you want to believe in me? Please. You've got to believe me. If what the prosecutor said is true, she really has committed a grave offense. Did she I don't know that was him though. All of us? That's Bog. And all of our parents and grandparents too? And then all of our ancestors? Ever since they were born? Yo, who asked you? Enough! That's enough! Tell me then, if I'm not the real high Yo, who's she pointing at? Me? Me! Who is? If you have no Kakomi. It's Kakomi. Hydro Archons existed, it's Kakomi. Nor can you find anyone who can I said this since before. Claim to be such. Then what grounds have you to say that I'm not actually the real deal? Wow, she came up with yet another argument. Ugh, how can we refute her now? Seems like she really doesn't want to give up. October... October 19th, uh, I said, I called Kokomi the true Hydra Archon. There's probably evidence of earlier, but that's just uh, in case you want some. I can't prove that she's an archon. We can try to prove that she's just a human. And if she's only human, um, then she wouldn't know. Um, I need to perform at the Grand Opera House. They're cleared of the accusations leveled against them. Uh, I mean, I was thinking that. What evidence can prove that Farina's human? Well, the fact that Nevelette had to do this, but I don't think that's it. Uh, Nevelette fell into seawater, but I don't think that is relevant. But Game Lady's attorney, America's. They're then clear that he's everything else that he's revealed. Uh, Tessa Fontaine can be dissolved water from the primordial sea. Over the years, Vashri kidnapped and dissolved many young girls for his experiments to try to. Okay. Uh. Might be this, but I don't know how that. Low key? I mean, if it's up to me, I, just, I use this. What we learned about fucking Arlequino. I don't know how the other ones relate to her. This, it can't be this one. It could be this one. It can't be that. Maybe? Why? Because she's not stopping people from getting dissolved, maybe? I guess. Fuck it. Well, I don't know why, though. From the primordial sea. And that means... Since you insist on claiming to be a god and not a human, then there's a method that you can use right here and now to eliminate all suspicions of you being the latter. Miss Navia, please apply to serve as a temporary attorney for the prosecution before addressing the court. Though you act in partnership with the prosecutor, you must still adhere to proper True. procedure. <sighs> Super sorry, Monsieur Chief Justice. I swear this really will be the last time that I'll speak out of turn. Now, I've brought some seawater from Poisson. As everyone knows, a massive flood struck the area not long ago, taking many lives, including those of some of my closest friends. Such. So, Miss Farina, would you dare to touch some of the seawater? I'll drink it. We are to believe that you are indeed the real Hydro Archon. Touching the seawater would have no effect on you. All it should do is strengthen your case. But if you don't dare to touch it, then we would have basically proved the reverse. Oh, and I must remind you that after the disaster at Poisson, nobody wants to see any more people dissolve. I do hope Wait, why is it like open air? Choose the simpler what if you you literally get? trip? What if it falls and it just kills someone? Navia from the Spina di Rasula. The Spina has governed Poisson for many years. I guess her suggestion is valid. If Lady Farina is indeed just a human, she's probably Fontanian like all the rest of us. 
Would she really dare to try? <laughs> My client, Farina, while she is an Archon and not just a mere human, can't actually touch the water because Archons, their physical form could still dissolve. And Farina, because she's so humble and wants to be loved by the people, she chose to be one with the people. Instead of being condescending and, and looking down upon you, she said, no, I want to be have a human form that would dissolve like yours. Sorry, uh, Farina? Lady Farina, this test has been unilaterally proposed by the prosecution. As it falls outside the realm of standard court proceedings, you possess the right to decline participation. <laughs> what if she chucks it at someone? Well, of course he had to tell her that. But refusing to participate is basically the same as a confession of guilt. She's just staring at the water without saying a single word. It really does seem like she's quite terrified of it. That could only mean... What's going on? Is she really planning to... Uh, that's not what we um, thought she would... Well, I thought we'd be bluffing. It should be fake water. Why is it real? Due to the inherent risk of the test, Lady Farina, you may... <laughs> what? Wait, that was her right hand too. Bro, use your left one. The fuck? <laughs> She's left-handed. Oh. Believe me now. I really am your archon. I'm nothing like a normal human who would fall apart as soon as they touch this water. True. Really? Was this not the most obvious thing in the world? Miss Sejuin, if you are present, Miss Sejuin, please come forward and attend to the defendant. Sejuin? Wait, why is she here? Don't be nervous. It'll just take a few seconds. Hmm, let me see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that should be enough. Please announce the results of your evaluation to the court, Miss Sejuin. As everyone doubtlessly saw, Miss Farina was displaying symptoms of hyperventilation and flushed skin. Flushed. These indicate that she was experiencing the adverse effects of exposure to primordial seawater. The extent to which she was affected is the same as other humans when exposed to primordial seawater of a similar kind. You know what, Sejuin? I don't really like you right now. First, you shoot Linny. Then you, like, fucking, like, manip... You literally, like, baited us and Lynette. Then, that's two. Th then, you also are going against Farina now. You know what? Fuck you. Sorry. Thank you, Miss Sejuin. Lady Farina, you may return to the defendant's stand. Oh, wait. What did she just say? I didn't get dissolved. Shouldn't that be enough to prove my innocence? She's just a Melusine? So is Sedine, and Sedine's goaded. Well, considering your tendency to run from your problems, we did originally prepare a direct sample of the seawater around Poisson. However, after extensive discussion, we exchanged it for a sample that is not concentrated enough to dissolve an actual human. After all, on the off chance that something entirely unexpected might occur, we don't want anyone else to lose their life to the sea. Yeah, so out of regard for Farina's life, you secured oh. a low concentration sample and asked the head nurse to serve as an expert witness. It's a great thing that the direct sample wasn't actually used. Farina could have... I... I can't believe... You... It's really going on here. Farina could not have known the can't have not known the consequences of touching it as a human. This is too unlike how she usually acts. Unless it's actually more important for her to keep her upper facade than to save her own life. Yes, it is. I don't know why you just realized this now, Traveler. She cares more about the act, even if she lost her hand. Listen to me. Listen to me, everyone. Please don't give me such cold and disdainful looks. What happened just now didn't prove a single thing. Think about it. How can you conclusively prove that an Archon can't also be affected by the primordial seawater? Also, also, if I was really just a human, why would I dare to just put my hand in that kind of water? <laughs> Please, everyone, anyone, just listen to me. I swear, I really am your Archon! 
Sag. I don't think anything she says at this point will sway anyone. The odds are just too stacked against her now. With all the things that have been said, Paimon doesn't think there's any way left for Farina to win. I believe the time for arguments and presentation of evidence has come to an end. If there are no objections, we will move on to the final judgment. I don't think anything she says at this point will sway her to just stacked against her now. In my capacity as Chief Justice, I shall now render judgment on Farina's misrepresentation of herself as the Archon of Fontaine. As a human who knowingly deceived her fellow citizens, Farina is... guilty. We shall now turn to the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal Bam. to render the final verdict on the charges. <clears throat> well, the fucking... that was the style or... <laughs> gotcha. According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, Farina is... <sighs> hmm? What's wrong? What's the Oratrice's verdict? No, the Oratrice also displays a guilty verdict. Isn't that correct then? However, the exact wording of the verdict is thus. The Hydro Archon, guilty to be punished via the death sentence. Uh, the, Yo, the the <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, this is actually France. I always thought that he was just a myth. The one and only time the death sentence has been handed out at the court, and it's been given to the very person we've worshipped as the god of justice? Farina's been sentenced to death by the Oratrice? We just wanted to use the trial to show her the seriousness of things so she'd tell us the truth. How did things escalate this quickly? This outcome is indeed quite strange. According to Fontaine's current definitions of justice, as well as its recommendations for criminal sentences. Is this sentence really appropriate for the crimes that have been committed? Saj. Yeah, even Mache wasn't sentenced to death by the Oratrice. Uh, I got was fucked. Smart, strange, is instead of free now, the Oratrice rendered the judgment on the Hydro Archon. Yeah, they're talking about the last Hydro Archon. Wait, now we have to prove that... She, didn't we just prove she's not the Hydro Archon? So doesn't that mean the other one has to die? Indeed. The fuck did the last one do? Sentence overly the excessive. The very point of our trial today was also to prove that Farina has never been the Hydro Archon in the first place. Well, I'm cooking. But now, the Oratrice seems to have deliberately invoked the title of the Hydro Archon. What does this mean? Wait, Your Honor, this judgment has to be false How, because the whole premise was she's guilty of not being the Hydro Archon, but then the, the judgment said the Hydro Archon must die, so it can't be my client. It can't be Farina. Farina doesn't die. If Rina's the Hydra Archon, then she wouldn't be guilty. Um, excuse me, if I may interrupt. Remine, this is your last chance. Sorry, is we love Remine. the trial still going? Yes, it is. Remine, oh, you finally made it. I assume this means you've completed your mission? Mm-hmm. Any mm -hmm. mission Father assigns to me will always be top priority. Okay, based. With some help from the other Fatui, Fremenet brings a stone slate. Is oh, that's the one we were missing. Is that the first prophecy slate? Who the fuck is that? Huh. So the knave privately arranged for Fremenet to try and find the missing slate. I adore you, Fremenet! went everywhere and finally found it at the bottom of the sea. It took me a long time to get around some dangerous stretches of water. He finally, he cooked. Hey, he cooked. Um, I doubted him at first. I can't lie, but he cooked. Already concluded. Then, doesn't that mean I've come too late? 
Oh no. Father will be disappointed in me. Sag. Don't worry. The mystery hasn't been resolved yet. It's not too late for you to shine. Thank you for your hard work, Mr. Fremenet. Please allow me to review the record left on the slate. Hmm. Hmm. Traveler, I believe that you have already seen the other existing slates. I would like you to come here and confirm their contents. It looks like a statue of the seven, but I don't know who the dude in the middle was. Huh? So what do you see? What this you looks like the previous Hydrakon releasing her divine power, turning the Oceanids into humans. Oh. I believe I've now made sense of the Hydro Archon's crime. It has to do with Fontaine's lost history. Huh? Watch, let me predict it. Are you ready? No, I won't though. Deceiving her people? Oh, wait, no, that's Farina, and we've already proven that she's not the Hydro Archon. Uh, so when you say Hydro Archon, do you mean the real Hydro Archon we've been kind of talking about? In truth, Everything that you've encountered in Fontaine up until this point can be traced back to the contents of these stone slates. However, I'm uncertain as to how much sense they currently make to you. Association within the contents of the slates and events in okay. real life. Let's try to recall the contents of the other three still. I remember what they were. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Have we done this before? I don't remember. It seems to show the previous Hydro Archon using her divine power, and then the Oceanids turn into humans. It's gonna be like, oh my god, the previous Hydro Archon, their heart was so big. Their whole people got turned into Oceanids, so she committed, or they, I don't know, they committed a cardinal sin of turning them back to humans, and then they cursed the next Hydro Archon, which is Farina. Watch. And then it's gonna be like, oh my god. Okay, sorry. The real, uh, Does that mean that Fontanians are transformed to Oceanids? Oh, Paimo wasn't expecting that. But if Oceanids can turn into humans, then perhaps this process can be reversed as well. The second stone slate shows Celestia floating in the sky and the Hydro Archon and her people worshipping it together. But the heavens... This must be the point when the Hydro Archon and the Fontanians were branded with their original sin. Does this mean that... The original sin and the Hydro Archon sin are the same thing? The third slate shows the Hydro Archon sinking into the sea surrounded by many people. <sighs> that reminds Paimon, didn't we also watch that happen to someone else? Navia? <laughs> Am I dumb? Did Navia sink? Well, the fourth slate is the prophecy the Fontanians have been talking about. People dissolving into the sea, the Hydro Archon crying on her throne, and so on. We didn't believe that such a crazy disaster could happen at first, did we? We have to verify the truths? The real event related to the prophecies. The stone slates in the ruin describe a uh, history of the future. This is the first piece. It seems to show the former Hydro Archon using divine power to turn Oceanids into people. Verify truth. Oh... My food's outside. I got poutine. It's gonna get cold. I don't need to eat it now, but I don't want it to be cold in the Canadian winter. Let me get it, and then we'll finish this after this short break. Yo, chat. I don't know if I'm gonna eat right now, but let me show you everything I got. Bro, I got actually valued. Dude, no, whoever brought it, they put it right in front of my door. So I literally couldn't open the door. And if I did, it would like fall everything over. I hate when they, so literally I had to, in order to open it, it was like here, right? Doors here, the pa food package was here. I had to literally get submissive and breedable on my knees to like open the door slightly and like reach my hand across to literally bring it in. It was fucked. Anyways, so this was like 20 Canadian, which honestly isn't that bad or like 19 Canadian. Isn't that bad for the amount of food I got? So we got, look, it came with a bunch of like chicken tenders with sauce, right? Okay, not bad, not bad, we take those. Okay, and then, that's not all, that's only half. That's only one thing, okay? And then, a fucking poutine. Sheesh! You guys see it? It kind of looks disgusting, but it's good, I promise. It's actually crack. I just can't eat it, I don't eat it normally, because it makes me feel gross, but it, but, Unless I'm like hungover, but oh, I just spilled water on my oh no, did I just drink my mouse pad? Wait, one sec. I'm gonna pour water in my mouse pad. Let me cook chat. Balding. I'm I'm not balding. Wait, there's water on the ground. What the fuck? 
Wait, was something leak? Did I leak something? How the fuck did I leak something? Okay, let me wash my hands. The moisture of the bag. Okay, I'm here. Okay, it seems to show the former Hydrocon using divine power to turn Oceanids into people. We okay. know from the case of the serial disappearances of young True. women that Fontanians can be dissolved in primordial seawater. And the first stone slate tells us that long ago, the Hydro Fuck, means talking. used her power to turn Oceanids into humans. This might be the reason that Fontanians can dissolve. Easy for Zyox. Celestia floating in the sky and worshiping the Hydro Archon and her people worshiping with together. The Hydro Archon and her people worshiping with together. The heavens still brought judgment down upon them. Might be this. It might also be this. I'm gonna skip this one. Uh, it shows the Hydro Archon singing into the sea surrounded by many people. Not as simple as falling True. into the sea. When Navia fell into the sea, her consciousness was subjected to judgment. The stone slates show the people gathered around the Hydro Archon in the sea. Could that be alluding to the same thing? So it's basically identical to that described in the prophecy containing circulating throughout Fontaine. Fontaine will eventually be dissolved into the sea and the Hydro Archon will sit alone on her throne and weep. Sag. No! I knew it. It was this one. Because the, the well, waters would kill everyone. Dude, yeah, I just thought that girl was relevant. She's not. Society. Fuck the fucking tea lady. Not many people believed it I'm eating my fucking poutine. Fuck you, chat. Nearly flooded with primordial seawater, which we know can cause Fontanians to dissolve. It seems increasingly likely that the prophecy may come true. If we hadn't dealt with it in time, things could have gone very badly. Perhaps what is about to take place has Wait, this is actually easy. before. The true sin of the Hydro Archon that Nervilet mentioned, and the original sin cast down on the people of Fontaine by Celestia, as recorded on the stone slate. They'll dissolve into the primordial sea, but won't cease to exist. Their essence will flow in the seawater, converge, and take the form of an Oceanid! The Hydro Archon was sentenced to death in court, shocking everyone present. Hmm. Perhaps this means that her sin was actually Fontaine's original sin. Eating meals for an eight-year-old. Bro, it's 3 a.m. Everything's closed except poutine and McDonald's. I chose poutine. That's it, literally everything else is closed here. Navia fell into the water inside those ruins. And she nearly dissolved. She was surrounded by I'm not going to cook at 3 a.m. court within her consciousness and was forced to take part in a trial meant to make her stay. True. The eruption of the primordial sea at the fortress of Meripi was the surest sign that the prophecy was about to come to pass no matter what. The prophecy's contents can all be verified by recent events. If we combine what we know together, loads of truth should come to light. True. Hello? Hello, game? Oh, it's a cutscene. Oh. I'll shut up. Oh, Paimon gets it Never mind, now. it's not a cutscene. So that's how you can make sense of it. But then it feels like... Going to have to share some truly shocking revelations. Let's hear them. The first slate reveals that Fontanians are not real human. What? Wait. Oh yeah, because the ocean thing. My bad, I knew that. Incredible. Linny, did you hear that? We're not real humans. Oh, because they're French. Oh my god, of course. French pe yeah. Yeah. All I get it. Fontanians were originally created by the late previous Hydro Archon with Oceanids as their basis. The evidence for that can be found in how only Fontanians could dissolve in primordial seawater, and how all the girls Vache dissolved were Dumb. also turned into Oceanids. Oh, and according to Navia, 
When she was about to get dissolved, she also saw everyone gathered around for a trial. All of them in the shape of Oceanids. Indeed. Yeah, and it follows from the content of the first slate that she probably angered Celestia by creating humans without prior permission. That could also explain why the Oratrice judged the Hydro Archon to be guilty. It's to account for that ancient sin. The Hydro Archon's true sin was creating us? And yet, after many hundreds of years, the Hydro Archon's creations have turned around to try to judge the Archon within the Opera Epicles. The twists of history are often the most unexpected of all. As the third said, I'm still convinced I should come after the fourth. Yeah, isn't the image here just like when Navia fell into the sea? So wouldn't it be trying to show the image of the Hydro Archon also falling into the sea once the prophecy has been fulfilled in the fourth slate? In the end, the people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only the Hydro Archon will remain weeping on her throne. Only then will the sins of the people oh, of Montaigne be washed away. <clears throat> Did Paimon get all that right? You've made some keen deductions. I must say, given how much you still don't know, it is impressive that you've already managed to connect so many pieces of the truth. Why is Nevola talking like However, he knows? How the fuck does this guy know? able to decode all the information on the slates, they've also been etched with an additional layer of hidden information using a different power source. When we were at the ruins, I tried to decipher the hidden information recorded in the slates. But since we only had three slates at the time, I was unable to come to a full conclusion. Now that the slate collection is complete, I shall make another attempt to decipher the narrative recorded within. If everything goes well, we should finally be oh, maybe you looked at the leaks. unadulterated truth. I believe I should share this truth not only with you, but with all the people of Fontaine as well. I will try to briefly summarize it for you. Your hypotheses regarding the origin of Fontanians and the sin of the Hydro Archon were both correct. In the Fontaine of old, the previous Hydro Archon sensed the yearning of her Oceanid familiars for life on land. Yo! Are we murdering Oceanids and Hydro shit for the fun? The Oceanids were enamored with the beauty and romanticism of human beings, and wishing to have those experiences for themselves, expressed to the Hydro Archon their desire to become of a similar kind. What if the end of Genshin Impact, it like vegan propagandas us, where it's like we're killing all these enemies that are just normal people, but getting turned or like life forms, like, like Oceanids, right? And the Hydro things and like the Hilly Trolls. And we're just murdering them for fun, for no reason. So we should become pacifists. That's the end of Genshin Impact. Wow. I predicted version 8.0. However, even though water as an element is intricately linked with the power of life, the Hydro Archon as one of the seven did not possess the authority to create a new form of human life. Wait, one of the seven? Wait, like Jungkook? Not one to Sorry, I'll in. shut up. I she eventually found a way to create permanent humanoid bodies for her familiars by appropriating the power of this planet's primordial sea. Okay. She poured primordial seawater into the Oceanid's blood vessels, creating humanoid mimics in the process. But if Fontanians were to ever come into direct contact with water from the primordial sea, the power within their bodies would escape these artificial restraints and return to the sea. As a result, their forms would collapse, and they would be reverted to their original forms as Oceanids. Of course, the Hydro Archon never received permission from the heavenly principles to create a new human race. And thus, the Hydro Archon and all of her creations came to shoulder the original sin of appropriating the power of the Primordial Sea. That is the true history of how the people of Fontaine first came into being. So you... I... We were all Oceanids before we turned into human beings? 
Bro, why do I have to? Do I not have... Oh, I don't have an auto. I was like, what the hell? That's way too much information for me. I think I'm just going to pretend that I never heard a single thing. Wait, but if that's the truth, we can't let the Hydro Archon be sentenced to death. After all, her only sin was creating us. This really might be too much information for your regular Fontanian, but it does answer a lot of our questions. Alas, your hypothesis regarding the third and fourth stone slates was inaccurate. The slate's respective positions are, in fact, correct. Wait, I literally called it when I saw it the first time. I said it was them birthing the new Archon. Is that, is that not what li literally the it is? The key point of the visual on the third slate is how all the individuals depicted in the water are humans. Maybe not, I don't know. Than no? Okay, my bad. They have not been dissolved. Which implies that the water depicted in this oh. slate is not water from the I don't primordial know. sea. I'm just a... I'll shut the up. The nation I'll of Fontaine is the nation of Hydro, as well as the nation of Trials and Justice. Instead of being the literal element, the water in the scene symbolizes judgment and justice. You may also recall Navia's experience. When she fell into the sea, her consciousness was surrounded by that of many others who intended to hold a trial to determine her fate. Therefore, the meaning of the third slate is that the people of Fontaine shall try the Hydro Archon at the Court of Justice. Wait, what the fuck? Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. <laughs> yes, it refers to our present situation. I think I'm following now. So, what you're saying is, even though we decided to put on this trial to avoid fulfilling the prophecy, in truth, everything we've done has happened exactly as the prophecy foretold. So now, it seems, we're the ones making sure it comes true. What should we do? Wait, so you're telling me? If we just took one more day to just fucking think about how the stone tablets work, we wouldn't have done the fucking prophecy? If Fremenet died for it one day earlier. No. I don't know. It feels like there's no way out of this. Huh. No matter what. The prophecy will be fulfilled. Is this what it feels like to be a prisoner of fate? If that's the case, does that mean the scene in the fourth slate will also be fulfilled? Would still happen later? Not necessarily. What if you figure out what the third slate is? So you're like, fuck it, we're not gonna have a trial. And then you literally nuke the people of Fontaine in game. You ask Zhongli to drop a meteor. They're all dead. The prophecy can't be fulfilled because how could they judge you if they're dead? True. Trump. Sorry. I would like to point out another small fallacy in your deductions. About the fourth slate, you probably thought that the eruption of primordial seawater beneath the fortress of Meripede served as the surest sign that the prophecy was about to come to pass, yes? Sure. However, I believe that rather than being a sure sign, that eruption could in fact only be a small warning of something far worse to come. As for the root cause of the catastrophe, I believe you've already encountered it once before. We're gonna be teleported to the Vermilion. It's like a Vermilion artifact. A small warning of the things to come. We must find the root cause of the disaster. What is the true source of the catastrophe? I'm not gonna look at chat. The evidence that verifies the intrusion of the primordial sea. It's not Linny. Honestly, I don't know about trial. It actually could be trial. I mean, the curse makes sense. <clears throat> Massive whale. Bro, I, no, I can't go on any of these. Oh, it's a whale. Wait, it was the whale. And reality. It's you. I'm not a whale. Sorry. If we're talking about a <clears throat> true culprit, that can only be that thing inside the primordial sea, right? 
I'm not gonna lie. I got like everyone correct on the first try except this one. So I'm just gonna explain something really fast. I low key forgot because we did. I, this is why I don't like trailers. I saw the whale in the trailer and I've been fighting the whale as a weekly boss for like four weeks now. So I didn't know if me seeing the whale was just me seeing the whale or if I saw it actually in the Archon quest and I kind of forgot about the whale. Anyway, let's keep going. The truth, the original sin, the trial, Copium. and the root cause of the disaster. Oh, oh no. Well, at least we get to see Skirt. Whoa! Ten huh? Surely a dragon clears a whale, right? Never mind, they're dead. We're a bozo. from aren't you in jail um. yo that well does not look damaged never mind he dipped okay maybe he is he looked exactly the same hey child Dude, imagine if this form was playable. Holy fuck. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, what? That was way too close. He just wandered. So we've met it at last. I understand very well why it is chosen to make an appearance here. <laughs> Bro said thumbs down and then dipped. does not belong to Tibat. It is a monster that has traversed the stars, weeping all the while. It has been greedily consuming the energy from the planet's primordial sea, using it to grow. That is the main cause for the rising sea levels. With the days about to reset. And once it has finished consuming all of the energy contained within the sea, its next step will be... You said that when the Hydro Archon first created Fontanians out of Oceanids, she filled their blood vessels with primordial seawater. Precisely. That whale finds the blood of Fontanians nigh impossible to resist. Therefore, when it left the primordial sea, it decided to make its next stop a packed opera house full of food. Food in the form of Fontanians. We just barely managed to push it back, right? In that case, won't it come back to target the people again once it's managed to recover its strength? That is correct. Indeed, it is more accurate to say that we should thank that harbinger for buying us some time. Without him, the whale would have likely come onto land far sooner. From the way he looked, he must have been fighting the Hello, creature thing. for quite a long time. How is Child okay? Knew that he had a special connection with that whale, but we definitely didn't expect it to help us out like this. Anyway, now that we know that this whale is the actual cause of the disaster recorded in the prophecy, all we need to do to stop the prophecy would be to find a way to beat it up, right? It is too late. What do you mean? It had already absorbed too much of the primordial sea's energy before we could notice it. At this point, it has become practically integrated with the sea itself. Even if the entirety of Tevat were to be destroyed, it could still survive and swim off towards some other world. That... that's not something I will accept. Wait, surely we if that exists, we're gonna get the Quantum came, Void element soon, right? Found the true culprit. We're gonna Void character? Come so far. You can't just tell me that the last hurdle is some impossible foe. That's just... Indeed, that's not how a grand performance should end. I'll fight it to the end. No matter what. Okay, I mean, I respect so that. prophecy will be fulfilled no matter what, huh? Thought, thought, thought. The prophecy. Yes, what has been prophesied will be fulfilled. 
You may view such things as the history of the future. After everything, it's still turned out like this. We couldn't fight against fate. But wait, if this is all about fate. Just as prophecies are usually only the future as seen from the perspectives of the gods. Could things be happening in hidden corners where the gods gaze does not fall? Ultimately, fate shall serve as your only guide. No matter what will happen in Tavat's future. All you need to do is to play your part. Should be the end of the prophecy we fulfilled. There will still be a way to save everyone. Did I miss something? Wait, I forgot about Frina. What is it that you want to say to me at the last moment in the box? What is her real secret? Yo, what the fuck is happening? Oh, what's happening with the oratories? I believe it is preparing to carry out the death sentence. <laughs> or she's gonna start weeping on her throne. No, I still need answers. <laughs> Fuck is that? Bro, what the What the fuck was that? Do I get to play? No. Why is she barefoot? You <laughs> Oh Farina. <laughs> Sorry. That shocked expression on your face is just too amusing. But I like her voice. I couldn't help myself. Yo, can she be playable? You are not Farina. Who are you? Fosa Ah, uh, the okay. sweet well. sound of bewilderment. Marvelous. A sure sign that my attempt to deceive everyone was a resounding success. But to answer your question, I am Fosa You know, the god. Fosolo, why did you deceive us? Oh, that wasn't my goal, of course. Goodness, no. But I had to fool everyone else, too, if I was to stand any chance of deceiving the heavenly principles. Deceiving the heavenly principles? It's all because of that pernicious prophecy. Dreadful, wasn't it? Everyone doomed to dissolve. Fontaine condemned to be flooded. One was not amused. In fact, one was positively bemused when that problem was thrust upon me by my dearest predecessor. That's the former Hydro Archon Egeria for the uninitiated. It hardly gets more disastrous than a preordained national catastrophe, now does it? She knew full well that the prophecy would surely come to pass. And as one of the seven, she also knew full well that one defies the heavenly principles at one's peril. So yes, as you have no doubt surmised, it was a rather impossible situation that I found myself in. I spent a terribly long time mulling it over, alone on the ocean floor. And I was almost growing barnacles by the time I finally realized there was only one possible solution to this confounding conundrum. Bro, English. I, I had to outwit the heavenly principles, allow the prophecy to be fulfilled, ostensibly at least, while saving everyone at the same time. <laughs> I'm a genius, I know. I can only assume that's why Egeria chose me as her successor. 
Although, looking back now, it was hardly the inheritance one dreams of. Between the task of saving the nation, the quotidian duties of the Hydra Quotid Archon, and not to mention the original sin of creating a new race of humans, I dare say she left me quite a colossal mess to clean up. <sighs> but one can only play the hand one is dealt. I did not choose this, any more than I chose to be one of her Oceanid familiars. So you were also once one of the Oceanids, transformed into a human by Egeria's hand? Yes, I was. I always dreamed of becoming human. And I still do, even now. In my eyes, to be human is to be part of the greatest opera ever known. After becoming a god, I separated my divinity from my body and spirit, leaving behind only a self that was as naive and bewildered as my past self on her first day as a Saj. human being. What the fuck? The me you see before you now is that divinity. And the human counterpart I left behind, I named Farina. She could feel joy, sorrow, and everything in between. She could be as vain and conceited, or as meek and vulnerable as she wished. Her strengths were of a kind only a human could possess, as were her shortcomings. But in my eyes, Farina's humanity was what made her perfect. She was perfectly human in every way. The person I always wanted to be. Anyway, oh, she's been sad so for then I cursed her. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? There's... All part of the plan, of course. The plan to deceive the heavenly principles. <sighs> Do you still remember the fact? Anyway, so then I cursed her. The Hydra Archon alone, weeping on her throne. In order that the prophecy might appear fulfilled, I invited Farina to be an actress, to play the part of the Hydro Archon in the prophecy. Under the curse I placed on her, so long as I, Fosalor's divinity, continued to exist, she could not die. But nor was she free to live her life in the pursuit of happiness. Instead, she was forced to take the stage in the Opera House, to embrace the role of leading lady, to forever play the part of the god from the prophecy, all to create a deceitful appearance of that prophecy coming to pass. I suppose now you probably understand why your court is called the Opera Epicles. But Farina is only human, isn't she? Even though she has had a long life, her mind is no stronger than that of any other ordinary human being. I cannot begin to fathom what she has had to endure. It must have been torture for her. It has indeed. And although she is, in a sense, me in human form, I most definitely owe her an apology for it. It's been 500 years, and all along, She's been playing her part in the most unimaginably long, unbearably lonely, and agonizingly painful opera of all time. Well. Man, fuck you, Fusselor. You made Farina cry. In 500 years of suffering like i get why she did it but fuck you it's like when it's like when okay not for an obscure reference but it's like when leorio punches gon's dad it's like dude fuck you what is she doing on stage wait a moment that probably isn't farina it's likely a reflection of her inner self this speak directly to her i took a note what you wanted to know came here for answers so opportunity is not to be missed let me try talking to her
Not the same thing. Dude, imagine not only having to be French for 500 years, but also fucking crying for 500 years. Because you're... Hello, Farina. Oh, who permitted you to come onto this stage? Now, I understand your admiration for my august self, but I must ask you to keep to the rules. Oh, come on, it's me. Uh, Farina? All right, all right. It is not my Don't look at me, don't look at me. You. The fuck? There is no need to state your name. Just be off with you. Do not distract me from my performance. But I don't see an audience here. <laughs> oh, Just let the stage let's go off, please, if only... Can you not feel it? Oh no, the voices. I am Fosalor. The eyes of countless Fontanians are upon me. I must, at all times, display the utmost elegance and nobility. Something's off. There's no getting to her. Even in her heart of hearts, she's still playing the role of Hydra Archon. What sort of resolve does she have? Even her inner self and subconscious would have such an impenetrable defense. I have to find a way. Dear audience, the performance is experiencing a technical difficulty, but worry not. The guards shall resolve it soon enough. Behold. Fuck. Search for Oh? Bro! Okay. Hey, what gives? The audience is still watching me, you know. Guards? Wait, where are the guards? Guards! Read the names? Oh, my bad. I wasn't looking. All the spotlight. Well, I was looking, but I wasn't reading. All the spotlights of Freya's heart, they must have symbolized the eyes of the people on her. Speaking of which, I just received some sort of signal. Was that her true voice? A ticket. When did that end up here? A single pool? Yo! Yo, Star Rail! Either way, it looks like the show's about to begin. Show me how you truly feel, Farina. Scene one before a mirror. Farina. What the... I can't wish here. Wait, we turned into the dark form. Because Trina's been white, like the white, uh... Who's calling me? Where are you? Be not nervous. Be not afraid. Oh, there she is. I am before you. They look like a guillotine. Wait, guillotine. Wait, Fucking light falling. Mirror me? How can this be? Hmm. <laughs> mirror you, huh? You know what? That's not bad. Let's go with that. Mirror me. What do you wish to say? The prophecy. Have you heard of it? What prophecy? Oh, wait. I know. I think. I don't know why, but it's in my head somehow. The people will all be dissolved into the waters. And only the Hydro Archon will remain, weeping on her throne. Only then will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away. Oh, <laughs> very good. You know it well. What's going on? I can't seem to remember anything clearly. The only thing I know for sure is this prophecy. Will it really come to pass? 
Yes, it will. And that is why I've come to you. Disaster will come to Fontaine sooner or later. Things will develop just as the prophecy declared. There is no escaping it. But doesn't that mean everyone will die? I'm a Fontanian just like them. Will I dissolve too? <laughs> oh, don't worry. Magical meetings exist in this world precisely to give people a chance to turn things around. It is the reason why you met me today. I will tell you how to save everyone, but you may have to suffer somewhat. Again? Oh, oh. so there's still hope after all. Goodness, you frightened me. You spoke so much and with so much certainty. As for the suffering, well, I will admit that the first thing that came to mind was... Oh, this is the past. Why do okay, I never mind. To be the one to suffer? I forgot of the but camera. This... If the prophecy will come true... The suffering is... What's yeah, I know. Okay. Die anyway, right? So, if I've already met you as my magical meeting in this world, if there were scales with all the people of Fontaine on one side and my pain on the other, is it not obvious where the scales should tilt? <laughs> you truly are the perfect human, my ideal. I suppose this would also be the justice that belongs to you. Uh -huh. Don't worry, it's nothing. Listen well. Fontaine has just lost its Hydro Archon. I need you to play a role. That of the new Archon. Play as... a god? That's right. You must begin a never-ending masquerade. You must never let anyone suspect your identity. If you can keep it up, then I shall have my way of defying this prophecy. But should your identity be revealed, then all hope will be lost. Oh. But how will I do this? A human assuming the role of a god without being exposed? Don't worry. What you must do is not to turn yourself into a real god. You simply need to play the role of a god as humans imagine them to be. Being a human yourself, I'm sure you already know what such an entity would be like. Remember, your true challenge will not be pursuing divinity, but contending against humanity. Um, I'm still not sure I understand, but I'll try. I'll try to do this. So, how long am I going to have to play this role? To accomplish this mission, you will have to stay on the stage for many, many years. You will endure and not grow old until your task ends. But I promise you, all will eventually end in a magnificent and dramatic trial. And everyone will be saved. Copium. A what about silver? Huh. What about Malouse? How exciting. I'll be looking forward to it. Chat, how many years did Chow have to suffer? Sorry, not gonna make this about Chow. Sag. Chat, if you have to... Okay, let's say you have to, like, fake being the Archon, right? Can't she just have a police state and then just have, like, a whole military enforcing that she's the Archon? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Where the fuck am I going? Oh, it's thrown? <laughs> Raiden. No, no, dude. The 
Maison Cardinalise has announced my accession, but this is my first time facing the people. What should I say to most appear like a god? To be honest, I still don't know. Perhaps I should first try to act natural. Courage. Ahem. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening, and welcome to the Opera Epicles. I'm sure you've all heard about how I have taken on the role of Hydro Archon. Indeed, I am Farina de Fontaine, your new Archon. Pure Ernest. In truth, I know little about becoming a nation's new god, but it will be my honor to guide you all. As the god Fosalor, the god of justice, I shall do all within my power to lead you into an age of fairness and justice. Close politely. Once again, thank you all for coming. You're welcome. If you should have any questions or suggestions, please send them to the Maison Cardinalise. The future of Fontaine will require us to work together, after all. This should do it. I thought I might stammer, but thankfully, I was able to convey Ooh. my thoughts just fine. Okay, and next. That's the new Hydro Archon. Is this some kind of joke? Yo, by the fuck way? you! I would have thought that a being that surpasses humanity would be a bit more assertive. <laughs> hey, did you hear that? She even told us to send her suggestions there at the end. Shouldn't gods be all powerful? She's being so modest. What's the difference between her and an ordinary person, then? Oh, if you ask me, perhaps the succession didn't actually happen. She might just be a maison back puppet. Wait, what's going on? Why is everyone suspecting me of being a fake? Oh, this is bad. If I get exposed here, there'll be no saving the people from the prophecy. Right. Mir me said that I just need to play the role of a god as humans imagine them to be. Calm down, Farina. Think. Think. What do the people want? How would they imagine a god to speak and act? Assertive, with a strong sense of presence. One who can dispel all doubt. That is the character I'm fated to play. Oh, that's why they made her... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the VA actually popped off. Very good, my she was forced people. to be I almost said annoying, but I don't know what the word is. Arrogant? I, mean, I guess it's annoying, but role. like Now, I was wondering if some weak puppet were to one day come on to the stage and claim ownership of this opera house, would the children of Fontaine follow them? <laughs> well, it seems that you would all see right through them. Having passed my test, you are qualified to witness wondrous trials alongside my august self here in this I have a question. house. I have a question. Okay, we know why Farina acts this way now. Does anyone know why Fischl acts this way? Farina, we get it now. We know the lore behind it. Makes sense. Why is Fischl acting like this though? <laughs> like, like, why? Okay. You may consider my previous <laughs> act a door gift of sorts. <laughs> I thought it was a debut that suited the atmosphere. Oh, was it explained in the event? Oh yeah, the fucking official event. Okay, I forgot about that. Yeah, I remember that event. Okay, I mean, all right, whatever. Fine, I rest my case. I mean, I, I concede. Now then, let us be reintroduced. Ah, so that was just a performance. How could I have forgotten that we were inside an opera house? A personality? It's quite shocking, to be honest, but I suppose it's a better look than before. Such a fascinating and bold deity. How wonderful. Our future may yet be bright after all. It seems I've turned them around. Best follow this flow and restart my accession speech. Resolutely with conviction. My dear people, whether you acknowledge me or not, whether you trust me or nay, I say to you, keep faith in your ardor for justice. 
We have heard it said that this nation's sins can no longer be washed away. Well, I say that justice is most fragrant when it blooms amid sin. Fucking turn up the drama! The scales of justice should not weigh heavy in the hands of its god. On one side, it must carry fairness and justice. <laughs> and on the other, praise and applause. <laughs> May law be the prayer on our lips. May judgment be our worship. Let us light the fires and drink to the future of Fontaine. Are there are actually different options based on what I click. There is no I hope so. trouble in this world that justice cannot solve. All that is needed is for you, my people, to believe in it, heart and soul. So long as I, the Archon Fosalor, stand within the Opera Epicles, so long as I stand before the Oratrice, I shall even judge the gods of this world! Whoa! That's my Archon! Whoa, yeah! Scene three, Opera House, Trina. Oh, I can walk fast now. Wait, there's a bed. What the fuck? It's over here. Wait, I can sit. What's about to happen? Lady Farina, here are today's case reports as well as a summary of the follow-up for your perusal. <sighs> Come now, was I not just at the Opera House in person? Leave these kinds of things to Nouvellet. Besides, none of these trials were the one that I'm looking forward to the most. Um, if I may be so impertinent, what kind of trial are you truly looking forward to? A magnificent, dramatic, and wondrous trial. A trial to end all things. <sighs> How could you hope to understand? That's true. I fear I lack the ability to grasp your divine thought, Lady Archon. No need for fright. And do not take what I said before too seriously. <laughs> Go now. Do your duties. The trial I await. It will come one day. Boom. Lady Farina, uh, I don't know what to say. Thank you for agreeing to see me. No need to thank me. Or rather, thank your own sense of perseverance instead. Long have you stood in line to meet me, have you not? <laughs> oh, I'm afraid that's just an inevitable consequence of my divine charm. <laughs> All right. Deuteria, is it? How is your son's illness? Oh, uh, you remembered me, and you knew of my family too. Of course, I'm a he's go. Doing much better Sorry. now. In fact, he is far more of an ardent believer than I. He was the one who forced me to seek an audience with you, and to bring your words back to him. <laughs> oh, good, very good. If this should happen again in the future, please do not hesitate to come and tell me. Going down to citizens' homes every so often, while not usual practice, should serve as a fine change of pace. Oh, you're such a gentle and wise god. Thank you once again, on behalf of my son. Uh, 
Lady Farina, here are the latest hydrological reports. As for the specific parameters you asked to take note of, I'm afraid things still don't look good. I see. It's as I thought, then. As your god, I did already expect this, but I wanted to see how far your human wisdom would allow you to analyze it. All manner of signs indicate that the prophecy will still come to pass. Forget it. <laughs> That's not something you need to worry about right now. Uh, well, as I understand it, the Fontaine Research Institute is also trying to find a way to counter the rising water levels. Really? Uh, have they found anything? I'm afraid that they haven't found any effective solution thus far. Okay. <clears throat> oh, is that so? Well, no wonder. This issue has reached the realm of the gods, after all. Still, their spirit is praiseworthy. This is the last one. Am I sleeping? Veg. The day is finally over. I haven't had a moment to breathe this whole time. But it's good to see that everything's getting on track. There are no longer any voices of suspicion. Maybe this is fine. I just need to keep going, and everyone will be saved. All right, Farina, don't think too hard about this. You need rest. Tomorrow's a new day. Lady Farina, here are the new trial reports for the latest cases, as well as a summary of the follow-up. Uh, there'll be no need for that. I've seen them already. There's no need to go back over scenes I've witnessed in person before. True, why are you giving her the reports, dumb idiot? Lady Farina, I I've waited so, so long for this chance to see you in this manner. Indeed, my dear loyal citizen. This joyous moment is an honor for us both. Oh, just Lady give it to your secretary. We're detecting significant hydrological anomalies near Poisson. Understood. Keep monitoring. Keep me informed should anything come up at the Institute. Uh oh. <sighs> I don't think I let anything slip today. I must show the people that there is nothing to worry about. I just don't know when these days will end. I feel utterly exhausted. Best to rest early today, too. Oh. Sag. Do I purity? I'll do it later. Surely. <laughs> Scene 182375. Jesus. I've heard that the first oh, was 500 years. who was honored to receive an audience with you was Madame Deuteria almost 20 generations ago. <laughs> and what a fine family yours is indeed. It brings me great joy to meet such a faithful believer, a descendant of a line most ardent. <laughs> Surely you exaggerate, Lady Farina. Okay, hear me out. You're living for 500 years, and your city's only so big. So you know every family that's there, right? So here's what you do. All the cool people, you like them. You let them reproduce. The people that are annoying, you just kill their entire lineage and the in-game. And then you have Fontaine as just a bunch of cool people. And then you're the Archon, and everything's cool. Uh, um, my lady? Hmm? Huh? What okay, don't it? do that. Good citizen. Oh, uh, are you crying? Are you, why are you advocating? I'm not advocating for it. I'm saying Farina could have, but she didn't, which is good. Good for her. I'm glad she didn't. I'm glad she didn't. 
must be the overflow of hydro from my person. <laughs> well, can't quite help being the god whose dominion is the waters, can I? Uh, no wonder. No wonder. A manifestation of your power, then. Sad. Oh, Archon, I am honored to have witnessed it. Honored indeed. <laughs> so interminable. <laughs> so wow. lonely. Just how much longer? Hundreds of years must have passed by now. Perhaps the show must go on for hundreds more. I never imagined that it would hurt so much. <laughs> have I reached my limit? No. Perhaps I reached it long ago. Today I didn't even notice my own tears. I want to tell someone, anyone, about this. But would that not destroy all I've done so far? I've conducted so many investigations across the centuries. But there's not even a sliver of hope that we might break the prophecy. All I can do is keep heart. I must maintain this act. It is the only way to save Fontaine. Please, mirror me. You have to succeed. Um. Trina and Farina, you don't have to shoulder this burden alone. Although I don't know what you might be keeping from everyone, your people are more than willing to share your burden with you. I'm doing the super replay in your inner world. Shall I find what you want to tell me? My burden. <laughs> That's impossible. It was fated right from the start that this would be my duty alone. But even if your burden doesn't need to be shared, you can still choose to confide in someone. Just share it with me. I'm what you call a witness. A witness? Huh. Yes. I've heard that you came to Tevat from beyond the stars, yes. In other words, you never belonged here. And if Tevat is, in its entirety, a show on a stage, then you're just a spectator, aren't you? <sighs> if that's the case... She's right. I could confide in her. Nah, she's literally about to. And I got if, fucking ruined. If things don't play out as expected, the people of Fontaine will be the ones to pay the price. No, Farina. You shouldn't. Bro, Farina's the only character that can make me stop talking. <laughs> but what if. What if it's really alright? Farina, you've worked so hard for so, so long. Surely it would be okay to put yourself first for once. Just this once. Is it such an outrageous thing to do anyway? To Damn. find someone in whom you can confide your frustration. Bro, why do we do this a day earlier? Surely. It, we could have been her friend. If you let this opportunity slip through your fingers, it might never come by again. Think about it. Why don't we just go to... We should have went from Mondstadt straight to Fontaine. Skip Sumeru, skip Inazuma. Just swim there. Nothing to say. I am Farina, the Archon of Fontaine. Everything will surely get better. Oh, never mind. All you need to do, dear spectator, is to witness my performance until the curtains fall. <sighs> F 
fine. <laughs> oh, Lumine's pissed. Sag. So even Farina doesn't know the truth? You've never once let her in on the full plan? Yes, it had to be done. To deceive the heavenly principles, you must first deceive yourself. She did very well. If she had let her resolve falter even once in these five centuries, Fontaine would have been doomed to the most tragic fate. It seems that trusting humanity was the right decision after all. I believe that I understand how your deception works, but that is only half the truth, is it not? How would you build on this foundation to save the people of Fontaine? True. That is the most important thing. True. Ah, good, good. You better have of a good. Course, you better have a good explanation. Fontaine has pinpointed the crux of the issue. Crux. I'm sure you've long sensed that the Oratrice is no simple machine. Yes. I've always suspected that it had its own consciousness, and Linny did mention that he heard a human voice within the core chamber. It now seems that that person was you, hidden within the machine all along. Am I right? And then I became one with the Oratrees, taking Fontaine's Gnosis with me. Yes, it would seem so, wouldn't it? Alas, your understanding of this device still lacks sufficient depth. In truth, it is no enactor of justice. It is, in fact, a device created to kill the God of Justice. Beg your pardon? The fuck is happening? Oh, you have it. And to be more precise, not only will the Oratrice take down the God of Justice, it will also take down the Divine Throne upon which she has been placed. <laughs> I mean, did you think I would be the sort to enjoy peaceful repose while Farina suffered? My work over these last 500 years has been to constantly accumulate indemnidium within the oratrice. But really, some have already discovered that only a small fraction of the energy generated by the device was ever used to provide power to Fontaine. The vast majority has been, had to be, accumulated to enact this death sentence. It was all a part of your plan then? Both the trial and the sentence. Indeed. This power, accrued over five centuries, could have sustained Fontanians for millennia had it only been used for that purpose. Almost all of it has now been stored within the oratories. But only power of this magnitude could hope to destroy the Hydro Archon's divine throne. Shaking the rules established by oh, she said, Fuck the system and breaking through the institution that is the Seven. So the Oratrice's call for death was for neither Farina nor Fosalor, but for the Hydro Archon. The destruction of that divine throne. If I do not misunderstand your intent, you must be. Returning what's rightfully yours to you, of course. Wait, what? In other words, this was all done to return the authority of the Hydro Archon to the Hydro Dragon of this planet. But... Wait, no wonder never that's fucking broken! Oh, what? Getting sad again, are we? The authority of the ancient dragons shall soon be yours once more, O oh Hydro Dragon Sovereign. And this is the face you make. <laughs> Dumb. That's All fucked. We've done throughout the years. He's just so Wait, let us pull for her before she dies. At the very end. I've never quite seen it that way, you know. Even now, I'm quite pleased at how well my deception worked. <laughs> Hydro Dragon, Hydro Dragon, 
Don't cry. I must say, had it been within my rights, I would have loved to judge the heavenly principles themselves. Were they not guilty of essentially the same crime? Egeria stole the power of the Primordial Sea, and the Heavenly Principle stole the power you ancient dragons possessed. I, for my part, am the God of Justice, and is it not just that your original powers should be returned to you? Speaking of justice, I have always believed that justice lies in the process of pursuing human existence itself. So, if the theft of the Primordial Sea's might was Fontaine's original sin, then, leaving matters of procedural right and wrong aside, the descent of the Fontanians as humans and their right to exist in this world would be Fontaine's original justice. In other words, existence was Egeria's justice, and to me, Justice is the continuation of that existence. Okay. Defying the prophecy and ensuring that Fontaine's people shall live on. That should be the justice enthroned over all others. At this point, we, whether it be myself or all other Fontanians, have shouldered the burden of this sin for far too long. Eudex Nervillette, the highest judge in our land. When you regain your full power as an elemental sovereign, what verdict shall you pass upon us? So when I was invited to the court of Fontaine to serve as Eudex, I see now that that was your idea too. At last, I now understand the true purpose behind this position. In the beginning, I was uninterested in human existence. But these five centuries of living alongside them have gradually brought about mutual understanding between us. And I have even attempted to feel as they feel. Um. You are a devious one, Fosalor. Oh, the pretty fucking 5D plan. Things being as they are. Surely you know that I could never declare them to be guilty. Yo! <sighs> the hour Please don't die. Execution is oh my god, here. she's dead. For the sinner, the curtain call has come. At least give us a skin. I know I may not sound it, but faced with death, I find myself a little afraid. Perhaps this is one thing both gods and humans have in common. <laughs> Farewell, Nervalette. I hope you've enjoyed the part you played these 500 years. <sighs> Chad, can I alt F4 before he dies? Why did Farina's have? Oh, 
I, Udex Nuvelet, hereby declare People of Fontaine, your sins are forgiven. <laughs> what just happened? Has the death sentence been carried? Bro, what the fuck was that? Was that bright light some also, we saw the mess skirk, so the quest I isn't even over. But since we're all still alive and haven't been dissolved, I assume whatever happened was good for us. It's time to end this. <laughs> we must meet out punishment to that beast. <laughs> I have gained the strength sufficient to deal with it. Through certain means, I now have the ability to separate the power of the Primordial Sea from that creature. We should seize the opportunity to pursue our quarry. You obtained power just now. Trauma. Now that the Oryx can no longer function, I require an executor to help me mete out justice. You mean me? The root of the calamities befalling Fontaine. The beast that enacts the prophecy. Its name is the all-devouring narwhal. Come with me, traveler. The hour of execution has come. Damn, what the fuck? The bullet crying almost got me, I can't lie. The rest, I was fine. Damn. Done my best to separate the power of my lord and see from the way. Considering the size of the beast, I cannot reach the power source. Wait, we still haven't seen where Frina's outfits come from, right? Because she's only white in the. I shall fail. In the quest. The ancient dragon's power with you. We shall look for an opening to get. Story quest? Oh. I can feel its sorrow turning into hostility. Dude, why are you typing whale versus whale? I'm not a whale! It's whale versus normal player! Oh, this soundtrack is fucking sick. I don't know if I've heard it before. Wait, did I not just apply Usia to it? I did, right? Okay. Let's kill it now. Cry louder. The wind rises. The fact that this whale looks hydro but it's not hydro immune proves that the void element will come in time. We will be getting a void character or because this whale is void. True. 
Or abyss, whatever. Abyss element. The fuck? Oh! Did she just throw Chuck? <laughs> Wait, that other outfit was... Wait, is it the same outfit? What the fuck? Wait. Thanks for helping with the cleanup. Should have been my job, but... Oh, respectfully, 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 respectfully. This side is so much cooler. I'm sorry. This looks sick compared to the... I mean, I guess they're both cool, but... Start brawling in the meantime. I like that color palette a lot better. Move your cam? Why? I'm literally blocking nothing. Yeah, it's Jing Liu. Well, actually, I had a feeling that it would happen at some point. But they bumped into one another earlier than I thought. What a blunder. I suppose I'll have to swing my sword three million times as penance. Yeah, I mean, I've talked about this before. I think she looks good. I think she looks a little too... How do I say this? I think her face is a little too young to be like the fucking child master that's been in the void for like 28 millennia. But I still think she looks sick, so... Disciple? Your master's pet. That power. Who are you exactly? Uh, Hyman has an idea. From what she said earlier, she must be child master. Maybe she looks like she's from Honkai because she's in the abyss, right? And then the last region of Genshin, we go to the abyss. Then what happens? The final quest, Dainsleaf comes out. We meet our twin, we fight, we end up. Close our eyes, wake up. Welcome aboard the Astral Express. We go into Star Rail and continues from Genshin. Yo! What if the last planet in Star Rail that we explore is Mondstadt? <laughs> is that even Mondstadt? No, it's not. It's just that he gave us the impression that she was the less talkative. Look at her eyes. Oh, well, look. I simply did not have anything to say. Yeah, they're to fucking like red, pink, black, pink, black. So I'll shut up. Managed to defeat the all-devouring narwhal without using power from beyond this world. She is pretty cool though. Like so you may speak to me as color palette wise. What sort of person would take the all-devouring narwhal as a pet? I have to agree. It's a strange use of a planet's primordial waters just to raise an all-devouring narwhal. That kind of power is wasted on it. It's not cooperative. It eats too much. And I have more important things to do with my Yo, chill! The only thing that creature has going for it is its looks. All in all, it fails as a pet. Hey, if you need a new pet... Uh, I... Mister? I'm sorry. I think you sorry. might have missed the point. The point being... Well, being that this pet almost destroyed an entire nation. So what sort of person is your master? Yo, those legs are sick. Well, child's master's... Master. Wait, is that right? If she is like a different element, like fucking quantum, imaginary, void, whatever, whatever that element is, that's the best element. That's my favorite element. Whatever it is, it's like, well, imagine they make it geo. Imagine the only reaction you could do is void crystallize. I'm gonna shut up. Move cam. Sorry. I mean, I don't know where to put it. Oh, right. No, I'm blocking Nevelette. So I'm, no whatever. Him. Sorry. I assumed you did. His name is Sertologi. Serta Logi? Oh, I knew that. I, I know about this. Yeah, I know. I know about him. Okay, I don't. Uh, who the fuck is Serta Logi? Wait, her earring's cool. <laughs> Sounds like a type of pasta. Dude, that's fucked. You can't say that. What, Dude, with dude. Dude, you can't. Okay, who? I am unfamiliar with that name. Oh, it's not auto. My bad. So Master is insufficiently famous. Wait, the foul. How should I describe him then? Oh, wait. Have you heard of That's the one of the Fatuis, right? Oh, wait, no, I don't know, actually. I could be the coping. Foul? I know the fool, the jester. Oh, foul legacy! Still it's... I still don't know who that is, though. But I know that the, this the foul legacy. That's all I know. Vetterfulnir, then? Or Gold Rhine Daughter? Oh, that one we've heard! Bro, imagine having eight. Wait, Albedo's mom? What the fuck? Imagine having eight names and no one knowing who you are. <laughs> Sorry, you're blocking Skirk. My bad. 
Lore Skipper. No, I actually, dude, I, I didn't know who one character was. And then people were like, bro, it was revealed in Child's trailer. Child's trailer was out three years ago. Do you expect me to go back and re, I'm sorry. I actually do every day I watch it. Uh, so yeah, I knew that. Dude, I, I'll go here. No, I. Are you happy now? Oh, so you do know that name. To be honest, I also heard all of those names and titles from my master. I don't actually know them either. It's not out of my bed. But I suppose you understand now, yes? My master is likely a similar sort to Ryan daughter. They are both pursuing some form of perfection. Wait! Didn't you also <laughs> mention a visionary person? Paimon didn't quite catch their name. Actually, never mind that. I believe it expedient to inform you. That the all-devouring narwhal used up nearly all its strength fighting you. Such roiling hydro energies will prove difficult for the planet's deep seas to digest. As such, the fontaine back on the surface has most likely been thrown into chaos. And Bro, I'm actually I, the prophecy that you've been fretting over should I'm not like be sweating. Full swing. What? No, there's little to be surprised about, Paimon. It's natural after all. The prophecies are surely come true. We knew this and accepted it. However, not to worry. Fosalor has already managed to deceive the heavenly principles. That's true, actually. Fosalor, yes. why do you remind? The people will all be dissolved into the waters. Why are you doing this to me? And only Farina will remain, weeping on her throne. Why are you doing this to me right now? Why? Dude, why? I was talking to Skirk. Will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away? Bird? Silver! Malus! Please, 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 please. No, they're not. They're not gonna come back. How's her hat not flying off? Oh my god, it's the sunken city of Atlantis. Fontaine is an Atlantis reference. There's no fucking way. Ain't no fucking way. Oh, wait, it's a ship. What the fu- Oh, it's the yeah, it's the Rizzi ship. All hands initiate emergency rescue. Bro, built no- Bro is Noah. Fucking built the Ark. for the slander in act four he actually he actually he actually he actually Look, did well this act hello clarent you don't need to do anything just just yeah just be yourself you're already doing enough fuck it's a miracle oh, we didn't dissolve the prophecy was wrong I guess because their sins got forgiven, right? No. Are you right? No. The prophecy was wrong.
Um, you think I? You think I have a sharp tongue? <laughs> I just say it like it is. Why did Wander just start yapping? The solar news. The Spina de Rasula tax post disaster rebuilding. I recently visited Poisson to oh. meet with Miss Navia, spokesperson of the Spina de Rasula, and we spoke about Poisson's present and future. Old soil can still give birth to new bloom, Miss Navia stated. Hope is like seeing a small cookie when you're starving late at night. You just need a little of it. Skyship Winglet, Boon or Brain of the Fontaine Research Institute. The various disputes that have arisen on account of Mr. Edwin. Were you about to cry as loud? I'm like, no. Turning out to be a once overlooked hidden gem. I'm like, my tear, I, my eyes are like, they're like edging. <laughs> it's, it's like, they're, they're edging. It's like, I'm good. They would find it all the harder to find a word with which to classify him and his team. Wow, Paimon barely recognizes the people in the reports. Are those really Jerry or Navia? They sound like real big shots. What do you think? Pretty enthralling, huh? The Steambird's idea was pretty simple. With the disaster just having passed, we would print a free edition packed to the margins with good news to calm people down. The value for these big scoops lies in their inevitable follow-ups. We'll publish further reports and go into the stories behind those people. Edwin's assistant, Jurier, created a true flying ship, while Navia is leading people in the reconstruction of their home. I'm sure that these stories could draw even your well-traveled eye. Hyman's curious too! Uh, wait a minute. Didn't we watch everything happen from start to finish? What's there to be curious about? And that's exactly why I'd like you to come conduct interviews with me. Uh, are you sh Oh, this time will be different. Come on! Um. Wait, what the fuck is that item? Wait, is that Fossilor? Sag. Oh wait, it might not be. Colossal beast. Wait, that's the fucking that's the whale, right? Wait, is it? Yeah, it is the whale. We still have child's vision. <laughs> Yo, does he want it back? Is his bro okay? Does he want his vision? Finale. Go to Poisson. Swan Fury. Okay, what is with this music? Bro, are they trying to make me sad? What? <laughs> It's you. What brings you all here? Hey, we're just having a look around. I'm here to update myself on how things are going here. Hmm? Oh, the Fatui are here too. Uh, uh, let me introduce you. This is Mr. Garunt Snezhevich. He represented the Nave in sending us a large amount of supplies and is helping with our work. Our residents are hard at work as well. Thanks to everyone, work is progressing. They're what nicely. at work? Hello, Miss Charlotte. I'm a big fan of yours. I especially like that article you wrote last year about Fontaine's stray cats. But if I like you stray cats. Mind, could you Music's not emphasize good. our role too much in your report? It's not charity we're doing here. We just happen to share the same interests as Espina. I get where you're coming from. I'll keep it as simple as possible. Or would you be willing to feature as friendly neighbors? That would be fine. Thanks. Oh, you're back too. How are things? We finished laying down the construction materials. It'll be another hour before the workers are able to go over there. Huh? You hear too, Clarion? Well, her reputation's greatly risen after that whole duel business with Miss Farina. So she's here in Poisson to wait out the heat. Uh, all right, all right. She really came here to help me out. There's too much to consider in the reconstruction of Poisson. The Spina has need of more decision makers. And, well, I do already Homies. happen to be connected to Mr. Callus. Oh, wait, just a moment. Do you mind me asking a few questions? You know, about how you felt before the duel. Uh, about what. Uh, forget it. I'm sure you can find a better theme than that. Yeah, I fucking Ms. love Charlotte. this character. Oh, I see you're the same as always. Well, if we're talking about doing things for my sake, you might as well just take a few more photos of me or of the traveler. It's better than wasting time persuading Chloran, at any rate. 
Of course I will. I'm not gonna let her off that easy. All right, then everyone who wants to be in the photo, gather up and smile. Was it a good shot? Not bad. Your addition really helped the composition of the picture. All right, hang on a moment. Let me snap a few more shots. Twenty pieces of the puzzle. All right, that should do it. I'll be back here later anyway, so uh, let's call it a day. <laughs> You're very quick. Speed is of the essence when it comes to the news. And also, not to brag, but I'm pretty good at building connections. Who knows? I might eventually get that interview with you after all, Miss Clarand. Wow, you really do have that never-say-die spirit. Uh <laughs> I'll hazard a guess that this is how you got that interview at the Fortress of Maripede. Whoa, you're well informed. Let me make a guess too. I asked Sijuin who told Monsieur Nervillette and he told you, right? That's a... Very complete information. Bro, who the fuck are you, Geront? Sorry. All Monsieur oh, no. Nevillette asked me was, when did the fortress become so friendly towards the media? I told him that it was best not to speak too soon. There's no guarantee that Ridesley will make a personal appearance. You're right. I've got a trick. Yeah, how did bro sneak them. into the conversation? Case, Yo, I he is not part first. of the team. Stay safe now, and tell me if you hear anything interesting. I'll treat you to afternoon tea in exchange. So. You seem curious about the fortress. Of course. Ah, uh, that Risley. I still remember going down to the fortress to grill him for information on my father's case. Boy, did he take me for a ride. Without telling me anything, of course. But he did invite you to tea, didn't he? Two large pots of it, in fact. It was good tea, though. I have to agree. The tea there is very good. Ah, speaking of that, would you like to have some today? I mean, you've got time, right? Well, I'd be partial to some shortbread. Navia, she killed your father! It's like we've got a menu or something. <laughs> sure, sure. Mm, good. What flavor of biscuits would you like, Mr. Snezhevich? Why is he driving me? I'm fine with anything, but I- Bro, who is he? Go away! Have it. All right, leave it to me. I'll go over the newly arrived supplies with you later, Mr. Snezhevich. We should be able to finish the preparatory work today. That works great for me. Huh, is it just me, or did you get a new lipstick? Uh, well, how do you- It was a gift from Sijuin. Want to give it a try? I think the color what? would suit you too. How do you notice? I know what you are. Historians will say they were just friends. Falling into the abyss. Okay, never mind. We're fucking in the middle of the cutscene. Wow, guess we're here again, huh? There's a real nostalgic feeling to this place. Looks like you've been missing us. There is Lee. Duke, did you come all the way to the entrance to greet us? Dude, this is why I don't want to do the Arca quest. Of course. I'm here to welcome you. Because now I have nothing to look Shark. forward to in life. I was like, wow, I can't wait to do this Arca quest. Now it's, it's fucking ending. What's day. left? Thank you for consenting to my visit to the fortress, sir. No need to. Rina's story quest? I mean, sure, it, I, I guess. Be the focus is it good? You. I trust you recall our agreement. Of course, of course. All right, then. This way. Yeah, that's okay. We can do it after. Like, not now, but later. Uh, <laughs> Fucking jurier. Uh, hmm? Hey, no need to be so nervous. I've already taken all the photos we need. Um, Miss Charlotte, do these pictures really need to be published on the cover of the Steambird? It would seem that Miss Lorvine doesn't want her face to appear beside that of Mr. Jurier. Hmm? Sir, please don't say things like that. <laughs> but it looks like dear Mr. Jurier denies it. Might this interview be very important to you then? No, I I, I just... This is my first time being interviewed, and no, I'm very thankful to the Steambird for... No! <laughs> now, I might not look it, but I actually did meet Mr. Edwin once. And I'll be honest, I enjoyed chatting with you more. You've definitely got more of that genius vibe going on. 
the boat that brought it He doesn't miracle. sound like me, the chat. Stop. The people. Why, you There's a 50 months elixir. I appreciate it. Like an emissary of legend. Still, if I might ask, where's that flying ship now? Huh. Looks like Charlotte's trying to get herself another exclusive scoop. I have to apologize, but that ship is presently in the bowels of our factory. I'm afraid it won't be easy for you to get a shot of it. Really? Well, then in that case, could I have an interview with you to make up for that loss? You already know my answer, I'm afraid. Best you interview our head nurse instead. Or perhaps you'd like to take another photo of this couple of- Did you really have to use the word couple? Dude, that cutscene pi- that cutscene fu- Dude, it, it, so my eyes are still it. edging. Is my hair messed that up? That cutscene fucked Can me. Someone help me have a look. Things sure are getting pretty lively here. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen this kind of thing before. Oh, seems like everyone's here. Would any of you like to try this new drink I came up with? Ah, Sijuin. I'm a wordsmith, uh, you know what I mean. Hey, Miss Charlotte. Why don't you, uh, take some pretty photos of our head nurse? Hmm? Uh, sure. Come on, Miss I already Sijuin. miss Fossilor. Let's find a brighter spot. Huh? Uh, oh, uh, sure. Uh, do I have to smile? So, how have things been at the fortress? Same old, same old, as you can see. Fontaine's undergone some changes, but this place is still more or less the same. Other than that flying ship, I got a Other than that flying that ship. That's why I decided to let the interview go through. <laughs> we should direct more public opinions toward the behind the scenes heroes. Am I right, Mr. Jerrier? Miss Lurveen? You're too kind, sir. I believe that you too should have your day in the sun. Not that you would want that, which is a pity. Talk to the couple after, dude. No one cares about them. Sorry, you. Too. Sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. You walk with Risley for a while. I see. Lots of things happened that day, huh? Anyway, regarding that harbinger, I'm not sure you remember, but his three young followers are still waiting for his return. Bro, free trial. Win them over, huh? I'll tell them that there's good news and bad news. The good being that their boss seems fine, and the bad being that they must face extended sentences. Oh, he literally saved, he like contributed to oh, saving Fontaine. Actually, Free him. The whale would have fucking eaten all of you. What changed? Free the homie. Be? The fortress will keep chugging along, and so will. Look, he is definitely guilty. As I admit it. But come on. Departure will mean for the nation. He's and pretty. Laws and governance will be transformed. We'll leave those to the folks in the overworld. Hey everyone, the photo shoot's done. Good. In that case, let's call it a he day. He freed himself? I mean, yeah, I guess, <laughs> but... Come on, Traveler, let's go. Till next time, everyone. There'll be a next time? Maybe. Who knows? I might write I a guess story he did just peace out. factory next time. Until then. All right. Last stop, the Are there going to be wanted posters of him here? What up, Risley? Oh, you know... Is that really necessary? It's precisely because... Maybe I'm just happy that I managed to once again avoid the spotlight. I think this interview went well either way. Yes, you successfully kept prying eyes away by using Mr. Jurier and Miss Lurveen as shields. You should be happy for them. They have a bright future ahead of them. Here are the interview notes. They mentioned that the flying ship may have many uses in the future. Seriously, how would I know anything about that? Flight is just flight. Other people want to use a flying none ship of my to beeswax news or organize weddings is none of my beeswax. A wedding? <sighs> Why are you looking at me like that? So the flying none ship of my can be used beeswax. For I didn't say that. That journalist mentioned it, and what does that have to do with us anyway? True. What does that have to do with us? Chat, what if we made an account where we can use waypoints, and then every quest step like this, we'd have to swim all the way? Chat, what do you think? Is Scarra dead or not? What do you think? I think 1,000 HP left. 2,000. Well, well, I guess I'll never know. Maybe more. No, it might be like four or five k. It wasn't as high as I thought it was. How did you know? 
Navia mentioned that she stayed in touch with Linny and the others. No, not five. Definitely not five. Apparently, they've been at the docks distributing these strange pockets the whole time since. Traveler, Paimon. Ah, oh, and Miss Charlotte, too. Hold on, just a cap when you plunge? What sort of gadget really? is it? It's a wonderful. I don't know. I main Chow, dude. I just plunge on Chow and I take no damage. The water <laughs> Sorry. Has returned to normal. But if you see any of your things floating around, you can use this to carry them. Or you could trick a friend into doing it for you. Trick a friend? Hmm. I wonder which of my friends would fall for that. You could just make a friend like Fremine here. Isn't that right, Fremine? <sighs> Is this what you meant by... I'll help you make some more friends. Well, to be honest, that sounds pretty sweet. Could I have Why am I so tired? Please? I guess it's 5 a.m. Uh, Maybe oh, I should have done this uh, at like fucking 3 p.m. Sure. Why did I wait so long? Uh, please, write down my address. You sure are working hard to help Fermanay socialize. He was the one who proposed doing this. He even wants to assist in our magic shows. Yes, I was planning to first introduce Paris, Paris is my goat. and later Fremine himself. In the future, I think we can leave underwater escape magic to him too. That said, would anyone want to see a diver? It's Pear? No, fuck Pear. Oh, it'll work out. Pear! Every journey begins with Came the first step. Pear. He'll I'm become sorry. a part of our show eventually. Uh, Lynette, could you come over? Miss Charlotte says she wants to take a picture of us. Got it. Dude, their eyes are literally oh, spiral Charlotte abyss. Charlotte is rather perceptive. She got rid of everyone the moment she realized I had something to say to you. Hmm. So, how have things been, Traveler? I'm doing all right. Father says that you did a great deal during the latest events. She's very grateful for your contributions to Fontaine. Hey, if Arlequino would like to meet... Oh... I guess you haven't heard. Well, after Lady Farina left, Father and Monsieur Nervilet opened negotiations during which he gave Fontaine's gnosis to her as a diplomatic gift. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking joking? The Nahida gave the Torre two, and then Nervilet gives Arlecchino one. What the fuck am I gonna do when I have to fight all the fucking Fatui Harbingers, okay? What can- It's not gonna be their battle! It's not gonna be Nahida's fight! It's not gonna be fucking Nevelet's fight! It's gonna be mine! I'm gonna have to fight them! Yes, I was quite surprised at first myself. But when I thought it over, there were actually a number of things going for it. If Arlequino asked me for anything, I would do it? Yeah, me too, actually. You're right. Base Nevelet. done as an apology for the incident with Lord Child, or as thanks for his help in tying the all-devouring Narwhal down. Yeah, I mean, he did help with the Narwhal, but then Father give it to Child! Did also lend significant the fuck? Aid to Fontaine Arlequino don't even care about Child! She was like, oh yeah, him. I would agree, but I've also heard that it seems that Mr. What? Well, imagine Arlequino was like, the sky is fake. And then Nevelet was like, oh, take the Nyosis. Sorry. Let's keep going. Uh, so there's some reason for this that only Nervalet knows about? I suspect you'll have to ask him about that yourself. <laughs> ah, yes. Speaking of which, I did see him strolling around the entrance to the fortress of Meripede a while back. The Gnosis was given to the Knave, right? What about Child? They say that he's returned to Snezhnaya to recover from his wounds. I hear oh, he peaced out. really did a number on his health. I guess I can call one of my war buddies. That's true. When you think about it, we've had loads of run-ins with the Fatui. To think we'd be allied with them this time. So shocked by such a simple switching of sides? I thought that was Arlequino. Oh, it is. Okay. I was like, I did. I, I, that voice, I was like, I heard that before. Hey. Well, well, what do you know? Come to the docks to see how my children are doing and meet the traveler by chance. Hello, father. Please do not pay my accomplishments in Fontaine too much mind. I would have done them regardless. 
Hey, father with Riz. Take the gnosis back to Snezhnaya? That is our duty as harbingers. She's so sick, yeah, she is. Yes. Don't be too preoccupied with sides. Harbingers in general are Fatui fucking... concerns not yeah. a single place or person, but the entire world. With such a grand goal in mind, it is inevitable that we must wear many masks. Switching She speaks like a villain, too. ...is something I've always done. She's got a down. Will you keep to your position? Well, that depends on many things. No one truly knows what the future holds. What good is honesty if you can't rely on it forever? So true. As for you, I very much look forward to our next collaboration. Good things cannot be achieved alone, and you've proved yourselves to be great partners. Actually, I just remember something. Please help us. A vision? <sighs> No, we do not have it anymore. I'll no, child's vision. Thank you for keeping it safe for him. I can bark in five languages. Okay. And that's a wrap for me. It, huh? You, you're. Do we just give away? So we lost a gnosis and a vision. Uh, um, hello. If I'm not mistaken, there are diplomatic channels I'll need to report to to take a photo of you. That is correct. So forgive me, but I will not be able to serve as a subject in your article. However, feel free to write as much as you'd like about our dear magicians and our upcoming rookie talent. I... I will. The sea breeze is quite pleasant. Whatever you say, beautiful. Oh, I'm I sorry. I shall continue my walk while the weather remains so agreeable. Farewell, father. Oh, she has such an intimidating presence. I didn't even dare to take a picture. <laughs> Bro. I've already wrapped up all my pre-scheduled interviews. Thank you all. This will be more than enough for me to write about, I'm sure. Don't be too nervous. Why don't you take a magic pocket before you go? Here, traveler, Paimon, you take Fuck one. Fuck is a magic pocket. To move things about? That's right. <laughs> Funny. I was giving out magic pockets when we first met, too. And Lore what Skipper. You know? okay. Dude, I forgot. The exact I just don't. Thing right now. You know what? Fuck you, so chat. So many things have happened, but the pockets are still the pockets. I guess this must be life. We will all follow our own paths, and serendipity will lead you to your fated friends. All right, then. We'll be handing out pockets in some other districts later, so we'll get going now. Have a good day, you two. No, Lenny! Oh, well, come back! Wait, she literally stops and looks at you. What the fuck? That is adorable. Hello. Okay, sorry. Same height. No, we are not. Look, see? It's not even close. Bro, what? Did it not? Bro, where is bro going? He's tired, I am. Hey, Nevalette, honored to meet you again. Really? Oh, I suppose you must have met Mr. Linney. He took the time to greet me earlier when he passed this way. In any case, you came at a good time. I was just considering reaching out to you to set up a meeting, so I may explain some things that I haven't had the time to before. Aw, Bunyan's glad that you remembered! Alright, let's have it then. How was Fontaine actually saved? Oh, is this part of the Archon Quest? A mystery to us. At least Nevalette explains it to us. <laughs> It is strange how words can often leave a bitter taste in the mouth when it finally comes time to say them out loud. Sag. Whoa. So that's what happened? Fosalor destroyed the divine 
Divine Throne of the Hydro Archon and restored your power to you, transforming you into a fully-fledged Elemental Dragon Sovereign! But Paimon still doesn't quite get what you did to save the Fontanians from dissolving. For me, the authority of the Ancient Dragons refers to absolute control over the Hydro Element. Fontanians were incomplete humans born of Egeria's use of the power of the Primordial Sea, with constitutions similar to that of Mimics. But so long as those primordial energies remain within them, I could use the Ancient Dragon's authority to grant them true blood, after the fashion in which life was first brought into being on this planet. In other words, when I gave my verdict, Fontanians became true humans. And thus Wait, he literally performed no human alchemy water from the primordial sea. for what could equal the value of a human soul decision as well your verdict was the key to making the prophecy appear to have come true while saving everyone. transmutation you could say it was at that moment that the fontanians were finally truly born yeah. and in a manner of speaking Fosor finally managed to fulfill the original hydro archon's wish to turn oceanids into real people <laughs> It seems from your expressions that you still have more things you wish to ask. Ask away. I will tell you the truth as I know it. About the initial verdict that was passed on Chill Day. I have investigated his case along many avenues, and I have learned that he once fell into an unknown chasm when he was young. There, by chance, he awakened the all-devouring narwhal. But whether it be by sentiment or reason, that should not have been enough to consider him the root cause of the disaster. At most, he would have had tangential liability. As for the judgment passed by the Oratrice during the trial, whether it was due to that liability by association, or Fosalor deliberately using him to buy time for us on the assumption that he would be able to hold the creature off, I cannot say. Guess Fosalor had Fontanians in mind the whole time. In the end, it was thanks to her that they finally became real humans. Uh, hang on a second. Paimon suddenly got another question. Back when Fontanians hadn't yet become real humans, were the children they had also transformed Oceanids? Life has always flowed like water. Do you recall how Fontanians would often come to the Fountain of Lucene to pray for children? No, I just got here. I literally arrived in the Fountain like a week ago. All the waters in Fontaine converge. In truth, even those couples did not know that such prayers were no mere custom instead a form of ritual those oceanids who were blessed within the spring water would later descend as new humans in the coming months uh paimon sort of gets it now why is the music so goofy be of any further use but it'll probably live on as a local custom ask away i will tell you the truth as i know it fontan's future yeah about that Risley said farina is already hey, farina left, left? Did I not oh, listen to Risley? Man, I'm tired. The people are only aware that her death sentence has not been carried out. She abdicated the post of Hydro Archon and left affairs related to that title to me, before leaving the Opera House. I related Fosalor's words to her faithfully and completely. After hearing them, she seemed neither saddened nor comforted. She simply said that she was tired and needed to rest. True, deserved. Having said that, she then packed her things and moved out of the Opera House, not unlike how an ordinary person might. She's still got a place to stay, right? You need not worry. I will make arrangements to ensure that she will not want for food, clothing, board, or travel. In truth, I am somewhat happy for her. The wear and tear on her spirit will, of course, take time to heal. But now that she no longer has to play the role of Fosalor the Hydro Archon, she can finally lay down her burdens and lead a normal life. Gained your full powers as the Hydro Dragon. After Fosalor passed on, the Oratrice also <laughs> ceased to function. This matter will directly affect our trials. After much careful consideration, I've decided to take over its role in our courts. From now on, I shall hear cases and pass verdicts by myself. Looks like you're still considering stuff from the perspective of the Udex, huh? As an elemental dragon, there are indeed many things that I must do. But this power. In this duty, in the manner of speaking, you could say that both were granted to me. As such, before I attend to my other responsibilities, I must first and foremost continue to serve Fontaine as its highest judge. The duty of the Hydro Sovereign and the duty of the Udex shall coexist within my person. 
Additionally, the Hydro Archon's departure has brought about another problem, which is that the Opera House shall no longer produce Indemnidium. That's true. That power was derived from the people's faith in the Hydro Archon, wasn't um. it? Wait, but the various mechs and machines in the city are... Yeah, he's like, I'll hate them, but also a dragon. Where are they getting their energy from? So I'm not I didn't pull now, from, did I told you? Full command over New Musia. This character is insane. Complete substitute. Another reason why I cannot quite leave on So I'll probably be back in like fucking two, three patches. This ancient dragon's authority stuff is really quite useful, huh? Ask away. I will tell you the truth as I know it. Lost my 50-50. What do you want me to do? Do you try winning the 50-50? About the Gnosis? Yeah, actually. Where did your Gnosis go? Oh, that's right. They say you've given it to the knave as a... Leaving aside their intentionality. The two Fatui Harbingers have indeed done much for us during this crisis. You better have a good explanation. This sole remaining you better have a good explanation. Do you know who else did a lot for us? Do you know who else did a lot for us? Me! Sorry. The sole remaining goal in Fontaine, at least the, at this point, would seem to be the Gnosis. The Oratrice has ceased to function. The Hydro Archon's Divine Throne is now no more. And I do not need the Gnosis's power. Yeah. Do you know who does need it? The fucking Fatui Harbingers. The, the fucking main villains, bro. The, why? As such, it has lost all meaning for Fontaine. If the Fatui have impure designs, then we might as well accede to their request now and avoid unnecessary conflict. Ugh, what complicated considerations. Paimon thought you were just giving it to Why are you guys trying, trying to convince me they're not villains? Listen, I, if I could side with the Fatui, I would. You think I care? They're fucking cooler than anyone else. I would side with them. I'm just saying, we literally had to give up two for Dottore to stop fucking murdering innocent children, basically. TLDR. So, literally, it's okay. Ask away. I will tell you the truth as I know it. That's not what he did, but... It's the Tori. About the next step on my journey. Wait a second. What the fuck? Is this literally the end of Fontaine, uh, Fontaine Lore? You'll soon be heading to Natlan, I presume. I'm afraid that I have little time I guess! To travel guide. So what do you mean soon? You this region just came travel. out! As far as I'm aware, Natlan can be said to be a nation of dragons. A nation of dragons? You mean like you? No, I suspect that I would not find myself welcome there. Wait, why? Unlike ancient dragons Come with such us. as myself, the dragons of Natlan have undergone long years of development and evolution. Wait, that's sick. Large Dragon region? of them have entered a form of coexistence with humanity. Natlan is also the nation of war. War ravages those lands like an undying flame. There is one other piece of information I got incidentally from my negotiations with the Knave that I believe may be useful to you. The harbinger known as the captain has thrown his hat into the endless ring of war. Yes! Capitano! Sounds like a real tough customer. Seriously, everywhere you look, there's a Fatui harbinger doing their thing. I suggest that you fully prepare yourself before going to Natlon. In the meantime, I love Capitano. doors will always be open to you. Ask away. I will tell you Fuck, the truth as wait, I know. there's no way that's the end of fucking Fontaine. Surely we get more Ar Yo, do Arkham Quest usually end in X.2? The fuck? Surely we get more. Carrie Bear was like, yeah, it does. As an interlude. Dane's Leaf and interlude. Oh, I see. Okay. I think the only time I'm going to do a quest not in English is if Dane's Leaf's a main part, I might put it Japanese. Just because I... I'm sorry. I, I get... I, <laughs> The Japanese Dane's Leaf makes my tip creamy. <laughs> Why did I say that? I'm tired. I don't have a filter right now. It's 5.30 a.m. Okay? I Listen, I'm sorry. But listen, if you heard him, you would say the same. Respectfully. About the next step on my journey. You will soon be heading to Natlan, I presume. I'm afraid that I have little talent as a travel guide. I already, I already talked about this. Aware, a nation of no, I Question mark? I Bro, listen to right him! There. Unlike ancient dragons such as myself, the dragons of Natlan have undergone long years of development and evolution. Large numbers of them have entered a form of coexistence listen, with listen. humanity. Listen, <laughs> listen. It's loading. Okay, well, my video is not working anymore. Well, whatever, never mind. 
Anyways. Not long as old. There is one other the harbinger known as the. I suggest that you. Yeah, he is not on me. I will tell you the truth as I know. Nice internet bozo. So regarding this. Oh, what? I already don't know. I didn't get. Getting ready to share something with you. What is it? In truth, I exchanged some further words with that lady named Skirk after sending you two back to the surface. It went something like this. Same one animation. <laughs> what next? <laughs> this entire quest is just been. Hmm. The all devouring narwhal isn't here, so I'm no longer getting any interference. I can finally catch the scent of your power, what it's made of. It is the authority of the planet's primordial dragons. Yeah, he's it's so tall. Very similar to a god's curse mixed in. It's quite a novel blend. I'm sure I've encountered something like this before. What was it again? I do not know what you speak of. Ah, oh, of course. How could I forget? You should have the remains of the Third Descender on your person, yes? Remains? I've never heard of any such thing. Huh. According to your parlance, I believe it may be called a Gnosis. Well, that much is true. After Fosalor's divinity faded, she handed her gnosis to me. But I fear I have never heard of it described in the manner that you just did. I've been training with my master Wait, the Cal, ever since I was young. And I have never returned to the surface since. So most of the information I possess, I got from him. It is only natural for those who are greater than humanity to possess a different sort of common sense. Which is why there are so many problems in our attempts to communicate with humans. Regardless, you should probably get rid of objects of misfortune to prevent any disasters from befalling you. To live in itself is a blessing. But once a person dies, the bonds he once had with this world shall all turn to curses. What do you mean by that? <sighs> no need to fret. These are just my... personal thoughts. Dude, she has the brawny hair. No longer wishing to return to the surface. This third descender you refer to, who are they? Wait, so when they and die, they... they die. Turns into curses. Master never mentioned them. But then they call... she could just called the vision of fucking. What was it? She called it a remnant of. If you die and it leaves a curse, but you die and it leaves a vision, not vision. Sorry, gnocchi. Does that mean that's a curse? No. Okay. If you're interested, though, I could ask him. I'll be sure to pass the answer on to you next time. Next time? You believe we will meet again? No, sis, not Noki, my bad. I do. Wait. I have a disciple of my own, don't I? He can be the messenger then. <laughs> Wait, was I not? Wait, he, they literally said that though. That's what she told me. Whether it would prove useful or not, I wanted to pass. Well, this is made from the third descender. You. I see. Okay. I know what that means. So that's what the okay, Paimon. Yeah. I feel. I listen, Paimon recaps things in case you're a dumbass and you don't pay attention. And Paimon just explain. All the same, assuming that there was no misunderstanding. Paimon, if you, if, if, if whenever. That is what she meant to say. Whenever Paimon says something and I learn from it, I'm like, fuck, I'm, I'm dumb. And this time, my bad. Well, thanks, Paimon. Paimon was made for me, I guess. That it would bring misfortune and that you should this is like the one time, though. Usually, I'm good. If she speaks the truth, then I would simply be putting Fontaine at unnecessary risk by keeping it here. Descender, she mentioned one of them. I am the fourth Descender. For me, this information means two things. Uh-oh. One, that the Gnosis are related to the Descenders. Two, the ones who came before me 
Sorry, the one who came before me already died. I guess that you might already be familiar with this concept, but I did not expect you to be one of them. That means that the Gnosis, which are exceedingly element compatible and can even enhance elemental abilities, do indeed come from the Third Descender. Hmm, I wonder. Does your body also possess similar properties? No. Like, uh... Like being able to use elemental powers without a vision! That does sort of count as special compatibility, right? No, no, let's not think about this stuff right now. It just I never let we can find out. Sorry. Comparing the traveler to the dead third descender and all. Don't worry, I won't die. That's what you say, but this topic still feels like bad luck. <sighs> Once child recovers, let's get some more answers out of him. Or go look for his master and get the answers that way. I too believe it unwise to make too many blind guesses when information is lacking. The same is true of being at court. All right. Whatever the case, it seems like the crisis here in Fontaine's over for now. Yes. All of Fosalor's efforts were for this moment as well. But she sacrificed herself in the end as a god, and she suffered through all those years as a human. Was that really what she wanted? I suppose that would be the mystery of a god's will. Can you understand the will of the I gods? I suspect not. But once in a while, I too would guess that if wishes were like the clouds in the sky, they will one day return to the earth as raindrops. Life flows like water. And Life flows like a fire. The water Sorry. may sometimes tilt one way or another. But the rain falls fairly upon all. And what ultimately is the difference between the rains that fall upon all of us? Wait, we fucking did it. Hey, we did it! Mark your fucking calendars! Cause we did it. Can I get a lament? Nope, I can't. Wait, 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 wait. Before we, okay. I need to get something straight. I need to get something straight. When, when Nevelet gave the Gnosis to fucking Arlequino, you guys were like, oh, he'll explain it. Did I, if I miss something, say I miss something. But didn't he literally just say it was a fucking like, uh, it was like a gift for her helping us and shit? Bro, get her a box of chocolates. No. It was a 1500 bits hopeful. What the hell? Oh, the Farina. Yeah, I saw this, but I didn't watch it. Oh wait, no, I did not see this. Never mind. I don't know what this is. You gave it away because it's an object of misfortune. So oh, okay. You truth as I know. You're right. I actually did read that. Oh, I just forgot. Right. I'm tired. Okay. I, I didn't I sit know. there. The other one. Okay, fair. It was this. Uh, this one. Skirk was yapping. Still, fucking. Th I would. I would. I. I don't know. I don't know if I would trust that with with the the her. But I. Right, whatever. It's gonna be our fucking problem in like five patches. Uh. Okay. A few things. First of all, I don't know if this is gonna be uploaded anywhere. If it is. Apologies for being a little slow at understanding some of the. I was keeping up until like 5 a.m. Then I got tired. It's only been like 40 minutes of me being tired. Outside of that, I was pretty cracked. Okay. Also, trying to think what I rate the quest. I mean, that was pretty peak. I, uh, I mean, there wasn't really a single part I didn't like. Except when we were just like yapping with Charlotte. But like, whatever. It's pretty fucking peak. The Farina and Fosalor thing was really good. Almost cried. Didn't. Because I main Chow. Arlequino's sick. I miss her already. I liked all the characters, like most of the characters in Fontaine. They're pretty cool. I wish we had more though. Like I want more now. I hate it. I always want more. Damn, I'm fucking tired. That was really good. I really like that. Especially the like, yeah, I mean, basically all of Act 5 was really good. Hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> I hope you... That yeah, was pretty good. I was kind of tired halfway through, but most of it was like, I mean, I still processed everything. I'm just a little... I like Frina. Damn, I miss her. Wait, where the fuck is she now? I guess we should do our story quest. Does our story quest proceed? You have to do Act 5 to do a story quest, right? So, like, it's in sequestion, in sequestrance to it. Damn, Frina's... Okay, we'll do it. I actually got it. Sorry, Frina. When I, when I told you to, 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 to kill the people in Fontaine you didn't like, I didn't actually mean it. Okay, please don't do that. For the record. To yesterday. Okay, we'll do that. Now, the that one's good, too. We'll probably do that as well. Wait, so chat. Wait, wait, I have a question. Before we, well, I have a question. So did we just confirm that Farina is exactly as much the Hydro Archon as Kokomi is? Hey! True! All along. Okay, not really, but you know what I mean. I mean, yeah, actually. Yeah, all along I knew it. Kind of. Listen to other Archons about Farina. Venti my goat. 
must be versed in both music and song. But a stage performer requires far more skills than just these. Hey, don't you think we should invite her over to put on a show at the next Windbloom Festival? Huh? You want me to talk about how she saved Fontaine? Well, I mean, she's such a talented artiste, it's no wonder. I wouldn't be surprised even if she'd saved the entire world. Um, true. Yeah, Farina coming to Windbloom would be sick. Imagine Venti invites her, she pulls up, Farina. She made a contract with her own self. To Stop talking master. about contract! Strictly adhered to it for over five centuries without once wavering, and even fooled the heavenly principles in the end. I have great respect for approaches to justice that place exacting demands not only on others, but also on the self. Though her divinity has vanished, and the throne of the Archon is no more, Farina will go down in Fontaine's history as a god of justice worthy of recognition. True. So true, Zhongli. Farina. She, for five centuries, I dueled the Raiden Shogun in my personal realm of consciousness to confirm the steadfastness of my will. <laughs> Yet this Farina you speak of, though possessing only a frail human body, committed herself to acting out her part every second of every day for 500 years yo the glazing is actually the crazy her willpower has bro why isn't she glazing everyone else has been suffering for fucking decades uh, not decades centuries i mean true though farina did do that where's Zhang lee jonathan what do you think jonathan lee The first thing she said when she saw me was nice palace, huh? When he finally achieved the ambition he thought he'd been pursuing, people often say that wisdom isn't about what you know, but knowing what you can change. It is beyond question that the prophecy was carved into ermine so long ago. And while it may look like nothing has changed, it also seems like everything has. I think we both know her to be smart enough to turn the fate of the world around. About the knave. Uh, the, the knave? Uh, who, who's yeah, that? she's a <laughs> yeah, she's panicking. Oh, uh, died already. Forgotten about her. <laughs> Sad. Keeping such a terrible figure like her in your mind will only give you nightmares. Sad. Oh, I'm very confident in my singing skills. But there aren't many pieces of music that are worthy of my vocal prowess. Ugh. She is a very strong person. Strong people will always manage to keep themselves... Oh, have you tried Navia's macarons? I'm very grateful. Of course I... I... Uh, as I... Someone... Uh, your... Uh, if you have time, people love talking about the past and often regret the beautiful things that have now faded into That's cool. I didn't know you cared so much about me. I do. <laughs> I'm really happy to happy I didn't mean birthday. to. <laughs> but I haven't communicated with him. Have you tried Navia's macros? Oh shit, my others are muted, my bad. I to admit that her skills in design... Hey, three months, we're running into bits! Appreciate it. The design it. she paints on the macarons is so cute, don't you think? Not to mention the texture and sweetness. <laughs> I really like the Lumetoile. Those creatures can go and shine in even places where... Okay, fair enough. Now the curtain has finally fallen on her performance. The character she portrayed was an imaginary one, yet in playing that role, she fulfilled her duties. Though she is meek and full of doubt by nature, she was able to use madness to stiffen her resolve and see her duty through to its conclusion. The work that she has done over the centuries is truly immense. If she were to ever make a return to the stage, I should personally attend the performance and give her my heartfelt applause. Yes, um. I must do so when the opportunity arises. Though the day will come when I put her on trial, I must commend the God of Verger on her sense of responsibility. Few things are without flaws in this world, 
but the devotion and yeah, the put Nahida on trial a testament to her commitment Bro, chill. to continued progress. Oh, she's a I kid. I felt enormous regret when I learned of the mistreatment she has endured over the past 500 years. I shall fulfill my vow to judge all of the seven in turn, even if the sky should fall and the ground give way. As the recipient of the authority of Animo, the god of breeze and hope must also stand trial. Hmm? He spends most of his time being a <laughs> harmless drunkard. True. Well, even so. That's my goat. That's why Venti's dude. That's why Venti's the best. Nothing will stop me from rendering judgment on each of the seven. As the Archon who won the authority of Geo, Deus Ori must be called to trial. If one does not wish to see us on opposite sides of a conflict, they need not worry. For I intend to stay in Fontaine for the foreseeable future. God wants to just judge everyone. Well, mean another four hundred years. As another point of consolation, even when the trial eventually takes place, it is still not a given that the judgment will lead to a physical confrontation. Um, what the fuck? They're trying to brawl. Shelf of as a survivor of the dragon race who has regained my full dragonhood. I must fulfill my oaths and obligations, even if it means returning all the water in the oceans back to the heavens. Excuse me? You're saying that even some members of the Seven don a counterfeit vision before mingling with their people? <laughs> my apologies. Thou I was just caught off guard by the absurdity of the situation. <sighs> About Risley? Risley is a trustworthy man. I fought hard for the title and reputation he now has. I expect you to think that I've simply been duped by his flattery and appearance of loyalty, but... Flattery. Tonight, I would quote the Inazuman proverb, The words unspoken are the flower. Which means some things are best left unsaid. Actually, what exactly is better left unsaid, Risley? Could you explain? I mean, sorry, never let. Anyways, chat. I am tired as fuck. This Ark Quest was really good. Uh, one of the best ones. I have to, I'm too tired to rank it in like my whole repertoire, but it's definitely, I have to, I'll, I'll talk more tomorrow. Probably like, do I like it more than Subaru? I like Subaru a lot. I mean, it's definitely up there. The characters are also mostly cooler. I mean, Dotori is kind of cool, but this one had Arlecchino. I don't know. Yeah, we also went into the abyss and saw a Skirk and a whale. And there was the fucking uh, Farina, not Farina, Fosalor scene, which I liked. Barely remember anything from Sumeru. Yeah, but that's also recency bias. In three years, you're gonna be like, I barely remember anything from Fontan. I, I actually, I don't know. I did like this a lot. What I liked about the Sumeru one is it made me like Nahida and I fucking hate any character that's a child, which is, is very good. Uh, I like the Sumer Archon Quest, but yeah, Fontaine is definitely peak. Yeah, it was really good. All right, I had a lot of fun. The Archon Quest is really, really good. Thanks for watching, chat. I hope you enjoyed the Archon Quest stream. Uh, I hope you had fun, despite my Papaganus.